you're making in the, over the over the holidays, haven't you, Bill? Look at that. Spray paint. Oh, yeah, good uh, man with spray paint. Hey, how are you? Welcome. It's Tech TV's second annual Call for Helpathon. Yes, we are live on the air for now through the next 12 hours, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern time. I should probably pace myself, should, calm, should be a little more calm because we've got a long way to go here. It's 8 in the morning here in uh, San Francisco where we do this show, so it's a little early for me. I'm not usually out of bed at this time, but I guess Kat isn't either because <laughs> we're in her jammies. Yeah. We want to hear from you. Jammies today. Hi. Very cute. Thanks. Are you going to get dressed later in the day or is this going to be a sleep in day? I don't know. For you? What do you think I should do, Leo? Stay in your jammies. Okay. <laughs> Stay in your jammies. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wear a different shirt every hour. Okay. I brought every one of my wacky shirts from yeah. the old days on the screensavers and right. I'm going to wear a different one every hour. So yeah, you... people love those wacky well, shirts. Well, that way you'll you know something. which hour you're watching. Okay. Very you'll say, this is not the same hour I watched last hour. Yeah. We want to hear from you. Did you get a brand? We want to hear from you. Did you get a brand new digital camera, a portable MP3 player for the holidays, brand new computer? You got a blinking 12 on your VCR. This is the place. We want to help you. That's the whole point of this. It's a telethon, but instead of a lot of cheesy lounge acts, all we're going to do for the next 12 hours is help you answer your calls, and we've got everybody. I mean, this is not just me up here. We've got the entire Tech TV Brain Trust, Cat. Kevin, there's Roger. Hey, Kevin, nice shirt. Thank you. Thank Bill Cosby you. called. He says he wants it back after the show. <laughs> wow. Fufu Dan, wow. be talking. Fufu Dan Hoard will be here a little bit later on. We're gonna let him sleep in, I guess. Sarah's here, right? Is Sarah here? She's out. In the, she's in the back. The whole gang, the entire brain trust. Patrick couldn't be here because it's Christmas. Alonzo Young is here. Uh, uh, who else isn't here? Uh, I guess Morgan. Morgan's not gonna be here. She, she was, was here last year. year. She did her. She paid her dues. But she's gonna call in. She's gonna call in. Okay, good. Uh, and uh, I guess Jessica is going to be in L.A., so she, is she going to come in later? Well, she might come in. There's a whole bunch of people that said maybe I'll oh, show yeah. up, you so know what it that could means. end up being a huge party. You know what that means. What does it mean? It means if we serve enough liquor, they'll show up. They're not going to be, not gonna be it's here. It's too early for that, Not Leo. me, uh-uh. Not yeah, me. Right. We're going to have a lot of fun. In this hour, this particular hour, just this okay. first hour, the dark tipper, Kevin Rose, Mr. Cosby himself, is going to show you how to hack your brand new iPod. You brought your iPod for that, right? Yes, I don't I have to sacrifice mine. My brand new iPod, the 10 gigabytes. Did you get one for the holidays? I did. Merry Christmas. That's yes, a nice present. Very much so. 10 who, gigabytes. Who, who, what wonderful Santa gave you that? My dad did. Thank you, Dad. Yes, That's thank you nice. very much. That is a heck and of a gift. I'm going to hack it. First thing I'm going to do is hack it. So. Show of hands out there. How many people got MP3 players for the holidays? Me. You did too? Yeah. A lot of people. We're going to help you with your MP3. Which kind did you get? I got the little iRiver. Nice. Love it. Isn't that cool looking too? So hot. I'm going to bring it out later. Looks like a little it. skateboard so cute. with music on it. It does. Plus, I know I know a lot of you got digital cameras, or if you didn't have digital cameras, you've taken a lot of pictures this holiday season. Cat can show you how to share them with friends and family by putting them online. That's all coming up this hour. You know what I like about this show, Cat? What? The hour show that we do every day, Call for Help, uh -huh. at 3 p.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday in the show, is I just talk so much that we you just do? run out of time. You talk too much? Finally, a show where they're not going to be going, wrap it up, Laporte. Right. Hurry it up. You got 12 hours to get no, it out. No, they're Leo. saying wrap it up already. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're good. This is, this is going to be so much fun. Thanks for joining us. Good night, everybody. Bye. Oh. So let's run through our contact okay. info. How should people get a hold of us? Because okay. we do want, this is live. We want people to call. For, yeah, for the next 12 hours, Alonzo's going to be back here answering the phones. And you can call us by calling 888-989-7879. You can also email your questions, call for help at techtv.com. International viewers can email us because, uh, you know, it's, we're going to be going on all day. And so people might actually get on their questions sure. answered from overseas. And if you have a net cam, you can get on the show. We'd love to see your face. You can get on the show a lot quicker than anybody else. Head into the net cam Cineplex chat room, techtv.com slash call for help. Look for our people. They're in there waiting for you. And at the end of the hour, I'll be looking at the message boards. We have a whole message board dedicated it's, to it's the help. It's the bar. most interactive show on TV anywhere. And for the next 12 hours, it's all you. Now, that counter behind you that says now yeah. serving number zero, you're going right. to increment that every time? I got a little time? button here. Okay, don't mess with it. Well, we have a caller. All right, we're going to take the first caller. What number, though, are we going to get that to, uh, up to I today? don't know. Last year, it started going nuts. How far did Perillo get? Well, we got to about 80. and But then Morgan and I just started hitting it just because we wanted to see it change. Yeah. We I, can't do, I can't do 100 calls in 12 hours. I'm going to try to do... But 60. We have, but we have so much stuff going on, too. Okay, 60's good. 60 would be five calls an hour. I'm sure I can do that. All right. Should we, should we go to 70 or 80? N I don't know. It's up to you, dude. <laughs> the guys in the control room, my ear people are saying, No way, Lepart! Let's take our first caller of the day. Eight in the morning. 
in San Francisco, 11 and the East Coast and in Floodwood, yes, Minnesota. Yes, it's Michael. He's from Floodwood, Minnesota. What, He's got a question. What time is it in Floodwood? Is it your central time? Yeah, it's uh, 10.05 out here, Leo. All right. Did you have a good holiday so far, Michael? Uh, yes, I did. This I is... believe, you know, it was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> good. Well, what can we do now to help you? with your post-holiday traumatic stress syndrome. Okay, I bought my daughter uh, yes. IROC 835. Yep. That Roger had recommended. Love the IROC. And I got her a gift certificate for iTunes. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's... That was nice of you. That's the problem. Yeah, they don't go together. Yeah, I found that out. Uh, that's, you know, this is one of the big things, and I think we're going to hear a lot of this today, is that almost every one of these music players is designed to work with a, a, a service and may or may not work with other services. Now, the, in the case of iTunes, those uh, files are in AAC format. Yeah. And they're in, now that's not necessarily a problem. I bet you the IROC plays standard AAC, but they're copy protected AAC. But the IROC doesn't know anything about the digital rights management on that. So here's what you're going to have to do, Michael. She could still use, she'll have to download iTunes and put it on Windows, right? Yeah. She could still use that. She, she use the gift certificate, download the songs, then what she wants to do is burn a disc with it, make an audio disc out of it, okay? Okay. And then she'll rip that disc using something like Music Match, something that works with the iRock. Just put it into plain MP3s is the best bet. And then, okay. she, could, then she could play it back on the iRock. She could copy the iRock. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Now, she should do that for, the, for now. It would be probably preferable to find out which music services the iRock works with. It's probably Rhapsody, uh, probably works uh, with uh, Napster, I would bet. But you should figure out which ones it works with. Music Match Download, whatever ones it works with. And, and give her a gift certificate to that the next time, okay? Okay, sounds good. So, so this I time... I say thank you. And you're welcome, Michael. You have a good holiday. Happy holidays. And I always watch you guys. So. Well, Michael, thank you for being the very first caller on our yes. Hackathon. Thank you. You rock. Take okay. care. You I rock, actually, to be specific. So that's important, and we should have probably stressed that before the holidays. When you're, if you're going to give a gift certificate, make sure it's one that goes with the service that that particular player likes. And in fact, some of the times now the Dell player says right on the front, Music Match, made for Dell branded Music Match. And the Samsung says for Napster. And they do that because that's the one it's designed to work for. We're not done. We're just getting started, literally. Coming up, Kat's going to show you how to share your digital photos with friends and family by uploading them to the web when Call for Help continues. The Helpathon's on the air. Get everybody in the room. We're going to have some fun. Pate. Look, Sarah Lane's there in her jammies. Hey you, get MCSE, Cisco, or A-plus certified, guaranteed, with Smart Certify's fast and easy IT certification courses. You'll earn more money and have more job security once you're IT certified. Listen to this. If it wasn't for Smart Certify, I'd still be working a dead-end tech support job. Let me tell you, there's no better way to pass the IT exams than by using these courses. I've done tons of IT training, but Smart Certify's MCSE course was the best by far. Smart Certify has one-on-one -on -one mentoring and a money-back guarantee. I couldn't lose. Now it's easy to advance your career as a certified IT professional. Call 1-877-TRAINING today and mention code IT to take a free course title. Or go online at www.smartcertifiedirect.com. That's toll-free at 1-877-TRAINING or www.smartcertifiedirect.com. Get your free course now. Are you tired of messy cords cluttering your work and living areas? Well, until we truly become a wireless world, there's a simple and inexpensive solution to keeping your cords and wires organized and safe. The Cord Keeper is perfect for any of your cord management needs, from entertainment systems to your computer, printer, phone, anywhere around the office or home. Just wrap your loose wires around the Cord Keeper, twist the ends, and you're done. It's that simple. The Cord Keeper comes in a variety of colors and sizes to fit discreetly in any environment. There's even a mini Cord Keeper for small cables. Choose from several inexpensive packages from the introductory standard pack to the 44-piece bonus pack. The Cord Keeper for a neater, safer environment. To order, head to CordKeeper.com or call 877-9-NO-MESS. That's 877-966-6377. I'm Angela Vaki for Check It Out. 
Renegades. I'm just going to have to do whatever I want to do. Rebels. Yeah. And pop icons. <laughs> Misfits. It doesn't matter. You're a nerd in life and you'll be a nerd always. And millionaires. It's a good way to explore the nature of truth. Forget the pocket protector. I want to make toys for myself. Meet the nerds of the 21st century. Nerd Nation, a new series coming in January to Tech TV. Yeah. For Christmas, I decided to be cat. Oh, I've yeah. got cat's jammies on, <laughs> cat's glasses on. We're gonna have some fun today. We Sarah. are. We're yeah. gonna teach you guys. Cats oh, we yeah. are the cat's meow. <laughs> We're, we're going to talk about some uh, photo sharing services. Now that you've got that new digital camera, how are you going to share all of your digital images? It's, there's some really free and easy ways to do it. Let me show you what we've got here. Sarah, I don't know how, if you use either of these. If you do, I do, actually. In. This is a good Ophoto? one. Yeah, Ophoto is a good one. It's okay. very easy to view other people's uh, right. albums. Right. So what you do is you come to Ophoto, you can sign up, you get a free account, and um, they give you some bonus free pictures. So they actually are helping people get used to the idea of cool. ordering prints online. Because, of course, you can get a, a printer, which I would encourage people to do eventually, but this is a great way just to start out getting actual um, prints of your digital images. Okay, exactly. so what you do, come to a photo, sign up for a free account. It's going to then take you to your account page, and you can have many different albums, right? So I don't know, how many albums do you think you have? On our photo, I think I have three. Right. A couple that you know I have my friends look at when I get back from vacation, right. and then stuff that I'm just constantly adding to. Right. So here's one of my albums here, and then what you can do is you can go ahead and view your images within your album. This is just one of the pictures that I have in here. <laughs> that's a good picture. <laughs> you like that picture? Yeah. Who are all yeah. the little cats? Oh, that's me too. Oh, okay. Yeah. And yeah. Um, so what you can do with the images is you pick which image you want to buy, and then you can do some manipulation to that image. So I can change the border on the image if there's red eye with in the image, I can go ahead and take it out. Here's all my different um, my different options to kind of change the image if there's something I don't oh, really neat. like about it. So it's a real it. simple photo editor. Totally. I can flip it around. I can take out the red eye. Anything I want. I can add effects. I can add borders. And then what I do is I go then to the checkout page and I can buy a print. Now it's uh, 29 cents for a 4 by 6 Pretty easy. That's nothing. I know. It's 30 so easy. Cents. And so. anybody else can do that too as right. long as you let them view your album. Right. Exactly. So like what Sarah's talking about is here is my uh, public album. So all my friends that are in Ophoto, that are members of Ophoto as well, they can send me a link that says, hey, check out my album. As soon as I click on it, enter my username and password, it goes into my um, my whole collection of other people's albums. So I got all my friends here. Here's my cousins. Here's my mom. So my mom. <laughs> the also, cat's your mom? My mom's cat. <laughs> But she saved. It, it, she found it in the middle of the road, oh, dying. It's a key, oh, um, but it's okay now. Wow. Yeah, he's wow. <laughs> there he is. Lucky so, Parker. Uh, so that's it. That's it's, it's a really easy way to go ahead and buy the prints. Now, if you are looking for a way just to share your prints mm -hmm. and you don't, um, you don't necessarily need to buy them, but you want to kind of either keep them public or private, you can go ahead and get a Yahoo briefcase. I don't know. Do you use Yahoo briefcase? Well, you know who does is all the people who post stuff on Craigslist. Right. It's a very right. easy, free way to share photos. Right, and it's very anonymous if you want it to be as well. So here. Here's my Yahoo briefcase, and I don't only uh, put images in here, I also put um, music, and I can put files, anything I want to share publicly, I can go ahead and put into my Yahoo You have briefcase. quite a few private albums in there, too. Uh, yeah, those are all private, they're going to remain private, Ooh. but I have a public one here that you can go ahead and, and check out if you want. So you go to your Yahoo page, and then um, I can go ahead, and it gives you, you know, a pretty big amount of storage here. You know, I've got about 10 megabytes of storage. Yeah. And then I can go ahead, if I want to view any of the images in my album, I can just click on it. And these are uh, some pictures that we took. And so these are public. Those and are I can good share. pictures. Thanks, Sarah. Sorry yeah. that they're sideways. Um, right. But then again, it takes me back to my Yahoo briefcase page. So it's just, it's an easy way, again, to keep things private or to go ahead and the way that you share the public blog, the public blog, the public folder, is it actually gives you a link, and you can just send that link around to people, and then they have access to that folder. Perfect. So they don't have to log in right. or anything like exactly. that. Exactly. Exactly. Cool. So it's cool, and it's easy, and it's free. So you'll find all the details on our <laughs> website, the address techtv.com slash call for help. Send me a link to your Yahoo briefcase or your images. I want to see them, cat mm -hmm. at techtv.com. I want to see those private albums. Yeah, I'll show you want to see my private albums? Uh, no, no, boring, right? Yeah. I use O Photo too. And by the way, people probably don't notice this. I noticed it, uh, uh, that people don't realize there's free software. If you go way down to the bottom okay. of any photo page, the, the software is excellent. 
because it allows you to do all those things you were showing online, allows uh -huh. you to do them offline, and it's great for uploading because, for instance, I had a, a 80 pictures to upload. That took all night. These are all oh, Roger's pictures. Right. I could select them all and then upload them all at once, which is wonderful. I don't need to, I don't need to, you know, I can walk away, and that really makes a, a big difference, you know. So you'll log in. You do need an account to do that, but yeah, the software's free. Normally, you can only do about 10 images yeah. at a time, right? Yeah, and the software, you know, I, people, it, oh, photo should work on this because you don't, it's not apparent that there's free software. It's way right. down there at the bottom. But that's, and by the way, even if you don't use Ophoto, great little program to have for rotating pictures, keeping track of them. It's a nice photo album software. You see all of these? I got a ton of photos. Cool this stuff. is my Christmas card that we sent out this year. We had Ophoto print the card, and they'll even mail it for you if you want, which is kind of fun. Wow. So, I know. It was what is that? Huh? That's a good picture. Well, it's a little blown out here, but it's cute of the family. So. Oh, family that's on your the card. Farm. That's my Christmas oh, card, yeah. You're special. Thank you, Kat and Sarah. <laughs> sure. Welcome, Sarah. Do you Thanks. need those glasses, or are you just doing that for you a know, fashion statement? You know, I just statement? got them. Um, I've been having problems uh, sort of seen later in the day. Yeah. Things, you know why? My eyes just get tired and went away. It's all that computer, computer use. Computer viewing, and it'll kill you every Too time. Too much computer so use. My I've eye doctor actually glasses. gave me uh, special glasses <laughs> I feel to so cut old. the glare and magnify and stuff like that. So it's good. They're really in a, they're like in a hurry to take a thousand calls. Yeah. Coming up, they say, "Move on, move on. We want more calls." All right, we want more calls. Coming We're running up next. Out of time. You keep <laughs> calling. We're running out of time. We only got 11 hours and 45 minutes left. You right. keep calling. We'll keep answering your live calls. A couple more lined up after the break. It's still ahead. Kev's here. He's going to show you a couple of uh, quick hacks for your iPod. This is actually very valuable. Stay right here. A special announcement from the Bargain Network. You can buy cars for as low as $500. Choose from thousands of cars repossessed and seized by the U.S. Customs, IRS, FBI, and private organizations. Call 800-260-2339. Foreclosed homes and distressed properties are selling for as low as $199 a month. HUDs, VAs, and FHAs, repos, and more. Through the Bargain Network, I got my dream car, and I saved a lot of money. New cars and homes are being added every day. For listings in your area, call now. 800-260-2339. Call now. Didn't exactly get what you wanted this year? Get into Gateway for storewide savings on PCs, TVs, cameras, and more. Savings up to $500 on our hottest products, including our multimedia PCs featuring Intel Pentium 4 processors. Save $400 on the perfect complement to your PC, America's best-selling plasma. It's under $2,500 after purchase of wall mount and mail-in rebates. Hurry in for up to $500 in savings storewide. Get the box from Gateway. They're everywhere. Beautiful widescreen high definition televisions struck down in the prime of their careers by an utter lack of HD programming. This holiday season, help us put millions of HD TVs back to work. Now you can subscribe to VU, 39 channels of high definition programming, 21 channels you can't see anywhere else, plus premium and local channels in standard and high definition. Just the thing to keep those HD TVs pretty busy. And if you call 1-866-838-VOOM today, all the monthly programming VOOM has to offer is free through February. 39 HD channels and more, all free if you order right now. So call 1-866-838-VOOM today and give the gift of VOOM. Fire up somebody's HD TV with 39 HD channels. Because an HD TV without VOOM is just a TV. Sunday nights on Tech TV are all new. First, The Truth is Stranger Than Fiction on Secret, Strange, and True. Then, a revealing look at sex in the digital age. Hi, gorgeous. Wired for sex. And extraordinary ideas come to life on Invent This. Then, after Fresh Gear, what if everything you were told to believe was a lie? Explore Tech TV's new series, Conspiracies. Watch Sunday night starting at 8, only on Tech TV. Hey, if you want to see what's going on during our commercial breaks, we've got a spy cam hooked up right behind Sarah and Kat. All you have to do is go to the website, techtv.com slash call for help, and then click the spy cam link right here behind the scenes. What's, what's, what's going on? Let's find out. Oh, there they are from the back. The set cam. I'm going to set up a set cam, too, actually. I put it on my Mac. What were you looking at? You seemed very uh, intense. We're not telling. The, the private folder? Yeah, that's what private. I thought. Man, it's good. Yeah. By the way, they, they uh, I guess, haven't figured out how to reload automatically, so every once in a while, press F5 to reload. Sometimes 
Sometimes it does on its own, sometimes it doesn't. It's one of those things. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to the webmasters, give them a hand. All right, who's next on the line, Kat? All right, we've got a call from far, far away. It's George from Carpathos, Greece. Oh, my buddy George! Yeah, let's visit him What's up, soon. George? I am, I'm going in June. Hey, George, how are you? Finally, I'm waiting for you. My wife is waiting for you, and my kids are waiting for you. I Everybody's can't... waiting for you to come here. How old are your yeah, kids, George? Time. How old are your kids? Well, my first son, he's seven years old. My second son, he's five years old. Perfect. And my little daughter, she's two and a half years old. Well, I'll be bringing my 11-year-old and my 9-year-old. Actually, she'll be 12 by then. Good, now. they'll play together. Oh, it'll we'll be, be so much fun. We're going to go to Carpathos. George has the, uh, the, was it the Pavilion Hotel in Carpathos, right? Oh, very good, yes. yes. Oh, I'm going to be, I'm going there in end of June. Okay, we'll be waiting for you. Now, the Olympics aren't going on then, right? No, the Olympics are going to be in August. Oh, thank goodness, because I'd, yes. I'd never get there. And then, I, so I fly to Athens... And then you take right. a little a little Olympic Airlines plane to Carpathos. You can land on Carpathos? Right. Or you can have, um, we have some charter flights from different countries like Germany ah. or Austria where you can fly straight to Carpathos. Oh, what fun. i got to say it right to now. To alleviate Car Athens. Carpathos. Carpathos. Or the... you can go through Rhodes, which is another big island. You have two okay. flights a day from Rhodes. And then take a little ferry. Uh, no, you go with the airplane again. Oh, you go. Boop, boop. Oh, that's cool. Well, George, yeah. you, you're, you're, uh, you've been so great. I can't wait to go there. My whole family's excited. We're going to do the windsurfing. We're going to go to the beaches. We're going to look at the, the old Greek villages. But maybe I can help you somehow. Yes. I have a little bit of a problem. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I don't know if you notice my webpage. I have a lot of photos. Oh, I love it, too. Yes. And I usually put about 3,000 photos a year up. Oh, man. And it's, I, I run a little... I don't know if you notice my photos. I have my logo. I resize the photos that I take. I've created an action to do all this. Okay. Yeah, good. Now, I usually upload about 100 photos a shot. Right. Now, is there a way where I can do all the process that I do on a batch with Photoshop? Like a batch process, like specify the action that I want to perform. Oh, and then have the and action. the folder where they are. Do it to a million different automatically. pictures at once. That's an, in by the way, here's his site. Just love this site. Uh, and these are the, pic the kind of pictures you upload. These are, now who takes these, by the way? I do. Oh, man, you're great. Yeah. Is this like a hobby for you? Uh, yeah. Are you, it's you're pretty it's serious. A hobby. Yeah. I'm on my second digital camera now. What do you my shoot with? An Olympus. My second one was a Nikon. It's and fitting I love that my second one. in Greece you should shoot with an Olympus, I think. That seems fair. <laughs> and which Nikon? Actually, I found the Nikon a little bit better than the Olympus. I love the Nikon. Which Nikon do you have? Uh, the, it's the um, uh, uh, Cool Pix uh, 4500. Oh, yeah, very nice. Very nice. All right, well, let's see here. Now, I, you know, we've got our Photoshop expert coming in, Alex Lindsay, and I, I think the, I'm going to have to ask him because the actions are, of course, what you want. And you can record right. an action and you can have a variety, you know, it, apply a bunch of stuff. But I don't know of a way, and I don't think there is a way, but Alex will know for sure, to automatically have, say, open in the browser 100 photos and have that action applied to each one individually. I think for right. that, you're going to need to do some scripting. Uh, outside. Uh, well, because what I did now was I wrote one action, and then I asked to run this action like oh, twenty wait a times. Here we go. I open up all my photos and say, "Run this script that runs the other script twenty times." Do you have you tried this? Uh, the automate command on the file menu. Uh, where's that? I'm okay, sorry. file automate, and then there's batch. And what you can do is you can select an action. You you have a, an existing action. Uh -huh. And you can select an action, and then you can apply that action to a folder. Oh, and in fact, you can even one. include all subfolders. Uh, and this will also say whether okay. it stops for errors or errors, or it just keeps going. It puts the uh, errors in a log file. So if there's a problem, you can just keep going. I would think that this is going to do what you want. Uh, I think you're right. I didn't see it. Well, you know, you. Photoshop has so many capabilities. I, you know, I, I, off the top of my head, I couldn't remember either, but I browsed around a little bit and I, could, and I found that. So I think if yes, we choose right. it... Okay, yeah, this will do it. This looks like it'll do it, because it'll, it'll do any arbitrary action. Right, right, right. And, uh, and so you could choose... Now, you, I, I, only, I don't have any custom actions, but you, you would choose your action set and you would pick an action in here, let's say, make a clip path. Right, right. And then you choose a folder. Another question that I have with Photoshop, I know on a layer you can change the dimensions. I saw that on your show. Yeah. But can you change the, um, the color or the contrast on a particular layer. Oh, absolutely. Be, can you ask your expert when he comes? I will. Unless, but, you, unless you know. But I, I'm, I'm, uh, that's the whole point of a layer, is that any action that you apply will be applied to that layer individually. So you select that layer. You, you might have to use the more advanced uh, commands than just the contrast uh, commands. You might have to use a levels command on it. I'll have to ask. A, we'll ask Alex. Okay. Okay. But I think that's something that's, that's a compl I, in fact, that's, 
I know I've done that many times. So that's the whole uh -huh. point of layers is that you isolate parts of your image in separate layers and then you can work on just those parts. And all the right. modifications you apply only apply to the active layer. Uh, uh -huh. oh, so, okay. 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 Hey, do you George, any, do you, can you recommend any good books? For, for Photoshop? Photoshop? You know, it's funny, but I've, I asked, well, we have so many Photoshop experts, and I've asked Alex and several others to recommend books. And in fact, he recommended books on the show, and the one he recommended, I don't even know if it's in print, is Bert, you know Burt Monroy, who's on the screensavers? Burt yes. Monroy's very first book is called, oh, really? fo it's called Photoshop Channel Chops. Channel Chops. And oh, it, it's okay. a wonderful okay. book. Now, I don't know if it's still in print, but if you could find it online. Now, when you're in car... Uh, Carpathos, you obviously don't go to the bookstore and find Photoshop channel chops. No, uh, Amazon.com. You go to Amazon, and do you and you can go to the U.S. version. You don't have to. Is there? Do you have to go to the Greek well, version? Well, there's also a U.K. version, but I usually shop in the U.S. version and because just... I have relatives in America, ah. and I have them ship it to them. And when my father goes to the states and comes back, ah. he brings it back to me. So you kind of use a drop ship. That yeah. makes a lot of sense. So then he just comes with, your, he must love that, with a pile of books oh, yeah, for George. <laughs> hey, George, great to talk to you. My whole Thank family you, is so stoked. I hope you have a happy new year. Happy new year. We're going to see you this summer in Carpathos. Oh, yes, we'll be waiting for you. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Excellent. Yes, thank you, Arnold. The governor is here. That's wonderful. All right, we're going to take another call. Who's on the line with, uh, with another call, Kat? We're sharing bagels over here. And look, we're a number two. Yes, let's oh, go and to they're number the ear people are telling me that they checked on Amazon and Photoshop Channel Chops is still in print. Bert's oh, book. Really a good great time. book. Highly recommended. Are you really going to Greece? I'm going to go. You think I'm joking? I'm going to Carpathos. I'm going to Carpathos. Are you? I'm going to Carpathos. Well, I don't know. <laughs> we're Opa. all going. Yeah, da, da, da. carpathos a thon. I can't wait. carpathos a thon. <laughs> Let's take caller number three on the fun. phone. It's Daniel from Reno, Nevada. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Hey, Daniel, how you doing? Hi, Leo. Welcome to the show. Uh, uh, I was wondering, uh, what did you do for Christmas? Pardon me? What did you do for Christmas? I stayed home with my family. We had some friends over. If you go to my Mo blog, you can see a few pictures uh, from Christmas. Do you know about the Mo blog? Yeah, I've yeah. been there a couple of times already. Yeah, uh, uh, both Kat has one, Sarah has one. If you go to leoville.com and click the mob link on the left here, uh, I post pictures and, and here's, uh, we, uh, Henry got an electric guitar <laughs> for Christmas. So I'll tell you one thing we did was we plugged our ears for Christmas. Oh no. That, no, he, it was so much fun. Uh, we had a lovely turkey. Uh, there it is. Look at this. Sharing oh, the family yeah. photos already. Abby, uh, we, we found a rabbit fur coat. And uh, for Abby, and she's modeling that right there. So we had a lovely <laughs> Christmas. How about you, Daniel? I just sat here and watched the Robot Wars Marathon. <laughs> all robots all the time. Yep. It's also, today's the last day of Hanukkah, and we had some friends over. We lit the menorah. Here, here is uh, Will lighting the uh, eight candles from the menorah. So that was a lot of, we had a great time. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't watch any Robot Wars, but uh, I'm glad you're watching the Helpathon today. What yeah, can we do for you? recording it, too. Oh, well, that'll be 12 hours well spent. I set that on my TiVo. And, you know, the TiVo said, are you sure you want to record a 12-hour program? Are you nuts? Oh, I'm still sticking with VHS. It's more fun to re-edit the commercials. Every, every few hours, you're going to be putting a new tape in there, huh? Mm. What can I do for you, Daniel? Well, I got a question about putting together a um, in-home network to okay. put all these um, video game systems with Netplay on, you know? Yeah, that's a great idea. I'm wondering what size pipe I'd need to keep them from slowing down should people be on all the systems at once. Well, how many systems? We got a PlayStation 2, a GameCube, a Mac, and a PC. Oh, you're to go cool. On the system. You're cool. You could even use Wi-Fi. You could use a 10 base T or Wi-Fi. 11, 11, 10 or 11 megabits would be plenty. Remember, your, ban your internet bandwidth isn't that fast, right? It's only maybe at most a, megabyte, a megabit and a half. Well, I'm still on dial-up, so I'm going to be getting new everything. Don't worry about the network, Daniel. <laughs> it's the dial-up that's going to slow you down. The network's plenty fast enough. Uh, we play our LAN parties on a, a 10 base T net, and then, of course, we're going out on a T1 pipe, which is only 1.54 million bits per second, and that's plenty of a pipe to play 14, 15, 20 people at once. So you're set. Now, I'm going to show you one thing you might be wanting to get. Are you going to do wireless or wired? I'm not sure yet. It's going to be based on the cost. Yeah, well, costs are a little higher for the uh, wireless. The advantage is if the, if, the, if the systems aren't all together or you don't want a lot of wires coming out the back, it's nice. This is what I use for my TiVo and my uh, Xbox. This is a, a wireless bridge, which is kind of nice. You can't just use a plain old wireless card or a USB wireless device. This is a special device. It costs about $100. 
it, it plugs into a standard Ethernet there, going into the Xbox, the PlayStation 2, or even your, your PC or Mac, and then gets the internet access through here. And this actually has some, a little chip in it, some brains. It does a little DHCP. It actually uh, it acts as a little mini, almost a router. It's called a bridge, though, technically, a wireless bridge. So that might be something that you'll need for that network there. Okay. All right. But if you want to do wired, you know, $15 for the card, a few bucks for the cable, it'll be easy to do if you don't mind that. Hey, at least this isn't as shocking as my last question, that static electricity thing. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember that. Now, Daniel, are you, are you married? Do you have a wife? No, oh, but then. my mom's living with me right now. Don't worry about it then. Have wires everywhere. It's only when you, oh, it's only when you get married and settle down that your wife's going to say, hey, can you get wireless? Because I don't want to trip all over that stuff. <laughs> I, you know, I should have known. The guy's got a GameCube, an Xbox, and a PlayStation. Single. Thanks for the call, Daniel. <laughs> Coming up, we'll yeah, single. Mm -hmm. Coming up, we're going to stay with the phones. We're going to answer more of your live calls, so stay tuned. We are just getting warmed up. The call for Helpathon is on the air. Okay, remember we're just checking out prices. So no matter what they say, we're not buying yet. Right. What's running through your veins? Ice water. Right. Can't face it. So with Circuit City's Price Match Plus, you're covered on price. Well, take it. <laughs> Go ahead, take it. If you find a lower price within 30 days of purchase, we'll give you back 110% of the price difference. Circuit City, we're with you. Nice game face. You didn't even see it coming. Here's a pop quiz to raise your credit IQ. You cut up your credit card on your 26th birthday, owing $3,000 at an APR of 20%, you pay the 2% minimums every month. You're never late. How much will it cost you to pay off your $3,000 debt? $16,000, and you'll be 80 years old. Paying minimums, it's a maximum problem. We're the National Consumer Council, raising our voice for a debt-free America. Customers expect a website that delivers instant results, like Progressive.com. Buy car insurance instantly from the site rated number one seven times in a row. Visit Progressive.com. Weeknights on Tech TV. It's the screensavers. Patrick and Leo tackle your toughest problems. I've got a teenage son in a DSL line. Uh-oh, you got trouble, my friend. Turn you on to cool new stuff. We got tech news. We got the real deal. We got a win thing. And bring you special guests making and using technology today. I'm going to take a little hammer. Why do a screwdriver when I... Okay, I'm out of here. Help, how to, and ha ha ha. It's all on the Screensavers weeknight to 7, 6 Central on Tech TV. Want to get your game on? Well, viewers, we've granted your wish. Games, games, and more games. Turn to Tech TV for the best in gaming, gadgets, and fun. Damn it, if you want the cutest little thing with a machine gun. Let Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb show you how to turn it on. We are a validating force to be reckoned with. <laughs> X-Play, weeknights at 11, 10 Central, only on Tech TV. The elves are back. Show us what you got. And you can bowl them right down Santa Claus Lane. Tech TV presents Super Elf Bowling. Download the game now and go for the perfect score. Super Elf Bowling. It's all new and available only at techtv.com and instorm.com. good. I think we might make it. I mean, how, how long? How, we, we've done four hours, five hours. I think I can make it to the 12 hours, Kat. I, I feel good. Dude, we've done one half hour. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. We're one twenty-fourth of the way. I have an entire, ca I have six cases of Red Bull back here. So soon. Ten bucks says Leo cracks by hour three. Is that the vote? <laughs> hour three? Jeez, you guys have no faith. I'll take that no bet. faith at all. <laughs> so who's on the Fine lines now. next? All right. Oh, it's caller at number four. It's oh, on the Tech TV. You hit now that serving. button on the Tech TV Net Camp Network. It's David from Saniston, British Columbia. Well, we're at international show today. Oh, Hello, yes. David. Hi, Leo. Merry Christmas. I love your tree in the back there. That's gorgeous. It is nice. Now, that can't be a live tree. That's too perfect. 
Exactly. Yeah, it's a, it, look, it's a, just exactly a triangle with a nice star. It's beautiful, yep. beautiful. What can I do for you today, David? Uh, I've been wondering, that you, you've always uh, talked about Google as a great search engine all the time. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it is good. I use it once in a while. But what I primarily use is the address bar. I just type what I want in the address bar. Right. And do search. That works pretty well. It does. Like, um, as an example, I did, just did a Cat Schwartz. Yeah. The address bar gave me 54,000 hits. Uh, Google gave me 141,000. And fewer is better when you're talking about uh, hits, of course, uh, if it's the right few. So what he's talking about is Internet Explorer has this uh, kind of nice feature where if you, if you type something that's not a URL, it'll actually do a search. In fact, it even says in Internet Explorer, it says when you type something that's not a URL, it says search for. So it's exactly. letting, it's kind of, see there, it's letting you know, so you get the top, that, that that's not going to be a URL, that's going to be a search for. Now, the default it uses is MSN. And, okay. And that's not the best search engine in the world, but, you know, if your search requirements are pretty straightforward, if you're always searching for something obvious, like Cat Schwartz, it's not going to be hard. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and it's going to do a, a, a great job. You can, okay. by the way, change this default search to anything you want. So I would just say, as long as you're getting good results, that's fine. We like Google because we tend to get the best results. Although, I have to say, in the last month, Google's search results have been going downhill a little bit because of something people are doing to kind of fool Google. I, I've not been actually as happy with Google as in the past. MS, Microsoft's also been very aggressive in upgrading MSN. They're trying to take on Google, and one of the ways they do it is by making it the default search engine in Internet Explorer, which 90% of uh, the world uses. So, in fact, I would say MSN is probably... If after Google, the number two search site. Maybe it's Google, Yahoo, MSN. Maybe it's Google, MSN, Yahoo. I, I'm sure those are the top three right there. Okay. You can change it if you want to. It's a, an ox, I'm in Windows 98, so let me go to a more recent version of uh, Windows, because then I'll be using IE6 for sure. You could change it by changing your default search engine. That's actually a kind of complicated thing to do. You have to open the search. <laughs> I'm not sure I, I even want to do it at, at this point, but you open the search uh, window and, and you'll have to change the way it behaves and then you can add it, add it, add it, it gets kind of complicated. Um, should, I, should I do it or should I save it for another? Maybe I'll save it for later in the show. It's fairly simple, but, 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 it, but it is uh, about seven or eight steps. However, you're happy. Be happy. Don't worry. No, and if you want, but yeah, that's you just know, a quick, nice, quick one. It's pers personally my uh, my feeling about personal computer is it's personal. It's yours. Yeah, go ahead. Do yeah. whatever you want. Great. Thank you, David. I appreciate it. Thank you, Leo. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Have a great 2004. This is Boxing Day in Britain. The day after Christmas is Boxing Day, and I've been told that, and this is kind of this figures in Britain. That the reason they call it Boxing Day is what you're supposed to do is box up all your leftovers from the big Christmas meal, your prime rib, your Yorkshire pudding, and give it to the servants. So this is the day the servants get... Historically, what Boxing Day is all about? <laughs> that's, that's what I've been told. That's... I'm making it up. <laughs> it, it sounds like it. It's Canadian. also Kwanzaa. Let's start a message board thread about that Let's see, Why do they call it Boxing Day? It's, also, it's Boxing Day in Canada, too, I believe they celebrate, because they're uh, in the Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's Kwanzaa, which is, of course, a, a holiday African Americans all over uh, the country celebrate. Millions and millions of them. Festivus and, has come and gone. And the last Festivus? When is Festivus? <laughs> no, it seems like it. Ask Mr. Costanza. It is right. <laughs> and it's winter solstice, and of course Hanukkah last day today. Mm -hmm. Do you, you celebrate Hanukkah at home when you go home, or uh, cat, nope. or, or no? Nope? This year we were very not. We were very detached. Didn't do we anything. We had no trees. No tree. No menorah. Nothing. Uh, we got some presents yesterday, which was cool, but for some reason, <laughs> it was, uh, I'm partying right now. We had fun <laughs> on Hanukkah because we, we had, you know, the brew, we did that on an electric guitar. Oh, cool. And that was, <laughs> was oh, so, did the kids go nuts the with kids, their presents? Yeah, it was so much cool. fun. It was so much fun. Hey, we'll talk more about the holidays in a little okay, let's bit. Do it. When we have some time, I want to show you how to modify the default search engine in Internet Explorer, because that's a useful thing to know. But coming up next, we can't, we can't give this man short shrift, the dark tipper from the screensavers. Kevin Rose is here to show you how to suck your MP3s off your iPod. Apple doesn't want you to do it, but he's figured out how <laughs> when call for help. And the helpathon rolls on. Here. Stay here. <laughs> Tired of embarrassing facial hair and dread painful hair removal from sensitive areas? Hi, I'm Debbie James, here for Finishing Touch, the new pen-shaped hair remover that erases unwanted hair instantly and painlessly. 
It's designed for precision hair removal from even the most sensitive areas, absolutely pain-free. Watch, Finishing Touch can remove hair from all sensitive areas, yet it's powerful enough to remove even the thickest hair anywhere. The secret is the micro technology that literally erases the hair cleanly and discreetly. And watch, it's safe to the touch, guaranteed. Shaving bikini lines leaves razor burns and bumps, but Finishing Touch removes hair without a trace of irritation and is safe on even the most sensitive skin. Plucking eyebrows is painful, but Finishing Touch has a special attachment that painlessly grooms eyebrows or unibrows. Waxing can hurt. Now magically erase hair along the lip or chin, remove hair from all sensitive areas, toes, ankles, or knees. It's perfect for the entire family. It removes stray hair anywhere. Sleek and discreet for purse or makeup bag. Call now and get the Finishing Touch Precision Hair Remover System, a $30 value for only $14.99. As a free gift, you'll get the quick dry hair wrap to keep hair out of the way. A $10 value, yours free. But wait, call now and you'll also get our Finishing Touch Lighted 5 Time Magnification Mirror for facial hair removal, contact lenses or makeup. A $20 value, absolutely free. You get it all. The Finishing Touch Hair Remover, eyebrow attachment, carrying case, quick dry hair wrap, and lighted mirror, an incredible $60 value for only $14.99. But you have to call now. Here's how to order. To order Finishing Touch for $14.99 plus $5.99 shipping and handling, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-540-3773. That's 1-800-540-3773. So call 1-800-540-3773. Extreme drinking, binge eating, thrill seeking. What happens when people push their bodies to the limits? Watch Tech TV's Body Hits, the only show that examines how your body stands up to the test of modern living. See how people live fast, work hard, and take it to the next level. Body Hits, a new series, premiering Tuesday, January 20th at 9.30, 8.30 Central on Tech TV. Yeah, Greg Tremelling on our uh, on drums there. Let's hear for Greg. <sighs> if you just got a new iPod, you're probably using the bundled iTunes software to manage your MP3 or AAC files. It's kind of mandatory. However, Apple doesn't want you to be able to take the files off your iPod and put them on any computer. That would be a great way to ferry songs from friend to friend and steal music. But Kevin says. We are not going to let us be thwarted. Yes, you know, I have a laptop, I have a desktop, I have two desktops and a laptop, right. and I want an easy way to be able to share those files back and forth. Sure. And now, you can share regular files just by copying into the hard drive and right. moving them over. It's just the music that's hidden away, right? Exactly. Yeah. Once you, well, important thing to know is once you hook your iPod up mm -hmm. and you copy all the music to the hard drive, there's a little tiny hard drive inside your iPod. Mm -hmm. This one happens to be a, a 10 gigabyte hard drive. Mm -hmm. It doesn't allow you to take it back off the hard drive. So it's trapped on your iPod. Right. Now you can go into the iTunes and you can delete and remove them, but you can't suck them back off. Right. And in fact, if you hook it up to another machine, and it'll, if you, if you set, if you let it, it'll replace all the tunes on there with the tunes on that machine. Exactly. Which is a real pain. It's an anti-piracy feature. It is. Okay. It is. That's what Apple has built in. But yeah. check this out. This is iTunes running right here, and you'll see it's detected my iPod. It sees all the songs. It sees all the songs. This is what most people use right here to manage all their MP3s. But I'm going to show you, you another piece of, of software. Yeah, I like Bjork a yeah. lot. Yeah, that's good. Bjork's awesome. So check this out. This is a little <laughs> piece of software called XPlay. Yeah. And what this does, you install this, it has a 15-day free trial, and if you like it, you pay $24 for it, $24.95. And uh, check this out here. Here's the wizard it walks you through. So the second you plug your iPod in, it's going to launch this wizard automatically after you install the software. You choose next. It's going to say, here's the name of your iPod. Kevin Rose, that's fine. Kevin Rose's iPod. Uh, do not sync my iPod. Now, you that's can also important. tell to sync. Yeah, but yeah. I tell do not sync at all. If you sync, you'll replace everything on the iPod with what's on that Exactly. Hard drive. Exactly. Right. So I say do not sync, and then I, you can register your iPod, but I say no here. So this really is finish. iPod software. Uh, I mean, it even registers it with Apple. Exactly. Yeah. It, it, it does everything that a normal iTunes would do, okay. but it's, it's their own little proprietary thing. Now, check this out here. Here's an eDrive, our iPod. You can see the little the logo of the iPod right there. That, that's our iPod. It's our eDrive now. You can view it. Wow. And, uh, this is something you can't normally do. Well, you can drag and drop files to store them as a but hard drive. But you only drive. see these files. You won't see this. Exactly. And that's what you want is that music it, file. The X-Play yeah. music. Now, this is where you go into and you oh, can look just... look at that. See, here's your artists, your albums, your playlists, your songs. And you can go in here and just interface. drag and drop <gasps> that's right great. there. So it shows all your songs in one main view here. Now, it's important to note 
This is not how they're normally set up. Let me show you the behind the scenes. This may be a, a little too complex, but let me show you here. See this hidden folder right here? Yeah. This is how Apple is storing their music. If you go into the music folder this here. This is the actual music. This is the actual music that's being stored. You see they use these F folders. It's really. Yeah. It's a complex it's, database, basically. Exactly. Yeah. It's a very complex database, but you don't have to mess with any of that. You don't have to worry how that, that works at all. You just go right in here, it interprets oh, it all, insane. and you drag and drop. Wow. And so, you can order it by artist, by album, uh -huh. by song name. So you, you have that same kind of uh, organization that you have. Exactly. Right. And then you can also uh, drag and drop the songs right to your desktop or anywhere right. else that you want to store them. X-Play it has been around for a while. It's kind of interesting. They sold. This was software that Windows users used to read Mac disks of any kind. Mm -hmm. But now they've realized, hey, the big market here. Well, they started. The yeah, they started off with this software. The reason they released XPlay was, you remember when the iPods first came out, you right. could only use them with a the Mac. Right. You couldn't right. use them with the PC, and so they wanted to make software that, you, that would bridge the gap between right. the PC and the Mac. Now all Macs, all iPods work with all PCs. Right. But you still can't do this unless you. How it, much is the software if you decide? Uh, Twenty-four ninety-five. But but you get it for two weeks for free. Exactly, two weeks for free. And another thing to mention is that once you add this functionality and you get it as your E drive, another cool thing is you can use uh, things like um, Windows Media Player. Right. It'll recognize it, and you can copy yeah. it to the device. Yeah. So you can just say, choose the device in the drop-down Windows Media Player, right. and you can use, uh, you know, a Music Match and the other ones through this uh, using this software. Basically, it puts a disk driver on the Windows machine so it can now read the files exactly. on that machine. Exactly. That's pretty cool. Very it's a great cool. little, great little add-on if you have X an iPod Play. and you want to, you know, take it to the next level, do a little more advanced features. Is it XPlay.com? Uh, no, it is not. It's Media Four. I'll have to find the That's URL. That's the name of the I'll company. The name of the uh, yeah. company is Media Four. If you go to Google and type in XPlay, it's the first result. They're, that comes they're up. great people. I've known them for a long time, and I'm glad to see that they have a. They've always had a little niche market about right. reading Mac drives, but not not that many people see people wanted to do that. Now there's a lot of them. Yeah, they have a lot there's more people a download this. Market I went to download.com and there's hundreds of thousands of people that have downloaded yeah, the software. It's very so. useful. I've done it. Hey, cool thank stuff. you, Kevin. For more information, check out the show notes on the website. We have a link there to uh, Media 4 as well as uh, more information about the program at techtv.com slash call for help. Up next, our holiday gift to you. We're playing the Wired World Challenge every single hour for 12 hours. A lot of big winners today. We're going to meet our first contestant right after the break. Stay here. Yes, so there. There are many events this season, but one you don't want to miss. The Infinity Event of the Season. Featuring the FX, the vehicle that puts the sport in sport utility. The Infinity event of the season ends January 5th. See your Infinity dealer for attractive lease and APR finance rates. I moved to Earthlink because I only want the internet that's good for my kids. Because I like being the guy you can always reach. Because an Earthlink address makes a good impression. I moved to Earthlink high speed because my life moves fast. Because access should come with choices. Different people, different passions, different reasons for moving to Earthlink. Whether you choose dial-up, high-speed, or wireless, make the internet your internet. Call 1-800-827-0142. We're currently offering six months of dial-up service featuring Earthlink Accelerator at half price. I moved to Earthlink because they hate internet pollution as much as I do. I moved because they block pop-ups. And I'll take all the help I can get. Because Spam Blocker keeps my inbox neat and clean. Speed, security, control. Your reasons are your own. Call, go online, or visit these retailers and get six months of dial-up service featuring Earthlink Accelerator at half price. Move to Earthlink. It revolves around you. A special announcement from the Bargain Network. You can buy cars for as low as $500. Choose from thousands of cars repossessed and seized by the U.S. Customs, IRS, FBI, and private organizations. Call 800-260-2339. Foreclosed homes and distressed properties are selling for as low as $199 a month. HUDs, VAs, and FHAs, repos, and more. Through the Bargain Network, I got my dream car, and I saved a lot of money. New cars and homes are being added every day. For listings in your area, call now. 800-260-2339. Call now. One sees never enough of a great thing. This is like seeing Haley's Comet or getting friendly viewer mail. Now, twice the action, twice the excitement. Oh! Go! Oh! X-Play hits you with back-to-back -back episodes that are double the fun of just one. And it's covered in rich Corinthian leather. Oh, it is. It's the X-Play double play you've been dying for. It's a lot of fun, and eventually you go crazy. Watch a full hour of X-Play every day. Weekdays at 4, 3 Central on Tech TV. Welcome back to the Call for 
Help a thought. I'm Leo Laporte, and it's time now, as it will be every hour, to play the Wired World Challenge. Cat, oh, you've yes. changed from a jammies to a pink jumpsuit. Yes. Isn't you know, that you cute? can only be lazy for so long. Yeah, yeah well, I'm glad you got dressed. Yeah, yeah. We're going to change you for being many here. times. Oh, no, it's thank so you, nice. Leo. Aw. Who's on the line for our <laughs> It's our Sally contest. from Yalesville, Connecticut. Sally is a bookkeeper and watches Call for Help four to five times a week. Four Good to five you, times Sally. a week. All right. Sally, what happens if you watch four times? What happens on that fifth day? You actually do something? I'm at work. Oh, all right. Do you, do you get to do you get to watch at work? No. 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 This would be unfortunately not. Very I distracting. watch with my 83 year old mother every time I watch. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. What's her name? Ethel. Hi. Is she watching now? Hi, Ethel. <laughs> did you and Ethel have a great holiday? Yes, we did. Thank oh. you very much. Well, welcome to the show. I'm going to make your holiday a little better. I might have a little gift for you. That would be so cool. Let me tell you and the folks at home how we play. I'm going to give you four categories. You'll pick a question. Actually, a category. I'll give you a question from that category. And 15 seconds to come up with an answer. If you do it right, the best part, you get to pick a number from 1 to 25. That's the big board. And lots of great prizes on there. Just full of great prizes. Are you ready? I got my fingers crossed. All right. Maybe Ethel could help you, too. Get, get Ethel. Okay. Borg, these are categories. Borg assimilation. Space exploration, multiple hard drives, and sci-fi novels. Which one would you like? Uh, multiple hard drives. Yeah, the only one that's not a sci-fi question. Yeah, I don't oh. know anything about sci-fi. <laughs> All the rest are like sci-fi. We call it, uh, us geeks, a redundant array of intelligent or sometimes inexpensive disks. A redundant array of inexpensive disks, better known as redundant Array of in, inexpensive discs. You could almost spell it out. Right? Whoa, you sure got it right. Was that too much of a clue? I'm going to be generous on this uh, call for help with them. Pick a number from 1 to 25. Uh, I promised my mother 17. Mm, lucky 17. Let's see what we won. Hey, you got a crucial gizmo. It's a 256 megabyte USB flash drive. These are the greatest thing for copying data. If you want to bring the books home from work, you plug it into the machine, you copy the data over just like it's a big hard drive, and you bring it home. How? how could you use that? Absolutely. I gave one as a present, as a matter did, of fact. Did you really? These are yeah, great. Oh, these, and Crucial makes we, the, the, some really great stuff. So we're really happy to be able to give you that. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate oh, it. Oh, that's a nice pride. A little stocking stuffer for you. Well, Absolutely. We, we appreciate your playing. Take care. Thank you. See you later. Say, say hi to Ethel for me. I will. We're going to play the game again next hour and next hour after that and the 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 hour after that. So make sure you stay tuned. The Call for Helpathon continues. Coming up. More great questions. Let's do some email questions, maybe some message boards questions. The call for help the song continues. Stay right here. Yes, yes, sounds good. OLM.net presents more true tales from the World Wide Web. At OLM, our web hosting customers say it best. Well, I just have an old 56K modem, but it doesn't slow me down any. With OLM, I get all the speed I need. I've been with OLM for over two years, and I have never had a question that they could not answer. So Visit OLM today or call 1-877-2-OLM-NET. Over 200,000 websites. OLM.net. This looks cool. Mega rad. <laughs> Mega bad. Now the sad sister circle. That's good. How can the butterfly help you? Find out at msn.com. Oh, hold on. Yo, what are you doing? Playing team ball, Gary. What are you doing? Trying to go baseline if you let me. His D's been pretty tough today. You're right. Get back on the court, glove. <laughs> With NBA Shootout 2004, you're in control. Sports ready for everyone. I've got to tell you, a few weeks ago, I saw the White's metal detector ad on TV. In no time at all, my local dealer had me out treasure hunting. I was finding the good stuff my first day. And the best part? You can see what's in the ground before you dig it up. 
Your treasure hunting adventure can start right now. Call for your free catalog. My wife said I needed a healthy hobby. She's proud of the weight I've lost and really proud of this. Call now. This is Tech Live. Are you ready? Take a ride. See how it's done. Don't know what to buy? We do. It's hot topics, movie magic, cool science, and tech gadgets. Get it? It's one cool ride. Tech Live. It's all you need. Weeknights at 8, 7 central, only on Tech TV. some fun in the next hour, a little chemistry experiment. I have a little time, so let me show you the, um, the uh, uh, way to change the default search in Internet Explorer. We were talking about that a little bit earlier. Uh, our caller was using uh, the search bar, and it would always come up MSN, which is fine, and he was happy with it, and he said, well, why should I care? And I said, you shouldn't. Uh, Kevin pointed out that if you install the Google toolbar, it will change the default search, but here's the way to do it officially. Let me get to the menu, and we're going to go to view, and we're going to look at the, we're going to open up the, uh, the search bar. Actually, you could just do that with a control E. That's this search assistant. And this is in Internet Explorer 6. Now, what you're going to do is go down here to change preferences. And we're going to change internet search behavior right down here. They've actually made it easier. The last time I did this, you had to go through a whole bunch of rigmarole. With classic internet search, use Google or whatever you want. With Search Companion, use Google or whatever you want. And then say OK. And you could decide, I prefer classic. I don't like the little dog. So I but if you like the dog, leave it on. And then that's all you have to do. And that'll change the default search behavior. Now, I think it changes for the toolbar. If it doesn't, then I'll have to play with that. Then we'll have to uh, try another way. Let me just see if it does. I can do that. Search for me. And see if Google comes up. Oh, now we see we have my, see this is, we have a my web search, which has changed the default search because I installed the my web search toolbar. So I'll have to take that off. Uh, this actually is pretty nice because it searches a bunch of different ones. Anytime you install those toolbars, they change the default search behavior as well. Sarah, you haven't done anything all, uh, all hours. Oh, I've got all sorts of stuff coming Do you have up. stuff? She's You're going to have a, a cook-off a little bit. She's, she's making you laugh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're talented. You're getting in trouble over there, I can tell. Well, it's bad, you know. Two girls in pink. I like it. I like it. Spiked eggnog. Here, she can tell you what Boxing Day is. How's that? Oh, did you look it up? Well, oh, yeah. We, well, we got quite a few responses. Yeah, uh, but I want to know what the definitive answer is. Uh, some historians say that the holiday developed because servants were required to work on Christmas Day yeah. but took the following day off, which would be today. As servants prepared to leave to visit their families, their employers would present them with gift boxes. As Thank I you. said. Was there anything in the gift boxes? Or food? Are they just well, the boxes? this is what I thought. It was the food from yesterday's meal, but apparently they give them gifts right. as well. That was from Blood cell underscore of doom, by the way. Oh, Thanks, well. blood cell. <laughs> blood cell of doom would know. <laughs> <Blood cell. laughs> some historians say. Any burning questions in the uh, chat well, room? Some people want to know if we're going to be selling a copy of the Call for Helpathon on DVD, which we don't. We know. are not, as far as I know. What kind of batteries should you use in a digital camera? This guy's saying the double A is at his. Uh, you know, what, I'm going to answer camera. that next hour because I, I have brought I brought a, a duffel bag mm -hmm. full of 300 pounds worth of junk from my house, Sweet. including my battery choice. So I'll, we'll talk about that. Okay. Uh, I also want to mention, by the way, uh, when we have somebody on who wins a prize on the big board on our mm -hmm. Wide World Challenge, remember that number. She picked 17. That's not going to have a prize behind it anymore. It's going to have my book. That will be the prize <laughs> if you pick 17 again. So you got to watch. Pay attention. Lots of great stuff coming up in the uh, second hour of our Carl for Help Thought. We're going for 12 today. Our favorite, favorite uh, crazy chemist, Richard DiPietro, is here to blow stuff up and explain why IBM pays him handsomely for his chemistry skills. Kat's going to reveal the sites we use to find all our amazing free files and a whole lot more as the call for help continues. Stay right here. Look at it again. Oh. 
We're back? We're back. Well, that was the shortest break in the world. Don't they have something at the top of the hour to do? <laughs> I said, we'll be right back. I, don't we have Tech Live or something to go to? Yeah, All right, we're back. We actually were chatting about the, uh, the, 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 the uh, counter. Right. And I think what we should do is everybody we help, whether it's an email, a chat room, or whatever, we should people increment served. the people served. People served. All right. So uh, we want to encourage people to uh, call in. Yes. Are, are the lines like uh, slow, or are we having a lot of? No, we... not. I mean, we're doing okay, but you know, they're always open. There's so if always you have a room question for more. You want to have answered on the air? This might be your chance. So go ahead and give us a call. 888-989-7879 is the phone the number. number. We'd love to get you uh, in on the show. Right. So what do we, now where everybody's thrown for a tizzy because I guess we were supposed to do something at the top of the hour and we didn't. Should we take another call? Or? Yeah, let's go ahead and take um, Michaela from Duncan, British Columbia. All let's right. go ahead and I do love that. the name is Michaela. Is it our Michaela? I love Hello. it. It's Michaela. <laughs> I, Can you I, help me? I knew we were going to Tech Live at the top of the hour. <laughs> We just got you all confused. Can, can you do half an hour? I can do half an hour. My cell phone might not last that long. So are you home for the holidays? Is that where you are? I am home in Canada, and I want to oh. ask you if you can tell me what Boxing Day means. Well, you know, we were just talking about that. <laughs> and what I said, now, because you celebrate Boxing Day in Canada, do you not? We're celebrating Boxing Day today. Because it's a Commonwealth, and all the Commonwealth nations celebrate it. That's and right. I said it's because when because the, 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 the uh, owners of the big house pack up all the food from Christmas Day, and they give it or other presents to their uh, servants on the day after Christmas because they that's, had. To... That's basically what I think the original meaning was. I think um, it was more recent times. I remember we all the idea was way back in the day that the more fortunate folks packed up things that they didn't need and gave that's them to nice. the less fortunate folk. What has become? Uh, I'll tell you what happened in Canada in recent years. It has become the biggest shopping day ah. in the country. Ah. Everybody is out shopping. You know how on Thanksgiving weekend in the U.S. everybody yes. goes shopping? No, this is the day today. This is the day. Are, and is I'm that, avoiding the store. I was going to say, is that what you're doing right now? So you're not no, shopping. All right. We're driving. Um, I'm. I don't know if you know British Columbia very well. I'm on Vancouver Island, oh, and my nice. one sister lives in Duncan, and we're driving about oh. two and a half hours north to go see another sister. How so. fun. We're visiting. Now, I want to say something about Michaela, because she honors Boxing Day, but she does it before. Every year, every year that you've been here, you've gathered toys for, is it the mission? What is the, what's the, the center that you gathered? It's so nice that you're pointing this out. This is very cool. There's a, in the, in San Francisco, the, this proper, there is a, a neighborhood called the Mission, and uh, they have um, the Mission Neighborhood Health Center. The area is predominantly, um, resided by, that doesn't make sense, I'm not speaking very well, it's early in the morning, forgive me, I haven't had coffee. <laughs> That's quite a uh, The people that live there are predominantly Latino, right. and uh, so the, the health center really reaches out to Latino families in need and helps with any, you know, people that have just arrived and need right. help with translation services and health services, but every year they throw this super cool Christmas party for all of the kids and families in the neighborhood. And they, uh, we found out about it about five years ago. And every year, I've been, har you know, I've been by your office harassing folks for either money or yep. toys. That's so and then great. we have this great little Christmas party for them, and it's a lot of fun. How did it go this year? Was it great? It went really well. They just had um, some renovations at the center, so they downscaled it a little bit. Yeah. But when I was there, the woman, um, I I'm totally promoting our company because I got to tell you, they were so pleased with the amount of toys that we got together. Oh. They said they called us their their tech TV angels oh. that we had been the biggest provider of toys every year for the past five years. That's so really great. It's kind of cool for us to be a part of the community because, you know, being a national work, sometimes we think big and don't think locally. And so this is a really good chance for us every year to think locally. It's our neighborhood. It's where we are. It is our neighborhood. You know, I, I got to acknowledge you, Michaela, because it, we wouldn't be doing it if you didn't organize it every year. Every oh, year well, so. goodness, 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 goodness. stop that. Thank you so me. much. I don't mean to embarrass you. <laughs> How's so, the show going so far, by the way? It's so far so good, I feel like we could make another hour or two, in fact. Wow. Well, you only have 11 to go. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, caramba. <laughs> hey, it's so great to talk to you. Thank you so much for joining us on your no holiday. Problem. Please enjoy the rest of your vacation. When will you be back uh, on Tech I'm, Live? Well, this is the funny thing. I'm going to be up here until the 2nd of January, but then I fly straight out to Detroit for our... Um, 
week's Detroit Auto Show special. Ooh, so fun. the next time you'll see me on air, you know, with fresh, fresh stuff will be from the Detroit Auto Show. And I cannot wait. It's going to be so cool. I, you do that every year. I look forward to it every year because the coverage is so great. It's, it's so it's interesting. It's great eye candy, isn't it? It's yeah, a lot of fun. Love seeing that stuff. Well, but, listen to all of you guys that are working so hard today on Boxing Day. <laughs> Happy holidays to all of you and to everybody watching. Um, from my family to yours. Michaela Pereira from Tech Live. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bless you, dear. Have a wonderful holiday, all right? My mom's waving at you, Leo. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Dad's waving, too. <laughs> well, drive. Now, keep your hands on the wheels, Dad. Come on. Hands on the wheels, Dad. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Michaela. Take care. take care. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. What fun. What unexpected. I didn't know Michaela was going to call us. That's great to talk to her. And she confirms. I, I was kidding about that being our Michaela, but it was. It was our Michaela. I had no idea. It's a and treat. she confirms that that's what Boxing Day is. It's also now a charitable event, and I think that's a nice thing. Good. Well, it was great to talk to her. We're going to talk to a lot, some more uh, surprise guests. A lot of people booked for the show, but most importantly, you. We're going to take more of your calls like this. <laughs> but coming up next, what happens when computers and chemistry collide? Well, IBM chemist Richard DiPietro, that's what happens. Stand Ooh. back. He's going to light it. He's here to tell us what an IBM chemist does and dazzle us with some chemical reactions when the call for help on continues. Stay right here. Yeah. You want your own dedicated web server for only $99 a month? Go to Server Beach. I host sites for five of my friends, and it pays for itself. My server has almost unlimited email space, 60 gigs. The network's awesome. I host my game server there. They host your Linux or Windows server on a Cisco network, backed by a great uptime guarantee. Believe it. Check it out. Serverbeach.com. You want your own dedicated web server for only $99 a month? Server Beach. Need extra cash? Don't charge it on your credit cards. Get a second mortgage with a no closing cost option from Ditech.com. With the second mortgage, you can consolidate your existing high interest debts, get the cash you need for any purpose, and end up with one low monthly payment. A second mortgage with a no closing cost option is a great idea from Ditech.com. For fast, friendly service, apply online or call 1 800 71 Fix right now. My name's David Abreu. As a firefighter, I'm able to give something back to the city every single day. But these streets aren't the only ones that need protecting. That's why when I'm not wearing this uniform, I'm a soldier in the U.S. Army Reserve. Find out how David protects his city and his country as a civil affairs specialist in the U.S. Army Reserve. Only at GoArmy.com. Twice the hell. Twice the hell. Twice the fun. Twice, twice the fun. The screen savers. Twice, twice a night. Twice, twice, twice a night. Catch Leo, Pat, and the gang two times, two times. every weeknight. First at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 Pacific. Then again at 12 Eastern, 9 Pacific. Two times, two times the magic. magic. Two times the mayhem. The screen savers. Two favors. times every weeknight. Only on Tech TV. Only on Tech TV. Renegades. I'm just going to have to do whatever I want to do. Rebels. Yeah. And pop icons. <laughs> Misfits. It doesn't matter. You're a nerd in life and you'll be a nerd always. And millionaires. It's a good way to explore the nature of truth. Forget the pocket protector. I want to make toys for myself. Meet the nerds of the 21st century. Nerd Nation, a new series coming in January to Tech TV. It might be hard to believe it takes more than transistors, uh, circuits, and electricity to build a PC. It also takes some chemistry. Here to fill us in on this unsung computer manufacturing science is Senior Scientist for Chemistry at IBM's Almaden Research Center, Richard DiPietro. Welcome, Richard. Welcome. Thank you, Leo. It's good to have you. Thank you for having me. Now, Hi, Kat. Hello. But, so you, chemistry, I mean, obviously chemistry isn't the main thrust of, of circuit design, right? It's more well, physics and... Actually, no, uh, no I, I have to beg to correct you on that. Um, I'm in the research division. Yeah. And when you think about building microcircuitry, the basics of microcircuitry start with chemistry and physics. Yeah. I mean, pure chemistry and pure physics. Right, right. 
and um, well, so, that's, so, so what, what, you, I guess the silicon wafer, that's chemistry, making silicon, Well, I right? brought one here. This is, this is the start of a silicon Isn't this pretty? Let me, let me hold okay, it up is, here for the camera so we don't blind them, because this, this is going to be the kind of thing that reflects that. Right. So this is, now, is that glass? Is that what no. silicon is? No, it's pure silicon. It's an element. Okay. All right. So glass is, is, is melted sand. Glass is silicon dioxide. Dioxide. Okay. okay. Yeah. So this is pure silicon. That is pure silicon. It look, it's, a, it's a metal. No, no, actually, it's a metalloid, if you want to be particular okay. about it, it as far He's as chemistry goes. No, it's yeah. important. I'm very particular. What's um, the difference between metal and metalloid? It's metal-like? Uh, metal-like is yeah. very good, yes. Yeah. Uh, in the periodic table, metalloids sort of inhabit the zone between non-metals and metals. Now, why do they use silicon as a substrate for circuitry? Silicon, is, it's a, a very good question. It has the right kind of uh, crystal structure. Mm -hmm. It also, we dope the uh, silicon with uh, certain metals, right. which allow us to build semiconductors. Doping means? We um, infuse certain right. um, metals like germanium it's a beautiful and, mirror, and, it? and such like um, into the silicon. It makes a, a good matrix. Here's, now, to give you an idea, this is a circuit, but to give you an idea of how small it is, that thing on the right is an ant leg? Yeah, if I could point that out there. <laughs> uh, that, we took a, an electron microscope of, this is actually the recording head on your uh, disk drive. Oh my goodness. Oh, and uh, if you see that, that small uh, structure, uh, in the lower left, uh, which sort of looks like, like a spiral, spiral there. there. Yeah, yeah. Well, the spiral is attached to a trapezoidal thing with a point. Yeah. And the point is pointing off to the lower left. That very tiny point there is the business end of your uh, hard drive. That's that, the record head? That is the record head. Tiny. That, How big is that? Well, that so picture we just saw is kind of old. Okay. So that's about five or six Very year old so that's technology. Huge compared that's to huge compared to what, wow. uh, what we've got now. It but looks huge. but the, uh, the pole tip there is approximately a micron across. Wow. Now, to give you a feeling for a micron, uh, a human hair is about 100 microns across. Wow. That's a hundredth of a human hair. Roughly. Wow. Roughly. That's amazing. Now, but, one of the things Almaden does, I know, is hard drive research. And what has always blown me away is we thought 10 years ago, all oh, hard drives are close to the end of their <laughs> life cycle. We'll, we'll be using solid state memory by the year 2000. There's no way they can get those gigabyte hard drives. And yet hard drive technology has surprised us consistently. Oh, yeah. Higher and higher densities. Yep. How are they doing that? How, I mean, what, well, miniaturization is, is, the, key, is, is, is the key. Yeah, I mean, we, yeah. we do a lot of, um, of interesting work with optics yep. to prepare these uh, microcircuitries. Right. Uh, because obviously the circuitry is such high density and the circuits, the wiring is so small that you can't actually get in there and mechanically manipulate right. these things. Right. So you have to use chemistry and physics to print your circuits. Well, let's get back to the, the silicon wafer mm -hmm. then. So this is the, gonna be the beginning of a chip. Wh yes. what, what is the next stage in making this a chip? Well, actually, if we could go to the next slide, um, we have uh, uh, the process we, uh, we use in chemistry to build chips on top of that silicon wafer. It's like, uh, it's like, is this it? Is this a lithography? Yeah, this is it. And uh, intriguingly enough, we'll get to the picture in the middle in a second, but in the upper left uh, corner there, you can see that's the silicon wafer, the blue, okay. the blue band. And on top of that blue band, we layer what is called a photoresist. Okay. The photoresist contains polymers and other compounds that react with light. Okay. Then you'll notice one drop down, we have a little light bulb there. That implies a, a laser. Okay, mm -hmm. we have various types of oh, lasers, and I drew a light bulb lasers. instead. Laser beams. Mm. And you see we have between the laser and the photoresist a stencil. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's just a, a mask, mm -hmm. we call that. Okay, very, very expensive um, uh, materials. There, our circuitry is embedded in that mask. When we shine light on top of the mask, you see how it goes through and hits the top of that photoresist. Right. And it patterns the photoresist the same as the mask. So it's a, almost like a dark room where you're developing the photoresist through in the mask. In a sense, that's that's a good way of putting it. Yeah. But we call this lithography, which right. means 3D writing or writing on stone, literally. Well, it comes from the old days okay. where they would etch stone, right? Exactly. Yeah, and make prints, reverse exactly. prints. Well, I know a little bit about this, or I at least I think I understand it because my mother did silk screens when she would, oh, when I was right. a kid, and that's what you would do. You take a silk screen, you'd paint on it, yep. and the ink would go through. And, and what was blocked, the ink would not go through. That's so exactly. is it kind of like yeah. that? In a sense, that's yeah. very true. But, but because you're using these uh, lasers and very fine, you can make very fine 
traces oh my on God. the silicon. Yes. A micron or, or less? Uh, well, a micron is very old technology. A micron now is uh, 10 years old. Right. We're talking nanometers at this point. Yeah. Right now, uh, the cutting edge of lithography, we're looking at 50 nanometer lines. That's amazing. That's 50 nanometer 50 lines. 50 billionths of a meter, yes? Uh, yes. <laughs> and in amazing. fact, if you think about it, so in terms of, uh, of uh, physics and what have you, a hydrogen atom, the smallest sort of elemental particle, not counting quarks and neutrinos right. and all those things, but, right. but a hydrogen atom is about an angstrom across. 50 nanometers represents about 500 hydrogen atoms lined up. Uh, you, can you get any smaller than this? I mean, at some point we're going to run into the uncertainty principle and things are just going to be so small that Good you point. can't actually observe them, right? Good point. And at, at some point we are going to run into a stone wall yeah, because, not yet. <laughs> well, but we're close. Are we? All right. Um, like I said, we're drawing 50 nanometer lines right now. Um, that's about as small as We're going to have trouble go. if we wanted to cut that in half. Yeah. If you listen to Moore's Law, we're going to have to cut that in half in a couple of years. Well, and also there's a cr cross talk between the circuitry. There's all sorts of weird effects you well, get that, when you get that Well, that small. involves yeah. dielectrics and insulators. Right. Right. We also, as part of our job as chemists, we build dielectric materials that go in between. And if you look at the next slide, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay. We have a slide here that shows the actual circuitry, which we've built up, um, you know, on the on the silica yeah, wafer. There it is. And uh, and what we've done here, there's several layers. You see, there's a green layer and a blue layer. So you're almost doing there's wiring, um, like real wiring, at a, at a microscopic is, scale. That's exactly what we're doing. It's amazing. I thought it was just almost a pattern etched on there, but because of the layers, you're able oh, to. Oh, absolutely. Build. These wires are are communicating with each other in layers, and and often in chips, there's 10, 11 layers each one of which is communicating with each other. You can see in here there are vias and there are cross wiring. The vias are little posts sticking up. Yeah, yeah. These things are on the order, like those little posts sticking up are on the order of about 200 nanometers across. It's the miracle, really, of the, of the digital revolution is the miniaturization. That's the key. That it's a, and of course, the smaller you get, the lower the power. In fact, the cheaper the chips. It's an amazing kind of reverse economy. We're going to come back with more of Richard DiPietro. We're going to do some experiments, we some chemistry. Do. That's why I'm here. Are you? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're here with the tweezers? That's Are you ready? going to burn up some stuff. A little later us. on, Rich is going to do some uh, magical chemistry experiments for you. You ain't seen nothing yet. But coming up next, Cat turns stool pigeon uh -oh, and reveals the secret locations of our favorite freeware sites. Yes. Bada bing, bada boom, oh, we'll be oh. right back. That's fun. I, I love talking about how you do this. It's just a Twice the hell. Twice the hell. Twice the fun. Twice, twice the fun. The screensavers. Twice, twice, twice a night. Twice a night. Catch Leo, Pat, and the gang two times times every weeknight. First at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 Pacific. Then again at 12 Eastern, 9 Pacific. Two times, two times the magic. Magic. Two times the mayhem. The screensavers. Two times every weeknight. Only on Tech TV. Only on Tech TV. Once is never enough of a great thing. This is like seeing Haley's Comet or getting friendly viewer mail. Now, twice the action, twice the excitement. Go! Oh! Go! Oh! X-Play hits you with back-to-back -back episodes that are double the fun of just one. And it's covered in rich Corinthian leather. Oh, it is. It's the X-Play double play you've been dying for. It's a lot of fun, and eventually you go crazy. Watch a full hour of X-Play every day. Weekdays at 4, 3 Central on Tech TV. Sunday nights on Tech TV are all new. First, the truth is stranger than fiction on Secret, Strange, and True. Then, a revealing look at sex in the digital age. Hi, gorgeous. Wired for sex. And extraordinary ideas come to life on Invent This. 
Then, after Fresh Gear, what if everything you were told to believe was a lie? Explore Tech TV's new series, Conspiracies. Watch Sunday night starting at 8, only on Tech TV. Can I get some music, please? Haven't seen Unscrewed lately? Take a look at what you're missing. I'm like a Greek god in Adonis. You gotta turn off the stove, Billy. Quit coughing, Billy. Do you think the aliens from outer space wear a lot of doodads on their hats? No. Besides dressing up as a blue bunny, do you have any skill? This is awkward. Unscrewed. Weeknights at 11.30, 10.30 Central. Only on Tech TV. <laughs> Our chat room is staffed with plenty of moderators. Stop by and say hi at techtv.com slash call for help. Just come to our website on the right hand side. Wait, oh yeah, right hand side right here. It says chat. Click on that, enter in your username and password, and you can chat with us. We're going to be in there in a little bit. Sarah and I are going to be in there, and uh, we're going to have some fun. Thanks to our I moderators, by the way. I'm going to go in there, too. I forgot uh, I have the chat room software on my Mac. Yeah, well, so we got to get in there. Yeah. Get the party started. Get that party started. Yeah. She's coming in, so you better get that chat okay. room started. Every day we show you a <laughs> okay, different free enough. file. <laughs> and from looking at our web statistics, y'all love them. If you're interested in finding a few downloads on your own, I've compiled the list of the sites that we often visit to find software online for free. The first one is webattack.com. This is a great website. If you, can't, uh, if you can't exactly find what you need on your own, come here. Click on the freeware section right here. They have freeware, shareware, features, my web attack, where, where you can sign up and it'll let you know everything that you've done on the site, your history, if you will. They're actually changing their name. I wanted to mention that to everyone. They're going to change it to Snap Files. So, uh, you know, in the future, we're going to call it Snap Files. But for right now, it's the web attack that we know and love. Click on the freeware to get the free files that you need, and it's going to organize them in the different categories, communication, browser tools, graphic tools, just like any other download site. But they have a really awesome database. And I also like that once you click on the uh, particular category you're interested in, you can get screenshots, you can get information about what that download actually does, and you can also get popularity ranked by uh, little green blocks and they also have got the ratings that they actually give it because they do a lot of research on their own to give you what you like. The next one is no nags and uh, their motto no nags is, is as close to true freedom as you can get and that's what they swear by. You go ahead and you choose where you are in the country and it'll give you that um, area's download page and then again it's going to be organized into different categories and the no-nags page, I like this page as well because it's going to give you a, a rating and it has a cute little duck. You know, what, what's better than a cute little duck? They don't give you quite as much information as WebAttack does but again they'll have some freeware that you're not going to be able to find anywhere else and they've got it here. The last one, <coughs> last but not Whoa. But last, no, last but not least is download.com. This is my favorite website uh, to, find, to find freeware and to find all kinds of downloads. They've got all of your different categories. Go ahead and click on one. It's going to give you, not only is it going to give you um, the individual user ratings, but it is also going to give you screenshots. And now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but using this site recently it gives me its own client to download things through which I like because it helps me organize exactly what I'm downloading and what's going on in my system so I really um, can be aware and they've got everything you need Napster, iTunes, everything They've got it at download.com. They are CNET's uh, database, so check it out. The details are on our site. There's a couple more on there, techtv.com slash call for help. Leo, are you ready for caller number eight? I'm ready for caller number eight, but you know what I just realized? What? I've already broken a promise. I was going to change my shirt every hour. Oh. So after the next break, I will go get yeah, a new shirt. You don't have shirt. Too much time. I know. There's You're no busy. time. Yeah. yeah, what am I going to, you know? Well, let's find out. <laughs> let's take another call. What's his name? What? <laughs> on the Tech TV Net Cam Network, it's Donald from Castro Valley, California. <laughs> you, you know what I'm talking eight. about. Hey, Donald, number eight. How you doing, Donald? Uh-oh. Donald. Is that Donald or is, is that his son saying, uh, Dad, get in here. <laughs> uh, Dad, you're on. I don't, hear, uh, I don't hear any sound. I don't hear that magical thing we call sound. I actually went in the chat room. Yeah. Uh, and I'm in there right now. Okay. That's TSS Leo, unfortunately. Because uh, I don't have a CFH, Leo. Okay. We're going to see what here's, here, we're, there, we're going to see what we can do to uh, to uh, get Donald back up. I'll tell you what. Let's take a break. I will change my shirt. 
We will fix Donald's sound, and we'll take more live calls. Okay. As the call for help. I'm entering the chat room continues. now. Continues an hour and 25 minutes into it. I'm still going strong. Also coming up, another explosive chemistry demonstration from IBM chemist Richard DiPietro. We're going to set this place on fire. Stay tuned. It doesn't work that way. I'm waiting to be impressed. Together, we're the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Buy the DVD today. Cheers. You know, you could order a scratching post. Have it here tomorrow. Mr. Schnookums really likes you. Mr. Schnookums got some sharp claws. <laughs> How can a butterfly help you? Find out at msn.com. I began losing my hair about a year ago. Is it ever going to... Stop. What caused it to fall out anyway? Let's say I'm ready to do something about my hair loss. What are my options? Why me? It's hard to know what to do when you start losing your hair. That's where Bosley comes in. For over 25 years, people have turned to us for answers to their questions about hair loss and hair restoration. So what is natural hair restoration? Where does the hair come from? Is it permanent? Does the hair actually grow? To find out, just call this toll-free number. We'll send you this free video and comprehensive guidebook that give you the real facts about hair loss and the choices you have for dealing with it. Financing is available. So call now and discover how Bosley has advanced the science of natural hair restoration. How they use your own living hair to fill in the thin spots. You'll also meet people who were once losing their hair and see what they looked like then and now. But here's the big question. Do you think my barber will remember me? Learn about all your options. Call now and get the information you need to determine if hair restoration is right for you. I've got to tell you, a few weeks ago, I saw the White's metal detector ad on TV. In no time at all, my local dealer had me out treasure hunting. I was finding the good stuff my first day. And the best part? You can see what's in the ground before you dig it up. Your treasure hunting adventure can start right now. Call for your free catalog. My wife said I needed a healthy hobby. She's proud of the weight I've lost and really proud of this. Call now. This is Tech Live. Are you ready? Take a ride. See how it's done. Don't know what to buy? We do. It's hot topics, movie magic, cool science, and tech gadgets. Get it? It's one cool ride. Tech Live. It's all you need. Weeknights at 8, 7 central, only on Tech TV. Want to get your game on? Well, viewers, we've granted your wish. Turn to Tech TV for the best in gaming, gadgets, and fun. Let Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb show you how to turn it on. X-Play, weeknights at 11, 10 central, only on Tech TV. All right, welcome back to Call for Help. You got the shirt changed. We should have another counter for wardrobe changes yeah. for Kat, me, and Sarah. All right. You know Roger only has one outfit. Yeah, we need to get Kevin in on this. Kevin's going to be wearing the same Cosby sweater all day, I can tell. <laughs> Roger, you, did you bring a bunch of different clothes? No one told me to. <laughs> I brought my slippers and my bathrobe, Ooh. but I didn't bring my jemmies because I don't, you know, I sleep in the nude. Food. So let's jump right into it. <laughs> Is that what we call an overshare? Oh. Let's jump right into a live call. Who's on the line, Cat? We didn't get Donald back, but I think we have another one, right? I'm going to be sick. Oh, no, come on. I was joking. <laughs> On the Tech TV Net Cam Network, it's Jim from Stokesdale, North Carolina. He's I've, number nine. Oh, he's number eight because the last time we clicked him. Go. That's right. We didn't get we didn't get uh, Donald. On. We're right. working on Donald. Hey, Jim, how you doing? Hey, Leo, how's it going? It's great. What does it say on your T-shirt there? Uh, well, the, the shirt I got for Christmas it says, "If I throw a stick, will you go away?" <laughs> if I throw a stick, will you go away? All right. Who yeah, gave you? You, you got to love it. Who gave you that? Oh, a friend of mine. <laughs> I love it. So what can we do for you, Do uh, Do I called you Dog, but I'm going to call you Jim. Dog? Right? Dog. Well, I've been called a lot worse. <laughs> we won't go there, but that's not All point. right. What, um, what can I do I'm to help having, you? I'm having trouble with uh, compact uh, laptop hard drive. Okay. Um, I've, um, I've owned compact products for 
I don't know how long. Mm -hmm. It's just something I'm familiar with. And, you sure. know, it's like an old pair of shoes. You get used to it. You, you don't want to get away from it. Sure. I remember my parents um, bought the same brand car my whole life. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like and, cars, right? You know. And here recently, in the last, well, put it to you this way. The last year I've replaced the hard drive in a laptop twice now. And, it, well, next month it'll be a year old. Ooh, um, and that's it's already a lot. Been, good thing is it's already under warranty. But yeah. it's already been replaced twice. And, you know, I back up and back up and back up. Yeah, good for you. Uh, but you still lose, you don't, if you don't, when it goes out, if you don't back up right at that moment, you're still going to lose some information. Oh, I've been always. Losing information. That's right. The so compacts told me that the life expectancy, now get this, the life expectancy of a compact car or a hard drive right. is 40,000 hours. Yes, that's right. And I, I can't see that I've been on a computer <laughs> yeah. uh, 40,000 hours and replaced a hard drive twice in one year. Not in less than and a I, year you haven't, no. No, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to do. You couldn't do it. So I don't know what I, I'm trying to figure out. Is that correct? Is the life expectancy of a hard drive 40,000 hours? If so, what the, is there something that uh, I can? Is there something going on somewhere? I don't, I don't understand. I mean, this is twice in one year. You think, okay, well, if it happens once, right? You know. No, there's Maybe. definitely something going on. In fact, uh, you shouldn't. This, that hard drive should last a couple of years, three years, four years, or even longer. What they're talking about is something they call the MTBF, or the Mean Time Between Failure. Now, it's kind of a made-up figure. Most hard drives are in the 40, 50 uh, thousand hour range. But here's how they do it. They, and I bet you uh, our chemist can confirm this, but we'll ask him. He's from IBM. He should, should know all this stuff. But they will get a lot of hard drives, maybe a thousand hard drives in one room, and then run them until one fails. And if it takes a thousand hard drives, 40 hours for one to fail, that's a mean time between failure of 40,000 hours. And hmm. if you think about it, it's the only way they can do it, because what are they going to do? Run the, by the time they figured out how long this hard drive is going to last, it's going to be a new hard drive. I mean, these right. things, you know, I mean, this technology is moving too fast. So they have to guess. It's a guesstimate, and it's not a very good guesstimate. And the truth is, it, some hard drives go faster than others. You should have a hard drive last you several years. Now, a laptop hard drive, this is a laptop hard drive, taken apart, of course. They have, uh, uh, of course, a lot of stress on them. You're banging that thing around, it's jiggled around. They do mount these specially so that they have, they're sho a little bit more shock resistant in the case. But nevertheless, the worst thing for a hard drive uh, aside from getting dumped in a bucket of water, it, actually, it's probably even worse than that is, is, is shocks, is, is, is getting banged. Because what happens is you have head crashes, it can damage the platter. Either that's what's going on, there may be a problem with your power in your computer. I mean, uh, it's a little suspicious that more than one drive has failed in that computer. Kevin Rose no. had a similar problem. He's gone through three or four hard drives in one IBM in just a few months. That's something wrong with the computer, not with the hard drives. Right. Well, you say you you, uh, you refer to you know getting beat around and shock and dropped and yeah. you know putting in the case and everything else. But this laptop here actually sits in the living room. Oh yeah. On a little on on one of those little uh, little corner type things where you pull up to the couch and you can sit there and have it on front Let of me, you and nice little uh, reclining. Yeah, it's ha it's a ha it's like you. It's it doesn't a, it's even a happy move. Very, it, it doesn't even move hardly anywhere. Yeah. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't do anything. It sits there. I turn it on now. Am I on it a lot? Yes, I'm on it a lot, but I'm not on it 40,000 No, 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 hours. no, 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 no. You, it's 40,000 hours is years, by the way. Yeah, there's no way exactly. You could... That's what I kept telling them, but they want to they argue with you and say, okay, well, well it's there's no for, argument. Well, and so they just keep replacing it. Right. But, you know, but, well, there's a... Uh, there... like a, next month, next month the year is up and it's going to be out of warranty. Yeah, I would and, say at this point that you have probably have what's called a lemon. In other words, an unfixable computer. And now you have to check what the state of North Carolina's lemon laws are, but uh, I, would, I would check with the Secretary of State of the Better Business Bureau in your area, the Trade Commission, and say, hey, is this a lemon? There are computer lemon laws. They're mostly car lemon laws, where if it's unfixable, you bring it in a certain number of times, they have to give you a whole new computer. And I think your computer is at fault if your hard drive keeps dying. It, right. Maybe you got two bad ones in a row. But if the third one dies, it's either something in your house, the power or whatever, and since I know you have other computers and you have other equipment in there that's sensitive, it's probably not the power. It's undoubtedly something wrong with that computer. So I would say bring them the computer and say, guys, I want a whole new unit. Well, it's funny that you should say that because I, I do have, um, I have two other laptops yeah. and a desktop. They don't do it. Um, and... There's no problem yeah. with those. So we and know it's not, it's not your environment. It's not, you know, there's not heavy smoke in the air. There's not bad power. We know that it's almost undoubtedly that particular laptop. I would say try a third drive, but if it fails before the end of the warranty, you got a lemon and you should get a whole new computer for that. Okay, Jim?
I thank you for the call. I appreciate it. That's, yeah, uh, and I, it happens. Remember, the mean time between failure is an average, some, which means some drives are going to die sooner. How do they get that? One di drive, one in that thousand, died in 40 hours. So that's, so that's an average. So the life expectancy is really unpredictable on these things. That's the, that's the bottom line. But you shouldn't have, it's highly unlikely you'd get two in a row die over uh, a short period of time. If you get a third die over a short period of time, you know it's not the drives, unless Compact got a bad batch. Seems unlikely. It's much more likely the device the drives are in. Coming up next, as promised, IBM chemist Richard DiPietro is here with more amazing chemistry action. Watch as the call for Helpathon explodes into flames. We're a little earlier than expected as we continue. <laughs> What's crucial to me? What's crucial to me? Making the most of my time. Speed. Getting more and paying less. Doing things the right way. What's crucial to me? Staying on top of everything. Making my computer last another year. Doing seven things at once. That's why I made sure I have enough memory. And now my computer can keep up with me. So that you can focus on what's important to you, Crucial makes it easy to select, purchase, and install memory upgrades. Memory, it's crucial. I moved to Earthlink because they hate internet pollution as much as I do. I moved because they block pop-ups. And I'll take all the help I can get. Because Spanblocker keeps my inbox neat and clean. Different people, different passions, different reasons for moving to Earthlink. Call 1-800-827-0142 and get six months of dial-up service featuring Earthlink Accelerator at half price. You also get Pop-Up Blocker. It stops almost all pop-up ads. And new Spam Blocker blocks virtually 100% of unwanted email. Only email from people in your address book go to your inbox. Others, like Spam, go to a different box. You never even have to see them. Because access should come with choices. Get the internet you want without all the pop-ups and spam you don't. And get six months of dial-up service featuring Earthlink Accelerator at half price. Call, go online, or visit these retailers. Move to Earthlink. It revolves around you. Extreme drinking. Binge eating. Thrill seeking. What happens when people push their bodies to the limits? Watch Tech TV's Body Hits, the only show that examines how your body stands up to the test of modern living. See how people live fast, work hard, and take it to the next level. Body Hits, a new series. Premiering Tuesday, January 20th at 9.30, 8.30 Central on Tech TV. Weeknights on Tech TV. It's the screensaver. Patrick and Leo tackle your toughest problems. I've got a teenage son in a DSL line. Uh-oh, you've got trouble, my friend. Turn you on to cool new stuff. We got tech news, we got the real deal. We got a win thing. And bring you special guests making and using technology today. I'm going to take a little hammer. Why do a screwdriver when I... Okay, I'm out of here. Help, how to, and ha ha ha. It's all on the Screensavers weeknight at 7, 6 Central on Tech TV. Earlier we had IBM senior scientist of chemistry Richard DiPietro in to talk about the role chemists play, quite a big role, in developing computer technology. He's back again this time to demonstrate some of the chemistry magic he does on a daily basis. Welcome back, Richard. We were talking about, Thank just you. quickly before we get to the, the mean time between failure, typically they'll use how many drives? A hundred drives? Several hundred. Yeah. Yeah. But um, again, you want a mean time of failure like 50,000, 60,000 hours, so you can't sit there and you wait for wait. it. So but they what stress they do them is, out. Then. Yeah, they accelerate yeah. the, the yeah. conditions. You know, you're not going to use them at 150 degrees, but they run them at 150 right. degrees. Right. Things to accelerate. It's kind of a made-up number. Let's face it. There's, you it's can't an really estimate. Yeah. It's an estimate. It's a guesstimate. We don't want it to ever happen. <laughs> it should never fail. Yes. All right. Now let's take a look at some of the some of the things here you've uh, okay, brought. Okay. One Let's of the things, things that I brought. Fire. Well, hold on <laughs> yeah. to the fire. It wants to float the fire is the down. finale here. <laughs> okay. But what I did want to do here is a little a little quick demonstration of. Um, the way we use polymers to uh, deduce some of that circuitry building. Right. Now, I remember a polymer is polymers. just a very long molecule. Is exactly. That right? yeah. A polymer is a string of, of uh, <laughs> a string of monomers, okay? A monomer is <laughs> one of the uh, units that go up into making a polymer. Plastics are usually polymers, aren't All they? Not? Plastics All are plastics polymers. are polymers. Yes. But, but there this are a lot is not of plastic, other polymers. clearly. 
Well, actually, this is a polymer, but it's soluble in water. You'll notice it's a relatively good flowing liquid, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. And one of the properties that we use in lithography is we change the characteristics, the water solubility of polymers, and that helps us um, build the, the, the ultimate pattern by washing off or retaining ah. the polymer that has changed its character. So you don't want the, the photoresist to stay there. You're gonna... We want some of the photoresist to stay there. But not the stuff that but was not etched. not the stuff that was etched. I get it. Or okay. vice versa. Sometimes right. we want the stuff that was etched to stay and right. the rest of it to go away. That would be called a negative tone. Mm -hmm. This is an example of a negative tone where you have a cross-linking going on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's my polymer and yeah. here's a cross-linking agent here. You'll notice it's also a liquid. All right. Not a polymer, though. Not oh, a polymer. All right. Look at that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to stir Getting this up. polymer we're settling out stir there. Stir this up. Yeah. I think I better put this on the floor before, Turning into before goo. it falls off. Pour a little so bit what's more happening here. here? What we're doing is we're... Picture a cross linking. In other words, you have a string of polymers, yeah. but now you have something that's attaching the polymers together. Whoa. Long lengthwise. Uh, in in the middle and hereby not all over. not end to end, but all okay. over. All okay. Right. okay. So it solidifies so, it in a way. I mean, it, it makes it. Uh, it makes it gooey. no longer water soluble. Ah. Oh, see. So it's and, dropping out of the water. And that's the key. Oh. See, by doing a chemical reaction on the surface of the chip, that's how we change the polymer structure such that we can wash so one some away. will wash off and not all yeah, of it. So you know, listen, this know. wouldn't wash off, in other words. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> okay. Isn't that pretty? And, and ladies and gentlemen, that's just how easy chemistry is. That's dye just how it? You, can add, you can add dye to it. And you know, I do this sometimes with, uh, with elementary students yeah. and, they, and they go, man, can I make it like red? And can I put it in my sister's hair? Now, the, the, the chemicals used in chip production are, are fairly uh, dangerous in some cases. Well, in general, yeah. Yeah. So I know that in the past companies, and in fact, IBM has been kind of uh, accused of, and I know they're in a trial right now for uh, uh, exposing employees to these chemicals. But now every company is very careful oh, about yeah. how they manage these chemicals, how they keep them out of the water supply oh, and absolutely. things like that. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. You, it's the, a, it's the, a, the amount of effort we put into yeah. it, to a waste disposal is phenomenal. Yeah. That's good to hear. Very yeah. expensive. You don't want to pour this down the drain. Well, this don't go down the drain. <laughs> <laughs> it's going nowhere. Going. What else? No, you got? This is just going to get harder and harder. <laughs> it does. Is eventually it will actually set up as a solid. Yeah. yeah. Oh, eventually, see, you'll notice it's. We'll get it out of the beaker before much, it does that. Pretty much. Well, I'll worry about the beaker later. All right. Mm -hmm. Let me put this down Lots here. Lots of beakers of where he comes from. Now, uh, oxidation. Yes. One of the biggest killers of your hard drive is where. Uh, the lubricants and what have you, they oxidize over time. They react with the they air. They react with air and yeah. stuff like that. And there are, um, for an example here, okay, we have, all the things around us are oxidizing. Yeah. We're all oxidizing. Oh, okay? that's terrible. As time goes on, we're oxidizing. So what, that's what ages us. Okay? Uh -huh. But we can accelerate the process of oxidation here. <laughs> this is where I step and back. What, no, this is where you get to work. <laughs> okay. okay. You have to work. Right. You we should let Kat do this one here. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah, she I can get Kat the... wanted to do that I'll do one. Both. You're going to do, yeah, do she's both. The fi she's the fire bug guy. Okay, here. Kat, right. I'd like you to put those on for me. Yeah. So that's one of those iron filings? Sure. Well, they started out iron filings, but then I mixed with them a certain um, oxidizing agent. So they're actually a little bit more exciting than your average iron filings. Uh, iron, of course, it, it oxidizes iron rapidly. That's what rust is, right? Quite yeah. well, in yeah. fact. Yeah. Let's so turn now we're going to light the fire. I'm going to stand well back here. Can you hear that? Phil, yes. you might want to close your eyes. This is going <laughs> to. This, this isn't. This isn't too bad. All right. Oh. Not compared to the other one. Okay, okay Kat. Right. What I want you to do yes, sir. is just take this thing and uh -huh. dip it in there and pull it out again. Like it, this? Yeah. Just bring it in there. That's oh! it. Ohio. Okay. I hope we don't have a sprinkler system in here. Oh, it'll go away <laughs> pretty fast. <laughs> so what happened there? Fireball. Okay. You so, burnt metal. You can't burn metal. Oh, you certainly can oh burn metal. God, Interesting. You can it's certainly all gone. burn metal. Oh yeah, it's yeah. all gone. Yeah. And that yeah, was because you, you added burn that. metal. Yeah. Now if you had just done that to iron filings, it wouldn't have burned that well. Iron filings will also oxidize. It wouldn't have burned that well. That well. Okay. So, so I added an oxidizing fuel. agent to it. Yeah. Well, a little fuel, but more like remember, burning is the combination of oxygen with something. Right. Burning is just rapid. Oxidation, exactly. Isn't it? Yeah. Well, burning is is can be defined as rusting. Uh, lots of things are, right. are oxidation. burning in effect. Yeah. All I did here was I mixed the iron filings with the oxidizing agent so that it was right ready to go. Let's do another one. Okay. Cat likes. Let's do another one. Can you make more fire? More. Oh, this one is much fire. more exciting. That kind of freaked me out. Okay, it went pretty high. Well, we almost large. reached the. Uh, there we go. There. Well, that shouldn't be too bad. Now this one here okay, is, is even on. is even more thrilling, but. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, uh, this one will happen rather quickly. Okay. <laughs> um, this is just plain old cotton we got here? Well, if you think it's plain old cotton, yeah. I got some swamp land in New Jersey oh, for you. Oh, it looks like plain old cotton. What is it? No, well, you. it was originally made from plain old cotton, but this uh -huh. is actually nitrocellulose. This is what, oh. this is also cellulose. known as gun cotton. This is what Daniel Boone used to stick in the end of his, uh, okay. in his uh, musket. Okay. Right. He used to how, jam how you, it in. How do you make cotton into nitrocellulose? Uh, I'm not sure I should dive We don't want to talk about that. Okay, yeah, that's... It's probably, probably easy to do, and we don't want to tell everybody no, how to do it. No, it's not easy to do, but the chemicals are available, yeah, and yeah. so it's probably best I not. Let's not light talk it on about fire. that. Yeah. Okay, Kat, now, you, I told you what to do. Yeah. Okay. Gun, gun cotton, ladies and gentlemen. All right, you want to get up there, hold it by the end, and just kind of swing it by. you might want to step back. There we go. Okay. Way to it's do it. Now. Daniel oh, Boone oh, was a man. He, he was, was a real man. All right. So, so you'd use that to ignite your, uh, what your uh, musket. There? That's what happens. What's the point in this Well, here? What, what happens here is this is, rapid this is very <laughs> rapid oxidation. That's more or less okay. cellulose that has an okay. oxidizing agent. Another done good very example. well, okay. very much like the, the metal filings that we Got did it. over there. Uh, this is obviously a dramatic experiment. Uh, well, it's not an experiment because an experiment implies you don't know what's going to happen. We know what's going to happen We know here. what's going to yeah. happen here. Right. But uh, a demonstration of, of oxidation accelerated. Two great examples. Thank you very much. You bet. IBM's Richard DiPietro, we All appreciate right. your coming by. If you Always missed anything, enjoy it. don't worry. Our web producers are hard at work trying to figure out how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> so they can put it in our show notes that come with uh, each and every hour of our call for help with thought. If you want to see the show notes, go to the website, techtv.com slash call for help. I think we need more of that a gun cotton just spread all around. Oh, I have some more. Okay, I think yeah. we could use that uh, for the grand finale. Mm -hmm. Up next, we've got RAM, we got video cards, we got Photoshop. They're all up on the big board full of wonderful prizes. The Wired World Challenge for hour number two is coming up. we we'll call for help and the Helpathon continues. I sleep with it, I bathe with it. You couldn't get me to take it off. It's just uh, remarkable, actually. Oh, I think it's very attractive. It's incredible. It's awesome. Join the thousands of Q-Ray wearers who simply rave about their revolutionary Q-Ray ionized bracelet. I am astounded, excited. <laughs> you ain't getting this thing back. <laughs> Pick up the phone and order your own Q-Ray right now for three easy payments of only $49.95. Try it risk-free for 30 days and see for yourself what all the talk is about. I think it's terrific. I was amazed. And it's built tough enough for me. I love my Q-Ray. But wait. Call to order now and Q-Ray will even make one payment for you. That's a savings of nearly $50 off the regular price. I would absolutely recommend the Q-Ray IMS bracelet. 100%. No question about it. Find out for yourself why everyone is wearing a Q-Ray. And I'm so excited. I can't believe it. I'm a believer. You gotta get a Q-Ray. So call to order your Q-Ray ionized bracelet right now. A special announcement from the Bargain Network. You can buy cars for as low as $500. Choose from thousands of cars repossessed and seized by the U.S. Customs, IRS, FBI, and private organizations. Call 800-260-2339. Foreclosed homes and distressed properties are selling for as low as $199 a month. HUDs, VAs, and FHAs, repos, and more. Through the Bargain Network, I got my dream car, and I saved a lot of money. New cars and homes are being added every day. For listings in your area, call now. 800-260-2339. Call now. Leo Laporte's 2004 Technology Almanac is back. It's a one-of-a-kind resource for every day of the year with advice, tips, and secrets about today's most popular technology topic. It's everything you love about the screensavers. Networking, MP3 players, we've got it all. His last two books were bestsellers, and this one is sure to follow. And don't miss all the other great books from Tech TV, including Security Alert, Sell It on eBay, and Windows XP for home use. Leo Laporte's 2004 Technology Almanac. Get it at a Barnes & Noble near you or online at barnesandnoble.com. This is Tech Live. Are you ready? Take a ride. See how it's done. Don't know what to buy? We do. It's hot topics, movie magic, cool science, and tech gadgets. Get it? It's one cool ride. Tech Live. It's all you need. Weeknights at 8, 7 central, only on Tech TV. Welcome back to the Call for Alpathon. Time for the Wired World Challenge. This time, let's play with whom, Katrinka? Mm, 
we are going to play with Ronnie from Brooklyn, New York. Good luck, Ronnie. Firebug you. Yeah, that's you liked nice. it, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, explosions. Hey, Ronnie, how you doing? How you doing, Leo? I'm doing Hi, great. Hi, everybody. Belated. Happy Christmas to everybody. Happy Christmas and, uh, and all the best for 2004. Is it going to be a good year for you, Ronnie? I hope so, Leo. Uh, if you hear any strange background noise, it's because I'm sitting in my car right now. <laughs> <laughs> Were you on your way somewhere? Well, I was on my way, of course, to the uh, Nut Job Mall Return Gift Day. <laughs> this is the bad day to go to the mall, dude. All right. Well, let's see if we can give you a nice gift you won't want to return. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you four categories. You pick a question from the category, get it right in 15 seconds or less. You'll get to pick a number on the big board. Now, folks, remember that once a number is picked during the show today, we're going to replace the prize with a, one, a copy of my book. So uh, keep track of what's been clicked so far. Does that sound good to you, Ronnie? Leo, your book is good for me, I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> well, there's only one book on there out of 25. You have a pretty good shot at it. Okay, Here are the categories. The only thing I'm missing is a laptop and Google. Oh, well, I don't think we can help you there. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that. Here are the categories. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I think everybody does. Borg Assimilation, Space Exploration, Wired Inventors, or Sci-Fi Novels. What would you like, Ronnie? Uh, give me the space. Space. I'll take space for 12, Alex. Who was the first American to fly in space? He didn't make an orbit. He just went up and came back down. That's a tough one. Did you see the movie The Right Stuff? They talk about it in there. Great guy. One of the great astronauts. Any idea, Ronnie? No, I see his face and I can't yeah, remember I know. His name. It's not John Glenn. He did the first uh, orbit. It was Alan Shepard. Alan Shepard. Alan Shepard. I'm sorry, Ronnie. No prize for you, my friend, but we do have another caller on the line, right? Yes, Patricia from Detroit, Michigan. Hey, Patricia. Happy holidays. Thank you. Same to you. Well, thank you very much. Did you have a good one? Oh, yes. Very fine. Oh, that's nice. Well, I'm going to give you three categories. Maybe you can get a late Christmas present here. The last, the remaining categories are Borg Assimilation, Wired Inventors, and Sci-Fi Novels. Which one would you like? Uh, Borg Assimilation. Are you a Star uh, Trek fan? No. <laughs> well, good luck. All right, Patricia. What was Captain Jean-Luc Picard's name when he was in the collective of the Borg? You know, when he became a Borg? What was the name they gave him? This is too hard. Oh, boy, yes, that is too You have hard. to be a real Star Trek fanatic. I mean, that was a good, when he became with the Borg, it was, you know, and he, had the, and he was, it was great. But what was the name, the Borg, his Borg name? Oh, I have no idea. Mm, I'm sorry, Patricia. It was Locutus. Or do you say oh, Locutus? I'm sorry. Locutus. <laughs> I'm sorry, too. That was a hard one. Thank you for playing, though. Okay, okay. keep up the good work. Thank you. Keep watching. we got only uh, 10 hours and 10 minutes to go. <laughs> if you, uh, if you uh, want to play the Wire World Challenge, just to get online and, uh, and join, because we're going to play again next hour and the hour after that and the hour after that. And, of course, Call for Help will be back in uh, next week or the week after, I guess, and we'll play some more. So. Get in there and enter. Lots more prizes to win. Now, let's take another call. Who do you got? We got a quick call here. We are going to take a call. Yes, All right. It's Mark from Sanger, California, Leo. Let's Mark from Sanger, California. Hello, Mark. Are you there, Mark? Oh, it's Dawn. Sorry. Oh, okay. It's take Dawn. Mark off. Put Dawn on. Hey, Dawn. How you doing? Hi, Leo. What's up, Dawn? Not too much. How may I help you during this great 12-hour telethon of help? Well, um, I'm using Mozilla as my default browser. Okay. But there's some web pages that just don't like Mozilla. Yeah. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to uh, create uh, desktop shortcuts. Ah. I would launch the website, but in uh, in Expl Explorer. Explorer. What a great idea! And that's a good. Uh, that's a very good solution to that problem. Mozilla is a wonderful browser. And by the way. Most sites should work with Mozilla. The problem is that because 90% of uh, everybody has Explorer, a lot of times sites just make sure they work with Explorer. Now that's bad site design. And it, one of the things you should do is email the site and say, hey guys, be standards compliant. Be, compl be standard, work with other browsers. Internet Explorer is not the only browser out there and I'd like to use mine. In any event, if you want to make it open any, anyone, what you need to do is create a shortcut uh, with Internet Explorer. So you right click IE, you say create shortcut, and you're going to modify the shortcut to add the URL. Uh, oh, you can't do that. That's interesting. Let's see if we can do it in advance. No, we can't. Well, I guess we'll have to do it a little bit differently. Oh, he's gone now. I can't tell him anyway. Uh, my thinking is, well, I'm going to have to play with this. 
it's weird that I can't make an editable shortcut. I'm going to have to create a new shortcut on the desktop then. And I'm going to call it, uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to give it the command to run Internet Explorer followed by, let's make a new shortcut. Now we could do it. I'm going to say Explorer, or actually I Explorer is the shortcut for Internet Explorer. And I'm going to follow that by the URL of the thing I want to do. Now I've never done this and I'm just guessing. You may have to quote it differently. Let's just see if that, see if that works. Oh, I can't find iExplore, so I'm going to have to browse over. It's in Windows. Uh, browse over to iExplore, and then uh, maybe if I just do it this way, see if this works. See, backspace program files, backspace, what is it? Exp what do you think it would be, Microsoft? I'll have to find the full path. They're take, telling me I've got to run this up. I'll tell you what, let's take a break. I'll find the path. But you get what I'm doing? I'm making a, a shortcut to Internet Explorer that adds as a parameter to the shortcut the URL I want to go to. I'll finish this up when we, uh, when we come back. Uh, I just have to figure out where Internet Explorer is hiding itself. should be on the path. I don't know why it's not. We'll figure that out. Coming up, we wrap up hour number two with a quick email check, and I'll figure out how this works. Stay right here. Uh, yeah. Welcome back to the call for help a thon. All right, it wasn't too hard. I just had to find where Internet Explorer lived. It's in C program files, Internet Explorer, G, and then iExplore.exe. That's the name of the file that you're going to run. You have to put it in quotes and then follow that with the URL you want to go to in quotes. In this case, http colon slash slash leoville.com. And you're going to save that as, and we've now created a shortcut, and you can name it anything you want. In this case, I named it Leoville. Now, when I double-click that, it's going to open it in Internet Explorer, even if Mozilla is my default browser. So the key there is it's just creating a shortcut to the, uh, the application I want to open, in this case, Internet Explorer, and using as a parameter the URL you want to open. Now, you could probably play with this and add some additional things, like perhaps having multiple URLs, things like that. We've got about 30 seconds left in this hour uh, of the Help-a-thon. Maybe we can get uh, one more number up on the uh, now serving All board. Right, this guy wants to know, is there such thing as a wireless TV? There is. You know, in fact, at CES in January of last year, uh, I think Sharp was showing a wireless TV. It what? was basically a TV yeah. that had uh, 802.11 okay. on it, Wi-Fi, uh -huh. and you could move it around anywhere in the room and it would still get the TV. Now, Sharp isn't selling it yet. It takes, takes a while sometimes for the things we see at the Consumer Electronics Show to get to the market. Uh -huh. They tell me it's going to be selling in the next couple of months in the United States. It is selling now, I believe, in Japan. So, you and the need idea, a wireless TV? I mean, well, you can make your own TV wireless by buying something like the Wavecom Junior, which is a little wireless, okay. 900 megahertz wireless device. But there will be wireless TVs on the market using Wi-Fi any month now. Wow. Jim Lauterbach, I just saw him backstage when I was changing my shirts. I'm going back there to change it again. We're going to have more of the Call for help in just a bit. Stay here. Hi, Call for Help. Hey, Call for help you know, I realize I'm not going to be able to change my shirt at the top of the hour because there's no break, really. I mean, so, so, Kat, go ahead. When I, you're going to have to change your shirt when I'm doing my segment okay. and you have time to That's run. it. And you do your segment at the beginning of every hour, right? Well, it changes. Early in the hour? All right. Well, that'll work. Chance. That'll work. Okay. This is hour three, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe it. I'm already losing my voice. No, just no, kidding. You're hour three. <laughs> All for help and fun. <laughs> I am Leo Laporte with the lovely Cat Schwartz, Sarah Lane, Kevin Rose, Roger Chang, uh, Phil Allingham. All sorts of people have shown up here. In fact, a little later on, you know what I want to do? What? Is uh, take a mic Look, and go meet the people behind behind the scenes of Ooh. Call for Help. There are so many people work much harder than you and I do putting okay. the show on the air. We're going to meet the cameraman, the sound guy, it's actually sound gal, and then another sound guy over there. And we're going to go back in the control room. They're so all I, running away now. Yeah, I, have a, I didn't tell them about that because I knew they wouldn't do it. Yeah, they're not so, <laughs> a little later on, maybe this hour, we'll see if we can find time to do it. Darth Vader is in the, uh, in the studio as well. Oh, that's very exciting. 
Coming up, Kevin and Sarah are going to show you how, they're going to do a segment together. This is going to be so cute. A live, a live segment together. They're going to show you how to, what are you going to do? Upgrade a video card? Yep. Is it? Oh, that's Install a new video card. All right. We have a bunch of them. Video card, hard drive, wi -Fi. setting up Wi-Fi, all sorts of stuff that people might have gotten for Christmas, cool. but they don't quite know what to do with They'll it They'll be yet. tricking out their machine, basically. Trick it out, baby. And if, uh, by the way, if you've got a PDA, we've got Jim Ladderback back. He's from ExtremeTech.com, and he's going to show us some of the best PDA software, Palm and Pocket PC, some of the coolest things you can do with your handheld stuff you probably didn't even know about. It's so nice to have Jim on our Helpathon uh, this year. In fact, it's so great to have you watching. I really appreciate it. I, you think Kat, anybody will watch all 12 hours? Oh, yeah. You think people will? Definitely. People watched, people watched all 18 hours last year. I don't know why they wouldn't watch 12. 18 hours. I don't know how Chris did that. That's just, I, well, we'll see. I'll see if how I feel after 12. Maybe I'll feel like going for another six. Um, I'll be doing it by myself. You'll be doing that by yourself. <laughs> yeah. How can people join the Helpathon? The whole okay. purpose of this, we're having fun with other stuff, of course, but the whole purpose of this really is to help you with your, the stuff that you got for the holidays. Right. How can they get a hold uh, of they us? They can call us. Our number is 888-989-7879. You can email us, call for help at techtv.com. And if you have a NetCam, head into the NetCam Cineplex chat room, techtv.com slash call for help. We'll get your face on the show. Yeah. Help us make this number high. I had to call leave the, the chat room. I was in there, but I'm going to go back in. But I had to leave it because we're using my Mac here. We're going to set up a, uh, an eyesight call with a very important oh, yes, sir. person. Yeah, he is important. Hey, we're going we're gonna to get him. Well, let, let's wait. He's on the line right now. Let's wait, though, because I want to get the eyesight set up so we can, uh, we can see him. All right? All right. Right now, it's time for me to change my shirt. No, it's time for Cat <laughs> <laughs> to give us another caller. Who's next? Okay, we've got Steve Wozniak. He's on, on the, the line, line from Los Gatos, California. Hey, Steve, how you doing? Hey, Steve. Uh -huh. Hey, doing okay. Now, well, Steve, we want to get the eyesight working. Uh, I've got, uh, should, uh, does Roger have your, uh, your iChat AV handle? My gosh, um, no. We don't want to. We don't want to give that out on uh, on television because no. I don't want to be you. I want you to be able to continue to use iChat. So I guess we won't do the uh, eyesight. How do you like that though? Isn't it cool? Um, I love it. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's actually more fun when there's people on some uh, some of my friends with their video set up. Yeah. Well, that's one of the things about having something like this is it, it need people on the other end to have it as well. Yeah, and yeah. I'm kind of lucky to have like real pure T1 type addresses at my home so I can use it. But oh, that's boy, great. I get to work and I'm behind the firewall. I have to go on the public network. There's right. compli sometimes it's complicated to set up so it works. Steve, it's so good to talk to you. Of course, I don't have to tell people who Steve Wozniak is, one of the founders of Apple Computer. And really, I think, uh, I think you, I, I know you like to be considered uh, an inventor more than anything else coming up with new things. It's so great to talk to you. Can you tell us now, every time I talk to you, I ask you this, can you tell us now anything about Wheels of Zeus? <laughs> um, hey, you know, hey, this is a wonderful season, you know, <laughs> when, the, when the email drops to about nothing, and what were you saying? <laughs> yeah, Wheels of Zeus, oh, guy, we got this great technology, and we're just about packaging it in a form that makes real good usable products. They'll be announced by big, huge companies. It's so Oh, that's close. exciting. There might even be some announcement at CES this January. Really? But, I, yeah, I can't really say All too right. much specifics yet. Okay. So we won't, so we're going to still be in a little bit of mystery, although I can, I know, because I've seen some news reports, it has something to do with uh, GPS and, and, and locating uh, peop, uh, things uh, around, uh, so you don't, I guess, so you don't lose things, I know, whether it's your pet, your your son-in-law, or uh, or maybe your keys. I don't yeah, know what that. Yeah, a few Some... categories are more important than others. And, <laughs> you know. All right, I I don't want to I don't want to lift the veil too far, but that's that's what I've read in the news, and uh, and it sounds like you're kind of confirming it's something like that. Yeah, we try to hold everything out of the news, but you know, I there's know. slips. <laughs> I know. What else are you working on? Did you have a good holiday? Uh, I had a great, yeah, great times. Got some nice gifts. Had the family over to my house instead of my mom's house for the first time ever. Wow. Well, and uh, you ever had one of my little new um, you know, screens that keeps displaying photographs? Finally found one that does a decent quality and had that playing a bunch of family pictures. One of those uh, those photo frame things? Is yeah. that what you mean? Yeah. This, yeah. This one's called memory frame. Oh, yeah. I've seen those. You like that one the best, huh? Of all the ones I've looked at, just the picture quality, the ease of set, set up and use, um, all the features and price, just that one's the first one that ever clicked with me to want to buy. Now, here's the one I'm looking for, one that you could plug into the Internet so that I can give it to mom and then I'll upload new pictures to it. That's the right way, but sometimes it takes it longer to do the right way, you know, and all yeah, these things. I mean, heck, hard. I've got this music server that has, you know, half a ter terabyte of hard disk for all my songs. I can put them on in AIFF form, but then if I do that, I haven't found a way yet, even going through WAV files and PC software that 
puts the tags in for artist and album. Right. I can't get the artist and album on my TV right. set unless I load them in off a CD or load them up as MP3s. Well, I want to get the convenience and the quality. But isn't that the kind of thing, I don't know, do you tell me, that kind of stimulates people like you to, to, to invent the next thing? Well, no, just to get them to fix a few things and <laughs> solve a couple of human problems. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, I, I, I remember, uh, what was his name, the guy who started uh, Web TV, he, he, he had his uh, house up in uh, Tahoe. Yeah, and he, Steve Perlman. He, Steve Perlman. And, he, and what he really wanted to do was to be able to get TV and everything in every room. So he, he came up with a whole new product. Uh, I, I would imagine that something like that stimulates you uh, to come up with new ideas and, 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 and solve and answer your own problems. Well, the, yeah, actually, actually, you know, hanging around sometimes in, like, inventor circles, you know, the Inventors yeah. Hall of Fame, the National Medal of Technology and all that, it's neat running into these people that, that always the ideas are these are really good, sound-thinking yeah. products, you know, the right. in technology, so that's sort of a fun part of life. I bet. Hard thing, of course, is to take a great idea and make it a reality, something you're very good at. No. no. I, I, I like to be at the starting end more. <laughs> and let somebody else take it the rest of the way. What yeah. does somebody give a guy like Steve Wozniak for Christmas, a man who has everything? What was your favorite gift for the holidays? Almost, almost always my favorite gifts are a couple of joke books, a couple of optical illusion books for some yeah. reason. I usually get a bunch of T-shirts and mugs with my favorite pictures. This, this uh, year I got mugs with, a couple of mugs with Bichon Frise dogs, which oh, I yeah. have. I love Bichon Frise's. They're those little fuzzy, they're almost like poodles. They're just so cute. And I didn't get one computer gift at all this Christmas because nobody tries because I kind of buy them all as quickly as I can and have them anyway. Steve doesn't need any computer gifts, that's for sure. Overload, overload. As a matter of fact, um, even my son is a little bit like me and he says, don't give me a bunch of stuff. I just have more stuff and more stuff and more stuff. You know, you get tired of having I know. too much. So I was kind of careful to get him a camera that was only the identical model but an upgrade of the one he has so he can just do a swap. Toss the old one and, and has and the new one. That, yeah, and that approach worked. We got, you know. Upgrades. That's what we're well, giving he, for yeah, Christmas he's, next he's year. He's more into simplicity than my other kids. Waz, it's so great to talk to you. Happy holidays. Well, I think you know, it's great, and I just hope it's just good holidays for everyone. I mean, it's wonderful when the email slows down. Yeah, no kidding. The That's... skies here are so clear today. I don't know if it is up there. Oh, yeah, it's gorgeous. Big fluffy clouds. It's just beautiful. We were supposed to have rain, but we got a beautiful day. Waz, good luck. And next 2004, I think, is going to be the year for Wheels of Zeus. We'll look for it. And keep up the good work on Helpathon. Oh, we appreciate it. Okay. Steve Wozniak, thanks for joining us. All the best for 2004. I love talking to Waz. Such a great guy. Coming up next, a new video card does you no good unless you can open up your PC and install it. But you know it's not that hard. If Kevin and Sarah can do it, oh, my goodness. Anyone can. We'll show you how right after this. <laughs> London, Brazil, Tokyo, you're a hard man to keep up with. How can the butterfly help you? Find out at msn.com. Dave! Brian, are these your consultants? They're providing an ongoing assessment. We're on a standardized Dell Linux solution. Power Edge servers, Intel Xeon processors. What about assessment? Validation, deployment. Dell services are proven and scalable end-to-end. -end. They're customer-centric. We're more, uh, contractually inseparable. Manage your enterprise for less with the flexibility of Dell products and services. Call or go online today. From the director of Blade, Outcasts, Rebels, Renegades. I'm waiting to be impressed. Together, they're the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Buy the DVD today. Cheers. Season. Products ready and pending through Mature. PlayStation 2, the only place to play. Sunday nights on Tech TV are all new. First, the truth is stranger than fiction on Secret, Strange, and True. Then, a revealing look at sex in the digital age. Hi, gorgeous. Wired for sex.
and extraordinary ideas come to life on Invent This. Then, after fresh gear, what if everything you were told to believe was a lie? Explore Tech TV's new series, Conspiracies. Watch Sunday night starting at 8, only on Tech TV. Renegades. I'm just going to have to do whatever I want to do. Rebels. Yeah. And pop icons. <laughs> Misfits. It doesn't matter. You're a nerd in life and you'll be a nerd always. And millionaires. It's a good way to explore the nature of truth. Forget the pocket protector. I want to make toys for myself. Meet the nerds of the 21st century. Nerd Nation, a new series coming in January to Tech TV. There it is, the Call for Help webpage, and particularly useful during our Call for Help-a-thon, which still has nine hours to run. If you're watching the show and you want to participate, this is the place to go. Show notes for everything we talk about, and the message boards, which are running fast and furious right now. A great place to pose a question, make a suggestion. I know we don't have all the answers. If you've got a better idea, head on over to techtv.com slash call for help and participate on our message boards. It's a great place to do it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we want you to make the most of your holiday gifts. I think you heard it here first, and I think a very good uh, uh, piece of advice from Steve Wozniak. If you're going to give a gift to a geek, what do you give them? An upgrade. Don't try to figure out what it is that they want the most. Just upgrade something they've got. Many of you perhaps got an upgraded video card for Christmas, but now comes the hard part, installing the darn thing. The dynamic duo Kevin Rose and Sarah Lane are here to demonstrate what to do next. Dynamic duo. That's right. Power. That's right. Duo power. Yeah, so what we're doing is, there's a, a, a few segments that we're going to do throughout the show where mm -hmm. it's like, if you got something for Christmas, maybe you, uh, you know, for, from a family member, say they know you like to game, you've got a better video card, well, how do you install it? And also for those of you who didn't get a new one, you, this is still very good information that yes. you should know. If you're not getting inside your box much, now is the time to learn. Yes, definitely. So first thing we want to do is we want, we have our new video card. Our new video card. Right here, uh, ready to be installed. And, the, and and this is sort of like the John Doe video card going on. Yeah, we're, we're, not, we're not going to talk products because that's not really what's as important as how to put it in. Exactly. The installation is the same no matter what type of video card you buy for the most part. Perfect. So uh, let me show you the first step. First step is fire up your computer. Don't do anything with your new video card yet. Go into your control panel within Windows. You have some cleaning up to do. You first. have some cleaning up to do. Exactly. You're going to go into the add and remove programs right here. Kay. Check this out. I'll launch it here. And uh, right here is what we have, the ATI control panel and the ATI display driver. We're going to want to remove that software from here. Now, not to say now, there's NVIDIA graphics cards, there's ATI, there's a bunch mm -hmm. of different ones out there. They each have their own little unique brand of software. You know okay. the extra tools that come when you install a, sure. a new video card or, right. or application. So what you're going to do is so remove all this You want to get rid stuff. of your old drivers. Right. You want to get rid of all your old drivers and you want to get rid of all the old software that goes with it. Even if it's the same manufacturer because... So even if it's the same card, yeah, you figure like, oh, my drivers are probably still no. You want to start over. You want to start over because you want to have the latest and greatest, the fresh drivers that came with the video card that makes on the CD. Yeah, because they're constantly being updated. Exactly. So go ahead and remove all that stuff. And okay. Once you've removed it all from the control panel, you're going to fire down the machine. You're going to shut it off. In this case, I'm going to do what we always tell you not to do, and that's just unplug it. A way to go, Save Kevin. a little time. That's bad advice. <laughs> that is bad advice. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, but once he you unplug it here, tipper. yes, <laughs> we're going to uh, unscrew all the things here. Oh, I want to do that part. Oh, okay. Well, here. It's all done now. And now, <laughs> the next step is Thanks, opening dear. up the case. Okay. So this case, every case is different. For the most part, you're going to see some screws that go along the edge here. There's nothing to really yeah. zoom in on here because there's no screws. Dell has a very unique system where you just it's push in. It's an annoying in. system. Kind well, of. I kind of like it. I don't know. You kind of push in like My this. My computer at home is easier to open than this, but whatever. And uh, let's see here. There. Oh, stuck. Come on now, you're on TV. Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, help. <laughs> the uh, the case seems to be stuck here. Spank it. <laughs> no, seriously, you know, you know about the spanking see, it. Really hard. Just give it a little slap. Um, let's see here. Let's see how this. Here, uh, I'll get on no. the other side. Here. There we go. There yeah, we, we go. tried this in rehearsal, right? There oh. we go. Oh. Okay. Good. All right. Good. Good. The good. case is open. Okay, so now we want to just take out a video card. Chris. Yes. I don't have to We're gonna lift it. this uh, <laughs> this little lever here, and there'll be a screw. This is the video card right here. Let's show them actually which the, where the video card is okay. first. All right. Before we take before it out. Before I get too crazy. If you look at the back side right here, you'll see that this is where your monitor plugged in. So you know that's your video card. Right. 
make sure to identify that because you don't want to be pulling out your sound card or things that you know it's really, the wrong yeah, it device. It doesn't have to be that difficult. It's like monitor, video card. They go together. Exactly. And the video card is always going to be, for the most part, the one all the way at the top because that's what's called your AGP slot that's inside there. Okay. So I'm going to unplug this little power connector. Some video cards require a little extra power source. Now, do people have to be concerned when they're in, the, you know, to not touch certain things? Yes, you definitely should try and touch. I mean, don't try and touch anything. Try and only, <laughs> only touch the video card that you're removing. Don't touch right. any of the other components. Uh, you don't want to put any extra, you know, static electricity on, on the parts. Stay simple. And make sure that you unplug everything. You don't want power running through no. this. You don't want it turned on That's when dangerous. you're doing this. That's actually, yeah, it's, it's really dangerous. So can I, can I do it now? Yeah, go ahead. Right. So now so you're uh, just. Lefty Lucy. Yeah. Yes, Lefty Lucy. I've got to say that every single time. There you go. Take the, don't want to let that screw drop. You got it. There got we go. It. Okay. Yeah. Now you have All that right. out. Now, uh, video card's loose. Video card is loose. Another little thing that you might want to look out for is check this out right here. You're going to see this little lever right here. You want to pull that back. That That's a little lever that snaps into place that holds the card into place. It's like locking it. Exactly. So you're going to pull that back and then you're just going to kind of go ahead and wobble this back and forth. Grab it at the edges right here right. and then just kind of work it, uh, seesaw it back and forth until it comes out. There you go. And and let's get that lever at the bottom again. Go ahead. We're there clear. you go. Nice. Now old this is actually card. even though it's an old video card, this is a great video card yeah, actually. It's good. But uh, <laughs> let's let's pull that one out. And then here's our our new video card. Yep. And uh, I have it out of the packaging right there. There All you right. go. Mm-hmm. And beauty, uh, beauty doesn't look a whole lot different than the other one, but if it's new, it's new. That's right. And go ahead and slide it in there and put it on the outside. Perfect. Okay. And now. Go ahead. Now you want to make sure this gets seated properly. You want to yeah, make sure it goes it all the way down. It doesn't feel quite right yet. So See, you want to really. You, it's kind of like you know when you when you've got it there right. There you go. There we go. Snaps you feel that, into place. Yeah, you felt that pop into place. Well, and it's not wobbling around anymore. It's like it's pretty obvious when you've got it right. Exactly. You'll know. And you'll notice that this here is actually locked into the bottom connector as well, so that there's not gonna after you get that screw in there, this isn't gonna move around a whole lot. Go ahead and do that. Yeah, go ahead and put that screw in there. Mm-hmm. This is where it gets kind of tricky. You know how many screws I've dropped inside of a computer case is? You got to be really careful because if you drop that down inside the case, well, you, know, it, I you can get lost. Girls in there. are the ones who should be doing this because we've got smaller hands. Righty tidy, righty tidy. Ready, tidy. That's yeah, what yeah. we're doing. Okay, just making sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so once you have this all screwed down in place, now the all new right. card is installed. That's right. Now at this point, and that was not hard. That not was hard at all. Very simple. Isn't that pretty easy? Yeah. So we can get you a new video card and, uh, and we can install it. Good times. Uh, so after you've got that all mounted in there, now you're going to go ahead and close the case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot easier than it was to open. <coughs> And yes, it was much easier to close. And you take a look here, now you'll see That's that... That's awesome, this is exciting. Yeah, here's our new video card all installed, and it's, it's the, the back end seated right where we and want it. It looks really, it's, everything looks as if it was beforehand. Yep, just like it was beforehand. I mean, you know, there's no any empty bays or anything like that. We know it, have it all into place. Now, Screw just, this in. Now, just for different, uh, different products and different manufacturers, are they all going to look like this? As far as the back side of yeah. it? For the yeah. most part, all new video cards have these two type of connectors. This is your old style connector for connecting like mm -hmm. your CRTs and things sure. like this. Yeah. This is a new digital connector called the DVI connector. This is for those new flat screens. Oh, so if you gotcha. have, you've seen all those, like this one here, you've seen these flat screen monitors. Mm -hmm. This is Love this these. is a digital connector. It actually gets you better uh, signal quality. It's not analog going out, so you, you have, you know, crisper, clearer images on the screen. Okay, so not every video card may look like this on the back, but the newer ones will. Yeah, exactly, for the most part. So cool. it, it, they're going to be a little different, but uh, all you do is plug your monitor in, and at this point, you should be able to turn it on, and you should see everything come up as normal. Mm -hmm. Now, I got to let you know, it's not going to be like, the drivers aren't going to be installed, so at this point, you take your CD and you put it in. Make sure to follow the instructions. Everyone's a little different on when they want you to install sure. the drivers, whether before you put the card in and or after. Follow the directions for exactly. the most part. But that is That's the how basics. it starts, folks. That was easy. That's that was pretty awesome. Easy. Yeah. Good one. We'll do a lot more. That we will. Yeah, that's right. Leo? What? what? Leo? What? Who's sleeping oh. over there? I'm sorry. <laughs> can't get out. That's the massage chair. That is the best chair I can't get in the out, world. Though. It's got you my know, arm. I don't think it's the cutest chair. It's really not. It's not going to go. Oh, my oh. oh Sarah awesome. and Kevin will be back with more <laughs> later on, and uh, they're going to be uh, what? You're going to do wireless and uh, networks and bigger hard drives and new DVD or CD burners and the top downloads your brand new PC needs. All with Sarah and Kevin. That's kind of like a show within a show. Coming up next, more of your live calls. They just keep on coming. And still ahead on the call for Helpathon, what's the coolest thing you can do with? The PDA. How about turning it into a supercharged TV guide and remote all in one? Jim Louderback will join us. Stay right here. Ooh, right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah.
moved to Earthlink because I only want the internet that's good for them. Because they're not ready for the same internet. Because I know what he's doing online. Without bugging me all the time. There's some words I don't want him to learn. Different families, different passions, different reasons for moving to Earthlink. Call 1-800-827-0142 and get six months of dial-up service featuring Earthlink Accelerator at half price. New parental control software lets you customize features for each child. You can set time limits and even filter out websites, emails, and keywords. We moved to Earthlink because it's safe for him and I get an internet without training wheels. Create the online experience that's right for your kids with new parental control software and get six months of dial-up service featuring Earthlink Accelerator at half price. Call, go online, or visit these retailers. Move to Earthlink. It revolves around you. Extreme drinking. Binge eating. Thrill seeking. What happens when people push their bodies to the limits? Watch Tech TV's Body Hits, the only show that examines how your body stands up to the test of modern living. See how people live fast, work hard, and take it to the next level. Body Hits, a new series, premiering Tuesday, January 20th at 9.30, 8.30 Central on Tech TV. Before, after. It's hard to believe I have hair again. Even a little hair loss was a lot to me. It's amazing, isn't it? No hair. Hair. I look horrible in this picture. If you can't get used to seeing yourself without hair, call Bosley for this free information package. Inside, you'll discover how Bosley uses your own naturally growing hair to fill in the balding areas. It's not old-fashioned hair plugs. It's completely natural looking. Bosley is the world's most experienced hair restoration practice. Utilizing advanced hair transplant techniques, our highly skilled and dedicated staff pride themselves on providing each and every patient with an unsurpassed level of care. So you can be confident of realizing the right results for you. Picture yourself with hair. Call now or visit our website at bosley.com to find out if Bosley is the right choice for you. I don't know why I waited so long. It's not just for men, it's for us too. Honest to goodness, real hair. It doesn't even look like myself, does it? Bosley. The right people, the right experience, the right results. Ba, ba, ba. Welcome back to the Call for help -a -thon. We are having so much fun here. There's a lot going on behind the scenes that you don't see. We've got a whole living room set up there with PlayStation 2 and two Xboxes. We've got, I mean, there's a, there's a massage chair. There's a band going to be playing later. But, you know, there's something, and I don't know what's going on, but there's something, there's a guy wandering around with a video camera. Who, what? Oh, it's Pete Shainer. Pete, how are you? What are you doing? <laughs> doing fine. Don't let going? me interrupt you. Are you shooting here? I am. I am. I'm just a big Hollywood flick. Getting some behind the scenes oh, of good. the uh, Call for help -a -thon that yeah. uh, we're going to take in, put into a computer later, and show you how to use any editing software to turn it into a Hollywood Oh, that's cool. So we'll actually, in real time, mm -hmm. Make a make a movie. We should. We should. We'll oh, take a look right. at the different clips that we that I've collected from the people that are working back here. Let uh, the people at home see something that they don't usually see. What's going on behind the scenes? Well, Pete's a real expert in making video. So this uh, uh, film. So this guy is going to be. Uh, if you if you got a video camera for the holidays or you have one and you can't figure out how to use it, this will be a lot of fun. Well, Pete, go ahead. Right. Please continue the making Thanks. of the call for helpathon. Mm. You didn't get that thing that happened in the chair, did you? <laughs> Let's jump into a live call. Who's on the line now, Cat? John from Prospect Hello. Heights, Illinois. Hey, John from Prospect Heights, Illinois. Welcome to the show. How you doing, Leo? What Long can time I... no see. Yes. Uh, Leo, I have a question about cameras. Cameras. I have a Fuji Fine Pix, which has a CCD recorder. Yes, very good one, too, by My the way. My wife got a camera, and it's a CML... CMOS. CMOS, yeah. What's the difference? Well, it's a different... You know, all digital cameras have to do the same thing. They have to take light and translate it into bits. Basically, that's what a digital camera does. Bits so you can store it on a medium like the, the in, internal memory, mm -hmm. and then bits so that you can fire it down at a USB cable to the hard drive, bits so you can edit it. So it's really an analog to digital converter. And the, the thing that does the work in a digital camera is a little light receiver that turns light into electrical impulses. Right. Now, typically, the cameras that we're using here, the high-end cameras, use something called a charge-coupled device, or a CCD. That's the highest quality. In okay. fact, the Fuji uh, does some extra stuff. They have a fancier CCD than a lot of cameras that give you, they claim, higher resolution and, and better, uh, better picture quality. Yeah, it's excellent. It gives you a good 8 by 10 from a 200 megapixel. Yeah, the FinePix is really a dynamite camera. Uh, what, what, who, uh, what, what camera did your wife get? Uh, I had a pick by, it's a DCS. Yeah. It's, a, it's an Australian-built camera. Yeah. It has 3.2 me megapixels. Right. 
And, That's a little uh, the deceptive. Don't look bad, but they're not bad, but they're a little smeary. They're not yeah, quite, quite as sharp. good. A CMOS is another way of turning light into bits. It's just not quite as good. Um, I don't, well, I don't tell your wife this though, because if she's happy with the image quality, that's fine. But 3.1 megapixels on a CMOS camera ain't quite the same as. Now I have to tell you, there are high-end cameras that use a CMOS. For instance, the Canon, uh, the high-end SLR Canon is a CMOS camera, so it's not like they're inherently terrible. Uh, I just like CCDs a little bit better. I think they're a little bit crisper. Uh, but it doesn't mean it's bad. It's just a, it's a it's kind of a choice. In fact, there are new chips. There's a new Foveon chip that's uh, they say even better than a CCD or a CMOS. A whole new way of doing it. Uh, so far, only one company is making a camera with that. But I expect in the next couple of years, you're going to see a lot of Foveon-based cameras. So don't don't tell her it's a, it's not as good. Leah with wives, if the kid is smiling, it's a good picture. Exactly. She's crying, Exactly. You know, I use I use my camera phone, which is terrible. It's a CMOS and terrible because right. it's a low end a camera. You know, it's a, it's a third of a megapixel. And the fact is that the getting the picture is the most important part. And if it's a good picture, even a low quality is great to have. So I wouldn't tell your wife. I, I'd say it's fine. But but your fine pics is probably a little bit better. Leo, uh, sometime in the future, do a show on C C or CDGs, uh, karaoke discs. Karaoke oh discs. yeah yeah yeah. Um, how do you get those things to, uh, how can you make a, a playlist of your own? Right. You don't have to keep swapping discs back and forth. That's a great question. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. Okay. That's a whole new format. You know, the CD interactive format is a little bit different. It's a, but, but we, Roger's a karaoke nut, so we'll oh, do great. that as a segment. Yeah, that's a great idea. Thanks, John. Have a very merry, happy holiday. Happy holidays. Thank you so much for joining us on the call for Helpathon. Take care. Yeah, I mean, I mean the, the Canon, the high-end Canon, uh, uses a CMOS, so I believe, uh, I think that's what I've been told. So it can't be so bad that it's not, you know, usable and professional quality, but I, I think most people think a CCD is a little bit better. Coming up, the phones keep ringing, we'll keep answering your questions. Actually, let's do it right now. Can we do another one? Can we do two back-to-back? -back? We're going to take a break. Darn it. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll come back with Caller 10 in our Help of Fun right after this. Uh, today we're going to test the tractor beam from Ratchet and Clank going commando. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah, yeah. Nice job. Nice job. Turn it off! Whoa, turn it off! No, turn it off! <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> the tractor beam, one of 51 weapons and gadgets now fit for this world. Rated T for Teen. My name is Jim Lucier. I'm assigned to the 10th Special Forces Group at Fort Carson, Colorado. In my job, you have to be prepared for anything, so I train for everything. Every day is a little different. You push your limits far enough, you find out you don't have any. It's been at Hauptmann by the U.S. Army. And there's one more thing that the Army trained me to do. The doctor will see you now. Get more of Jim's story only at GoArmy.com. This is Tech Live. Are you ready? Take a ride. See how it's done. Don't know what to buy? We do. It's hot topics, movie magic, cool science, and tech gadgets. Get it? It's one cool ride. Tech Live. It's all you need. Weeknights at 8, 7 central, only on Tech TV. There are two kinds of people with hair loss. Those that keep asking, why me? And those that do something about it. I got the permanent solution from the guys who were as determined as I was. You too should make the call. I'm a member of the 72 Dolphins, so I'm not used to losing anything. When I noticed that I was losing my hair, at first I danced around the issue, then I decided to tackle it permanently. These guys are serious about restoring your hair. Look at me. One call, medical hair restoration. Wanting hair on your head isn't being vain, it's only being human. MHR understands this. Not only do they have more doctors who are board certified, but most of them have had the procedure themselves. These guys get it. Make the call. Get your free information package and start regrowing your own hair permanently. Plus, call now and get $300 worth of additional grafts. One call. 1-800-670-7961. That's 1-800-670-7961. Want to get your game on? Well, viewers, we've granted your wish. Turn to Tech TV for the best in gaming, gadgets, and fun. Let Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb show you how to turn it on. 
X Play, weeknights at 11 10 Central, only on Tech TV. All right, so you, uh, so uh, what? We got a bunch of these things, cat to drink. Is that the idea? Did Red Bull give us a bunch of stuff to drink? <laughs> yes. I've never I'm had one of these. Red Bull. What is in this? I don't know about the rest of what you. What am I gonna? What am um, I gonna experience? It's called wings. Wings. Yeah. Am I and gonna caffeine. fly? caffeine. I see that. Is it in legal? Big bold letters. Do you have to be 21. Sugar. Artificial flavors. Oh, it's fizzy. It's like soda. Yeah, it's um. It's just soda. Sweet. Yeah, but you're gonna start bouncing around. Am it tastes I? a little like cough syrup. Add some vodka in there and you're going to have <laughs> Oh, no, no, really no, 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 no. Let's take another right call. Right. i got to stay coherent 10, here. But you're the one that was, a. Was, was talking about drinking in the first half hour. <laughs> On the phone, it's Wade from Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. Oh, hey, Wade. How are you? Uh, Wade, are you there? Hello, Wade. Oh, Wade, Wade. Wade in the water. Charlottetown. i talk to you, I guess. Hello? Prince Edward. Oh, there we go. Who's there this? This is Robin from Cynthiana, Indiana. Well, I'll talk to you, Robin. I'm thrilled you're on the line. Yeah, I was like, Wade. It's not Wade. It's, it's not Robin. Wade. It's, my, it's, 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 it's Robin. Yes. And you're from Cynthiana, Indiana? <laughs> you just hung up on Robin. Aww. Aww. Well, what was Robin's question? Maybe I can get that in. Well, we don't yeah. know. Alonzo, we're we're having a, a we're having. She wanted to know the difference between. Uh, Alonzo's going to tell us DPI here. The difference between. DPI desktop, desktop printers. printers. Oh yeah, the dots print. Explain, yeah. Explain to me. That was for Wade. No, that was, that was for Robin. That was for Robin. Well, I, in absence of an actual question there, uh -huh. <laughs> all I can say is <laughs> what's DPI? Yes. DPI dots <laughs> per go. inch is how they measure the resolution of the printer. So you know, a lot of visual devices they talk about resolution, the resolution of the screen. You know, 1024 by 768, or uh, or the resolution of your scanner. Now, the difference between how you talk about a screen and a scanner or a printer is you generally don't talk about the horizontal and vertical on a scanner and printer. You talk about the number of dots per inch. Now, on this monitor at 1024 by 768, it's around 72 dots per inch. And, and you could figure that out if you just multiply the two together and you see how big the screen is. So uh, on a printout, uh, you're going to look at the capabilities of the printer in terms of how high the resolution is or how many dots per inch it could print. Now, by the way, you don't necessarily need thousands of dots per inch. The early laser printers were 300 DPI, 300 dots per inch, and this is a laser printout, 300 dots per inch, and it's completely crisp and readable. It doesn't look like there's jaggies there or anything. So 300 is enough for, for simple plain text. That looks great. Uh, the color printers, the photo printers, are usually a little bit higher. I would say 1,200 dots per inch would be the lowest resolution you'd want. This is a, this is a four, two, megapixel. two megapixel. And do you know what the dots per inch were on this uh, that was printed up? 1440? Yeah, 1440? Very commonly, the, uh, the photo printers like the uh, Canon I-860 which is what this was printed on, are 1440. That's 1,440 dots per inch. Now, by the way, that's in one direction. The, the resolution isn't equal this way and this way. So you'll often see dots per inch horizontal and dots per inch vertical. Do you, how do you choose a printer? Well, you don't necessarily say, I want the most dots per inch. That's not the only factor in image quality. In fact, it, it's really a minor factor once you go past 1,200 dots per inch. So make sure it has the minimum if you're doing a photo printer of 1,200 dots per inch. But then really look at the printouts. There are a lot of other factors that make a good color photo printer besides dots per inch. And really, your eye is the best judge of how good a printer is. Just print out some pictures. Often in the store, they'll have some printouts uh, from that printer. Take a look at them. Look at the, the, the solid colors. Make sure there's no banding in the solid colors. Look at uh, how black the blacks are, how white the whites are. Blacks are very hard to get really sharp, crisp blacks. So that's a, another way to judge how good the printer is. Uh, other, good, uh, other factors to look for is the number of cartridges. If you have just one color cartridge, well, you run out of one color, you're going to spend a lot more than if you have three color cartridges. Because let's say you have uh, a one color cartridge, you run out of yellow, you might have plenty of, of, of other colors of red and, and, and black, you still got to buy a new cartridge. So I like to look for a, a color printer that has at least three cartridges, usually four cartridges, uh, at black uh, and then cyan, magenta, yellow. Those four are the minimum. In fact, fancier print printers might even have as many as uh, seven colors. That's why my Epson 2200 has seven because it has a light and a dark cyan, a light and a dark magenta. More colors is a good thing to look for. Uh, but really, your eyes are the best judge. Look at the prints and see if they look good to you. This is quite nice. I like that i860. Very nice uh, printer from Canon. Man, I'd like to be there right now, wouldn't you? Coming up, 
He's here, Louderback, my favorite. Jim Louderback from ExtremeTech.com. He's going to talk about PDA software, including a way to turn your palm into a supercharged TV guide and remote control all in one. Stay right here. This program brought to you in part by the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Own it on DVD today. We're extending our amazing five free CDs giveaway. Even we couldn't believe how popular our Video Professor Software Savers offer would be. The phones have been ringing off the hook, stock has been flying off the shelves, but we want everyone to get a free pack of software. So we're extending this amazing offer, giving you time to call in right now and get a great pack of software for the whole family free. These self-help and informational CDs contain a wealth of knowledge that no home should be without. Take a look at what you get free from household names you know and trust, like Home Depot, Rand McNally, American Medical Association, and more. From wallpapering and plumbing to building cabinets, let the Home Depot experts show you how to do all your home improvements. Then create your own home on your PC. Repaint, add a new addition, and see it all in a 3D walkthrough. Create customized, printable travel maps of anywhere in North America. Plan trips ahead of time, add points of interest, restaurant stops, and more. You'll never get lost again. Research almost anything in seconds. History, maps, nature, science, geography, trivia, and more. And for medical help for your family, turn to the Family Medical Guide, covering everything from minor scratches and burns to emergency assistance with CPR, shock, bleeding, and heart attack. It's essential for any home. That's over $100 in free software that turns all this into this. All you pay is $6.95 for shipping and processing. It really is free. Video Professor gives you all this free because we know once you see how these CDs improve your life, you'll come back to us for more great software. You have no contracts to sign and no commitments. Plus, as an added bonus, if you call right now, we'll also throw in an extra free gift. This free typing tutorial uses fun games and tests to improve your typing skills. This special extended offer can't last forever, so make sure you don't miss out. It's free. It's risk-free free. Our friendly operators are standing by, so call right now to get your free software pack. To get your free software pack and free bonus CD, you must call now. Call 1-800-478-5028. Weeknights on Tech TV. It's the Screensavers. Patrick and Leo tackle your toughest problems. I've got a teenage son in a DSL line. Uh-oh, you've got <laughs> trouble, my friend. Turn you on to cool new stuff. We got tech news, we got the real deal. We got a win thing. And bring you special guests making and using technology today. I'm going to take a little hammer. Why do a screwdriver when I... Okay, I'm out of here. Help, how-to, <laughs> and ha-ha-ha. <laughs> it's all on the Screensavers weeknight to 7, 6 Central on Tech TV. Welcome back to the Call for Helpathon. We're in hour number three, and so far so good. Nobody's stumbled, fallen, broken any bones. Everybody's alive. We'll see how. Uh, check back in about five hours. Yeah, if it's the same. We're going to talk about PDAs today. A PDA, a personal digital assistant, can do a lot more than just hold your addresses and your appointments. It's, it, it, you, by downloading the right applications, you can have important information at the tip of your fingers. The, really, the applications can make the PDA. Here to show us his favorite PDA applications, our good friend, longtime host of Fresh Gear, Jim Ladderback, now at ExtremeTech.com. What are you doing, Jim? Oh, uh, sorry, Leo. I didn't mean to interrupt what? you. Oh, uh, I'm playing Age of Empires. Oh, my God. Don't I mean, you like Age of this Empires? This is one of my favorite great game. games of all time. Yeah. And this is on Pocket PC you're playing this? Yeah, it's on Pocket PC right here. It's, uh, it's really it's very captivating. Now, it's now not is like, it as good as the PC for Well, you know, it's not like you have a full keyboard, so you don't have access to all those right. control keys but right away. But it looks away. pretty high resolution. It looks, I mean, it looks good. At, this is the Dell Axum, which doesn't have the best screen in the world, but it looks really good. Oh, man. That's one of my favorite games. Uh, I played it for hours and hours and hours. Well, you're going to play it on your, <laughs> on your pocket PC for hours and hours. And that's just one of the things you can do with one of these handhelds that people don't tell you that much. Now, there how are do I, a bunch of good games available. How, how do I get a game like this in there? Is it the question of syncing up the software? No, not at all. It's actually... Um, and are you done looking at it? Because I'm going to yeah. make the screen go make it away. Go away. Uh, it all comes on this card right oh, here. Oh, see, now that's one of the things. Yeah. Nowadays with PDAs, they often have memory slots. Right. See right here, this one has a memory slot. I brought a tungsten along with me that's got a memory slot as well. Okay. The palm, which we can Is talk about Is that something I should look for if I'm buying a PDA? Yeah. Well, you know, the other nice thing about 
uh, one of these smaller slots. Most of the new digital cameras use this format as well. Right. So if you want to show people your pictures on your PDA, which oh, is another cool in, thing to do. And that'll work? Just take it out. Yeah. So this is the same format? Because yep. that's a problem. Sometimes it's different formatting on these things. But now it's yeah, kind of it, standardized. It's, pre they're, they're, it's, okay. it's pretty basic, especially with the pocket PCs. Right. They know what you can read it. Yeah, but it's really nice. So that's, Now, why do they put that on there? I mean, you could have it be downloadable software. You could download it as well. But think of about syncing up and hooking right. up to your PC. It's always a pain yeah, in the right. butt. Plus it's copy protected that way. Well, you know, it's just really easy to just pop yeah. it in and play. The problem it is, of course, you is you've got to carry these cards <laughs> around with you and they're small and you can lose them. Right. You, know, you don't know yeah. where they're going to go. Well, that's cool. But, Age uh, of Empires. Games are great. I've got to show you something else, though. And uh, this is a, a What palm. is that? I've never seen this. Well, this is the Zodiac from uh, Techwave. Yeah. This is a... Uh, and let me just restart this game. Well, they were handing these out at the Metreon. What well, they were actually making you pay for them oh, at the yeah. Metreon. What do you do but with it? What is it's it? A, it is a, a full pocket PC, and I'm actually showing a game right here. It's kind of hard to play upside down, but I'm racing. You're doing very well. There are uh, <laughs> nine or ten really good games for this. It, uh, Laura Croft Whoa. is coming out on here, just so in case you were wondering. So this is really not designed to be a PDA. This is designed to be a game machine. Uh, au contraire, oh. Monsieur Laporte. <laughs> Uh, take Once a look again, at this. I failed. <laughs> this oh, is uh, nice. this is the interface, and I'm going to show you. It's a it's this is running Palm Five. It's a Palm oh, OS. It's a Palm. It's a Palm OS, and look at this. That looks beautiful. There's your memo pad. Oh, yeah, I recognize that. Let me go back home again. The neat thing that they did though is right here. This is the joystick. It's got two yeah, buttons for that's playing a good games. Idea. But it, it's a really neat interface, actually, for accessing is different it, things. Is it an acceptable PDA, or yeah, would you buy great, it if you're more a gamer and secondary? The, this is probably the best Palm PDA I've seen. The only knock on it, I would say, is if you hold it up to the tongue, it's, it's a, little, a bigger. little bit bigger. But you want that big screen. But look how thin for it the is. Gaming, yeah. I mean, this thing is great. And the how reason about connectivity on that? Does it have uh, Bluetooth? It, it right does here. have Bluetooth. It does have for multiplayer gaming, which is a really neat oh, idea. Oh, I love that. You know, one of the other reasons why I brought this here, Leo, was because I, I don't have these loaded on the others. But one thing that's really key is you can do media on, on all the newer PDAs as well. And you see here I've got the ability to do, we talked about pictures, mm -hmm. video on some of them, but also music. They make pretty decent music players. Now traditionally the Palm was not a good media device, yeah. but they've really upgraded they, they've it. They've upgraded that, especially the ones from Sony. Yeah. I mean, Sony has turned all their Clias into real media devices. Yeah. These all have, uh, you know, they, they've got the adapters right here where you can plug in your so headphones. headphone jacks. And, and so this is an MP3 player. Now, have, what, what is this processor in this here? One, this one also, by the way, I'm sorry. I'm, has stereo He's speakers. Look at it. That sounds good. Out. That actually sounds Does that sound good. good? It's, it actually is pretty tinny, but. But you know, no, I mean, it's like an AM radio, but you can hear it. I do not know the processor in here, Leo. I it's think got to it, be more it, powerful it, it than is, the, the old 33 well, megahertz Dragon Ball, though. I mean, the other thing it has also is a very powerful graphics processor. Ah, so the games that you play on a pocket good. PC or a Palm right. are just not as good. You're not going to get as good 3D graphics as you can get on what here. What is this, and how much? What's it? Uh, 300 much to 400 dollars. 300. Well, that's that's a little pricey. Now, okay. The thing is, if somebody gave you a pocket PC and now you're entranced by this. Take it back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's about the same price as a pocket exactly. PC. Exactly. These are really nice. When did these? When did this come out? I love this. This is. It's, it's this. really kind of in demo mode right now. I mean, uh, you can buy it, it online. Might be hard to find. No, okay. you can buy it online uh, at the Metreon here in San Francisco. You can buy them. Right. Uh, but it'll be available for lots of people next year. Let's see some of the other software okay. we can run. Now, this on these is something things. that's kind of cool. If you don't want to play games or me media, uh, and I have the the case here. If you want to see the case, I'll bring yeah. this up here. It's the Wine Enthusiast. Oh, I Again, love that. Again, comes on one of those cards. Yeah. It's. I got to tell you, the software itself is not that great, Leo. Now, you like wine, um, so you would know. Yeah, it's, and a friend of mine, is, we, we went through and he looked at all of the reviews, and they're just not that good. But, uh, but it is but, from Wine Enthusiast Magazine. Right, right? and it's yeah. got the scores on it. It just doesn't have the, as much in there as you it's might want. It's not like Robert Parker or somebody well, like that. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's, it, all it's, the wines, you want more info. It, it doesn't have all the wines that you oh, might want. Oh, I get That's it. That's the real problem. Oh, I but get you it. can keep track of the wines in your cellar and things like that. There are a couple of different products like that out there that help make it easy for you if you go to a restaurant right. or if you go to buy it in a store. And these database applications, now that you can put so much on one of these That's cards. That's key, isn't it? You have yeah. to have a lot of memory. You, got, you, can, you can store all kinds of things. Right. And uh, this is just one example of So it. this comes on a card as well, like the Age of Empires. Exactly. Here, hold this for a minute. Okay. Uh, because I've got two others. Um, this is the Britannica Concise Encyclopedia. You can have a whole encyclopedia. I'm going to open this well, up. Well, it's concise, well, though. When you're done looking. It's, it is it's concise. concise. It's, it's like the Reader's the Digest yeah. version of it, right? <laughs> it's not all but 20 volumes. If you're done with that, I'm going to open it okay, up. Let's open it without up Without flashing you. There. Yeah. Oh, oh, everything's uh, going to fall down. Uh, you're very good at this. Card out of there. You, you, you must have worked you know, on Fresh Gear or Never something did like that, that before <laughs> in my life. You pop the card in. Again, here it's another card. Again, we got this issue, though. We're going to have a dozen cards all of a sudden. Yeah, exactly. Now it's loading it in. In real time, it comes there it goes. up. And now we have the encyclopedia. And now we have the encyclopedia. If I could find my pointing stick, which is right here. Wait. Can, 
Can I move this? That's all right. Take a picture. We of get the idea. Go. Let's anyway. do another one. We only have 30 seconds yeah, left. So I want to make sure we get. Yeah, we well, get the idea. It's encyclopedia. Dictionary. Is there, are, there, are there graphics in it, or is it just text? Yeah, there are graphics, okay. and uh, you know, what's this? I, you know, I had the voice memo, and that was the problem. Oh. Anyway, that. So we've got uh, the dictionary. You can have now a that I could see would be useful there. to have for spelling, for looking at meanings. That would be very yeah, useful. So there's the dictionary, by the way. Oh, that's good. In case you were wondering. Oh, it looks just like a dictionary. Yeah, it does, doesn't <laughs> it? Just like the one I had when I was 10. Now, what else you got? Well, some of the other things you might want to do with these are keyboards. Well, see, that becomes important as you start using this more and more like a computer, the handwriting recognition just right. isn't going to make and it. And this is where you do the handwriting recognition right here on this area. But uh, having a keyboard is really nice when you want to enter in all those names and everything. This is kind of cool. How much this, would this cost? These run uh, you know, under 100 bucks. I've got this one and I have That's a what big one. Palm Calls. Yeah, this, this is for finger typing. This right. is for touch typing. It's really typing. And uh, this one is, they call it a wireless keyboard because it uses, this thing has infrared. Oh! That will shine down. Oh, but that, see, that's going into the top of the uh, palm. Exactly. Device, you can yeah. use these with pocket. It's not really wireless. So you right, have to, yeah. right. These two are palm uh, pocket PC as well. I like the addition of a keyboard because yeah. I don't like entering addresses right. in with the uh, right. handwriting recognition, which just isn't that good anyway. So there are a lot of things you can do with your PDA that you might not think of. Okay. Um, games are fun. Oh, cool. All this data. Lots of great stuff. Jim Ladderback, we thank you pocket. so much. It's always great to see you. ExtremeTech.com, mm -hmm. great website. Yeah, and for everybody who wants to find out, like, I've got a new computer or you know, graphics cards, if your questions aren't answered here, it's a good place it's to go a, as well. I really recommend it. Good place to it. buy and how to build computers, thank too. Thank you, so. Jim. Great to see sure. you again. Come back anytime. Thank Happy you, holidays. Have fun for the next 24 uh, hours or however no, long no, you're no, here no, for. No. For more on all these PDA accessories, make sure you swing by our website, techtv.com slash call for help. Coming up next, another viewer is going to take a shot at the Wired World Challenge, our tech trivia and maybe some cool prizes would we'll call for help and the help of fun continues stay here Later. She needed them. They answered the call. Call of Duty. Rated T for T. Ever tried to get a home equity line from a bank? That's why we started eLoan. It's a better way to get cash out of your house. Needless paperwork? Gone. Lender fees? Gone. Waiting for a decision? Ours takes minutes. At eLoan, we believe everyone is entitled to the right loan at the lowest possible rate based on your credit not your negotiating skills. You get your cash fast at a great rate. A bank shouldn't come between you and your money. That's why there's eLoan. Apply now at eLoan.com or call 1-800-ELOAN-22. A special announcement from the Bargain Network. You can buy cars for as low as $500. Choose from thousands of cars repossessed and seized by the U.S. Customs, IRS, FBI, and private organizations. Call 800-260-2339. Foreclosed homes and distressed properties are selling for as low as $199 a month. HUDs, VAs, and FHAs, repos, and more. Through the Bargain Network, I got my dream car, and I saved a lot of money. New cars and homes are being added every day. For listings in your area, call now. 800-260-2339. Call now. Hey! It's time you expected more from an insurance company. Because at Progressive.com, you can get our price for car insurance, plus the rates of other big-name companies. And that could save you hundreds. Or if you'd rather talk to someone, give us a call anytime at 1-800-PROGRESSIVE. Call 1-800-PROGRESSIVE now or visit Progressive.com. Compare rates and buy a policy instantly. We can help you save money, even if it's not with us. You could start saving now. Call 1-800-PROGRESSIVE. Not what you'd expect from an insurance company. Twice the, hell. Twice the hell, twice the fun, twice, twice the, fun. the screen savers, twice a night, catch Leo, Pat and the gang two times, every weeknight, first at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 Pacific, then again at 12 Eastern, 9 Pacific, two times the magic, two times the mayhem, the screen savers, two times every weeknight, only on Tech TV. Welcome back. Time for the Wired World Challenge. Let's give away something nice. Who do we have on the line? Okay, let's do it. On the line, it's James from Edison, New Jersey. Hey, hey. James, how are you? Very well, thank you. Happy Boxing Day. Yes. <laughs> Maybe we'll give you something in a box. Are you ready to go? Yes, we are. I'm going to give you... F we? Oh, you've got some help? No, okay. actually, it's just me. Oh, it's the royal we. I understand. Yes. 
Yeah, I often do that. We're going to uh, give you four categories. You pick a question from that category and answer it. To qu uh, you actually, you pick a category. I'll give you a question. You answer it in 15 seconds or less correctly. You'll get a number from 1 to 25 on the big board. And one of them, uh, two of them now have my book behind it. So I hope you've been following. Here's your categories. Computer media, atmospheric gases, wired inventors, or sci-fi novels. Which one would you like? We'll try sci-fi novels. Sci-fi novels. Big sci-fi fan? I've been, yes. This should be pretty easy for you. I was just reading this to my daughter. I love this book. Paul Atreides is the hero of what Frank Herbert novel? Actually, Dune. Yeah, that's right. Several Frank Herbert novels. Dune is absolutely right. Now, pick a number from 1 to 25. We'll try 10. Number 10. Never picked before. You get 12 months, a whole year of Netflix. Wow, is that a good price. Worth over $200. Congratulations. Yeah, very good. Do you like DVDs? Yes, we do. You're going to love this. All the DVDs you can eat, no late fees. This is, this is going to change your life. Hey, thank you so much for playing our game. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. A big winner here. We're going to do it again. Uh, make sure you cross number 10 off your list because now we're going to replace that Netflix membership with one of my books. So you don't want to win one of my books now, okay? So make sure you cross those numbers off as we go. Wire World Challenge does happen every hour during our Helpathon and every day on Call for Help. Head to the website and you could be tomorrow's contestant if you sign up or maybe even now. I don't know if we were, I don't think we're fast enough to get you in next hour, but we'll get you in next time. All right, coming up next, we're going to take another call, right, Kat? Yes, we are. I'm going to drink more Red Bull, You're right? You're going to drink Red Bull. We're going to yes. get Morgan Webb on the phone. I'm talking Morgan. to her online. Morgan. Yeah, and she's going to oh, call in in a second. Fun. So All right. Yes, Should I talk sir. to her now? No, we're not going to talk to her right, right. now. We're still we're, we're going to take a break. Getting her up, but yeah, I think that we're going to take a. We're going to take break. a little break. We'll be back. All right. Didn't exactly get what you wanted this year. Get into Gateway for storewide savings on PCs, TVs, cameras, and more. Savings up to $500 on our hottest products, including our multimedia PCs featuring Intel Pentium 4 processors. Save $400 on the perfect complement to your PC, America's best-selling plasma. It's under $2,500 after purchase of wall mount and mail-in rebates. Hurry in for up to $500 in savings storewide. Get the box from Gateway. If you have a mobility problem and pre-qualify for a power chair, we'll deliver a new hover-round to your home. That's right. Unlike other mobility companies that offer deals too good to be true, our offer is straightforward. If you pre-qualify, we'll deliver a hover-round. At Hoverround, we manufacture power chairs in the USA. Our complete line of power chairs and motorized scooters are the most comfortable, and they're built to last a lifetime. Oh, I love it. It's Best thing since the legs. <laughs> if you have Medicare or private insurance, our mobility specialists will come to your home and evaluate which Hoveround is best for you. Over 30,000 doctors have prescribed Hoveround power chairs, and in most cases, the costs were 100% covered. It didn't cost me one single penny, and I now have my Hoveround. Why settle for a generic when you can own the name brand, a Hoveround, for little or no money out of pocket? Call now to see if you pre-qualify. There are three things you can count on in life. Death, taxes, and cable rate increases. Thousands of Americans each day have realized that rising cable rates and poor service are not their only choice. People are switching to Direct TV. Switching from cable has never been easier, especially now that you can get a four-room system for free. With the Direct TV Total Choice Plus, with local channels programming package, you get over 130 channels of your favorite programming with true digital quality picture and sound. And best of all, you get your favorite local channels, too. Direct TV also offers premium programming from HBO, Star, Showtime, Cinemax, plus Sports Pack. Plus, up to 55 pay-per-view choices a day. Plus, you get your choice of the best sports programming available, including NFL Sunday Ticket, exclusively from Direct TV. Your choice has never been easier. Call now to order your Direct TV system for up to four rooms for free. That's a $299 value. And your standard professional installation is always included. Call now. is on the air. 
Now, let's see, we're in hour uh, number three going into hour number four, but I think we want to get this number up. We've only helped ten people. Cat, that's just not acceptable. So let's get some uh, let's get some questions in faster. here. <laughs> yeah, it's my uh, fault, of course. No, it's all right. Well, this I like this to guy chat, says yeah. uh, Mike, he's thinking about getting DSL, and he wants to know what's the difference between DSL and a cable modem. Well, you know, both are what we call broadband. That is faster than a dial-up, okay. uh, and there can be huge differences. But really, I, I can't say. I mean, the big difference that will be true for everybody mm -hmm. is that you get DSL from a phone company and you get cable from a cable company. Okay. But in terms of performance, reliability, you know, speed, things like that. It just depends on how it's implemented. So in some locales, DSL is much better than cable. In some locales, cable is much better than DSL. I can generalize a little bit. Cable tends to be a little bit faster than DSL. In most installations, you can get higher bandwidth. But again, it's possible for your cable company to, to make your bandwidth slower than the DSL. So it's really up to how they implement it. Whenever you're choosing any kind of online access, the best thing to do is to ask friends and neighbors, people who have the service. This is particularly true of cable modems. Ask your neighbors if any of them have cable modems and what kind of speeds uh -huh. they're getting. Because it really, is, you're going to be as fast as your neighborhood is. So you should really see how the neighborhood is Can you get information doing. like that from DSL Reports still? You can. It, it, it's a really great site, uh, DSL Reports, because they have, they're actually called Broadband Reports now, but you can oh, get right, there with right, DSL right. Reports. They knew their because, name. well, that's because they're not just DSL anymore, you know? Right. But uh, they have a number number of very useful things. First of all, they have a speed tool, which is a great way. You know, if you say to your neighbors, well, how fast are you? They say, I don't know. You say, well, would you do me a favor and go to the tests and tools section at broadbandreports.com and take the test, because that'll give you a kind of standardized speed. But yes, you're right. You can look at reviews here, and that's really what you want. But I have to warn you, and you see this horror story section. Yeah. Every single internet service provider in the world right. has at least one right. horror story. Right. So you always have to take these with a grain of salt. What you're looking for is patterns, trends. If everybody says they stink, then they stink. Right. But you know, there's always going to be somebody who's unhappy with any service. So just one or two doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing. And I bet you can also get reviews probably on ePinions, I bet. Uh, ePinions, I think, does this as well. I would say, though, that this is, right. besides the news groups, this, mm -hmm. and that's a little harder for some people to use, this is probably the best cool. place to go to get more information on broadband. Uh, okay. You know, here's for instance mixed reviews. I have Sonic.net. I would put them in absolutely smooth ride, perfect as as they are here. But you see, some people gave them some bad reviews. So just it's always right. it's personal opinion. Cool. All right. I think that counts as number eleven. If I had a choice, I tell you, I'd get a cable modem in my neighborhood. You would? Absolutely. I don't have the choice. Okay. I have to get DSL. I'm very happy with it. All right. Um, this guy got a wireless router for Christmas, and he's not sure what he's supposed to do with it now what that he's got it. What the heck do I do now? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you what you do okay, now. Tell us. First thing you do is you plug that into your broadband okay. access. And if you're on dial-up, it's probably not going to do you any good, unless it has a built-in modem. Forget it. But if you are on dial-up, uh -huh. uh, rather broadband, you're going to plug that into the back, and you'll see there'll be an obvious place for the Ethernet to go. Okay. So that's getting Internet into this base station, okay. this transmitter. Now, in order to use the transmitter, you have to get receivers on every computer that you use. Mm -hmm. Now, in some cases, and I can, let me see if I have it here. I got I my brought little it out. brother a little USB um, antenna. That's what I was going to get. So I have my little USB this antenna. Big. Roger, can you see it over there anywhere? I, I brought it out earlier. It's just a little dongle that you attach to right. a computer. It works for any kind of Windows PC, and it's a great way to get it online for around. 50 or 60 dollars. Yeah, you can also buy PC cards for laptops that'll go in the PC card slot. But somehow you've got to get a transmitter receiver into that PC. And then you follow the setup instructions that came with your router about how to configure each computer. It's actually very easy to do. Cool. I'm doing it in about 20 minutes. Oh, actually, you know what? Stay tuned because in oh. 20 minutes, Mr. Kevin Rose All and right, Ms. Kevin. Laura, uh, Ms. Laura, Ms. Sarah Lane will be demonstrating how to do that. Laura Lane. Also, Pete Shaner is coming up. You've been seeing him shooting behind the scenes footage. We're going to do some editing next hour. And of course, how to keep your PC healthy, which is what we do all 12 hours. But we're going to focus on some specific techniques. Stay right here. The Call for Helpathon continues right after this. done almost as much call for help as I do in a whole week and we've still got eight 
hours total, a 12 hour helpathon. All you, all the help you can eat, basically, yeah, coming up. And, and I hope you will stay with us as long as you can. And if you've got friends who got new technology for the holidays or are trying to figure out how to get their PC, their PDA, their cell phone, their video camera, their digital camera, any technology working, we can help them. Just uh, give us a ring and we'll get you on the show. Now, remember, just before the break, I mentioned the wireless USB connector. That's, the, that's one of them. That's a kind of them. This, is, uh, this one comes from uh, Linksys, which is one of the big providers. You see it has a little antenna on it, and then you'll connect it to the uh, USB port on your computer through that, and that will give you, then that talks to the base station so that you can get internet access or share files from one computer to the other. You got a little one for your little it looks brother? Looks like a thumb drive. Does it almost. plug into the USB yeah. port? Yeah, they've got them even smaller now. Netgear. It's pretty amazing. Netgear? Yeah, they're great. I like Netgear. Hey, coming up in this hour, as I mentioned, digital filmmaker Pete Shaner has been shooting behind the scenes video all morning. He caught the first three hours of the show with his DV cam. Now it's time to put it all together. We'll learn a little bit about video editing. Did you get enough footage, Pete? Uh, where is he? Is he over is here? Did you get all enough footage of, uh, of the show? Are you ready? I did. I did. We got some pretty good stuff. Uh, You're going to do it on the, been, uh, on the been, PowerBook? Been put it together here on the laptop. Oh, that's great. And uh, we've got some good stuff to look at. I can't wait. Editing your movies, a very important thing. I know a lot of you have uh, home movies you want to cut down. Do cut them down, by the way. Nobody wants to see the unedited footage. Unedited footage. Plus, Kat's going to give you a, a free service that'll test your PC for viruses, security flaws, hardware performance. You'll name it. She'll show you how it works. And it looks like our lab here is, uh, has been invaded by stormtroopers. My goodness, uh, they, uh, should I go over there and talk to them? Or do we have somebody to talk to them? <laughs> do you want to talk to them? <laughs> should I talk to them? I don't know if I can talk to them. Uh, they uh, they, they can uh, breathe on I you. I know Darth won't be talking to me, and the stormtroopers definitely are quiet, but who are you people? <laughs> We're part of the 501st Legion. The Fighting 501st. And you're obviously all major Star uh, Wars fans. We've got uh, uh, a little stormtrooper here. Biker we Scout. <laughs> what? Biker Scout. Biker Scout. Oh, cool. Did you leave your bike outside? I did. Yeah. Oh, he talks. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a stormtrooper talk. <laughs> oh, they took it a little earlier. So right. Okay. And uh, and Darth Vader, how the heck are you doing? Good, good air in here. <laughs> what happens if I put? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just joking. And uh, and this one, watch out for this. Look at. So you guys, you guys make your own uniforms, or do you buy them? Where do you get this stuff? Uh, the majority of the stuff is homemade. That's uh, amazing. Some of the kits uh, you can find from time to time places this is cool. like eBay. But this obviously, this was fabricated. Uh, this is actually, I believe, uh, demilled. Well, can you talk or not? I don't. No, he can't talk. So this is can. actually in a demilled uh, German wow. MG. Uh, uh, 32. So you took it apart and reassembled it to look like, uh, uh, or is it actually? In order have for it to be able to be sold, it yeah. has to have certain things R taken removed, out right. or cut. But uh, that's awesome. So. That's great. Uh, well, guys and gals, I really appreciate your being here. The Fighting 501st. You're gonna, you know, stage a battle for us or anything a little later on? No. Um, <laughs> Just we guard. can see. Just protect. Protect us. All right, Cat. Let's hit them with our contact info so we can take some more calls for help. Hey, if you want to participate during the show, all you have to do is pick up your phone and call us. The number is 888-989-7879. You can also email your questions, call for help at techtv.com. Why don't you put call for help a thon in the subject That's line? That's a good idea, yeah. Yeah, so we'll know. And if you're overseas, send us an email. It's a great way to get in touch with us. <laughs> and if you have a netcam connected to your computer, head into the netcam cineplex chat room, techtv.com slash call for help. Go over to the interact section. There's about 200 people in the chat room right now, so uh, wow. you have to kind of... It's scrolling fast. Yeah, I know. you have I went to, in there. Uh, yeah. you know, make yourself heard in there and let us know that you want to get on the that. show. At the end of the show, we're going to be looking at the uh, Call for help -a message board area. So throughout the show, we'll be doing that. Yeah, sure. I've been looking throughout the show, but throughout that's where I'm getting show. questions for the end of the show. End of the hour. Yeah. End of the hour. The end of the show is far, far so far. away. It's all starting to melt together, isn't it's it? In the gray it's distance melting. of the horizon. These guys are really cool, but I bet it's hot in that stormtrooper. Is it hot in that stormtrooper outfit? Yeah, the stormtroopers are going, yeah. George wasn't thinking about that when he designed them. <laughs> we'll meet all of the people from the Fighting 501st a little bit later on, get their names and everything. But they're going to stay with us through the show. And uh, Darth, you just keep breathing, okay? Let's take a call right now. Kat, who's on the line? All right, let's do it. It's Robert from Columbus, Ohio. Hey, Rob, how are you? Oh, fine. And you? I couldn't be better. Welcome to the show. What can we do for you today? Oh, okay. 
Uh, this is Christmas time, and people yes. are having computers when the whole family, one big computer, whole family, and they need to be able to set everybody up with their own chance to use it. They're all gathered around the computer. <laughs> yeah. It's my turn. It's my turn. Get him off. He had it. Had it. I know that sound. <laughs> Man. Do you have kids? Uh, I have friends with kids, friends and I have friends kids. that come visit me. Yeah. So when they come in, I want them to use their computer and set it up so they can only go where they need to go. Their login. Right. So, uh... What version, what operating system are you using? Uh, Windows XP. Windows XP. Right. Now, I presume you've done the first thing, which is set up user accounts for everybody, right? Uh, yes. Okay. So that's the first thing to do. Is And you could do that. Let me click this again. You could do that from the control panel uh, under the uh, uh, accounts, uh, the user accounts um, control panel right here. Okay. We can add new users and you can when you add a user you can limit the uh, capabilities that the user have let's 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 create a new account here okay i want to say this is uh, robert's account now of course you always have guest accounts but the guest accounts are very very limited now this is this is this is a better way to do it because if the person comes back his desktop will look the same it's great for kids you, you know the the applications will be where they expect them and they can't throw out your files in fact they can't even see your files because they don't have permission to now there's two kinds of account types and this is very important you pick the limited type for everybody who's visiting you microsoft does a good job of explaining what capabilities this person has. Uh, mostly the limited accounts, you can't install software. Uh, they they don't, can't have free reign of the computer. They can't create new accounts with full privilege, privileges. I think that's probably sufficient just to create a limited account. One person needs to be the administrator, probably you, Bob. Uh, but the rest should be limited accounts. And then that limits the kinds of things they can do. And most importantly, they can't hurt the computer. Now, do you have little kids? Uh, there are little kids, yeah. and, you know, they're small ones, like five, six, and seven years old. Yeah, see, the little kids get daunted when they see this. This is, <laughs> this is a little, you know, this whole desktop is a little daunting for little kids. What you really want for them is a kind of a kid desktop where you just see the icons of the, just the few programs they're allowed to run. And, and unfortunately, Microsoft doesn't bundle such a thing with Windows XP. I wish they did. There used to be a wonderful program from a company called Edmark called Kid Desk that did exactly that. If you search around, you may still be able to find it, but Edmark was sold and sold again, and I think that the, uh, the product has kind of been left to uh, linger, which is a shame because it was a great product. I would look. There are, I'm sure, limited kid desktops out there. In fact, I really should be doing that. Uh, find a, a good limited kid desktop. I don't know of one. My kids have gotten old enough now that I don't have to do that. So uh, that's the kind of thing you'd want. There, you can, if you want to get more fancy, you can use the Microsoft Policy Editor, uh, Paul Edit, uh, which uh, you can download if you don't have it on your system already, um, to restrict it even further. And you can even go into the System Configuration Console and change permissions, change specific permissions. I wouldn't recommend that. I think really all you need to do is create a limited account for those users, and then make sure that when they get on the system, they log in. You know, you log out each time you're done going to you know start log off and you log out of the system so that they will log in when it's time for them to uh, get on the system and that way they'll only be in their own account. Does that all make sense to you, Bob? Uh, yeah, it makes a lot of sense but at the same time if they're doing a Word document and they just log off right. and it's, the next person logs on it says program in use. Do oh, I have to get another version of Word? Yeah, that's because they're not logging off, they're using fast user switching. There's two kinds of ways to switch users. If you use fast user switching, all the programs you've got open are still running in the background. So what you, you do not need to get a new copy of Word. You just got to make sure that they fully log off. They don't switch users, but they log off. Then what will happen is the programs they've got running will all shut down, and they'll be available to the next person who logs in. Oh. So don't oh. use, turn off, you, don't, you can either disable fast user switching, or just tell them, don't do that, log off. Don't, don't switch users, log off. There is a difference. And this, you see, is the logout window. That's really the, that's what you want. You want a complete logout. Uh, if you do fast user switching, then, you, then those programs will still be running. Hope that helps, Bob. Appreciate the call. Coming up next, we're going to go back to the phones, answer more of your live calls. Operators and stormtroopers are standing by. Stay right here. <laughs> What's crucial to me? What's crucial to me? Making the most of my time. Speed. Getting more and paying less. Doing things the right way. 
What's crucial to me? Staying on top of everything. Making my computer last another year. Doing seven things at once. That's why I made sure I have enough memory. And now my computer can keep up with me. So that you can focus on what's important to you. Crucial makes it easy to select, purchase, and install memory upgrades. Memory, it's crucial. Steve, really boosting our e-business numbers with Dell. Power Edge servers, Intel Xeon processors. Right, right. It's an SAP Oracle 9 Iraq database solution. Yep. Porting order resolution from Unix to Linux. TCO is down, ROI is up. Ensuring near-term liquidity and profitable share gain. Great. Right. Give your enterprise applications the flexibility of Dell Business Solutions. Call or go online today. Thanks for taking care of them today. The 2004 Jetta. New look, same get up and go. I don't know how he does it. One sees never enough of a great thing. This is like seeing Haley's Comet or getting friendly viewer mail. Now, twice the action, twice the excitement. Oh! Go! Oh! X Play hits you with back to back episodes that are double the fun of just one. And it's covered in rich Corinthian leather. Oh, it is. It's the X Play double play you've been dying for. It's a lot of fun, and eventually you go crazy. Watch a full hour of X Play every day. Weekdays at 4, 3 Central on Tech TV. Renegades. I'm just going to have to do whatever I want to do. Rebels. Yeah. And pop icons. <laughs> Misfits. It doesn't matter. You're a nerd in life and you'll be a nerd always. And millionaires. It's a good way to explore the nature of truth. Forget the pocket protector. I want to make toys for myself. Meet the nerds of the 21st century. Nerd Nation, a new series coming in January to Tech TV. Welcome back to the call for Helpathon. 12 non-stop hours of helping people. Ken, I just realized why people are watching. Why? And why they're going to watch really more towards the end. Because they me. want us to collapse. Yeah, well, this Red Bull is making me feel a little... Yeah, see, <laughs> I only took a little sip and I realized that I should wait till lunch yeah, before I uh, wait. dine on caffeine. Yeah, we've got a band coming soon. Do it's we? just, it's getting more and more rowdy around oh, here. I I'm going to start dancing. It. And of course, the Fighting 501st. Oh, yeah. They seem to have a heavy breather among them. Who's on the line? Our next caller. We've got a very special call that's going to happen right now. It's a Jimmy and Dana from Diamond Rio. Jimmy and Dana. Hey, guys, how are you? Hey, we are good. Rio, great to see you. Happy holidays. Oh, it's great to talk to you. My two, two guys from my favorite country group, Diamond Rio. We just love you guys, and you've been on the show many times. Are you having a good holiday? We are having a good holiday, buddy. Santa good. Claus come to visit both of us <laughs> uh, yesterday, and we got young'uns that are just I know. happy as they can be. Both of you have little kids. So what was the big present for each of them? Well, for, for my little guy, Max, it was Lala from the Teletubbies. Oh, oh my. Uh, we've lost him to the television. <laughs> oh, now, Max is what? My we, guy was a Game Boy SP. Oh, yeah. Isn't that great? Oh, man. Why, when did those. they start with that? That's my question. That's a, about a year old now. I, I, no, it maybe came out in the summer because I remember I ran, not walked, ran to the store to buy one of those for my son because they're just so great. Oh, my so God. Great. It's great. Oh, a lot of fun. I know you're a, you're a big gamer, Jimmy, so that's a, that's a great thing to have. Yeah. Now, uh, we were talking to Wozniak earlier, and one of the things Wozniak said, and I think this is very true, is that one of the things, he doesn't like to get a lot of uh, technology uh, presents for, uh, for Christmas because he's got too much stuff. And you know what made me think of your great song, Stuff. <laughs> I love that song. That's a, I wish I could play it right now because it's such a great song. It's all about how stuff's coming in. You're on eBay and you're ordering stuff and more stuff. A guy coming up at the door. You just pile to the gills with stuff. Finally got to move and get a new house. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what can I do for you guys? Because I, I, I know you're both big computer users. What can I do to help you today? Well, one thing I had, uh, I have, you know, of course, uh, your two USB ports on yes. the back of your computer. And I added a, um, a USB uh a hub? Uh, One of them hubs? Hub. Yeah. USB hub. Yeah. And, it, and it's powered by, you know, you plug it into the wall. Good. 
and I plug in like, um, and then I also have a PC card. Okay. Uh, a PCI card that is a, uh, a oh, an USB. Another also USB. Adds USB and FireWire. Got it. Okay. Two ports. Yeah. Well, when I plug in like a netcam, uh, my scanner, my printer, uh, different uh, deals like that, then I get a message that says, hey, I don't have enough power. You oh, really? You plug some of these. Interesting. Yeah, and USB, one of the nice things they did with USB is they put power on that bus. So, so you can have devices like those scanners and netcams that don't need to plug into the wall. They draw their power from USB. But the USB bus is limited, obviously, in the amount of power it can stick out. Now, what's probably happening, how many devices do you have hanging off there, Jim? Well, that's the thing. I mean, I have, the, I have a four-port hub. Yeah. And then I have, I have a scanner, a printer, a, uh, a firewire uh, hard drive, oh. and a net cam. Oh. And they all draw power, right? Well, I mean, they're not all on at the same time. For right. some reason or another, the net cam just, it won't even recognize it when it boots right. up. It just... Well, there, there are a couple of possibilities. First of all, some hubs really aren't up to spec. They don't do the job. And it may be that the hub you have just doesn't have enough juice on it. Uh, one thing you could try, it wouldn't be a bad idea, is to get another, yet another powered hub, connect that up, and try to separate these devices on a sip different, different powered hubs until it works. Every time you put power into that hub, you are adding power to the bus, so it should be enough power to power a number of devices. But, uh, so but it, it is an issue. Am I getting two, two sources of power from the two USB ports on the motherboard? No, and that's a single source right there. In from fact, the PCI card? That's probably a separate source, but usually each, uh, there's a, a single USB chip on your PC, on your motherboard. That's one source of power, even if you have two, four, six, eight connectors, it's a single source of power. That PCI card should be a separate source of power. I don't think it's your power supply. I really do think you probably just e either have a, a, a powered hub that isn't up to spec, or you really do have too many devices hanging off of it, and you might want to get another powered hub and, and just add some more power to the mix. Yeah. Do you guys use, uh, use USB for MIDI for music now, too? Uh, no, so yeah, much. I'm using USB in the studio for me, yeah. Yeah, sure. I just got for my daughter, I wish you guys were closer by, I got for my daughter, I got uh, a USB controller, keyboard, and Reason, which is synthesizer, wonderful synthesizer software, and my son got an electric guitar, so we're starting a band, so you better watch out, that's all I got to oh, say. Oh, man, <laughs> bring it home, baby, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nobody can beat Diamond Rio, the best, and you guys, it's so great to talk to you. Happy holidays, all the best for 2004, Jimmy and Dana. Thank you Thank very you, much. Leo. Take care, guys. I love talking to you. And give your, give your little ones a kiss for me. Yeah, Janie just had a, a, a pretty new baby. I think maybe a year old. Not much more. Coming up next, Kat's going to show you a free online service. It'll scan your PC to make sure it's running in tip-top shape. And still ahead, Pete Shainer, our DV filmmaker, is here. He's going to show you how to edit down those holiday home videos or behind-the-scenes videos of the Call for help -a -thon. Stay tuned. extra cash? Don't charge it on your credit cards. Get a second mortgage with a no closing cost option from Ditech.com. With a second mortgage, you can consolidate your existing high interest debts, get the cash you need for any purpose, and end up with one low monthly payment. A second mortgage with a no closing cost option is a great idea from Ditech.com. For fast, friendly service, apply online or call 1-800-71-FIX right now. There are many events this season, but one you don't want to miss. The Infinity Event of the Season. Featuring the G35 sedan, the car automobile magazine calls utterly serious performance. The Infinity Event of the Season ends January 5th. See your Infinity dealer for attractive lease and APR finance rates. Where's the jersey? There's the jersey. Okay, let's see what we got today. 30 seconds left in auction. You've been outbid. I've been outbid. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I'm switching to Earthlink. 
Speed up your internet with new Earthlink Accelerator. Call 1-800-827-0142 and get six months of dial-up service featuring Earthlink Accelerator at half price. Web pages load up to five times faster than regular dial-up. You don't need new hardware, and you get tools to block almost all pop-ups and spam. Get six months of dial-up service featuring Earthlink Accelerator at half price. Call, go online, or visit these retailers. Move to Earthlink. It revolves around you. This is Tech Live. Are you ready? Take a ride. See how it's done. Don't know what to buy? We do. It's hot topics, movie magic, cool science, and tech gadgets. Get it? It's one cool ride. Tech Live. It's all you need. Weeknights at 8, 7 central, only on Tech TV. If you couldn't write down all of the answers to our, our last 13 calls, don't worry, we're putting all the information in our show notes. Go to our website, techtv.com slash call for help. And look right here. All of these indicate the different hours of the shows. Today we're doing 12 hours. You're going to find 12 different show notes here. Click on them. It'll take you to the page with all of the answers to everything we're doing within each hour. Check it out. If your computer is acting slow and it seems like it's possessed, you should probably run a few tests on it to make sure it's running at its fullest potential. This last weekend, or these last couple days, I was in Utah visiting some family, and I, pretty much everyone said, Cat, help me make my computer go faster. What's wrong with it? So this is exactly what I did. I'm going to show you what I did here. I go to PC Pit Stop. Sign up for a free account. The username and password is free, easy to do. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to home page and you're going to run tests. See, it's like a key, just like on any, uh, just like on a race car. Go ahead and click that button, and it's going to test your system in these different areas: disk fragmentation analysis, CPU benchmark test, internet ping test, all of these different tests. It's going to take about a minute, maybe two minutes, maybe three, depending on your connection speed. But once, uh, once you're done, it's going to return a page of results to you, much like this. Here it is. Now, we see here that it gives me indication colors if there's something seriously wrong with my system. Red, of course, indicates a serious problem. Yellow, minor, blue, just a suggestion. Take a careful look at this page. There's a lot of information on here. We can see all the different components to my computer whether or not they're running at their fullest potential. If I can add RAM, this is a huge one because a lot of times people's systems are running really slow because they don't have enough RAM to make the computer do what they want it to do. So look in the memory configuration area, see if you have any available slots. That can always make your computer go faster. Continue on down and just read what's going on within your different drives. If there's anything uh, that's not being run to its fullest potential, this program will actually allow you to click on an area that will help you figure out how to make it perform better. This is, an, uh, this is another really important area. This tells me everything I have running on my system. It's going to tell me if I have a virus. This is very important. It will run a virus scan. If it's red, it means I have a virus. And all I have to do is click on it. It will tell me exactly what's going on with that area. This is, this is indicating that I have a piece of spyware. And it's going to give me directions how to manually clean it up or how to use their tools to clean it up. Now, one other thing I told everyone when I was, uh, when I was away this weekend to help them uh, make their computer run faster, go ahead and run a disk defragmentation. What you do is you go to Start, go up to Programs, go to Accessories, System tools. I know it kind of takes a long time to get all this, but disk defragmenter. I already have it running. And then what I want you to do is hit settings and then just make sure these boxes are clicked. Rearrange program files so my programs start faster. Go ahead and hit OK. Let your computer run for about two hours, this, uh, this particular defragmenter, and your computer should run a lot faster. You can check out the details on our website. They're there, techtv.com slash call for help. Leo. You know, I didn't, uh, if you I'd known changing. Dana and Jim, if Jimmy were calling, I would have changed it to this shirt. Okay. My Tennessee Titans shirt. All right. Which they gave me because, of course, they live in Nashville. So. That was very nice of them. Yes, how do you like that? That's pretty, I like it. That's pretty wild. Let's take another call, shall we? Okay, get? let's do it. I'm going to hit the button to number 14. Yep. On the phone, it's Hugh from Taylor's British Columbia. Hello, Hugh. Hey, Leo, how's it going? I'm going great. I got to say, uh, thank you, Canada. 
We've had more calls from Canada than from the States this, to this show, and I'm so glad. It's great to have you on the show. What well, can I'm I do? I'm from Canada. Oh, you're not? No, this is South Carolina. Oh, well, I thought British Columbia was in Canada. South well, Carolina. British Carol Columbia is, but I'm in South Carolina. <laughs> They got never, the wrong thing down Never there. mind then. What can I do for you, Hugh? Well, I'm a great fan. I retired about six months ago and haven't missed a show since. Oh, well, that's wonderful. What did you retire from? Uh, education. That's great. So That's kind of what we do here. I mean, I, I have huge respect for teachers. It's the most important job in the world, really. I went back. Uh, I used to use a uh, uh, TI terminal with a paper printout. Wow. <laughs> years ago that's when I started that was uh, I won't say the good old days I guess the bad old days right. of computing. Right. Well, what can I do for you today sir uh, I've got uh, a new computer yep it's uh, one of the Dell models not anything real fancy yep. but I've got an old um, uh, IBM 600 uh, laptop okay. uh, with a Pentium 2 great and I've got a lot of my software on there yeah and I really don't want to take the time to transfer it all over manually or just reinstall it on the new computer. I just like to have some way of transferring right. it over if there is. Well, I've, now, I've done that with the files. I know you can do the files, right. but it's the actual software that I want to transfer. There sure is a way to do this. Now, the easiest way to do it would be if you didn't have anything on the other computer and you just wanted to basically copy the contents of one hard drive to the other. Um, are you willing to kind of step back a little bit and redo what you did? Uh, possibly, yeah. Okay. We're going to show you a little later on. Kevin's here to show you how Aloha Bob's PC, re oh, Roger's gonna do, I'm sorry, PC relocator works. And that's what that's for. It's for hooking up two computers, just exactly your situation. It's, you know, typically somebody's bought a new computer. They want to get the stuff off the old one and put it on the new one. So you hook up the two computers, and it's smart about it. It's not going to, you know, even if you have different versions of Windows, it's not going to copy the wrong version of Windows over, but we'll copy your applications. Go ahead, throw it to me. It will copy your applications. It will also uh, copy your files over. So this is a great solution. I think you can just check applications and it'll just move the applications. Now okay. moving applications is complicated because it's not as simple as just copying the folder over. I mean you've got to you've got to copy the registry entries and, and, and a lot of other data including DLLs that might be spread out all over the drive. So it's not as simple as just copying the folder. You need a program like this to do it. If you have a program like Clean Sweep which is an uninstaller that comes with Norton System Works. That also has a feature that allows you to do it. You can actually bundle up an application into one single file, and it's smart. It goes out and looks for the registry entries and all the spread out files, combines them all into one file, and then copy that file over. That's if you wanted to do it one at a time, application by application. I'll tell you what, though. If I were you, Hugh, I'd stay tuned and watch this segment with Roger, because this is, this is the program you want to use. And I do think, you know, I said initially if you're going to start over, but I think that you can just copy the applications. We'll find out. Uh, I think you can say, no, don't copy the data. I already have that. But please copy those apps over. We'll, we'll find out in just a little bit. Also coming up, holiday home videos. They're more than just having fun with friends and family. It's, it's memories you're never going to want to lose. But how many of you have old videos lying around you've never edited down? Or new videos from this holiday season? Digital filmmaker Pete Shaner is here to show you how to edit your home videos the right way. Like the pros do. But Call for Help continues. Our help on. What are you doing? Playing team ball, Gary. What are you doing? Trying to go baseline if you let me. His D's been pretty tough today. You're right. Get back on the court, glove. <laughs> With NBA Shootout 2004, you're in control. Sports ready for everyone. Last year, over 1.3 million Americans filed for bankruptcy, the most in our nation's history. I'm Harvey Warren, president of the National Consumer Council, reminding you that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. The next time you get a pre-approved offer in the mail, giving you more credit, maybe too much credit, don't get in over your head. This is an offer you have to refuse. We're the National Consumer Council, raising our voice for a debt-free America. Sunday nights on Tech TV are all new. First, the truth is stranger than fiction on Secret, Strange, and True. Then, a revealing look at sex in the digital age. Hi, gorgeous. Wired for Sex. 
and extraordinary ideas come to life on Invent This. Then, after Fresh Gear, what if everything you were told to believe was a lie? Explore Tech TV's new series, Conspiracies. Watch Sunday night starting at 8, only on Tech TV. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. The sound of a child's voice is a beautiful sound. Unfortunately, 27,000 children died yesterday because no one was listening. But you're listening now. Make one phone call and make a difference in one child's life. It'll cost you 80 cents a day. To us, that's a small amount. To them, it's amazing grace. Can I get some music, please? Haven't seen Unscrewed lately? Take a look at what you're missing. I'm like a Greek god and Adonis. Do you think the aliens from outer space wear a lot of doodads on their hats? No. This is awkward. Unscrewed. Weeknights at 11.30, 10.30 Central. Only on Tech TV. Welcome back to the call for Helpathon. Your holiday home videos don't have to look dull or cheesy, and if they do, you can always fix them in post. Now, I think we're going to have a problem here, aren't we? We have a bit of a problem. Yeah, I could have told you that. We uh, wanted to run iMovie, and iMovie will not run at anything less than 1024 by 768, which is not going to work with our scan app. You know yeah. what we're going to have to do, guys, is uh, we'll... Roger says it'll run. Okay, give it a shot. Go ahead and see, see okay, if you can set it to 1024. And uh, it, it told me. No, it, it likes 1024. Yeah, can you get to 71024? Oops, wrong. That's all right. You click the right thing. There we go. See, there it is. Be happy. And then, but then right there it says yeah. uh, you've got to have. Yeah. Because iMovie 3 has to be 1024. I knew, by I knew this. I knew this. I knew this would be a problem. Very well. um, so let's. We're gonna. I'll tell we, you what. Let's take a break, or else take a call, and then we can set the. Uh, we can figure. We're, we're gonna take a break. We'll we'll figure this out. We'll Roger says he can do it. So will Roger do it? Find out <laughs> with Pete Shader and our DV film editing segment right after this. Stay right. We'll make it happen. Want to get your game on? Well, viewers, we've granted your wish. Games, games, and more games. Turn to Tech TV for the best in gaming, gadgets, and fun. Damn it, if you want the cutest little thing with a machine gun. Let Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb show you how to turn it on. We are a validating force to be reckoned with. <laughs> X-Play, weeknights at 11, 10 Central, only on Tech TV. Hey, Billy wants to check out bikinis online. What? The Bikini Islands, history class. Oh, sure. Hey, Billy, it's cool! How can the butterfly help you? Find out at msn.com. Weeknights on Tech TV. It's the screensavers! Patrick and Leo tackle your toughest problems. I've got a teenage son in a DSL line. Uh-oh, you got <laughs> trouble, my friend. Turn you on to cool new stuff. We got tech <laughs> news, we got the real deal. We got a win thing. Oh, and bring no, you special just, guests making and using cool. technology today. I'm gonna take a little hammer. Why do a screwdriver when I, oh, okay, I'm out of here. Help, <laughs> how to, <laughs> and ha ha ha. <laughs> it's all on the Screensavers weeknight to seven, six central on Tech TV. Hi. We have a little leak. Or something. Holy moly. Guess I better get started. Right. But first, could you give me your price and the prices of some of your competitors? You know, don't want to pay too much. Hey! Our customers know the importance of shopping around. Because at Progressive.com, you can get our price for car insurance, plus the rates of other big name companies. You could save hundreds. Call Progressive today.
extreme drinking, binge eating, thrill seeking. What happens when people push their bodies to the limits? Watch Tech TV's Body Hits, the only show that examines how your body stands up to the test of modern living. See how people live fast, work hard, and take it to the next level. Body Hits, a new series. Premiering Tuesday, January 20th at 9.30, 8.30 Central on Tech TV. All right, props to Roger. Mm -mm -mm. Raise the roof. Roger figured it out. And we've got it. You see what we, I should just explain that in order to see the stuff that we have on our computers, we have to run it through a thing called a scan converter, which actually turns it into a form that the, your television set can see. And in order to do that, we've got to go through some rigmarole, and we've done it. Thanks to Roger. Joining us right now, DV filmmaker and author of Real World Digital Video, a really great book. Pete Shaner is here to show you the right way to edit. Your holiday home videos. You've been Indeed. around. We saw, saw you a couple of hours ago. You've been here for three hours shooting back behind the scenes stuff. Exactly. Uh, I got here with the uh, just a little handheld video camera, which yep. is uh, a lot of people probably got one of those for Christmas. You used an inexpensive one, the Canon was ZR60. I did. Uh, that was actually the ZR10. That was the, one that's, of the very first. That's ZRs. mine. I have that one too. I but love they're the great. ZR10. They are. They are. You it's know, all you need. Exactly. Uh, for, uh, for for this level of filmmaking, a and, few and hundred bucks, and you, you're set. Exactly. Now, so uh, you shot the video. Then what did you do? How did you get into the computer? Well, this, what we've got here is this is iMovie, right. which is a very basic video editing program. This is Mac um, only, but it's this, very similar to is, Studio 8 or exactly. a lot of other programs exactly. that you might and, see on the PC. There are going to be three things that any video editing program is going to have, yep. and they're displayed very nicely here on uh, on the on the iMovie. Right. The first is this viewer that's okay. going to show you what clip you're looking at any so that any video that you're playing with is going to show up there in the clip there's going to show up there in the viewer got it then you're going to have a bin or an area where you keep all of your clips now how did you get the clips in here though that's what i'm, now, what's I'm curious gonna, about what's going to happen is uh, you take the camera yeah. and there will be a firewire connection on the camera okay and then there's a firewire connection on the side of the computer and when you get them hooked up you can actually drive the camera from the computer you'll you'll actually have it'll show up in here what what happens is and we don't have the camera hooked up to this right. now but, you but just, the you interface switch over there yeah. is, is right here right and you've got these right here which these will actually uh, if you click on those with the mouse, they will actually drive your camera. So it, it, it plays back, and while it's playing back, this computer is recording it to the hard drive. And exactly. And what happens is, because the actual DV file is just a digital file, it's just right. ones and zeros. So no and, conversion and is so necessary. There's no conversion. You don't, it's, it's lossless. You don't right. lose anything when it comes into the computer. So it makes a perfect copy on the hard drive. It makes a perfect copy. Now, this it, is the thing I like. It divides it up into clips. What it does, I mean, that, that saves you a lot of time. That's something called auto detection for the scenes. Yeah. And so that every time you hit the stop, uh, when you're recording, when you hit right. the pause button or the stop button or when you turn it off, right. there's, there's a little break there and the computer senses that. And so every time you stop shooting, it'll start a new clip. So and when I'm shooting with my DV cam, I should stop a lot. I should stop, instead of moving the camera to another scene, I should stop it. Exactly. If, 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 you, if you're reframing, for instance, if you're shooting a wide shot and then you want to zoom in and get a close-up of someone, yeah. um, you can zoom up with the camera still running. Right. Uh, but one way to do it is if you just hit the pause, zoom up, reframe, then hit it. Uh, it'll be easier again, here because it'll Then you'll get separate. different clips. Yeah. You'll, yeah, and it'll make your editing much, and much easier. As a pro, you knew that, and so you've got a lot of short little clips here. Exactly. Okay. So, so you get a bunch of clips. And then the next area, the third area that you will have, right. will be the area called the timeline. And um, all video editing programs have something like Every this. video editing program has a timeline, and what it is, it's a graphic representation of what your movie's going to look like with the clips in place. Now, what I've done here is I've cut about, about 30 seconds worth of material together, and I went through and pulled out clips that I liked, and I, and I arranged them here, and then between each of the clips, you'll see these little green boxes. Those represent transitions between the clips, such as a dissolve or an iris down or where it pushes one thing off that. Can you show me a little bit of this process and, and what it looks like? And, and, and what we'll do is... This is we'll his come, whole movie right there, yeah. We'll come out to the end of the... Where we've, where we've been cutting. Okay. And we'll take, we'll take a clip. We're at the last scene now. Exactly. A We're minute at the last 13 scene. into the clip. And so here's a clip of, yeah. of someone that you know well. And if I were to take that... And basically just drag it down, if I were to take the clip and drag it down to the timeline, and actually let me go ahead and close it up here. There's the clip itself. Right. You drag you it drag down. You drag it down to the timeline. You line. drop it on the timeline. And it just adds it. And it just adds it. And so now that is, has been added after the last clip that I had. And so if I wanted to see what that looked like, I could move the playhead 
See, and, and, and there's, there's, there's the scene I had before. That's the previous the shot scene. I, the shot I had before. And then there's the edit. So and it just there's jumped. The edit. And, and now, that's the, the most basic form of an edit. It's just called a straight cut. Okay. Where you go directly from one picture to the next picture. Right. Um, and that's the way 99.9% .9 of all cuts are. Movies are always, in movies almost, are almost always, always straight, straight cuts. cuts yeah. um, in something that's going to be like this, where I'm trying to capture the feel of something, and the shots aren't necessarily related one after the other, right. you would generally put a transition between the shots. And now what's a transition? And Show a, us how you do and that. And a transition, if you come down here and you click on the transition, then you get the transition pane. This is a kind of a palette of different ones exactly. you can use. Exactly, and these are all the different types of transitions. Circle closing, circle And, and for instance, you can, you can see what, what they will do Go in the little Go up a little bit, guys, mirror. so that we can see the transitions. There they are, okay. If so you, if you, if you uh, even a little farther, you'll see the preview. If you guys uh, move the camera up a little higher, so we can see the, pre there you go. See, so it's previewing what a transition so what would look it's, like. It's, it's previewing, but it's showing it uh. to you very, very quickly. The, the best way to do it is you take one of these then, yeah. and suppose I wanted to do something called warp, and I bring You're warp drag down, it down, and I drag it down, timeline. Yeah, and put it between the two shots. Got it. And you drop it down in there. So that adds a transition. And then, and then now that transition is in place. Now I'm going to switch to a different view of the timeline because you can look at the timeline as just your clips yeah. or you can see a view of the timeline that shows you oh. the clips and it shows you the sound because one of the things that I did was I brought in a piece of music. Uh, well you don't almost have to because uh, if you use the, the sound that was on the video it would be jumping all over exactly. the place. Exactly. The sound jumps all over and so uh, there's a, a wonderful sound tracking program called uh, Sonic Fire Pro okay. that, that I went and got a piece of music from and dropped it down on here and then as you go through it you can kind of cut to the music and if you mix the music from the mute from the songs oh, cool. with the music from what's going on then for instance, it doesn't sound so then weird. it doesn't sound so bad and if we, if we go back to the beginning now by the way the one of the nice things about iMovie is it interfaces with iTunes very nicely so it if does. you have music on your system it's very easy to get music you can into the uh, if movie. you take a look down here for instance um, you can under audio if we go to audio and we'll do that you can bring in sound effects but you can also all go the music through that's available in iTunes. Anything is there. that's available in iTunes. Yeah, that's so cool. Which is right here. This there's my iTunes library. Right. And then these are all different songs that I can drag any one of these songs down and drop it. I in know here. you do a lot of video editing because <laughs> instead of my iTunes, which is just a bunch of whole songs, you got a lot of little clips of music. I do, and stuff. I do. And these, these and sound are all effects from and another piece, uh, something great. else I was working on. Well, let's see what, let's see what the, uh, the kind of the semi finished, because you're still working on it, semi right? finished. The first we, beginnings of this looks exactly. like. Exactly. And if you take a look at this, I put, I put a title at the head of it. We haven't really talked about well, we'll the title. We'll talk about titles, all right. But, okay. And you'll hear the music, and you'll also hear some of the ambient sound going on underneath the music. Mixed so, low, though, exactly. so you don't hear those chops okay. exactly we'll go full screen on this you want to go full screen on or no they are leave it like that they got it Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> there's George our producer that's there you great. go Kevin and Sarah doing it in front of the cameras cat oh, I love it so you're good I didn't even notice you sneaking around <laughs> What's the idea? Is that to Craig get the, in the elf head? Or was that Bill? That was Bill? And then there's the shot that we just added with the transition that yeah. that, that circle warp out. Yeah. Was, uh, and now this shot, shot is a little longer. You're going to cut this. I didn't get a chance to trim that shot. What are, what are some of the mistakes people, beginners especially, commonly make when they're doing this kind of editing? Um, one of the mistakes that they make is that their shots are too long. Just like that last one. Just like one. that we last shot. Exactly. Yeah. You sit on it. No, you're going to the ugly guy. Wait, exactly. Yeah. Once, once you've got the information out of the shot, mm -hmm. um, then you want to move on to another shot. And the music will help you. If you've got music with a good, you good beat to it, beat. then you follow that beat oh, and it'll, right. it'll tell you where to it's cut. It's time to cut. Exactly. Well, how, is this, what, how short could a clip be? What's the shortest you would put? Um, it, it depends. If, you, if, you, if you're doing a very fast piece of music, you can have clips that are, are, are just a few frames long. Really? Uh, boom, boom, boom. Exactly. The MTV style. Exactly. That's MTV style. And, and that'll be driven by the music and also by the moves of the camera. Another right. way that you can, you can generate interest with your shots is when you're shooting, if you if if you find someone who's moving, you follow them. Move it, move it. Okay. So so that they stay in the center of the frame, but you've got movement behind them. And yeah. We, ha we had the one shot there where we had it, the. It looked good. Yeah. yeah. When you were following uh, the the guy with the with the ears. And yeah. The hat. Yeah. Um, and you stay with that, and that gives you interest. Uh, yes. You can also do a zoom in on uh, on a shot, or you can you can actually walk around. And the idea is. 
the more movement there is in the shot, the longer you can keep it on the screen. Because it's not boring. Exactly. Oh, that makes it's not sense. Boring. Yeah, it's, this is really very cool. Are you going to continue to work on this? Uh, I will. I will. All I'll right. stay here as long as... Pete Shainer, in the book, of course, everybody should uh, get it, is called... It's Real World Digital Video. That's it. Must have if you're if you want to do this, and this is a really fun project to do. It is. You don't have to do it on a Mac. This is all Mac, of course, and it, and it's very good for this kind of thing. But there's there's great software for the PC as well uh, that do that really looks pretty much the same. And does it does. Exactly it all works same exactly the same. Yeah. If you've missed anything, of course, as always, with everything on uh, any time you see Call for Help, everything on our show is available in our show notes. Just go to the website techtv.com/slash call for help. Thanks, Pete. Mm -hmm. Coming up next, three out of four stormtroopers agree the Wired World Challenge is the hottest game this side of Tatooine. Find out if the force is with our next contestant when Call for Help and the Helpathon returns. <laughs> He's never enough of a great thing. This is like seeing Haley's Comet or getting friendly viewer mail. Now, twice the action, twice the excitement. Oh! Go! Oh! X Play hits you with back to back episodes that are double the fun of just one. And it's covered in rich Corinthian leather. Oh, it is. It's the X Play double play you've been dying for. It's a lot of fun, and eventually you go crazy. Watch a full hour of X Play every day. Weekdays at 4, 3 Central on Tech TV. This is Dave. Dave. Bob Haybeck. Hi, Bob. Dave, without the guiding hand of our big iron, you're a ship without a sail. Well, not really. We just put in a Linux cluster of Dell servers with Intel Xeon processors. Oh. Well, that's one way to go. It's highly scalable, flexible, available. Listen, Dave. Let's do lunch. I'll get back to you. Get more out of your data center with Dell Business Solutions. Call or go online today. Twice the hell. Twice the fun. The screensavers. Twice a night. Catch Leo, Pat, and the gang two times every weeknight. First at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 Pacific. Then again at 12 Eastern, 9 Pacific. Two times the magic. Two times the mayhem. The screensavers. Two times every weeknight. Only on Tech TV. Only on Tech TV. My name's David Abreu. As a firefighter, I'm able to give something back to the city every single day. But these streets aren't the only ones that need protecting. That's why when I'm not wearing this uniform, I'm a soldier in the U.S. Army Reserve. Find out how David protects his city and his country as a civil affairs specialist in the U.S. Army Reserve. Only at GoArmy.com. This is Tech Live. Are you ready? Take a ride. See how it's done don't know what to buy? We do. It's hot topics, movie magic, cool science, and tech gadgets. Get it? It's one cool ride. Tech Live. It's all you need. Weeknights at 8, 7 central, only on Tech TV. Welcome back. It's time for the Wired World Challenge. We're going to have a lot of fun on this one. Some great prizes. Let's get a caller on the line. Kat, who is our contestant? <laughs> All there? right, Leah, let's do it. On the line, it's William from Lakeland, Florida. Lakeland, Florida. William, how are you doing? You ready to go? Yes, I'm ready to go. All right, let me fill you in on what we're going to do here. I'm going to give you four yeah. categories. You'll pick one. Answer a question from that category correctly in 15 seconds or less. You'll have a chance to pick a number from the big board, 1 to 25. There are some great prizes in there, thanks to Crucial. In fact, let me show you one of the prizes we've got here is this Crucial... Thank you. You look taller in the movies. It, one of these is uh, the Crucial 9600 Radeon. This is, what, this is our recommended uh, video card. In fact, it was our pick in our top 20 gift guide. So this is a great prize. You ready to win? Would you like one of those? Sure, I'd like one. Who wouldn't like one of those? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, thank you. And, and, if, and if, you, you can have that back. If you, if, if you pick a number that's already been picked, bad news, you get one of these. Well, it's still a good prize. Oh, you're a nice man to say that. I'll autograph it and make it even less valuable. Well, That's that Leo Laporte's yes. <laughs> 2004 Technology Almanac, available at better stores everywhere. Stormtrooper, you may have this as well. 
Look at this. This is great. I love having a stormtrooper at my beck and call. Here are our categories today. Computer media, atmospheric gases, wired inventors, and sci-fi book titles. Which would you like? Oh, let's try atmospheric gases. Atmospheric <laughs> If this is a question about me, you're fired, Alonzo. All right, here we go. What... <laughs> What is the most common gas, think carefully on this, the most common gas in the Earth's atmosphere? Nitrogen. Not you're very good. You knew. A lot of people say oxygen. No, 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 no. It's nitrogen. Pick a number from 1 to 25. 14. Number 14. I don't think that's been picked before. Let's see what he wins. Six months of Netflix. We're giving away the memberships today. That's a great prize. Six months, all the movies you can watch, three at a time. When you're done, you mail them back. You get three more. Make your list as long as you want. The best part, no late fees ever. Thanks to Netflix for that prize, and thank you for playing with us. Congratulations. You're welcome. The Wire <laughs> World Challenge happens every day. You could be tomorrow, our contest, actually every hour during the uh, Call for Helpathon. You could be next hour's contestant if you head to the website and you sign up for your chance to play. Now, let's answer another question. He Kat, was celebrating. He was, ha he was doing a little jig, yeah. wasn't he? He was dancing, dancing, dancing. You ready for another call? I'm going to hit the button here. I would love Number to do that. Number 15 is Dana from Apex in North Carolina. Hey, Dana, how are you? Hey, Leo and Kat, thanks for coming in today and, and educating us and entertaining yeah, us today. Right. I am so happy that we are doing <laughs> this. This happy. is so much fun to do this. Okay. And you know, I got to say, between Canada and North Carolina, you guys got it sewed up. This is the Canada North Carolina show. We thank you for watching, David. What can I do for you? I've got a question. I've got some old DOS base and Windows 98 or Windows 95 games yeah. uh, that, of course, don't play on Windows XP and also right. have trouble with the video cards. The games don't recognize the video cards. Yeah. Any solution for that? Well, you're gonna. In most cases, you're actually going to be out of luck. There is a compatibility mode in Windows XP, but it's only going to help you in one particular kind of case. That's the case where a game usually be a Windows game, not a DOS game, checks the operating system version. And if a game is designed, let's say, for Windows 95 or 98, and checks the operating system version and gets back Windows XP, in many cases, those games are in, or any program will go, huh? Uh, what is XP? And they'll refuse to run. In that one case, you can run them in compatibility mode, and then what the compat all the compatibility mode does is say, I'm Windows 98. You know, it, it, and the way to do it is you right-click the shortcut for the uh, program you want, and you click the compatibility, and you and you check this box. And and actually, I can't do it with Internet Explorer. That's the icon I picked. So let me. But you get the idea. You'll be able to run this program in compatibility mode, and then it'll say the different versions of Windows. But all it's changing is how the pro, how the uh, operating system identifies itself. It doesn't really change let's say the video card. There are some settings here that are helpful with all their programs. Runs in 256 colors, 640 by 480 resolution, things like that, that may help. But frankly, the kind of games you're describing, particularly DOS games and games that don't like the video card, they're really not going to be helped by this compatibility mode. They're mostly, in most cases, what I, and by the way, this is when you click the more information, it's well worth reading this. But in most cases, you're going to have to either find an older computer or boot to DOS. Now, if it's a DOS game, booting to DOS may well work. Are they on CD or on the hard drive? Um, well, no, they're on CD. Yeah. It's just they're the old DOS-based games, and as I understand Windows XP, anything from 98 or later, of course, isn't as DOS-based. Right. It's, it's, it's more of DOS Windows. DOS is a problem. That's exactly right. So 98 or later, the compatibility mode may help. Pre-98, 95 or DOS, I would suggest running a, <laughs> getting, making a DOS boot disk, uh, and if you go to bootdisk.com, you can make any version of DOS boot disk you want. You might have to put drivers on there for the CD-ROM. Remember that, the good old days when you had to put DOS drivers on your boot disks? Yeah. Yeah. You might have to do that. You might have to have a sound blaster driver on there, things like that. It's really hard to get those old games working, frankly. Um, it depends on how dedicated you are. Here's a section on game sound and video problems that you might want to take a look at. But if it says, I don't like this video card, uh, I think you're going to be uh, out of luck. I don't. I, I can't think of any way that you could trick it about the video card. That's pretty much what I was thinking yeah. too. Is I may be just kind of out of luck. Which I didn't games? know if there were any websites or anything that took those old games and kind of upgraded right. them or anything like that. Well, which game is it? What games do you want to play? Um, well, some of the ones that I like, some of the older games that I liked are, are uh, the Eleventh Hour, mm -hmm. Seventh Guest. Those uh, were great. I'm not great. sure if you're familiar with them or not. I loved those games, and here's the real problem. They were very advanced for their time, used a lot of video, 
and they're very difficult to make work on modern operating systems because the guys who wrote those programs wanted to get the most performance out of there. They're very good games, very scary. In order to do that, they actually played a lot of tricks on the operating system and did a lot of low-level hardware. And that's going to really screw you up with Windows XP because it won't let you go anywhere near the hardware. That's what I'm running into. Yeah. Seventh, what a great game Seventh Guest was, Eleventh Hour. Those were really fun. They, they were really uh, breakthrough games because they had full motion video. You were really in the game, and it was really a lot of fun. That's why I like them. Yeah. I think, uh, I'll, you know, just I would check the fan site, see if somebody, w one possibility is that somebody has found the old code, or maybe the old code was released, and somebody has messed with it and made it work. But uh, I think, you know, it's, that's going to be a tough one. Those, those games in particular were really right into the metal and very difficult to get them to work in XP. Sorry about that. Coming up next, we're going to tie up some loose ends, answer as many email questions as we can, get that counter up as fast as we can, and the call for help is on the air. We'll have more right after this. Stay here. Report's 2004 Technology Almanac is back. It's a one-of-a-kind resource for every day of the year with advice, tips, and secrets about today's most popular technology topic. It's everything you love about the screensavers. Networking, MP3 players, we've got it all. His last two books were bestsellers, and this one is sure to follow. And don't miss all the other great books from Tech TV, including Security Alert, Sell It on eBay, and Windows XP for home use. Leo Laporte's 2004 Technology Almanac. Get it at a Barnes & Noble near you or online at barnesandnoble.com. I can assure you the bank's closing costs are very competitive. I'll just open these blinds to let in a little extra life. <laughs> Consolidate bills and lower your monthly payments now with a no closing cost home equity loan from Ditech.com. That's impossible! Get the cash you need now from Ditech.com. Lost another loan to Ditech. Log on to Ditech.com or call 1 800 Ditech 1. Renegades. I'm just going to have to do whatever I want to do. Rebels. Yeah. And pop icons. <laughs> Misfits. It doesn't matter. You're a nerd in life and you'll be a nerd always. And millionaires. It's a good way to explore the nature of truth. Forget the pocket protector. I want to make toys for myself. Meet the nerds of the 21st century. Nerd Nation, a new series coming in January to Tech TV. There are three things you can count on in life. Death, taxes, and cable rate increases. Thousands of Americans each day have realized that rising cable rates and poor service are not their only choice. People are switching to Direct TV. Switching from cable has never been easier, especially now that you can get a four-room system for free. With the Direct TV Total Choice Plus, with local channels programming package, you get over 130 channels of your favorite programming with true digital quality picture and sound. And best of all, you get your favorite local channels too. Direct TV also offers premium programming from HBO, Star, Showtime, Cinemax, plus Sports Pack. Plus up to 55 pay-per-view choices a day. Plus you get your choice of the best sports programming available, including NFL Sunday Ticket, exclusively from Direct TV. Your choice has never been easier. Call now to order your Direct TV system for up to four rooms for free. That's a $299 value. And your standard professional installation is always included. Call now. Want to get your game on? Well, viewers, we've granted your wish. Turn to Tech TV for the best in gaming, gadgets, and fun. Let Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb show you how to turn it on. X-Play, weeknights at 11, 10 Central, only on Tech TV. Welcome back to the Call for help a -thon. We're um, wrapping up our fourth hour, a third of the way through. This is easy. We should have done 18, Kat. Speak for yourself. <laughs> hey, we got any uh, email questions or message board questions? Yeah, I um, we have an email here. What did Leo get for Christmas? Well, I told you a couple of, about, about a week ago. Remember, that Jennifer and I oh, right. are pitching in. We're going to buy each other a yeah, shed for shed. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. I, I, I don't get her any gifts because right. we agreed. And of course, she has <laughs> gifts for me, right? Okay. So I found this out like the night before. So I'm on Christmas Eve going crazy. So I got her a, you know, she's a psychotherapist, right. of course, right? Right. Yeah. Married Cheap, to you. Free, yeah. All right. So uh, <laughs> I got her a Sigmund Freud bobblehead doll. Aww. I thought that'd be good to have on the That's desk adorable. when she's talking to patients. <laughs> and then. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, anyway, she it's that. It, right? So we're going to get the shed later. That's what I really want. All right. Coming up in the next hour of Call for Helpathon, we're going to show you how to transfer data from one PC to the other. Roger actually has a good way to do it. We'll find out if you can do just the applications, as our last caller wanted to know. Also, more about setting up wireless home networking. I know you want to do it. Kevin and Sarah know how to do it, and they're going to show you. And a whole lot more. Stay right here for hour number five. Oh, my. the future, baby. The women are in charge, aren't they? I love it. Welcome back to the call for help. I was just chatting it up with the stormtroopers and the imperial officers. Over. Wait a minute. I gotta, come on. I gotta, I gotta get a microphone here. Come on. Wait a minute. So, so you, now let me understand this. Okay. These are the fighting 501st people who dress up. Uh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't even say that. People who like to reenact Star Wars elements. And you are what? What, are, what is this? I'm an imperial officer. Imperial officer. And so that means it's because you got the thing. But now, what? What are you? Just an imperial crew member. Just nothing, huh? Because <laughs> he doesn't. He has. He doesn't have the chiclets. See, if you. Can, but you. You prefer it that way. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm under Vader, and I get to tell these men what to do. Now she's got it good. Oh my goodness. We thank you for being here. This is the call for helpathon. Twelve hours of nonstop help. We start at 11 o'clock in the morning Eastern time. We're going to go to 11 in the evening Eastern time, and we're so glad. You're here. It's really been fun so far. We're going to answer more calls. We've got more segments, more surprise guests, some big names too coming up. This hour, lots of people got wireless routers under the tree. I know you did, didn't you? You didn't? Well, you should have. We're going to show you how to set up a wireless network to share broadband, transfer files. It's easy as can be. Plus, when you get a new PC, you've got to get your stuff off that old hard drive and onto the new one. Roger Chang has an easy way to do it. <laughs> yeah. Calm down, Roger. It's, it, he's so excited. I could do a segment. And then Kat is here. Sarah is here. Uh, I, now, Jessica, last time I talked to Jessica, Kat, yes. said she would be here. Well, then maybe. Then she changed her mind? Right. She's, uh, she's flying in this afternoon. Oh, I see. She said she might stop by on her way home because the airport's closed. Yeah, so I we'll get see. it. All right. Well, I hope. And she Adam Sessler might come too. All these people are saying I might yeah. come because they don't want to be tied into well, it. Well, you know, I, I can't really complain because last year that's what I told Perilla. <laughs> yeah. And did I show up? No. No. All right. I showed up. I was here briefly. You were? Yeah. I just didn't come on the show. Oh yeah. You didn't see me. I came to have the sandwiches. You got to time it just right. You see. <laughs> you need to go have a sandwich. How can people join us on the show? If you want to have a sandwich with us and participate mm -hmm. in our show, give us a call. The number here is 888-989-7879. You can also email us call for help at techtv.com. Put call for help a thon in the subject line, will ya? International viewers, send us emails. That's the best way to get in touch with us. And if you have a netcam connected to your computer, head into the netcam cineplex chat room, techtv.com/callforhelp. And during the whole entire span of the 12 hours, I'm going to be looking, as I am right this second, in the message boards for the Call for help -a So go ahead and interact with us there. Good news, Kat. What? Only eight more hours. <laughs> Only eight more hours. Like we are one-third of the way the there. Who's on? <laughs> okay. More Red Bull. Yes. Who's on the line now? On the phone right now, it's Brian from Akron, Ohio. Hi, Brian. How are you? How's it going, Leo? Uh, it's going great. Welcome to the show. Did you have a good holiday? Yeah. Yeah, kind of. You gonna do anything fun for New Year's Eve? Uh, actually, yes. Um, me and my dad, the infamous Wayne in Akron. Oh, that's your dad, is it? Yeah. Oh, we're all right. We're actually uh, going down to a uh, drag race and about 40 miles away from here. That's fun. We're racing our street car. You're gonna race in it? Uh, actually, he is. Now what? So he has a street car that he d does drag racing with? Uh, yeah. Has he souped it up at all, or is it just a, is it, is it have to be stock? It's a stock street legal vehicle. No kidding. What, what kind of car is it? Uh, Chevy Silverado. Oh, fun. So he just, he just gets next to somebody else. It did two by two, they do the heats? Yep. And he gets next to him, and he just puts his, floors it, and boom, like that. Yep. Has he won any? Uh, last year, we went out first round, and the year before oh. that, we went three rounds. Well, good luck. I hope you, how many, how many rounds do you have to get through to get to be the, the top one? 
It depends on how many people come. Right, right. So it's head to head all the way up to the end. Yeah. Well, good luck, Brian, and give Thank my you. best to Wayne. That's great. Tell him to wear a helmet this time, okay? <laughs> what can I do for you, Brian? Uh, I actually got or got a new computer for Christmas. Okay. Money for a new computer and yeah. uh, put Windows XP on it. Yeah. Running one user. Okay. And every time I turn on the computer, it asks me which user I want to log into. Isn't that annoying? Yeah, I'm the only one. You're the only one. It's a security thing. XP is a multi-user operating system, and even if you only have one user, there are other hidden users on there, and it's, it's just uh, for security. Now, you can turn it off, but they make it really difficult, and for this, I always use Dan Fufu Hoard. He is, my, he is my mnemonic for this. I should have this tattooed to your forehead. Dan, what is that user control panel command? It says control user passwords 2. All right, let's try it here. Easy enough. So it? you go to start and you go to run, right? Oh, I, this, I don't like this. Some items can't be shown. Go away! Oh, man, this is driving me <laughs> crazy. What, you know, thank you, Windows, but I don't want to know that. There we go. Start. Oh, it's doing it again. Just hit all programs and then again. Then go back. No. no. Oh, this is frustrating. Just uh, uh, Windows R. Yeah, there we go. So I want to show them on the menu. Start, run, yeah, Windows R will also do it if you have a Windows keyboard. This is opening that run command, and there it is. I, I, Dan, I don't need you anymore. It's okay. in here. So. <laughs> no, Dan, I don't know how Dan found this. It is completely obscure. Why Microsoft doesn't give you a button or something, I have no idea. What we're doing is we're launching the control panel with an unusual one that's not visible in the control panel list, user passwords too. You got that? So write this down here, Brian. Control space user passwords two and that's one the second word is all one word with the number two and then this opens this thing this is something you don't normally see and right here I can uncheck users must enter a username and password to use this computer and that's all you have to do you press OK and you won't ever see that password prompt again is that the weirdest tip you ever saw in your life uh, about can you why why Microsoft why 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 so apparently this is something that they don't want average users to do. It's something that a sys, sys admin would probably want to do. And I, my, my thinking is probably the functionality is in there, but you're expected to use the system management console or policy editor to get to it. But we have discovered the back door. Control space user passwords 2. Okay, Brian? Yep. And all you have to do is click OK, and you'll never see that prompt again. They gave you the chance. I think when you install Windows, they give you the chance. But if you don't do it then, you're out of luck. Coming up next, our lovely couple, Sarah and Kevin. It's like the newlywed show. Are back in the lab, ready to set up a wireless router. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll see how it's done when the call for helpathon continues. Stay here. This program brought to you in part by Infinity, makers of innovative high performance premium vehicles. There are many events this season, but one you don't want to miss. The Infinity Event of the Season. Featuring the new G35 sedan with intelligent all-wheel drive that changes with the weather. The Infinity Event of the Season ends January 5th. See your Infinity dealer for attractive lease and APR finance rates. My name is Jim Lucier. I'm assigned to the 10th Special Forces Group at Fort Carson, Colorado. In my job, you have to be prepared for anything, so I train for everything. Every day is a little different. You push your limits far enough, you find out you don't have any. It's been at Hauptmann by the U.S. Army. And there's one more thing that the Army trained me to do. The doctor will see you now. Get more of Jim's story only at GoArmy.com. country needed them. They answered the call. Call of Duty. Rated T for T. Extreme drinking. Binge eating. Thrill seeking. What happens when people push their bodies to the limits? Watch Tech TV's Body Hits. The only show that examines how your body stands up to the test of modern living. 
See how people live fast, work hard, and take it to the next level. Body Hits, a new series. Premiering Tuesday, January 20th at 9.30, 8.30 Central on Tech TV. Weeknights on Tech TV. It's the Screensavers. Patrick and Leo tackle your toughest problems. I've got a teenage son in a DSL line. Uh-oh, you've got <laughs> trouble, my friend. Turn you on to cool new stuff. We got tech news. We got the real deal. We got a win thing. Oh, and bring you special guests making and using technology today. I'm going to take a little hammer. Why do a screwdriver when I... Oh, okay, I'm out of here. Help, <laughs> how to, and ha ha ha. It's all on the Screensavers weeknight to 7, 6 Central on Tech TV. Welcome back to the call for help. It's on 12 hours of nonstop geekdom. I love it. You know, we have a, a, a studio, come here, Alan, studio audience member. This guy uh, is, uh, is actually normally an unscrewed audience member. He's seen the show almost 50 times. Alan Cooley. Is it Coley or Cooley? Cooley. Coley. Alan, it's good to see you. Now, we were talking earlier about the DOS compatibility issue. He's got a solution. He likes to play old games. Tell me what you do. Well, what you do is uh, you take and create a CD that's a bootable Windows 3.1 CD. Right. And do you have to put 3.1 on it? Um, you can... You or just do DOS CD. G you can just do DOS okay. or Windows 3.1. Some okay. things require Windows for some of the older right, games. Right, So it depends what games you're going to put on Exactly. It. If you you're just playing base DOS games like some King's Quest, Heroes Quest, right, right. or any of those type of games, you just put DOS on there. And with DOS, then you create, a, in the config sys files, right. you create a small little RAM drive because you have oh. so much RAM anyway. That and way you make that fat... Fat, not Fat32 even probably, just Fat16, right? Or you right? just make it a RAM drive. It's right. got, it's, it doesn't do it use fat. Itself. It doesn't oh, use really? Fat. Okay. Um, when you create the RAM drive, you load the DOS files into there right. so that your operating system's running off that instead right. of the CD. Then you can swap your CD out. You don't have to have it booting from and that. And you can run games. And you can have a game. F uh, in the old DOS games, they're 50 megs, something like that. You could like have 100 that. on one CD. On one CD, you yeah. put a boatload of games, you stick it on there, and... Play Great solution, Alan. You see, we got a smart audience. Thanks for being here. Will you write us an article? We, we're going to get on, we'll get we'll get an article, article out of him. That's great. Okay. I really appreciate. Thank you, Alan. No problem. That's great. Thank you. I don't it won't, it won't help you with seventh guest, but uh, for a lot of older DOS games, that's a great solution. Now, wireless is great, but how hard is it to set up a wireless network? We just had a, a question about that earlier. You know, it's not that difficult, but I think we should let the experts take a <laughs> take a shot at us. Sarah Lane and Kevin Ross. The experts in Wi-Fi. Right. It's actually getting easier Can and you easier. You just call us experts. Yes. Oh, you're something right. You yeah. are. I bow down to you guys. Oh, so we you. bow yes. right down. Back. Oh no, stop it. I'm gonna go have a sandwich <laughs> while on. you do this. That's why right. I'm bowing All down right. to you. Yeah. Okay, so we are showing. We've got a Linksys router here. Yes, we do. And we need to configure it. Yes, this is uh, probably the most common yep. wireless access point. You've seen these all over the place. I got them at Best Buy, CompUSA, you name it. We've got one. You have one at home. Yes. I have one. Uh -huh. uh, Dan good. has one. Yeah, they we, work, we all have all. them. This one here is the wireless A plus G. So this does mm -hmm. them all. It says A, B, and G, which is the whole range of different wireless right. out there. Right. And uh, what we're going to do is actually Actually, believe it or not, we're going to follow the instructions, Let's which is something do we don't do a lot. But uh, this one here, it's really easy <laughs> well, to configure. Well, you don't, maybe. No, I don't. I, I'm an nah. instruction follower. No, I do not All like right, instructions. All right, we've, we've got instructions here, and they're actually pretty easy to follow. They are. They're actually, Linksys has done a really good job at mm -hmm. laying this stuff out. That's one of the reasons I like them so much, is it's really easy to set up. Do you think Linksys is more popular than D-Link? Uh, I think that Linksys is growing in popular. I think they're more popular than D-Link, and I think mm. they're even getting more popular because they were acquired by Cisco. Gotcha. So you're starting to see some of these really cool tools and configuration options. Actually, when you go into some of the new ones, it even says Cisco powered and all that kind of cool stuff. But uh, check this out. Right, first step, step one. one: connect the dual band wireless AG broadband router. Yes. So the first thing you're going to do is connect the internet to the broadband router. Now right. we know with a cable modem, you have the cable modem right. cable in and then Ethernet out. Right. With DSL, you have phone line in and mm -hmm. then Ethernet out. So no matter what you have, no matter what type of broadband you have, you're going to want to bring Ethernet into this modem. You've got to be connected to the internet. Right. So we're going to. Uh, oh, purple. We, yes. We I like a, that. I have a pink too. Do you want the pink? I prefer pink, but we can no, go with purple. No, you can't be the dark tipper having a pink cable. There's no Easter. way I'm going to have a pink cable. Anyway, <laughs> so check it out. Purple, little borderline, but uh, let me show you how this works out. Uh, flip this around here, okay. and uh, here I'll let you do the honors all here, right, plugging this right. in. Are you this, just looking for the internet? Yes, yeah, internet, internet right on the back. Plug that Very in. Very simple. 
That's all there is to it. Now you have given the router internet access. Exactly. So we turn this back around here, and now... Now this it, router is live. It's Well, it's live, but it's not configured yet. Right. So the next step is to configure mm -hmm. our laptop or whatever devices are going to be connecting to this router. Exactly. In this case, I have a laptop right here. This is a Dell with built-in wireless. Most of the new laptops that you see nowadays are coming with it all integrated and ready to go. Now, of course, if you didn't have wireless card, you would then have to use Ethernet to connect to your router. Exactly. From whatever device. Right. That's why these, uh, take a look at these ports here. You can actually have up to four hardwired devices that are connected to this. So if you have computers that don't have wireless, like desktop computers mm -hmm. and things like that, you can just plug those right in. So it's a nice little hub for you. Exactly. Also, you can hook a hub up to this so you can then have more computers. You can actually have up to like 254 devices hooked up to uh, this router. It's a fancy little machine. It is. It's All pretty right. cool. So, so how, let's, let's configure this baby. Yes. Yeah, so the first thing we want to do here is that the, after you've installed the wireless card, you want to make sure you install all the wireless drivers. Sure. So I'm going to go into it. This is all of our network connections. It's found underneath the control panel. Yeah. And you'll notice here that our wireless network connection is enabled and ready to go. I skipped a step here because I already had those drivers. The Dell has it built in. Sure. If you don't have it built in, you're going to have to install the drivers for your wireless card and get that running. Exactly. And, and that's why we're seeing this. That's why we're seeing it's it. All, it's all set up already. Exactly. So we go into properties here and it tells you in the, in the instructions here just to check and make sure that you have TC CPIP here, that's our internet protocol that mm -hmm. we use to connect to everything. Go into properties and make sure that it's, it's set to automatically obtain an IP address. Okay. So what that's going to do is that's going to go out to the router, find it, and get an IP address And those should it. be the default settings. You yes. just want to check. Right. So now that this is turned on, we're going to go into our little uh, connection box here. And we're going to click on uh, just back where we were. But you see the t top tab here? It says wireless networks. Yeah. We're going to click that top tab, and it's going to bring up a list of all the available wireless networks that we have. Okay. And you can see there's a bunch of different, I mean, there's call for help. There's a bunch of different ones that we have in this area. Yeah. But here's the we're one that we're connected to. Exactly. It's, it's called Linksys-G. Mm -hmm. So uh, what we're going to do is now, once you've connected to that, which we already have, mm -hmm. we're going to open up a web browser, just like you would to go to Google or any other website that you would browse to. But you can notice that we don't have internet access. It's to come up, page cannot be displayed. And we're actually getting it from inside this little guy. Right, exactly. So we're going to go 192.168.1.1, which is the address from the from the router. Because there's a little, there's actually a little web server. Yeah, there's a little here. web server in here that's going to serve up these pages to give us all the configuration options. Exactly. So in this case here, there's no username and the password is admin. Now you want to hear a funny story. The default password is normally admin, admin. And everyone knows that. And everyone knows that. We tell them to change it, but Linksys has changed it. Now they don't use a username and they use a password. I mean, I didn't know this. And I'm sitting here before the segment about 10 minutes. <laughs> I couldn't figure Supposed it out. A stormtrooper told me this. I'm not, I kid you not. Yeah. This stormtrooper right here came up to me and he goes, uh, it's, it's admin, no, no username. I, I couldn't believe it. It's, it's the actual, well, he's, not, he's a speeder bike Spe racer. Yeah, don't get it wrong. Yeah, you get it the guy's wrong. got a gun in his boot. They'll jump you after. Uh, absolutely. They're pretty hardcore. Mm -hmm. But uh, we put in admin as, as the password here, thanks to uh, the speeder Could bike. Listen to the Imperials. Yes. <laughs> and, and here comes uh, the Linksys configuration. Okay. Page. Now this is where you can set up all sorts of stuff. Exactly. This is where you configure every single option that you have in this router. So this is not a web page. It's not a website. No. It is the Linksys it's router. Coming straight from here. Right. You look at the front of this router. You see, there's no buttons. There's nothing to configure on this router. There's, there's nothing no you can menu, program. There's no menu button. Exactly. None of that. This so is our menu. Has to be done through the web. Yeah. So now take a look here. This is the internet option here. And if you see the connection type, here's the different types of connections that you have that you can mm -hmm. connect to. Uh, DHCP is normally the default that most cable modems use. I just got one of these uh, for my dad for Christmas and he has a this cable is modem so I just uh, yeah I, I selected DHCP and it worked fine. If you have something like uh, DSL. Uh, DSL, here's PPOE which is no, most DS, uh, DSL lines use this. Again you'll have to specify your username and password for your account in order to set that up. But once, once you plug that information in there it's going to go out to the internet and start talking to the internet and then you'll be live. You'll actually be able to surf the web through your router. Perfect. But we have to configure our wireless real quick. These are our two different wireless options here. You see we have mm -hmm. A and we have G. A is very proprietary. You have to have an A card. If you and don't G is not backwards <coughs> compatible with A, only right. B. Right. Exactly. G is backwards compatible with B, which B is the most common. When right. you see a lot of devices, the most likely be B. So we don't even want to use A. Yeah, I'm not we even going to use A. This. I'll disable A, just take it offline, might as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, so then here for, for our G, we have a mixed mode. That means it's going to work with both B and G devices. Because we don't want to limit ourselves. Yeah, I don't want to limit ourselves. So I'm going to choose mixed mode there, that's fine. And then uh, take a look here. Here's our SSID. 
And what that is, is that's This is important. Yeah, this is this important. This is a very important little fact. One thing we tell a lot of people is this is what is broadcast as your name. So when, like, if you're war driving, you've heard of war driving where people drive around with their laptops and they try and steal other people's internet access. Yeah, or just, or just your, borrow it. Or just it, your neighbor. Or just your neighbor or something like that. Mm -hmm. They find you most likely by finding you through the, your SSID. And so a what, lot of people don't know. They, they just have no idea what this is, so they leave it enabled. And they leave it enabled, see it. and people can see you, and then they can get into your machine and things and like that. That's not a real good idea. Exactly. So, what I do is by default, I just disable this, yeah. or I'll change it to something like really scary. Ours at home is uh, we will hack you, so people get a little frightened, you know, when they see it. Oh, uh, that is scary, but. Then also, you can enable WEP right here, which is the encryption. Mm -hmm. So, that'll allow you to uh, actually use the encryption when you're doing it, so no one else can get on the network as now well. Now, it's important to note that even if you do disable the broadcasting, there are ways. Yes, that there's other can applications. Kind of out. There's, but this is a good start. In fact, there's one of the screens that I was going to be showing that you can find it even if it's uh, the SSID is, is disabled. But it's a good start to it's not be start. broadcasting that. Yeah. So you can enable web if you want encryption or if you want to share. Mm -hmm. And then there's so many other features you can go through here. Uh, you want to change your router password. Uh, this yes. is the, it's Another under security. Yes, definitely change the router password because as we showed it was admin. So think of something good, you know, something with the combination right. of letters and numbers and right. things like that. And uh, go ahead and change that. And then uh, there's so many other different settings in here like that you can do go into the advanced tab here on firewall the right. Stuff. Firewall stuff. There's port forwarding so that you can port, uh, forward certain ports to an IP address. Really advanced stuff, but stuff that you should play around with. And there's a lot of great tutorials online that you can find to learn about these advanced options. But pretty much, once you've gotten through all the stuff that we showed you, and even less, yeah, even you're less. ready to go. Yeah, once you, you just, are absolutely ready to go. Once you connect to the internet and then specify those settings for the wireless and you know set up a password or whatnot, yeah. you're once good to go. Once these two are talking to each other, disconnect, walk away, and you've still got internet. Yep, take your laptop with you. You know, use it in the backyard. It, I mean, this. Or these the go, bathroom. The bathroom, wherever yeah. you like. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say bathroom? I just copied you. You use your laptop in the bathroom. Oh my God. I'm just kidding. Just Leo? kidding. <laughs> I use mine in the bathroom too. That oh, that's not what you were asking me? Oh, I'm sorry. That is such a guy thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> what, Girls do not take things in the bathroom. What's wrong with taking in the bathroom? That's the whole do point of Wi Fi, baby. You can't. Into the bathroom with them. It's contaminated after that point. It's. How are you going to check your email? I want to raise one thing on this ES on this SSID yes. issue because there there is some dissenting opinions on this SSID. I have a report here which we'll put a link up on the website from ICSA, the uh, the uh, Internet Security folks, who say. It is not a good idea to hide SSID. Why are they saying the that? The reason is every packet that you send has the SSID in it. So hiding it, as you know, because you know you have to sniff it out, doesn't accomplish anything. And in fact, it'll slow down your uh, Wi-Fi access because it is a lot more extra querying going on. If the SSID is broadcast by your WAP and there are other WAPs in the area, your card can make a connection and stay solid with the connection. It doesn't have to constantly search the other WAPs. So this expert, and his name is Robert Moskowitz, he's a senior technical technical director for ICSA says in fact leave the SSID on it doesn't save any it doesn't help you in security and it actually will slow down your Wi-Fi now I haven't heard anything else besides this report but we'll put this report online so people what about read people that uh, that just want to hide it so that someone they want to leave it open they don't want to use web but they don't want people to be able hiding to find it. Hiding is ineffective. That's the problem, as you know. But these yeah. sniffing devices can find the SSID very, very easily. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's not the SSID is really not a, a particularly useful in finding these things, unless you're using something very simple and primitive. You're right. It might provide some primitive protection, but it does slow down your Wi-Fi, and I think it's probably not worth it. Use WEP, or better yet, use WPA. Windows yeah. now has supports for it. Most, uh, most of these uh, Wi-Fi devices, you can download firmware upgrades. Do that. That's the most important. I was just going to say that I've seen actually. I, was, I didn't get into it here, but they have a firmware update built into it now. Almost everybody. And they're adding all those new yep. features to it. So yep. that's definitely something. It's to check an easy out. thing to upgrade. It turns out uh, existing B hardware in most cases. So you should look for that WPA security. It's much better than WIP. And uh, we'll put a link up to this ICSA uh, study because it's interesting. I'll show you. I had yeah. meant to show you this, and I saw this the other day, and uh, it was kind of surprising because, uh, like you, I've been recommending people turn off SSID yeah, all new along. to me. New Thank to me you, too. Sarah and Kevin. Thank folks, you. the help the fun continues. How do you like my new shirt? Yeah, I was in Nashville earlier, so I thought I'd stick with the Nashville theme. We've got a little jailhouse rock going on. Uh, stay tuned because coming up, the phones just won't stop ringing, so we will take more of your live calls and still ahead. It's an age-old dilemma. you got a new PC. All your files are on the old PC. How do you get them here. Roger has an easy solution. When the call for help the continues, stay right here. Weeknights on Tech TV. It's the screensaver.
Patrick and Leo tackle your toughest problems. I've got a teenage son in a DSL line. Uh-oh, you got <laughs> trouble, my friend. Turn you on to cool new stuff. We got tech <laughs> news. We got the real deal. We got a win thing. Oh, and bring no, you special just, guests making and using cool. technology today. I'm going to take a little hammer. Why do a screwdriver when I... Okay, I'm out of here. Help, <laughs> how to, <laughs> and ha ha ha. <laughs> it's all on the Screensavers weeknight to 7, 6 Central on Tech TV. Want to get your game on? Well, viewers, we've granted your wish. Games, games, and more games. Turn to Tech TV for the best in gaming, gadgets, and fun. Damn it, if you want the cutest little thing with a machine gun. Let Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb show you how to turn it on. We are a validating force to be reckoned with. <laughs> X-Play, weeknights at 11, 10 Central, only on Tech TV. Sunday nights on Tech TV are all new. First, the truth is stranger than fiction on Secret, Strange, and True. Then, a revealing look at sex in the digital age. Hi, gorgeous. Wired for sex. And extraordinary ideas come to life on Invent This. Then, after Fresh Gear, what if everything you were told to believe was a lie? Explore Tech TV's new series, Conspiracies. Watch Sunday night starting at 8, only on Tech TV. This is Tech Live. Are you ready? Take a ride. See how it's done. Don't know what to buy? We do. It's hot topics, movie magic, cool science, and tech gadgets. Get it? It's one cool ride. Tech Live. It's all you need. Weeknights at 8, 7 central, only on Tech TV. Oh my goodness, it's back on the air. All right, well, let's do this thing. Let's show you how to sign up for the Call for Help newsletter. This is our web page. Really useful, uh, not only during the Helpathon, but all the time during the Call for Help program. We put everything you need to know about in here. Roman Loyola, one of our web guys, just came over and said, Hey, Leo, give me that uh, link for that ESSID information. So I gave it to him. Now, one way to get this without even surfing the web is to subscribe to the Call for Help daily newsletter. Join 150,000 other loyal viewers. Sign up. First, you have, a, have to have a Tech TV membership, of course, but sign up. Once you do, you can check uh, any of these great email letters. We've got a ton of them for each show, but mainly uh, the most important one, the one you've got to get is that one. Call for Helps Daily. It goes to your mailbox every morning before the show. Find out what's coming up today, yes. what we talked about yesterday. Free, easy, techtv.com slash call for help. Now, let's take another call I'm for ready to help. hit the button, Number Leo. 16? Yeah. Let's do it. There we go. On the phone, it's Don from Birmingham, Alabama. Hey, Don from Birmingham. How are you? Hey, Leo. How you doing? I couldn't be better. Welcome to the show. Happy oh, holidays. You. Did you? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Did you have a good holiday? Yeah, I actually had to work. I just, I'm having my Christmas day. I'm sorry you had to work, but I'm glad you get to take today off anyway. Oh, I know. It is a nice day. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. What can I do for you today? Well, I've got uh, one little dilemma. I've got a new laptop, and I have my old laptop that I want to give to my daughter. Right. Yeah. And I have uh, gone through and removed all my software, okay. and I have one problem. I have my name is stored under Documents and Settings, yeah. and I have gone through RegEdit and tried to <laughs> rename everything and reboot, <laughs> and it comes back with my name again. So you see, when you go to uh, you, the documents, you see your na you know you see your name's doc Don's documents here, right? Something under, like the, when I go Windows Explorer, yeah. I go down and then under Windows Explorer, under Documents and Settings, right. my name. Right. Oh, let's see, let's see where, where you're it's seeing it. a folder here. under Documents and Settings. Yeah. Yeah, every user has a name here like this. So you want to get rid of that and put your daughter's name there. I want her name instead of my name. Well, yeah, it's not as easy just renaming that folder because that folder contains Don's account. Right? That's the source of Don's account. That means your desktop, your icons, your favorites, your cookies, everything that is unique to you as a user of this machine is stored within that folder. So what you want to do probably is just create an account for your daughter, make that an administrator account, 
once you've got that all configured, you know, log into it, get it the way you want it, then delete the Don, you know, delete the Don account, and that'll still leave the folder there. And if you really want to get rid of it, you can also delete the folder. Uh, that might take a little bit more maneuvering. But but then you won't. Your daughter's name will be there. Your name might be there still. Does that matter or? Well, yeah, I wanted to remove my name totally you from the system. You don't want your name anywhere. Well, no. you, you should be able to, once you remove this account, you should be able to just delete this folder. If you can't, it's a little complicated. There's a, there is a higher level user, basically what's called a system user, a, a root user, and, and that's, that will allow you to delete that. I could put the instructions for that. That's a little more advanced. But in most cases, just by, uh, just by creating a new account, making that the administrator, you, and then deleting your old account, this is all in the user accounts control panel, okay. that will then release that folder and you can delete it. Right. Now, you're still going to be probably in here. You know about this, right? If I go uh, right-click on my computer in properties, the registered to name will be in there. It would probably still be your name there, too. I have changed that to her name oh, good. already. That's just a registry edit. That's very simple. Yes, that was very simple. I did okay. that first. Oh, good. So you, you just want to get rid of the folder that says Don. Correct. Yeah. Well, mainly, it's because you're logging in as Don. You can't delete it. So create a new account for her, administrator account with her name. Delete. Go to her account. Delete your account. And then you should be able to delete your folder, and there will be no traces of Don left on the computer anywhere. That's perfect. That answers my question. Okay, Don. Well, thank you. Happy holidays. All the best for 2004. Thank you very much. Take All care. Right, bye. Coming up, we keep the calls coming. We've got a caller who wants to share files between XP and a Mac. Can be done. Not so hard, in fact. We'll show you how when Call for Help continues in the Helpathon. TV late nights are all new. Starting at 10 with Metal Munching Mayhem on Robot Wars. No holds barred, extreme action all the way. Then it's video game no, reviews uh, and previews on X-Play. We are the wingmen of gaming. And take a walk on the wild side with Unscrewed with Martin Sargent. It's like spam, only meteor. The all new Tech TV late nights, Monday through Friday, beginning at 10, 9 central, only on Tech TV. Expect a website that delivers instant results. Like Progressive.com. Buy car insurance instantly from the site rated number one seven times in a row. Visit Progressive.com. One sees never enough of a great thing. This is like seeing Haley's Comet or getting friendly viewer mail. Now, twice the action, twice the excitement. Oh! Go! Oh! X-Play hits you with back-to-back -back episodes that are double the fun of just one. And it's covered in rich Corinthian leather. Oh, it is. It's the X-Play double play you've been dying for. It's a lot of fun, and eventually you go crazy. Watch a full hour of X-Play every day. Weekdays at 4, 3 Central on Tech TV. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that of a child's voice is a beautiful sound. Unfortunately, 27,000 children died yesterday because no one was listening. But you're listening now. Make one phone call and make a difference in one child's life. It'll cost you 80 cents a day. To us, that's a small amount. To them, it's amazing grace.
right, welcome back to the Call for Helpathon, hour number five. We're going strong. We're going to go to 8 p.m. tonight, Pacific time. That's 11 p.m. East Coast time. You feel good, you feel strong, you feel ready to go for another eight hours. I feel like we just started. I do too. Totally fresh. You know, this is when our show's normally on the air. We're normally on right. 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern time, and I think I feel like we're just doing a regular show now. Right. Talk again to me in about an hour. <laughs> Who's on the line right now? All right, on the phone, it's Jason from Houston, Texas. And serving now, serving number 17. Hello, Jason. Hello. How are you? Hey, how you doing, Leo? Happy New Year. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Are you going to do anything fun for New Year? Uh, hopefully, yeah. We Ho do have uh, parties and everything down here, so hopefully, yeah. yeah party. That's the, that's the thing to do. Houston, yeah, is a, Houston is a great town for parties. I know yeah. that. Yeah. Well, what can I do for you? Okay, here's the thing. Um, I got a PC and a Mac. Now, I'm trying to uh, plan for, well, share some music files on my PC onto my Mac. Now, I know I need to share them. They're both on the network and stuff that I just need to know how to do that. So you want to basically take a file on your Windows computer, uh -huh. actually a folder on your Windows computer, and share it so that you can see it on the network on your Mac. Right. They are on the same network. So there's right. a couple of things you need to do on the Mac first to make sure this is going to work. If you're using the Mac OS, are you using the Panther or Jaguar? I'm using Jaguar. Jaguar. So this is Panther. It might look a little bit different, but the, sub, the substance of it is the same. You're going to go to the sharing folder. If you're using the firewall, if it's turned on, you've got to make sure you, in, you allow this service. Windows sharing service has to be checked. Okay. That means that you will allow, uh, you know, what's nice is that Apple has built in uh, into uh, OS X something called Samba, which allows you to see Windows shares just as a Windows machine would see them. So that, that's really great. So if that's enabled, then all you have to do, and you're share, are you already sharing it on the uh, PC side? Right. Okay, yeah. so it's already shared. Mm -hmm. Then all you have to do, I'm going to close the uh, sharing control panel now, and I'm going to go to the Go menu in the Finder and connect to server. Now, all you have to do here is press the Browse button, and it should go out and look and see what servers are out there. And you see, I see a number of servers. Actually, this is the, I think we're on work group on this computer. Let me see, see if it pops up here. Uh, well, yeah, there it is. This is the computer that uh, I'm actually standing at. Now, we should have a better name for it, but that's the, that's the name. You'll see yours just like this, and when you open it, it will ask you for a password because it's Windows XP, right? Right. So you'll enter in your Windows XP password, and you'll, then you will have a cho if, if there are a number of folders shared, they'll give you a choice of the folders. Is it call for help? That's, what we, that's all it is, right? Let me see if I can get into this one. I can't remember what our password... No, that's not the password. So I'll have to figure out what the password is. But, but that's basically it. And that's the security... Oh, there it goes. It disappeared. <laughs> that's the security uh, feature of Windows XP. But the login, you already have a password because you already have a login. So you'll log in as whatever user you log in on XP. Okay. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Thanks, Leo. It's really nice. Mac has really uh, made it easy to share with Windows. And you know why? Because Apple has to coexist right, yeah. in a Windows world. Thanks for the call. I appreciate it. Happy New Year. You too. All right. See you later. Coming up next, you got yourself a brand new shiny computer for Christmas, but all your stuff is on the old PC. Roger, show us how to get the stuff from the old to the new. Ring in the new PC when call for help and the help-a-thon continue. Twice the hell. Twice the hell. Twice the fun. Twice, twice the fun. The screen savers. Twice, the twice, the twice a night. Twice, twice, twice a Catch night. Leo, Pat, and the gang two times, two times. every weeknight. Shake, shake. First at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 Pacific. Then again at 12 Eastern, 9 Pacific. Two times. Two times the magic. Magic. Two times the mayhem. Party now. The screen savers. Two times every weeknight. Only on Tech TV. Only on Tech TV. Wednesday nights on Tech TV. At 9, secrets, lies, and worldwide deceit. This is mass poisoning of the population. The truth awaits you. Conspiracies. Then at 9.30, sex has found a new partner, technology. And together, they've changed the world. Wired for sex. Dark, sexy, and extremely dangerous. Conspiracies and Wired for Sex. Wednesday nights starting at 9, 8 central on Tech TV. Tech TV Tuesday. Explore the cutting edge of cool stuff. Starting at 8.30, check out today's breakthrough new products on Fresh Gear. And a nice little voice. Turn right. Tells me where to go. Then, meet ordinary people with extraordinary ideas on Invent This. This is the 
McLean Wheel, and that's after my name. Followed by international crime and surveillance on Spy School. Innovations, inventors, and espionage. You'll see it all. Tuesday starting at 8.30 Eastern on Tech TV. Leo Laporte's 2004 Technology Almanac is back. It's a one-of-a-kind resource for every day of the year with advice, tips, and secrets about today's most popular technology topic. It's everything you love about the screensavers. Networking, MP3 players, we've got it all. His last two books were bestsellers, and this one is sure to follow. And don't miss all the other great books from Tech TV, including Security Alert, Sell It on eBay, and Windows XP for home use. Leo Laporte's 2004 Technology Almanac. Get it at a Barnes & Noble near you or online at barnesandnoble.com. Renegades. I'm just going to have to do whatever I want to do. Rebels. Yeah. And pop icons. <laughs> Misfits. It doesn't matter. You're a nerd in life and you'll be a nerd always. And millionaires. It's a good way to explore the nature of truth. Forget the pocket protector. I want to make toys for myself. Meet the nerds of the 21st century. Nerd Nation, a new series coming in January to Tech TV. Helpathon is on the air. When they said to me, Leo, could you do a 12 hour television show? I said, huh? And then here we are doing a 12 hour television show, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. our time, 11 to 11 East Coast time. And Roger, how do you feel? This is your second Helpathon. This is, is this anything like the first? Uh, actually, it's, it's, it's not quite as hectic because there are fewer people we had right. last year. And it's year. not going to be as long. You not went 18 long. hours last time. Actually, other people went 18 hours. You didn't make it the I whole skipped, way. I skipped out the first four hours. <laughs> so this will be more yeah, like that one. Exactly. Well, we're doing fine so far, and we're having a lot of fun. We're helping a lot of people. Now, yes. one of the callers we had about two hours ago, a guy wanted to copy his files from his old laptop to a PC. And he'd already copied the data, but he wanted to copy the applications. And I said... Stay tuned, because Roger's going to show us how. This is, a, this is software called PC Relocator. Yes, PC Re Relocator. A lot of people this you know, holiday season probably got a new PC. Right. And since you want to use the new PC, but all your stuff is on the old PC, you want to move it over. Right. And the great thing about Aloha Bob is it allows you to do that, not just the data, but the actual application installs as well. Even the operating system, if you want. Yes, and th that's the caveat, is that you have to be upgrading up to a higher operating system. Oh, interesting. So if you're going to be moving, for example, to XP, you, have to, you can move from XP to XP, 98 to XP, but you can't do XP to 98. You can't go backwards. No, you only have the same only or progress, forwards. Only progress. Now, it's smart, too, because if you're going from 98 to XP, it won't copy the files that'll interfere with XP. It won't copy the 98 exactly. files. Exactly. It knows what to save and what not to save. But as, like long as, you, you know, as long as the operating system you're targeting is either higher or the same right. uh, generation, then you're okay. We, I've been recommending this for years. It used to be called Aloha Bob's. I see they've well, dropped you know, the Aloha they, Bob they, name. I think someone bought well, it. Well, still there, kind of. But um, small. It's, it's kind of cool because they actually have like four different versions, all, yeah. all of a different level of control. So what is this version? This version is the Ultra Control. Ultra Control. It's like, the, like my pantyhose. There you go. Sure. Moving is as simple as setup. So let's do it. Is it this simple? It is. And in fact, it actually includes a parallel to parallel cable. That's one of the things you spend a little extra for is that, the cable. That and it actually comes over with a crossover network cable, which I already have installed. So you could do this either by connecting printer ports or by connecting over Ethernet. Or USB if you have the uh, extra USB right. dongle to do it. Lower versions of this don't come with a cable, but you can easily find these crossover. Yeah, and you or know, if you want to try it, they have a free 30-day trial download oh, to great. see if it works out see, for you. you may, if you're only using it once, that's, that's probably enough. So. Once you have it, it's really simple. I have the, the machine I want to upgrade away from. So this is all. Okay. This is the machine that has all the you're, old data. You're running on the old machine now. Yes. Okay. You have to put copies on both, I would think. Yes, yes. you okay. do. Okay. So we're gonna just click start, all and right. we're actually gonna. I'm gonna modify because I already had this running before, but I want to show folks how this works. Very simple. Now you actually have a checkbox for expert setup, but if this is the first time you've ever done it, and don't really know what you're doing, just leave it alone. And let it do. Let, let it, do, it do, do the work, and it'll just bug you with questions, which is great because you can say yes or no. So I'm going to click yes because it wants to close any extraneous application running on the PC right now. But you so need to do that, otherwise you can't copy those files. They're busy. Exactly, or it might interfere with interfere with a uh, actual right. copy process. I'm going to click yes. Now it's going to say you couldn't, couldn't get find, them all. So couldn't that's when all. you do a Control Alt Delete to c kill exactly. Some and then right. I'm going to click next again. Okay. 
Now I have the option, of course, to download the latest version to make sure I... So I don't need to worry that I couldn't kill all the no. processes. Now this is right. the important screen. Are you currently standing up your old PC or your new PC? I'm going to say old PC because this is the PC I want to move all my data from. Got it. So PC I want to re relocate from. This is kind of, this may be the one place where you get a little confused. Am yes. I, what am I doing? Where, where am I? Okay. Yes. So, so think, um, pause and think about this a little bit. So click next and now how I get the option of how okay. I want to connect. Right. Do you want to do the Aloha Bob High Speed Transfer <laughs> Cable? This is the parallel cable. Right. The it's a specially wired parallel cable, by the way. It's what they call a null yes. printer cable. All right. uh, and then we have a network crossover cable, which is a crossover kind of similar to the same right. as parallel. And the USB data transfer cable. This is an extra. These two are included with this particular package. The fastest way to do it, well, they're probably all roughly the same They're roughly the same. I mean, theoretically, the parallel should be a little bit faster than the USB. But, you know, if you take a factor in some overhead, you know, yeah, it's all about the same. comes about the all same. Right. We're talking around 10 million so bits a second. It's, do I want to modify my setup? No, my network settings. Skip that. And it says, no. Oh, I can actually, no, I don't. I don't need to rescan. Now, so the scanning process, it looks at everything on there and figures yeah, out what's it there. It says what kind of applications Got have been installed, what are my settings, because it will actually transfer over your settings. For right. example, uh, resolution, as well as oh, you know, any kind of ex wallpaper. So it really it's going to make your new computer look as much like the old computer as, as yes. it can, given the Windows differences. And now it's going to tell me, all right, it's ready. All I have to do is set up the other PC I want to set up as my, my target or my new PC. So that's why next is, is grayed out, because you haven't yet set up the next. No, so I have to switch to my other PC. And we have a nice setup here. It makes it easy. You don't have to walk around to do no, this. No, so right. I'm going to click start. It's the same process over. So I'm going to click next. In this case, uh, you'll get to that thing and it'll say, okay, I see the other computer. All right, and yeah. then uh, make sure, and I ah, want to make sure, new PC, important. this We're one the is new the PC. new PC. Okay, this is the yeah. one I want to have all my data transferred yeah. to. All right. So I'm going to click Next. Now, over the same connection, so the, they're both looking Boy, at Boy, this does make it very easy. So, I mean, you could do this all by hand, and experts probably and say, well, I could easily do it. This is the beauty. I can click Browse, and I'll actually search. For other for, systems for running that it. other system, so I don't have to know the IP. It will find it for me. There it is. All I need to do is highlight and click OK. And I can click next. And now once I'm ready, I can go through. Now I have the option of this. Now you see right here, this is the old machine. Got it. So I can uncheck any of the extraneous non-C drives, but I cannot uncheck the C because you have to take that's that. my OS. That's okay. all the settings. Those are all the applications. Okay. okay. So you could turn off if you had a backup drive. And you yes, if I had like that. three more partitions, I right. could do that as well. Okay. No, you already know what's on it. So now it's scanning and the transfer begins. Now, oh, no. can, oh, there's more. Now this is great. This is where the caller comes in. He wants to know if he can just move over the application. Yes, he's already got the data. Now this is where you want to kind of move on to the expert Expert's selectivity. And this is where I can actually ah. kind of choose these particular applications. Perfect. So I don't want my settings. I don't want the files. I would uncheck just them. Want the apps. Oops. And then, then I would. You get settings with yeah. programs. Obviously, you can't do with one without the so other. Click next. There we go. And then I can choose all the things that I want. And as I go further, it's going to tell me, are you ready? Are you really sure? And I click start. And it's going to start the whole shebang. And I just sit back until it tells me, I'm done. Everything's transferred. It will ask me to reboot. And when I reboot, all my new sh settings should appear. Roughly how long is it going to take? You know, it depends on how much stuff you're actually trying course, to move over. Right. Um, I would probably give it 45 to an hour, okay. uh, 45 minutes to an hour. If you have a lot of stuff, if you have like, like gigabytes. Tens, tens of gigabytes, yeah. I'd probably yeah. leave it alone for three hours. Let it run overnight, maybe. Yeah. But, when, but in your experience, this has done a good I've job. Actually, yeah, I've very actually reliable. never had any problems. Yeah. Uh, again, you really have to make sure you know what you want to transfer over because certain applications that are 98 specific will yes. not run in the new XP. And it won't help you with that kind of thing. You kind of have to know what you have to know. But, but this is there are ways to do this manually. This is by far the easiest way. This is by far uh, for a lot of people the simplest way of getting stuff like this across. How much is the uh, program? Uh, it's I, not expensive. No, I think it's not. Like 50 the, the, bucks. There, there are varying rates depending right. on which. Uh, it's under 100. Version. I know yes, that. it is under 100. Okay. I think uh, around under 50. Yeah, depending Let's, on whether you want the cable. This one actually so says 39.95 value. That's a great price. So it's it. a, it's a deal. It's great. Roger Chang, thank you very sure. much. The notorious ROG has written an article describing the step-by-step -step process of Aloha bobbing your computer. You can check it out and everything you've seen on the show today at uh, TechTV.com/call for help. All right, we are moving along. We're going to take a break, come back with lots more. The Helpathon continues. Hour number five is about to oh, wind up. Stay right here. Oh, also still to come, the Wired World Challenge. We're going to give away some prizes.
that brought you the Beetle has built its first SUV. The Touareg continues to win the hearts of the automotive press. Just recently, it was named Motor Trend's 2004 Sport Utility of the Year. Test drive a powerful V6 or V8 Volkswagen Touareg and see why. Or if it's earth trembling power you want, look for the upcoming V10 turbo diesel to debut middle of next year. The Touareg is loaded with state-of-the-art technology, including Volkswagen's 4X motion all-wheel drive system, which distributes power equally between the four wheels. Or when needed, corresponding power is sent to the wheels that have better traction on the road, providing a more stable and safer ride. With optional air suspension, the Touareg can be raised six inches to tread through water, lower it back to its original height for better handling at normal highway speeds. And there are plenty of premium aspects about the Touareg. Lots of leg and headroom, leather and walnut trim, plus a multi-function computer with color display in the dash. Motor Trend put it perfectly when they said the result is a handsome SUV as adept at whisking four formerly attired adults to the symphony as it is climbing boulders on the way to a remote campsite. The critics are already calling the Touareg a runaway winner, especially with a starting price of 349. To see the Touré, contact your nearest Volkswagen dealer or visit VW.com. I'm Kristen Spence for Digital Avenue. Need extra cash? Don't charge it on your credit cards. Get a second mortgage with a no closing cost option from Ditech.com. With a second mortgage, you can consolidate your existing high interest debts, get the cash you need for any purpose, and end up with one low monthly payment. A second mortgage with a no closing cost option is a great idea from Ditech.com. For fast, friendly service, apply online or call 1 800 71 Fix right now. Hitting below the belt. Wow! Going for the jugular. What about that? Dirty pool. Look at the damage caused by the fluffy blade. In this arena, it's off part of the game. Google's tail's on fire. Robot Wars, where sportsmanship takes a backseat to one rule. Survival of the baddest. Matilda scores real damage there. Trick out killer robot smash. Slam, spin, and burn. Robot Wars. Weeknights at 10, only on Tech TV. Welcome back. It's now time for the Wired World Challenge. For that, we have a caller on the line. Cat, what are you typing so fast for? It's a game. Oh, you're playing a game, yeah, are we? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to see if we can show it. Oh, good. We might not be able There's to show it. There's lots of great internet games. Yeah, aren't there? there are. Great way to waste time, the internet. <laughs> this is one where a miniature Santa goes around killing little elves, but it's Flash. Oh, that's so festive. <laughs> All it's right. called Mad Santa Claus. He's Come mad. on. He's mad. On the line, it's Thomas from Blair's, Virginia. Hey, Thomas. Hey, Leo, how you doing? I couldn't be better. We're having such a good time. I thank you for joining us. How many uh, hours of the Helpathon have you watched? I've been watching about about two hours. I was a little late getting on. I was working that's... on a friend of mine's computer. Hey, that's good. That's good. I hope you turned him on to call for help. Oh, yeah, sure oh, okay. have. I've been trying to get through to y'all about four years now. <laughs> well, every four years, we'll take a call from Thomas. I think that's fair. It'll work. Well, I'm glad you got on in this one, because this means you can win something, even better than answering a question. That's right. I'm going to give you four categories. You pick one, I'll give you a question from that category. You get it right in 15 seconds or less. You get to pick a number from 1 to 25. Now, remember, numbers that have been picked earlier in the show just have my book behind them. Nothing good. So try to keep track of what's been picked. Are you ready to play, Thomas? I sure am. Here are our four categories for this hour. Media, I'm sorry, computer media, underwater devices, wired inventors, and sci-fi book titles. Computer media, underwater devices, wired inventors, and sci-fi book titles. Which one would you like there? Let's go with computer media. Computer media. I have that right here. And I have the answer right here. This is an interesting one, Thomas. I would not have known this. What company invented the floppy disk? You, you'll probably be able to guess this if you just think what company was around back then. IBM. IBM is right. Yay. Does not stand for I bought Microsoft, by the way. Let's take a number from 1 to 25. Let's give me 17. 17's been guessed before. I think you won a copy of the Leo Laporte 2004 Technology Almanac. See, you, you know what for me, Leo? I will absolutely. I'll get Kat to autograph it, Alonzo, and everybody, Roger, everybody, okay? I've coughed up scarier stuff than that. Thank you, Thomas. All right. Y'all do a great, do a great <laughs> job. I love you, sir. Hey, we love you. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. Thank yeah, that you, was Leo. that was guessed in the first hour. See, that's why, you know, you, you got to 
watch all 12 hours if you want to win. We're going to play the challenge every hour during the Helpathon. I want you to play with us. So go to the website, will you? Sign up so you can play. If not today, on future Call for Help episodes. Let's take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to check the email, see what's in store for next hour, and continue with this 12 hour Call for Helpathon. Stay right here. Can I have my coffee, please? Uh, oh my gosh. What? Four years ago, we needed a web hosting company we could count on. Today, our online business is a big success, and we're still with the same company, Rackspace Managed Hosting. Rackspace hosts our website on dedicated servers in their data center. They manage our firewalls, load balancers, bandwidth, everything. Their service goes way beyond co-location. Outsourcing to Rackspace was one of our best decisions ever. We rely on what they call fanatical support. We get our own support team 24 hours a day, they're experts at managing our complex website, and when we call them, we never get stuck in voicemail. We get through like that. It really is fanatical support. I tell my friends, if your website is essential to your success, then let Rackspace manage it for you. Fanatical support? Maybe that's why Rackspace is the fastest growing managed hosting company in the world. See for yourself. Call 888-480-7767 or go to Rackspace.com. Hurry in to Circuit City's Red Dot Sale today. Look for the red dot and get extra savings in every department. Save up to $430 on desktop packages and notebook computers. Save up to $75 on digital cameras. And save on mobile and portable DVD players too. Like this 5.8 inch widescreen portable DVD player, just $169.99 after price break and mail-in rebate. Don't miss the savings at our huge red dot sale. Circuit City, we're with you. There are three things you can count on in life. Death, taxes, and cable rate increases. Thousands of Americans each day have realized that rising cable rates and poor service are not their only choice. People are switching to Direct TV. Switching from cable has never been easier, especially now that you can get a four-room system for free. With the Direct TV Total Choice Plus, with local channels programming package, you get over 130 channels of your favorite programming with true digital quality picture and sound. And best of all, you get your favorite local channels too. Direct TV also offers premium programming from HBO, Star, Showtime, Cinemax, plus Sports Pack. Plus up to 55 pay-per-view choices a day. Plus you get your choice of the best sports programming available, including NFL Sunday Ticket, exclusively from Direct TV. Your choice has never been easier. Call now to order your Direct TV system for up to four rooms for free. That's a $299 value. And your standard professional installation is always included. Call now. Want to get your game on? Well, viewers, we've granted your wish. Turn to Tech TV for the best in gaming, gadgets, and fun. Let Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb show you how to turn it on. X-Play, weeknights at 11, 10 Central, only on Tech TV. Welcome back to the Call for help -a -thon. Hour number six is on the air. Is this hour six? No. Coming up on hour six, right? I guess. Wow. They're all molding, wow. I'm telling We're you. We're wrapping up hour number five. Look, we only have nine... <laughs> We only have 19 on there right now. We got to get that number up here. Let's okay. uh, let's answer a few questions quickly. Okay, let's do it. What does why does my hard drive make noise when I'm not even doing anything? That would be number 20. It frequently frequently makes noise because it's doing a lot of stuff, mostly maintenance, but it may also be that there are programs running in the background. If you see an awful lot of activity, uh -huh. that might be something to worry about. I'd look at your network card, see if there's network activity as well. Right. But believe me, you've got all sorts of stuff going on in the background. The hard drive's being indexed. The drive itself will do some maintenance routines. It resets the heads. It's not unusual for activity on the hard drive, even when you're not using the computer. Okay. Number 21 is going to be uh, my computer, uh, whenever I click on a video file, it opens it up in Internet Explorer. How can I, I make this stop? Happens. Good luck, Leo. You can do it. <laughs> well, I, sh I would like to know what you'd like to open it up in. Internet Explorer, you don't remember this, but when they upgraded to Internet Explorer 6, they built in media playing capability right. into that little sidebar there. And at one point, they did ask you, if you if you wanted it to be uh, responsible for all media playing and that's that's this here now you can go back into the media options and you could probably disable that 
uh, by uh, unchecking here, play web in the media bar and ask for preferred types. You can also reset preferred types. The preferred media file types basically is telling Internet Explorer, you handle these particular types. The best way to do this, though, once you've disabled that, and you do have to disable that, otherwise Explorer will still try to run it, because Microsoft likes to have Explorer running, is pick the program you want to have okay. run, whether it's Winamp, Media Player, what other program you want to have run, and go into that program and say, you own these type of files. Uh -huh. It'll be somewhere in the options, depending on the program. But the first thing to do is to disable it in Internet Explorer. Okay. Next. There is an entire thread going on on the message boards that's been going on for a long time about what is your favorite website? What is I your favorite <laughs> website? I don't have a favorite. It's hard to I pick one Google? among a hundred million. I guess Google or Yahoo would be the ones yeah, I go to. I guess most. I but mean, there I are like some... mine. <laughs> CatSchwartz.com. <laughs> yeah. Love that site. Me Fabulous too. website. Of course, what? there's that great techtv.com slash call for help. Oh, that's yeah, not that's, a bad that's website. That's a good one. But so if you feel like chiming in, go ahead and I don't chime in. I know what my favorite website. That's a good thread though. I'd like to see what other people's are. Of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'd read them, but there's like a hundred. So. I visit slash. Um, I want to convert MP3s into regular audio files. I can be able to play them on my car or my CD player without having to buy a new one that does play MP3s. MP3s. Yeah. So what he wants to do is burn audio CDs. Right. Most burning software will allow you to open up MP3s and then burn them out to an audio CD. If you're using Roxio's Easy CD Creator, for instance, tell it you want to create a new audio CD. Then when you drag the MP3 files to that, uh, that window, it'll know, oh, it's making an audio CD. It'll automatically convert them to the right format and then burn it out. Okay. It's just your burning software. Cool. So we're, Good. Up, we're up to 22. Up to 22. Yeah. Coming up in the next hour, you, Kat, you are going to go to work and show us how to cool off our PCs. I am. Very important. We've got tips and secrets for <laughs> console am. gamers. That's going to be a lot of fun. I brought my Xbox. We're playing, playing some good games. John Johnson, I see, is here. We're going to talk television and video. And our, uh, well, you got a whole lot more. Of course, your calls. That's what really counts. The call for Helpathon continues with hour number six right after this. Stay here. Is that the uh, is that the sunset there? Welcome to hour six of the call for help a thought. I am Leo Laporte. Can you believe this? We're half almost halfway through. Once we complete this hour, we will be halfway through, and I feel great. I feel great. I couldn't I couldn't enjoy this more. I think Kat, you know what I think it is. I think it's so much fun to help people. So much fun to talk to our audience. Yes, sir. That we're, this is a blast. At yes. least it is for me. I'm just having a great time. I'm so glad that. Uh, you talked me into doing this. <laughs> we had to twist your arm for a second. You did. Day. I didn't watch. I said, the day after Christmas, you're crazy. Right. Coming up in this hour, we got a guy who gets paid to play video games for a living. That's cool. You know, that'd probably ruin it for you, though, right? Well, I don't know. I asked Morgan if she minds. She doesn't mind. She doesn't mind it she, yet. She likes Give yeah, it a little true. time. I remember, I mean, I loved music until I became a DJ. Right. And then pretty soon it's like, I don't want to listen to music anymore. Well, we'll find out. Brian Dawson is here from GigX.com. He's going to show you hidden cheats in this year's hottest games. Oh, that'll be a lot of fun. We got a great. Do you, you love this game setup? That's what uh, Bill Cohen, our floor director, was showing me a minute ago. We got a we got a perfect setup. Check we got that the easy out. boy. All right. Is that you? Is that Brian right there? Oh, good. He's playing. All right, Roger. Learn a thing or two, will you? Yeah, they're playing Crimson Skies. That's a fun game. I love that game. I gotta get in on some of that action. Oh yeah, well I brought my Xbox and there's another one there. We've got a bunch of controllers, we've got a PlayStation 2. Cool. Cuss, uh, plus, not cuss, no cussing. Plus, Kat's gonna give you a few makeover ideas to turn your new PC from totally geek that is what I'm going to do. To totally chic. You said cool it down. I don't know what you're talking about there, but yes, it's gonna, I'm going to make cool it, it up. cool. I yeah. should say cool it up. Or dope or fly or Fly. Whatever. Yeah. I the Schwarz, babe, with you. <laughs> when I, <laughs> yeah. When I try to talk the lingo of right? the kids. Like call for heezy? I just fail <laughs> miserably. Okay. It's just they can tell that I just doesn't, you know, even if I say the words right. Yeah. It doesn't flow. Uh, Word. I, I don't know. You, that, that sounds okay. Really? Yeah, I, well, I but then you say really after it, and that ruins it. Yeah, see, that the ruins it. Uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I call, you know, my son, I'm trying to be hip with my son, I call him dude, but I, now yeah. it's not hip, so I call him dog. Dog okay. is the hip thing, right? You say dog? Do well, uh, you no? say that weird. I don't do that either. No. no. Just call him when son. When I say uh, puppy, <laughs> son is right. That's me. Right. Son. 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 
Stop beating up on your sister. Let's take another call, shall we? Uh, let's do it. Number 23, it's Patrick from Montrose, Michigan. Montrose, Michigan. Hey, Patrick, how are you? Hey, Mr. Mayor. Hey. Hey. Are you on uh, Leoville? Yes, I am. What's your handle there on Leoville? Neck man. Oh, well, it's great to talk to you. I should, show, I should show people we got these message boards. You know, of course, the call for help message boards is the place to be during the Helpathon. But I also have a personal uh, message board. Let me close this media thing because you can't. This is Leoville Town Square, we call it. You like hanging out in there? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, we'll learn a lot of things. Yeah, lots of, lots of good stuff going on in there. And that's where people say nasty things about me. And it's fun. It's, it's <laughs> what can I do for you, Patrick? Well, I've got a little extra money from Christmas this year. All right. And I'm trying to decide what to do with it. Hmm. Um, right now, I'm looking at, I've got an old Pentium 3650 for my computer. Okay. And I'm looking at either buying a DVD-ROM or a new printer because I've got a really old printer. Right. And I'm wondering what, what your idea on that is because I've got a CD-ROM and a CD burner in it now. Right. And when I'm you say DVD-ROM, you mean DVD player or do you mean DVD burner? A DVD ROM, uh, player. I don't player. have. I've I've got a CD burner, and I don't think I sh can fit another burner on this power supply. How much extra uh, loot are we talking here? Oh, about fifty, sixty bucks. Okay, not a whole lot of money. Yeah, no. if, yeah. The cheapest DVD burner you can get would be about one hundred fifty dollars. So that's out of the question. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you. The only reason to get a DVD ROM, the only reason, is if you want to watch movies on your PC. Mm -hmm. For a while, everybody said, oh, software will be coming out on DVD, it'll be the greatest thing, and this has been four or five years now, and software's not coming out on DVD. Uh, the only reason to have a DVD player on your computer, the only reason is if you want to watch movies on your computer that I can think of. A burner's different because it's a good backup medium, making mm -hmm. your own DVDs and stuff, but if it's just a player, I'd say, do you, do you, how nice is your screen? Do you, do you have a screen that you'd like to sit at and watch movies on? I got a 17-inch monitor. Yeah. Well, that's okay. And how about your desk? You sit at your desk, or no? I've, uh, no, depends on what I'm. Really See, I don't want to sit in my desk and watch a movie, even if I had a 20-inch monitor. I don't want to do that. I yeah. want to. I want to be in my armchair or my my, my sofa or in bed. I don't want to be. So my, you know, just keep that in mind. How much do you want to watch movies? Because it's the only reason to get a DVD ROM. New printer's not a bad idea, but I got to tell you another thing. You can get a $50 printer. The problem is the cartridges are going to cost close to that when you run out of ink. Yeah, right now my printer costs me $30 per black cartridge and a right. color printer. Well, keep that in mind. The great cost on a printer is not the upfront cost of the printer, but it's the cost of that ink after the fact. And the cheaper printers tend to cost a lot more on ink. Why? Well, because they're giving the printer away in effect and they're making it money back on the ink. Uh, so I, I, would, uh, I would certainly consider that you may have a little extra money now but I consider the fact that you might... How much RAM do you have uh, in, the, in the computer? Uh, 256. Now, see, there's a good $30 spent. Get another 256. Mm -hmm. what, what operating system are you running? XP Home. Okay. XP, even on a... You know, you've got a, a relatively slow processor. What, yeah. 650, right? What three years of unemployment will do. <laughs> Believe me, I know. Uh, well, I don't know that, but I know how it is. It's expensive, these things. Uh, I... You, even if you're not going to upgrade the processor, if you're running XP, you really want 512 megs. I think the first thing I would do if I were you is buy another 256 megs of RAM. Mm -hmm. it, that's not going to cost you more than like 39 or 40 dollars. Yeah. Printer, I think it's too expensive t down the road. And DVD, unless you're going to watch movies on your computer, I don't think that's a great great idea either. I always spend my money on the stuff I'm going to get the most benefit from. Bigger monitor, nicer keyboard, nicer mouse, more memory, that kind of thing. Then then. The more expensive upgrades, better video card, better processor, faster hard drive, bigger hard drive. Okay, Patrick? Okay, thanks a lot. Hope that helps clarify the buying process for you. Coming up next, we gotta get, we're going to do two live calls for the price of one. Two questions back to back. A call for help and the help of fun continues. Stay here. What's crucial to me? What's crucial to me? Making the most of my time. Speed. Getting more and paying less. Doing things the right way. What's crucial to me? Staying on top of everything. Making my computer last another year. Doing seven things at once. That's why I made sure I have enough memory. And now my computer can keep up with me. So that you can focus on what's important to you. Crucial makes it easy to select, purchase, and install memory upgrades. Memory, it's crucial.
didn't exactly get what you wanted this year? Get into Gateway for storewide savings on PCs, TVs, cameras, and more. Savings up to $500 on our hottest products, including our multimedia PCs featuring Intel Pentium 4 processors. Save $400 on the perfect complement to your PC, America's best-selling plasma. It's under $2,500 after purchase of wall mount and mail-in rebates. Hurry in for up to $500 in savings storewide. Get the box from Gateway. truck the 2004 chevy silverado now available with power packs get the silverado extended cab with the light duty power pack vortec v8 heavy duty trailering plus the safe and sound power pack xm satellite radio bose sound system and the security of one year on star safe and sound service silverado now available with power packs it's the right truck Weeknights on Tech TV. It's the screensavers. Patrick and Leo tackle your toughest problems. I've got a teenage son in a DSL line. Uh-oh, you've got <laughs> trouble, my friend. Turn you on to cool new stuff. We got tech news. We got the real deal. We got a win thing. And bring you special guests making and using technology today. I'm going to take a little hammer. Why do a screwdriver when I... Okay, I'm out of here. Help, how-to, <laughs> and ha-ha-ha. <laughs> it's all on the screensavers weeknight at 7, 6 Central on Tech TV. Welcome back to the call for Helpathon. A little later on in the Helpathon, Alex Lindsay is going to come by. He's going to stay here for a few hours, help us with Photoshop. So if you've got a Photoshop problem, a, a digital imaging question, a camera question, you want to know anything about modifying pictures, maybe you've got some pictures you'd like us to fix for you, stay tuned. And, and, and you can start emailing and calling, too, because we'd love to get some of those questions on. But right now, we're going to jump to uh, another caller. Kat, who do we have on the line right now? It's Joel from San Diego, California, number 24. 24. We're getting, we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm slow. Oh, I know. I'm not as fast it's as Perillo, right, but we're getting right. there. Hey, Joe, how you doing? I'm doing really good. How are you guys doing? Great. We're having a great time. Did you have a good holiday? Yes, I did. I'm actually working today like you guys are. Yeah, this isn't work. This yeah, isn't I work. Mine I did not work either because I'm on the phone with you. <laughs> well, you have a very generous boss. That's all. Or else... He doesn't know. He doesn't know. <laughs> what can I do for you, Joel, well, my question if that's your was, real I, name? I have, I've been using like remote desktop in the past, mm -hmm. and then uh, at home I have a cable modem, and I hooked up uh, just recently the Linksys cable DSL router, yep. and now I'm having a problem finding from my office oh, to yeah. home how to find my, my PC at home. And that's because your PC is now behind that router. Exactly, yeah. By the way, which, makes the, which is one of the reasons we tell people the router is a great security device. Right. Uh, the router uses something called Network Address Translation, or NAT, to assign addresses to the subnet, the network inside your house. And because the router is the only one with your actual IP address, it's the only thing visible to the outside world. The outside world can't get through the router. The NAT protects all the computers that are inside. And that's normally a good thing, because it means a hacker can't see your computers at all. All they can see is a router, and they can't do anything with that in most cases. Right. But it does make for problems when you want to... It, just as any firewall will, when you want to allow some kinds of traffic through. Right. <clears throat> now, there are a couple of ways to solve this. In a firewall situation, you'd punch a hole in the firewall for whatever ports uh, the remote desktop access was using. It's not so simple with a NAT. There's no, it's not a firewall, really, so there's no way to punch a hole in it. So what you have to do is take the computer that you want to talk to out of the subnet and put it in something that most routers call a DMZ, or demilitarized zone. <laughs> it's, a, it's a strange way to describe it, but the idea, yeah, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. The idea is, it, it makes, it, what it does is this, the router changes its routing table in such a way that the computer, one computer, has the IP address. Or it looks like it has the IP address, the real IP address. The problem with doing that, of course, is that computer is now exposed to the outside world. So if, you know, it, it, it's kind of a double-edged sword. If you want to run a server, which, by the way, remote des desktop is a server, uh, or a web server, or a mail server, or any other server, you have to take it outside the subnet 
But it, but you also are going to lose some of my security. Then you're exposing it. Yeah. And of course, the most exposed thing in the world is a server. Now, remote as as far as I know, I think remote desktop is secure. Uh, yeah. I haven't seen any bulletins. You might, you know, that's something. If you're going to start doing that, you're going to start wanting to make sure you look at the security bulletins and keep up to date. And make sure there are no holes in remote desktop. And you might want to isolate that machine from the rest of the network in other ways because it could get a Trojan or something on it. Using VNC with that it, same principle. Same thing. All right. Anything that's going to run a, is going to be a server in effect, and it's going to have to sit outside the, the NAT. It's going to be DM, DMZ to work. You do the same thing in most cases when you're doing, serving a video game. A lot of the things that you would be doing where you want the outside world to talk to this computer, you have to kind of put it in the DMZ. It's very easy to set up. I don't have the links to set up here. Uh, maybe we can get Kevin or somebody to show us a little later on, but it's really just a, it's just a few settings. If you go into the Linksys control uh, web uh, page, you'll see very quickly how to DMZ a computer. You actually tell it which subnet computer is the public computer, and it all automatically says, okay, now you have that address. And oh. it should work fine. Perfect. Well, thanks so much. Sure, and I Joel. hope you make 60. I don't think I'm going to make 60. <laughs> 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 I'm lucky if I make it to 50 at this point. Uh, well, let's I'll tell you what. Let's see if we can get caller 25. I'll at least be halfway there. Who else is on the line here, Kat? On the Tech TV Net Kim Network, it's Bill from Long Island. Did I take you away from your game? No, I'm, I'm setting up for making my PC oh, cool I'm sorry. in the did, next segment. Didn't it's mean cool. to bother it's you. Cool. He's You're number just, 25. Any PC you use is automatically right. cool. Don't you forget it. Hey, hey Bill's, on the, <laughs> <laughs> Bill's on the line. Hey, Bill, how you doing? Hey, Leo, how are you? I'm great. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Uh, may the blessings of the new year be upon your head. Right back at you. Thank you. Well, I, don't, I have something else on my head now, but once I move the toupee, it'll be great. What can I do for you, Bill? Hey, um, I've got a, uh, I got a replay TV for mm. Christmas yesterday. Congrats. Yeah, looking forward to using it. Did you get well, the 6,000? Like, what model is it? Uh, it's the, uh, uh, what is it, 5504? Oh, yeah, yeah, great. Oh, you're going to love that. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Okay. Um, I've got my, well, my, my replay is going to go into, in my living room, yeah. and my cable modem connection is ah. in my, uh, in my office, yes. and I'm wondering if there's any way I can wirelessly share that, uh, there is. uh, share that connection. Let me come back here. I have to, uh, come back here for a second. I have just to go, and I brought a bag of, hi, how are you? Good to see you. Welcome to the show. I brought a bag of stuff with me. <laughs> If you can see it in here, this is stuff from my house, because I thought people might ask about it. This is one of the things I brought with me that I thought people might want to know. I have the same issue, Bill, with my Xbox. I want to put my Xbox online, the Xbox Live. I have a wireless network in the house, but, the, uh, but I don't, you know, how am I going to get the Xbox online? Uh -huh. Do you have, you have a wireless network or a wired network? Uh, right now I've got a wired network, but I'm, uh, I'm looking at... Uh you know, I, I want to know what I need to do. What I need to do to buy a wireless network to set Yeah, I would. Up. I would say the easiest is unless you want to string a wire into the other room. The easiest would go wireless. Yeah. Okay, uh, you could do this wired too. The concept is you need something to bridge that device onto the network. Now the uh, the replay, I, I believe. I know it has an Ethernet port. I believe it does DHCP properly. Yes. I, th I think it does. I think when you join a network with, the, I'm sure it does. When you join a network with a replay, it automatic. What I mean by DHCP, it automatically asks the network router for an address and is given a, an address. That puts it on the network, makes it visible to the network. Mm -hmm. The problem, of course, is that when you're doing wireless, you're, you're, you, you normally have a passive little wireless card that you plug into the device. That's not going to work with the replay in most cases because the replay is not running any software to talk to that card. What you need is this. It's a little more expensive, but it's a great solution. It's a wireless bridge. And what this is, it's like a mini router. You'll plug the Ethernet cable from the replay into there. Mm -hmm. And what will happen is this will assign it an address, which it will get via the wireless connection from your base station in the other room. So you will need to put a base station on your network. Okay. That's going to cost you 200 Well, actually, you can get them for under $100 now. You get the Linksys for about 60 bucks. So say 60 bucks there. This costs even a little bit more, around $100. And you put this on the replay. And then wirelessly, using 802.11b, your replay will be talking to the network, and it'll be online, and there'll be no wires in between. Okay. Th that's what you want, right? Exactly. Now, yeah. can, I, can I hook a, uh, a hub or a switch into that? So I've got, if I've, if I've got more than one thing I want to have on the, the wireless network there, do I need uh, one bridge for every, like if I've got the replay yeah. and I've got a t an Xbox, do I need one bridge for each? You need one bridge for each. Uh, okay. uh, that's a drag. Uh, because this is doing, in effect, this is doing the stuff that the replay can't do, that the computer would do, which is say, hey, I'm a computer, give me, a, give me an assignment and all that stuff. Sure. So, um, 
Yeah, it, it, look for a wireless bridge. When I bought this, it was about 90 bucks. I bet you the prices have fallen. Uh, okay. this, this one is from D-Link. A lot of companies make them. Linksys does, everybody does. Wireless bridge, not a little wireless USB connector. That will not work. You need the bridge. That's the key word. Thanks for the call, Bill. Thanks a lot, Liam. I appreciate it. Boy, I'm glad I brought that 300-pound bag full of stuff. I knew I'd need something. Coming up next, give that brand new PC of yours a facelift. Kat's going to show you some simple ways to make it more healthy, heasy, cooly, aesthetically pleasy kind of thing. And still ahead, is that hip enough for you? We got a gaming expert here to show you the secrets inside some of today's hottest video games. I love this. Stick around, we'll be right back. <laughs> MCSE Cisco or A Plus certified, guaranteed, with Smart Certifies fast and easy IT certification courses. You'll earn more money and have more job security once you're IT certified. Listen to this. If it wasn't for Smart Certify, I'd still be working a dead end tech support job. Let me tell you, there's no better way to pass the IT exams than by using these courses. I've done tons of IT training, but Smart Certifies MCSE course was the best by far. Smart Certify has one-on-one -on -one mentoring and a money-back guarantee. I couldn't lose. Now it's easy to advance your career as a certified IT professional. Call 1-877-TRAINING today and mention code IT to take a free course title. Or go online at www.smartcertifiedirect.com. That's toll-free at 1-877-TRAINING or www.smartcertifiedirect.com. Get your free course now. After finishing his worldwide rounds, Santa's getting some well-deserved R&R. He's not thinking about the stuff he forgot. But Radio Shack is. We've got the things you need to make the stuff Santa brought work. Including accessories for PlayStation, Nintendo, and Xbox, so you can enjoy the rest of the holidays. He sure is. Radio Shack. You've got questions, we've got answers. Sex in the Digital Age. Hi, gorgeous. Wired for Sex. And extraordinary ideas come to life on Invent This. Then, after Fresh Gear, what if everything you were told to believe was a lie? Explore Tech TV's new series, Conspiracies. Watch Sunday night starting at 8, only on Tech TV. If you want to see what's going on during our commercial breaks, it's easy to do. Just head over to techtv.com slash call for help. Click on this link here behind the scenes, and it's going to open up these little cams. My, my cam and my cubicle has been down, and it's going to be down until we fix it. But you can watch everything going on here. Look, I'm stretching. Isn't that fascinating? Check it out. Press F5 a couple times to reload the images because sometimes it refreshes every 30 seconds. Sometimes it doesn't. It's a little shoddy, but... Check it out there. Okay, so working here at Tech TV, I've learned one very important thing, and that is your PC must do cool stuff, and it's got to look cool or else you're kind of lame. So if you just scored a new PC, tricking out your system is a must. I'm going to show you a couple ways to do that. The first thing you got to do is get cool wallpaper. My favorite website is one that Morgan Webb showed me. It's called Me Company, and I just love the sound that it makes. Listen to that sound. It's like bubble pop, and every time a little white button pops up, that means that there's a wallpaper hidden underneath it. So go ahead and click on it, and it's going to take you to this little guy, a small picture of what the wallpaper is. Click on high resolution. It's going to take you to this page. And in order to make that image your desktop, just go ahead and right click on it and go to set as background. And then your background will become that picture, like that. 
How cool is that? The next thing that I want you to do is make sure that your computer starts up faster. And that's by seeing which programs are set to start up automatically. And you can do that by going to um, start, go to run. And in here, type in msconfig. Go ahead and hit OK, and it's going to pop up everything that starts up in your startup area by clicking on the startup tab. Now look at how many things I have set to start up on this computer. That takes time for my computer to start up each one of these little teeny tiny things. Now if you don't know what it is, don't touch it because it could be like your, your whole operating system or something. So if something is, um, you know what it is and you know you don't want it to start up every time, like AIM. I don't really need AIM to start up. I can start that up if I want it. Or the CNET downloader, downloader. I don't need that. Once you're done, go ahead and hit apply, and your computer should start up faster if you uncheck some of those boxes. Pretty cool, right? Uh, no, I don't want to start my computer now. Now, the next thing I want you to do is change the sounds. Now, it can get kind of annoying if you pick an annoying sound, but it can also seem really cool if you pick like one of your favorite songs or something like that. Do that by going to your control panel, go to start, then go to settings control panel and now if you scroll down a little bit you'll see on the left hand side there's a whole section for sounds your computer has the ability to play, play wave files you just have to tell it where and when you want them to play so here's all the different um, different events that my computer does so um, when I'm exiting windows or when I'm closing a program what I can do is I can change that to scream which is an annoying one, but what I do is I go ahead and I download the WAV file that I want it to make, go ahead and click browse, and here's all the defaults that it has, and I actually have one loaded. Well, we'll just, we'll just click any one, one of these. This is a ding, but you get the idea. You can, you can load up one of your favorite songs, whatever you want, and then go ahead and hit play to make sure that's the sound that you want. Hit apply. Now, every time I close a program, it's going to ding. How cool is that the last thing I want to show you is the one-click shutdown. I can't really demo it, but I'm going to show you how to make it work. What you do is you go to our page on our website that has the information on how to do the one-click shutdown because you're going to need this little line of code right here. Go ahead and copy and paste that little line. You, you, again, you'll see it on our article. Hit Control-C to copy it. Go to your desktop. Once you get to your desktop, right-click anywhere on the desktop and go to New. Then go ahead and make shortcut. This is putting a shortcut on your desktop. And then in that command line, go ahead and control V that code that you just got from the article. Go ahead and hit next and name that shut down. Down. Hit finish. And now all I have to do, go to my desktop. And if I want my computer to shut down instantly, just with one click, I click on shut down and it will. So there's four ways to make your computer just a little bit cooler. You'll find all the details on our website, techtv.com slash call for help. Send me an email, cat at techtv.com. How did you trick out your new system? Coming up, phone lines haven't stopped blinking since we started this morning. So we'll keep answering the lines and answering your questions. So stay tuned. Whoa, <laughs> check that out. Weeknights on Tech TV. It's the screensavers. Patrick and Leo tackle your toughest problems. I've got a teenage son in a DSL line. Uh-oh, you've got <laughs> trouble, my friend. Turn you on to cool new stuff. We got tech news. We got the real deal. We got a win thing. And bring you special guests making and using technology today. I'm going to take a little hammer. Why do a screwdriver when I... Oh, okay, I'm out of here. Help, how-to, <laughs> and ha-ha-ha. <laughs> it's all on the screensavers weeknight at 7, 6 Central on Tech TV. Dave! Brian, are these your consultants? They're providing an ongoing assessment. We're on a standardized Dell Linux solution. Power Edge servers, Intel Xeon processors. What about assessment? Validation? Deployment? Dell services are proven and scalable end-to-end. -end. They're customer-centric. We're more uh, contractually inseparable. Manage your enterprise for less with the flexibility of Dell products and services. Call or go online today. Get your game on. Well, viewers, we've granted your wish. Games, games, and more games. Turn to Tech TV for the best in gaming, gadgets, and fun. Damn it, if you want the cutest little thing with a machine gun. Let Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb show you how to turn it on. We are a validating force to be reckoned with. <laughs> X-Play, weeknights at 11, 10 Central, only on Tech TV. There are two kinds of people with hair loss. Those that keep asking, why me? 
and those that do something about it. I got the permanent solution from the guys who were as determined as I was. You too should make the call. I'm a member of the 72 Dolphins, so I'm not used to losing anything. When I noticed that I was losing my hair, at first I danced around the issue, then I decided to tackle it permanently. These guys are serious about restoring your hair. Look at me. One call, medical hair restoration. Wanting hair on your head isn't being vain, it's only being human. MHR understands this. Not only do they have more doctors who are board certified, but most of them have had the procedure themselves. These guys get it. Make the call. Get your free information package and start regrowing your own hair permanently. Plus, call now and get $300 worth of additional grafts. One call. 1-800-670-7961. That's 1-800-670-7961. Can I get some music, please? Haven't seen Unscrewed lately? Take a look at what you're missing. I'm like a Greek god and Adonis. Do you think the aliens from outer space wear a lot of doodads on their hats? No. This is awkward. Unscrewed. Weeknights at 11.30, 10.30 Central. Only on Tech TV. Let's hear it for him. Yeah, yeah, Darth Vader in the Death Star 4. Yeah. Woo, woo. And you, Mr. Rock and Set. Woo. That, that Darth knows how to sing the blues, doesn't he? We want to thank the gang from the Fighting 501st. Uh, the, the great uh, folks who, uh, they do this for fun. They go to events. They, uh, they have a lot of fun. And, uh, what's the web page? Where, where can we send people? Uh, <laughs> GoldenGate.com or the 501st Legion if you want to know more. And uh, thank Thanks. you all for being here. Do you want to tell people their names or do, are, they, are they like anonymous? Uh, we do have names, but we also have um, the TK numbers and things like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm TD1469. Oh, nice to meet you, TD1469. <laughs> but my real name is Tammy Ashford. Hi, Tammy. Hi. Thank you for being here. Thank and, you for having and, us. And thanks to all of, uh, all of them. And who's, who plays Darth Vader? Because he's really that menacing. That is Ian. Ian does a he nice job. He is the XO of the Golden Gate Garrison right now. Oh, he's in charge, huh? Uh, no, the CO is in charge. The XO is the second hand. Executive man. officer. I'm yeah. sorry. Who's the CO? Um, he's actually back somewhere. That's Mark Corey, and he's in the back. He's the tech guy that you know doesn't oh, have yeah. the, the uh, ranks that I do. He, he's, the, he's the CO, and you outrank him. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> I'm the female. Well, thanks to everybody for showing up. You guys are great, and you and you do a great number. I I love that. Uh, that was really a beautiful version of uh, "Smoke Gets in Your Eyes." So thank oh, you so much. Oh, you're quite welcome. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Let's. Uh, this is nice. I think we should do. What do you think? This is a. This is our uh, living room here. I think we should do this more often. I'm gonna come join you. It's in very a relaxing here, yeah. and we got Brian is uh, playing video games. We're gonna talk to him in just a little bit, but let's let's jump into a live call All right, right now. Who do you got on the Let's line do it on the Tech TV Netcam Network. It's Demetrius from Maspeth, New York. Hey, Demetrius, how are you? Demetrius, Hello. hey, how Number are you? Number twenty-six. Number twenty-six. Welcome to the show. What can I uh, What can I help you with today? Oh, I was supposed to be on the netcam network, but I guess I'll I can talk. Well, we can put you on. Are you? Is you, you have a netcam on? Yep. Well, we'll work on getting the netcam up. I'm sure uh, we got Fufu uh, working on it. I'm sure he'll be able to push you up in a little bit. Okay. My question, first of all, hello. Hello. And my question was, I have Outlook 2002. Yeah. And um, I receive a lot of email from friends. Mm -hmm. And. It's always blocking the attachment. Yes. That's something it started doing lately, right? Right, right. Yeah. What, I, what I'd like to do is... Um, Turn it off. Right. All right, exactly. well, let me show you. You know, I don't have to cross over to uh, the computer for this. So take, take a walk with me, Demetrius, and everybody, because we're going to go over back over to home base. I need a PC for this one. Uh, this was something Microsoft started doing, uh, let's see, uh, about a year ago with a Windows update. They turned off the capability of opening attachments. Now, Demetrius, if you've seen me on this show at all, you know what I say. Don't open attachments, right? Right. Attachments are the most dangerous uh, thing on your computer. That's how viruses and Trojan horses almost always get on your system. But sometimes you do want attachments. Uh, the only attachments they block, by the way, Demetrius, are the dangerous ones, ones that can contain a virus. If it's an image uh, or an MP3, you could see those, right? Right. Yeah, it's just the, it's just the dangerous ones. Well, you, you say you know what you're doing. You're yes. going to make sure that you use an antivirus. You're going to make sure if you get an email that you check 
with the person who sent it and make sure they sent it, right? Yep. Because I don't want to show you how to do this if not. No, I usually know. All right, all right. That just, it's just a great way to get in trouble, and that's why Microsoft decided to do it. Now, what I've done is I've opened Outlook. Now, this is the new Outlook 2003, but it'll be very similar in 2002, okay? And we're going to go to security. And it's not the same in uh, Outlook here. <laughs> all right, so I'm not sure where it is in Outlook. It should be in the security tab. There is a box that you ch uncheck. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. It says, well, I'll, show you, I'll tell you what. I'll show you in, uh, we have an older version of Outlook Express. That might be a little bit easier to show you in. It's going to be similar to this. Go away. Tools, options, security. And it, here it says, do not allow attachments to be saved or open that could potentially be a virus. Now, there's going to be a similar checkbox in Outlook 2002. 2003 must handle it differently. Uh, maybe it's smarter about it. But you're going to uncheck that. Okay. Now, here's what I would suggest. Leave it checked until such time as you get an attachment you know is safe and you want to open it. Okay. This will force you to be, you know, go through a couple extra steps to open that attachment. And then you can uncheck it, you know, go to tools, options, click the security tab. Then you can uncheck uh, that box, open the attachment, do what you need to do with it, and then go back and check it again, okay? Would you do that at least for me, Demetrius? Sure. That way, and the reason is it's so easy if you don't have that kind of protection to say, da -da 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 -da. oh, look, I just got a great uh, uh, thing. Let me open the attachment, and boom, you got a virus. Right. So you don't want that. You don't want that. It's, believe me, it hap has it ever happened to you? Have you ever gotten a virus? Oh, a couple of times. Yeah, it happens to you once. You know you don't want to do it again. Right. So that's why Microsoft did this. And uh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna ha I, we don't have a copy of 2002 on here, so I can't show you 2002. But you get the idea. It will be somewhere in the tools options. Probably, it should be in the security tab. And it should be a, a, a checkbox there like that. Okay? Okay, one other quick thing. Yes, Demetrius. Um, I have a, a website. Oh, you want to plug your website? Sure. All right, are there, are there dancing girls on it or anything I should watch out for? N nothing so exciting, <laughs> unfortunately. What's the URL? It's uh, home.nyc.rr.com backslash M-R-D-E-E. -E. Mr. D. That's, That's you? Are you Mr. Of course, Mr. Demetrius, Mr. D. Yeah. And it says, welcome to my webpage. That's me. There you go, Mr. D. I see you celebrate Kwanzaa. That's great. Happy Kwanzaa to you. Thank you. What do you do on Kwanzaa? Anything special for the day? No, nothing really. Okay. There are, there are ceremonies and, and rituals that you could do, but I think it's great just to, just to mention, just, just to dimension it. Right. Right? It's Kwanzaa today. And there's your site. Did you do this yourself? Yes, I did. What did you use to do it? Uh, Microsoft front page. Front page. Well, and very a good. lot of what I learned, I learned from you guys. Well, that's, that's wonderful. I, I, uh, I think that's great. You even have a blog. Yes. Wow. You're very, you're very serious about this. Yes. Well, Mr. D, it's been great having you on the show. And I love, I'm glad you mentioned this because I love showing people how you can do it yourself. Yes, you can. It's not hard, and it sure is satisfying. And now all your friends and family can go there and find out how you're doing. Right. Hey, thanks for the call, Demetrius. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Coming up, and again, I've I got to warn you, if you're going to turn off that virus thing, you know, the, the, the attachment blocker, <laughs> you, you, the burden is now on you to protect yourself. So uh, I would suggest only turning it off uh, for a one-time only check of the attachment and then once you've seen the attachment, turn it back on again. You, you, you'll be doing yourself a favor. Coming up next, we've got a gaming expert in studio here with four of the hottest video games around. And secret cheats. Do you have what it takes? Find out. A call for help continues with a help of bomb. Come on, do you? exactly get what you wanted this year. Get into Gateway for store-wide savings on PCs, TVs, cameras, and more. Savings up to $500 on our hottest products, including our multimedia PCs featuring Intel Pentium 4 processors. Save $400 on the perfect complement to your PC, America's best-selling plasma. It's under $2,500 after purchase of wall mount and mail-in rebates. Hurry in for up to $500 in savings store-wide. Get the box from Gateway. No me digas. 
qué? Take your best shot. The E715 with self-portrait. One of the newest internet-ready camera phones from Samsung. Hey, that was nice, right? Now you gotta get it. Come on. Oh, oh. Give me that. Come on, Ray. Come on. Oh, G. What you got? Oh, what you got? Oh, hi. Hey, you can't handle this, GP. Yeah, Ray. <laughs> Whatever. NBA Shootout 2004 lets you play online with other Hoops fans no matter where they are. Ready to eat for everyone. This is Tech Live. Are you ready? Take a ride. See how it's done. Don't know what to buy? We do. It's hot topics, movie magic, cool science, and tech gadgets. Get it? It's one cool ride. Tech Live. It's all you need. Weeknights at 8, 7 central, only on Tech TV. Weeknights on Tech TV. It's the screensavers. Patrick and Leo tackle your toughest problems. I've got a teenage son in a DSL line. Uh-oh, you've got trouble, my friend. Turn you on to cool new stuff. We got tech news. We got the real deal. We got a win thing. And bring you special guests making and using technology today. I'm going to take a little hammer. Why do a screwdriver when I... Okay, I'm out of here. Help, how to, and ha ha ha. It's all on the screensavers weeknight to 7, 6 central on Tech TV. Video games, we love them, don't we? They're both a source of pleasure and for some, like me, old folks, a source of frustration. A game that's exciting and fun can quickly turn into an experience of just pure and utter heck. Like Prince of Persia, the other day I was playing that, I could not get past a certain point. My son, my nine-year-old, comes and says, oh, it's easy, Dad. You go, nit, 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 nit. And luckily, we got Brian Dawson here to give us some cheats and Easter eggs for some popular video games. Welcome, Brian. It's great to have you. Nice to be here. Now, you work for GigX.com, right? Yes, now, I do. The GigX, I, I thought, was a, was a uh, kind of a download service. When you have a really big download on a lot of the gaming sites, you'll go through GigX, so if it, that download breaks or whatever, you, mm -hmm. you can re resume it, and it has good fast pipes and things like that. Yeah, that, that's what GigX originally was. Yeah. They, were, you know, they were one of the leading download sites on the net. Right. Um, then GigX decided to get into the editorial content as well. Uh -huh. So now we have game reviews, game cheat codes, game previews, news, all of that. And so, you used to work for which which gaming site? I used to work for a gaming site called GamerFeed. That's right, um, that's right. Which is now owned by GigX. Oh, they acquired so you? Yes. Oh, I get it. Yeah, oh, so they're right. one of the same now. How long, how old, first of all, you're in college, right? Yes. 20, 23. 23. 23. How long have you been doing this? Uh, playing games or working for games? Working, working on, <laughs> on, on writing about games. Uh, about eight years now. Eight, since you were 15. That's, that's true, yes. That's kind of <laughs> neat. I mean, that's, up, that's one of the few things that a kid is really more equipped, better equipped to do than an adult. Yeah, and, and also what it does is it gives you better English and writing skills. Sure does. Because you're writing about games all you the time. You bet. <laughs> now, what are you majoring in in college? Uh, entrepreneurial business. So no, nothing to do with games. No, <laughs> but you're obviously well equipped to do that. So we're going to take a few of the most popular games here and, and kind of dissect them, take them apart. Which game are we going to do first here? Uh, the f f first game we're, we're, we're going to do is actually going to be uh, Crimson Skies High Road to Revenge oh. for the Xbox. I need cheats so, for this. This is my yes. new favorite game. I've been playing it non-stop. I love this game. Uh, it it's, uh, was based on the PC game of the same name, but they've really changed it quite yeah, a bit. Yeah, it really has changed because what um, FASA did, which is the, the developer of the game, is they wanted to, to make a game that console players could just jump in and right. play. They didn't have to worry about you Building know, 20 buttons. Like, exactly, yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, so they, they, they took the original uh, Crimson Skies and added that the High Road to Revenge made it a lot more uh, arcade-like. You start like right away, you get into it, exactly, and it's a you know. lot of fun. It's a, f it's a flying game, but weird kind of uh, planes because exactly. it's a, a future that or a past that never existed. Right? Exactly. Yeah. It's, it, it's an alternate 1930s. You've got all kinds of crazy planes, all kinds of crazy weapons. I love that. You know. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's both know? retro and sci-fi at the same time. Exactly. It's really fun. And so show us, uh, you're, you're going on one of the early missions, which is to, uh, to find Big John. You don't, you don't get many planes at this 
this point to choose well, from. Well, the actual cheat that, that I'm going to show you here um, unlocks all of the planes for oh, you. Oh, look! So as you can see, oh. um, I've, I've, I've put in the, the cheat, and you get all the planes. Because so normally there's nothing on that carousel exactly. with the one plane. Normally you only have what, the one plane. Oh, now you've got goodness. everything. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, pick one, and I'm, I'm going to show you how to enter the code. It's a very easy code to do. Okay. Do it right when you, when you pick up the game. This is on the um, Xbox Crimson Skies yes. uh, road, High Road to Revenge. Basically, um, all you're going to do is get in the actual gameplay so that mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're flying around. You can do this during that, that first training mission. You can do it at any point in time. Okay. And all you okay, have to do uh, on the Xbox pad... Boy, this looks good on this TV, i got to tell really you. It looks really good. You know, oh, you, 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 boy. you get the HD TVs going. <laughs> the Xbox is made for HD. It, it, so. it does, yeah. It's really great. Uh, but basically, when, once you're in game, just flying around, don't have to be doing anything, mm -hmm. just hit YX, YX, YB, YB, and then the black button. Y, X, Y, B, black button. That's all That's there is Now, we it. have this in the show notes, so you don't have to scramble and write that. And that will yeah. unlock all the chips that forever. That planes for you. Yep. Forever. Oh, they're, they're, I love they're, that. They're yours. Uh, it's, it saves it to the Xbox hard drive, and you're good to go for the whole game. It's, You've it's, got every ship. It's fun. I mean, you know, I played it without doing any of the cheats, and that's certainly a challenge and a lot of fun. But once you've played it a little bit, it's nice to get the other planes. Well, you know, that, that, that's the nice thing about cheats, you know. I mean, games are, are fun, but if you can do everything without all the work and just, you know, <laughs> reap the Why benefits, not? it's great. That's <laughs> you young people, I tell you. No work ethic. Gotcha. So let me ask you a question. Why do they put these cheats in here? Um, well, I mean, a, a lot of times, you know, after someone's be beaten a game or, you know, if, if someone's not, not very, very very good at games, having right. troubles with them, uh, you can put in cheats to kind of help you along, give you that so, extra little thing. But they don't publish, the developers don't publicize it. No. But they figure um, you'll just figure it out? Exactly. And, and oddly enough, once, once games hit, you usually have all, all the cheats. Um, for instance, most most of the uh, guides, which the, the, the publishers work with the publishing companies on the, the gaming guides, uh. those also have, have cheats So if you get well. one of the Brady games, Gaming guides, exactly. it'll, it'll have all the so the so the developers put them in not for themselves, but because they know that it's the, it's going to make the game more fun. They don't publicize it. They don't put it in the manual, <laughs> but they make it possible to find out. Well, a lot of times what happens too is that the the cheats are in there during the d development cycle, and oh, they, they do put hidden. them in for their purposes, right? Because oh, I mean, they, okay. they, they they have to go in and, and sure. test out certain things, right. so they'll, they'll they'll jump from level to level, right? And you know, those kind of turn into cheats. <laughs> Originally, they weren't cheats at all. They were just things were that were actually left in developer back doors. Exactly. Now I think they put them in for the users. Well, yeah. Too, yeah. Yeah, definitely now. <laughs> Let's see another one. Let's see another one. What, what's the next game? Game uh, two. The next game we have is Need for Speed Underground. You said this is your current favorite. Yes, th th this is this is what what I've what I've been playing so far right now. PlayStation Two. Now this was this has uh, always been one of the great racing games. Need for Speed yes. has been a great series. What's new in Underground? Um, what Underground does is it changes the the aspect of the series. So you're not being chased by police anymore or uh -huh. anything like that. Um, now they they've really you know tapped into the, the Underground racing scene. You know like Fast and Furious. Yeah. Yeah, that. well, that's big. Um, right now, you can sure. go in and you can actually customize your your car, and they have all all, all the popular licenses. You've got your, your Honda Civic, your Toyota Supra. You know, you've got all all your, your popular licenses. You can go in and you, you can customize your your, your your car here. You can um, put on different front bumper, rear bumper, oh, and put on fun. different rims. I mean, you, you can go in here and do all, all wow. kinds of things. It's it's just like, you know, all, all the people that that are into the underground racing. This this right. is a game for them. Now, what's your cheat for uh, Need for Speed? Underground. The the cheat for uh, need, need for Speed Underground. What it does is at, at the very beginning of the game, mm -hmm. you don't have access to any tracks. Right. Okay, you can basically race on one, one track. track. And that's you got to work your way up to get the exactly. Other ones, yeah. And there's there's a hundred plus levels in this game, so mm -hmm. it takes you a while to unlock everything. So what this does, if you got friends over, or you just want to want to practice, it, it unlocks all the tracks for you. All right, okay. I like that. So basically, all you have that's to do. That's not cheating. That's just a. You know, it's it's just having fun without all the work, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so how do we do that? Um, basically, all you have to do with, 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 with this cheat is at the menu screen, which I'll go ahead and back out here, when, okay. when you're at your, 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 your main menu, yep. all you have to do is enter down, R1, 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 R2, 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 <laughs> and then hit square. Down, R1, 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 R2, 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 square. Exactly. And all of the tracks are available. Exactly. we got time for one more quick cheat. Okay. For the these. last cheat. This is a great game. Legacy of Kane. Love playing this. That's this what you were playing when we first started, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I figure out which controller. Here's the controller over here. There you go. 
Now for uh, Legacy of Kane, the, the cheat that I'm going to show you is one of the more popular cheats. Uh, it's basically what allows you to um, walk around without having to worry about taking any damage. It mm -hmm. gives you, it makes Kane. It, sometimes they call it God out. mode, where you're just yeah. invulnerable. Yeah. yeah okay. um, and you know, and, and when one of the games like this, it's nice because you can just go around and hack up people and not have to worry about how much damage you're taking. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> But don't go around boasting that you completed the game if you do that. I well, don't want to hear you. You know, you can do that. <laughs> I don't you know. want to hear that. <laughs> you gotta, if you're going to complete the game, you've got to complete it without breaking any rules. All right, so there's Kane. And he is now uh, the vulnerable, right? Right. As you can see, when, when I walk up, your health uh, goes I'm, down I'm, I'm when you get damage. hit. My yeah. little, you yeah. know, heart-shaped. Oh, oh, you know, oh. I, I'm, I'm taking damage right now. Yeah. So basically, all you have to do is... Um, we're, we're, we're going to pause the, the game. Pause this is, you the can game. do this at any point in time. First okay. level, eighth level. Doesn't so if you start matter. losing really bad, this is what you do. You pause the game. Exactly. So just 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 uh, pause the uh, game here. Yeah. Then then you're going to hit up down. Up down. Right down. Right down. R1, R2, down triangle L1. <laughs> How did you remember that? I got okay. You know, well, see that, 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 that that's why you, you have to you have to go to the website so you, you can write him. it down yeah. and then There's you, no you don't have to worry about it. And people wouldn't find these. These you, the, the, obviously the developers have released yeah. these. I mean nobody. So now, now they hit you and nothing, nothing goes wrong. Exactly. So, so, so now you can just, you know, play around. It doesn't matter. They, they can hit you all Go you ahead, want. Poke you know, me. I don't yeah, care, you, know, you strange bird. You, just poke me. You, 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 you aren't going to lose anything. Oh, you know. oh. That way you can just kind of play around. Do whatever oh, you want. You know. You're making a mess. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brian, I really want to thank you for joining us. It's so much fun to see all of these. Of course, the cheat codes, if you go to gigax.com, I know you have lots of cheat codes yes, online mm -hmm. there. And uh, and as you said, uh, they're they're usually around if you if you just know where to look. And yeah. we have a few of the ones you showed us on our site. In fact, we got a fourth that we didn't get to. Yeah, um, definitely. And like I said, on, on GigaX, you've got all, all the cheats plus a whole lot more, yeah. you know, reviews, previews, all that. Thanks for coming by. I really thank appreciate you, it. Appreciate so it. much fun. Man gets to play video. Up next, almost every one of those 25 squares is a fabulous prize. Admittedly, five of them are my books, but the rest of them are really great. So choose wisely when we play the Wired World Challenge, coming up next on the Call for help -a -thon. Good book, Cat? Enjoying it? Yeah. How about Cassandra? Yeah, that's yeah. pretty. I wonder what that means. Yeah, that's a uh, Greek for prophet of doom. Okay. How can a butterfly help you? Find out at msn.com. Whether polishing a presentation, building a website, or making a music video, there's no better, clearer computer reference than Visual Quick Start Guides. Visual Quick Start will take a look right up in the index or right to the page for a half a dozen illustrations taking you step by step through it, and it's beautiful. Problem solved. Game over. It's quick, it's easy, um, it works. I'm very fond of them. I use the Photoshop one every week. The directions and the graphics that are there in the book to assist you are exactly what you see on your computer screen. They're concise, they're easy to follow. These books can be right there. It's more visual. It's more hands-on that I can just follow the diagrams and see what I'm doing that way and know that I'm not messing up. <laughs> they always get me up and running fast. Visual Quick Start Guides from Peach Pit Press. Available today at a Barnes & Noble near you or online at bn.com. Hurry in to Circuit City's Red Dot Sale today. Look for the Red Dot and get extra savings in every department. Save up to $430 on desktop packages and notebook computers. Save up to $75 on digital cameras. And save on mobile and portable DVD players too. Like this 5.8 inch widescreen portable DVD player, just $169.99 after price break and mail-in rebate. Don't miss the savings at our huge Red Dot sale. Circuit City, we're with you. It's time you expected more from an insurance company. Because at Progressive.com, you can get our price for car insurance, plus the rates of other big-name companies. And that could save you hundreds. Or if you'd rather talk to someone, give us a call anytime at 1-800-PROGRESSIVE. Call 1-800-PROGRESSIVE now or visit Progressive.com. Compare rates and buy a policy instantly. We can help you save money, even if it's not with us. You could start saving now. Call 1-800-PROGRESSIVE. Not what you'd expect from an insurance company. This looks cool. Mega? Rad. <laughs> Mega's bad. Now the sad sister circle. That's good. 
How can the butterfly help you? Find out at msn.com. Welcome back. It's time for the Wide World Challenge. Kat, let's get a good challenger on the phone here. Okay, let's get a good one. Yeah. Tony's a good one from Phoenix, Arizona. Tony! How Hello. you doing? Welcome to the show. Well, thank you. Have you been watching? Now we're all, uh, almost done with our sixth hour. You've been watching all six hours. I started at 10 o'clock. Hey, oh, well, that's good. That's uh, that darn good. 10 o'clock our time. <laughs> yeah, no, that's dark. Well, we started at uh, 8 o'clock our time, so you saw, you've seen more than four hours almost. I missed, yeah, I missed the first hour. <sighs> Not bad. Not bad. Well, let me give you a prize for being such a devoted viewer, Tony. Now, here's how this works. I'm going to give you, now you know by now, I'm going to give you four categories. You'll pick one. I'll okay. ask you a question from that category. If you get it right in 15 seconds or less, you get to pick a number from the big board. And since you've been watching all this time, you know what not to pick. Lesson you want to win my book. You ready? Ready. All right. Categories for this hour are technology innovators, underwater devices, Wired Inventors and Sci-Fi Book Titles. Which one would you like? Uh, underwater. Underwater Devices. Tony, what underwater detection system uses sound waves to locate and detect objects? Sonar. Sonar. Were you in the Navy, Tony? You knew that one right away, didn't you? I was in the, I was in the Army. In the Army, <laughs> and he still knows sonar. Well, Alonzo's a Navy man, so he, he, he probably snuck that one in there. Let's see if we can get you a nice prize. Pick a number from 1 to 25, Tony. 25. 25! Let's see what's under there. Oh, man, you got the video card. You ever play any games, Tony? Uh, yeah. You're going to be playing some great games now. This is the Radeon 9600 Pro from uh, Crucial Technologies. This is my favorite video card, bar none. You get great bang for your buck, and it looks great on all the modern video games, all the ones that are just bogged down a computer. This is a really wonderful video card. I think you got a nice prize there. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Well done. So we're going to send that out to you. Thanks again to Crucial, who's given us some great prizes for our Wild World Challenge today. We're going to do it again next hour, and we do it every day on Call for Help. We'd love to play with you. All you have to do is go to our website, sign up today, so you could be a winner next time. Coming up, our inbox is full to the overflowing with questions. They've got questions. i got answers. We'll give you a few when the Call for Help-a-thon continues right after this break. I can assure you the bank's closing costs are very competitive. I'll just open these blinds to let in a little extra life. <laughs> Consolidate bills and lower your monthly payments now with a no-closing cost home equity loan from Ditech.com. That's impossible! Get the cash you need now from Ditech.com. Lost another loan to Ditech. Log on to Ditech.com or call 1-800-DITECH-1. Functional, adaptable, retractable. It's the sport utility with more utility. The new GMC Envoy XUV. It's not more than you need, just more than you're used to. GMC Professional Grade Engineering. After finishing his worldwide rounds, Santa's getting some well deserved R&R. &R. <laughs> He's not thinking about the stuff he forgot. But Radio Shack is. We've got the things you need to make the stuff Santa brought work. Including accessories for PlayStation, Nintendo, and Xbox, so you can enjoy the rest of the holidays. He sure is. Radio Shack. You've got questions. We've got answers. There are three things you can count on in life. Death, taxes, and cable rate increases. Thousands of Americans each day have realized that rising cable rates and poor service are not their only choice. People are switching to DirecTV. Switching from cable has never been easier, especially now that you can get a four-room system for free. With the DirecTV Total Choice Plus, with local channels programming package, you get over 130 channels of your favorite programming with true digital quality picture and sound. And best of all, you get your favorite local channels, too. DirecTV also offers premium programming from HBO, Star, Showtime, Cinemax, plus Sports Pack. Plus, up to 55 pay-per-view choices a day. Plus, you get your choice of the best sports programming available, including NFL Sunday Ticket, exclusively from DirecTV. 
Your choice has never been easier. Call now to order your DirecTV system for up to four rooms for free. That's a $299 value. And your standard professional installation is always included. Call now. The elves are back. Fringo, ah! Fringo, show us what you got. And you can bowl them right down Santa Claus Lane. Tech TV presents Super Elf Bowling. Download the game now and go for the perfect score. Super Elf Bowling. It's all new and available only at techtv.com and instorm.com. Is it? It's almost hour number seven. We're almost halfway through. Before we go, though, we're going to answer a few more questions because that counter's only at number 26. Okay. Cat, we got to get it a little bit bigger. What's uh, what? Right. Let's take another question number here. Number 27. Yes. On the message boards, what's a packet sniffer? That's great. A good question. Okay. Now, it requires an understanding of how data transmits over uh, a network, an Ethernet network, or even uh, uh, the internet. It, it's of course divided into small packets. Okay. The packets are sent from point to point. And the reason it divides it up instead of just sending it as a stream is because you don't know what route the data is going to take, especially on the internet. So if it divides up, let's say, an email into little chunks and sends it out, some of that will go this way, some of it will go that way, but there's information in the packet about how to reassemble mm -hmm. once it all gets to the final point so that you can get the full email. Well, a packet sniffer <laughs> goes out on the network and looks for packets. Uh -huh. It actually catches the packets as they go by on the network and can reassemble them on the packet sniffer's computer. So mm -hmm. it's a way basically of snooping on a network, Ethernet or Internet network, by capturing packets that weren't aimed at you. That's what a packet sniffer is. All right, very good. This person wants to know, is the Call for Helpathon going to air internationally? I don't know. know I think that? it's airing internationally. It's certainly airing in Canada. Master Control says yes. The answer is yes, 3 a.m. Thank you, Master. It's going to start at 3 a.m. and go all 12 hours? 3 a.m. to 3 p.m., I guess. Well, that's pretty cool. 3 a.m. Eastern Time on the international frequency. Okay, this is an interesting question. This person is trying <laughs> to pick are. an email client. Yes. Uh, I mean, a free web-based email client. Ah. And they want to know what they need to look for because some people say MSN, Hotmail is better than right. Yahoo, is better than I think than the number AOL. one thing you're looking for at this point is spam control, don't I you? I agree, definitely. Because uh, uh, no matter what else, you know, how much mail you have and everything, if you get a lot of spam, and Yahoo's got the best spam, spam controls right now, so I'd say mail.yahoo.com would be my number one choice. Cool, thanks. Whew! So we got up to 27. Keep it going. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. 28, it, thank you. Coming up Thanks. next hour, Chris Breen, our iPod master on Mac Daddy, is here to talk about iPod secrets. And maybe he'll make a little music for us, too. And Dr. Elmo, speaking of music, remember Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer? We'll have it live right here in hour number seven. You stay right here. Hi, call for help. <laughs> you didn't go anywhere, did you? Welcome back. It's hour number seven of the call for help a fun. I'm Leo Laporte. We started it at uh, 11 a.m. Eastern. Yeah. It is now 5 p.m. Eastern. We've had a pretty good work day. We've done more shows in the last six hours than we do all we week. we keep changing clothes, maybe it'll trick our minds. You like continue. this one? Yeah, I like that BC one. BC Ethic. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Well, you really mm -hmm. sport and BC ethic on your back there. Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't help it, can you? <laughs> there you go. I love that. You yeah. didn't paid anything for Ooh. that one? Or? No, they're not no. giving me nothing. I had to buy it. All right. That's all right. Cool logo. I don't get to wear these anymore. These are all the shirts I used to wear on the screensavers. Now we're very sedate. We don't wear the wacky shirts, so I thought I'd break them out. All right. In fact, I'm about to change. i got more shirts to, to come. I can't wait, Some favorites Leo. from the years gone by. Cool. It's a shirt rerun. Sweet. Pete Shainer was here uh, a little earlier. You may remember he was shooting a behind-the-scenes documentary. We right. showed you how he was editing it. Mm -hmm. He's got the full final edited edition online, right, Pete? I do indeed. Oh, so you've, you've, you're done. It's at the, it's you put music done. and Trade everything? Look at. It's, oh, uh, that's it's great. a little over a minute long. Wonderful. I thank you so much for Good doing deal. that. Uh, now, I was just talking to Nicole. we got great web people, by the way, oh, who came so in good. on their they're day off. They're back there working. Nicole Carrico, so Roman hard. Loyola, great. you rock, okay? Yeah. And Nicole says All that right she there. has put it in a couple of places. Probably the easiest thing to do is to go to hour four 
of the show. So if you go to the show notes for hour by hour and you click the fourth hour and you go to the better home video editing, you should be able to see the movie in here somewhere. Right, Nicole? No, she's saying no, but you told me it would be there. All right, we'll get it Soon, there. Soon, we'll get it up. We'll get it They're up. They're working on it. Yeah, yeah, somewhere in here. Somewhere. This is good anyway. I love this stuff. Great article, by the way, Pete, on, and, and a history of film editing. I love that. Fascinating. Psycho. Incredible. Incredible. And there's his book. Let's not, let's not forget to give it a plug. He's holding it up. It's the real world digital video book from a real world film director, a man who knows about all this stuff, Pete Shaner. All the Hollywood tips and tricks that uh, you're not going to get in your manual. I love that stuff. And, it, you know, it's, I have to say that doing that, being, you know, kind of starting to do it on your own gives you a real appreciation for film. And then when you go back and you watch movies, you can kind of understand what they're doing. You go, oh, ah. Exactly. It's not that difficult. It's just a, a set of rules and right. sort of techniques that have been developed over the years. And you can do them equally well on film as you can yeah. on video. Well, that's what's kind of neat. You're now part of that. Yes. That's and, great. And, Thank and you, Pete. Thank you. We really appreciate it. It's been great having you on the show. Now, Chris Breen, our Mac Daddy, going to do double duty. You're going to do double Mac duty this hour. He's going to show us how to, it's not dirty, how to get the most out of your iPod with the help of some cool accessories. There's some great ones out there. Do you have your iTrip? I just got mine. Just got my iTrip. Love the trip, baby. Got to love the trip. He's also going to crack open his iPod and show you the guts. You're a brave man. You're a brave man. Going to crack open his iPod. Am I in his way? Should I get out of the way? What's going on? What are you making faces at me for like that? <laughs> Chris Breen, we love you, Mac Daddy. Plus, you know it, you love it. It's a Christmas classic. And we've got the man who collects the check every December 31st. Dr. Elmo got performed. Grandma got run over by a reindeer live in the studio with us this hour. Hour number seven. I've warned all my friends and neighbors. Yeah, check that out. Hey, is that him? Watch out for yourself. <laughs> they should never give a license <laughs> to a man. Drive the sleigh and play Dr. Elmo. That's so funny. Yeah, we won't have all the costumes in there, but anyway. Hey, let's, you know what, the real reason we're here, uh, uh, all the fun aside, yeah. uh, is to answer people's questions, because right. it's the day after Christmas, it's Boxing Day, it's Kwanzaa, right. it's the eighth day of Hanukkah, people have been receiving gifts, technology gifts for the last week, and they oh, yeah, want to know. I gotta bring out my gift. What did you get? I got the little eye river. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, MP3 oh, player. Love it. It's really cute. I have a question about it later. I'll ask you. But let's yes, get to the call. Yes, that's we're now. here. Let's answer a question. Let's All answer right. a question. All right, on the Tech TV Netcam Network, we have the star of Hanging with Mr. Cooper, Mark Curry. Wow. Hey. Hey, Mark. How are you? All right. How you doing, Leo? Look, we can see him. He's hanging All with right. Mr. Cooper. Yes, I am hanging. That's right. <laughs> hey, Mark. I see you. Uh, I see you got a little Apple T-shirt. You're on a Mac today or a PC? You know. Um, you know. I, I have an Apple and a PC, but you know what? I fell in love with Apple. Yeah. I am now the Apple man. Yeah. Now you know, I found that the Apple is the best thing for me. I, Excellent. Me, I feel the same. <laughs> the governor feels that way. I feel the same way too. I love. I love my. Macintosh. Now, Mark, do you do any film editing on it or script you know, writing? You know, or? Leo, that's what I'm starting to do. Since, yeah. since Apple, I, I bought the G4, I had the little G4 computer. Yeah. I love it. It's so easy. But I have some questions, you know, for like editing, you know. Yes. Like editing. And what I'm trying to do is build my own website, Leo, using my own footage, my own oh. little movies, Isn't my that own great? pictures. And that's what I really want to ask about. That's a lot of fun, I'll and tell plus you. plus, where you got that shirt. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got a PC ethic. Yeah, okay. all right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mark, that's one of the great things about technology in general is it lets somebody... Uh, as an individual, do something that in the past only big corporations can do. And a website is, is a way to be, put yourself out there so that the whole world can see you. You right, can right. publish yourself. And somebody like you, where you've got a lot of a body of work, where you've got uh, material that you can put online, that's just a great thing to do. And it's a contribution to the, the, the kind of the internet as a whole for you to do that. So right. And then, you know, people, I live in you know, Los Angeles, also, people want to charge me $2,000 and $4,000. Yeah, no, no. I'm like, man, I know I can do this myself. Let me ask. Leo. You totally can. Now, there's two sets of skills that are necessary for doing your own website. Mm -hmm. And one of them I lack, yeah. and that's the graphics design skill. Are you a good, are you have a good visual sense? Are you a good no, artist? I mean, you know, but if you show me something and 
and I can I, I can do anything. I believe you know it's good. Well, that's so that's one skill, and a lot of times that's the kind of the hardest of the two is the ability to design something that looks good and is functional. Then there's of course the technical skill of merely putting up a web page, how you design the HTML, how you upload it to a site, and all of that stuff. And so they're really two separate skills, and very often it turns out that people are good at one or the other, but not both. Uh -huh. Now, if you feel good, if you feel like you can do both, and I say go for it, all all power to you. There are a couple of tools I'd recommend you get. First of all, for the graphics side of it, you're probably going to want Photoshop. Yeah. Have you spent the money on that yet? Uh, yes, sir. I all have right. that. So that's one thing you're going to want to start playing with that and getting good at that. And Photoshop has a lot of nice tools mm -hmm. built in, designed for web design, that sort of thing. And then you're going to need some sort of web design tool. Now, the one I like the best on the Macintosh is from Macromedia. It's called Dreamweaver. 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 You can get a 30-day trial from Macromedia.com. See, look, Mark's writing it down. This guy's serious. It's like a new drink. Yeah, <laughs> Dreamweaver. It's a Dreamweaver. Yeah, the Dreamweaver. Right. Dream <laughs> level. <laughs> Weaving those dreams. Right. It is actually a dream of a program to use. Mm -hmm. It really makes it easy to design a web page. In fact, to use a lot of advanced features uh, that uh, are, are particularly difficult for novices to master. The, you could buy the full Studio MX. That's going to set you back almost $1,000. Or you can buy Dreamweaver standalone. I think in your case, since you already have Photoshop, that's probably all you need. Right. Uh, they do offer a graphics program, Fireworks, and another one called Freehand, but Photoshop really is the standard. That's the Adobe product. So I'd get Dreamweaver from Macromedia, and I'd get Photoshop from Adobe. Then start playing with it. Dreamweaver comes with a lot of templates that you can mm -hmm. customize to make your own. Do you have a host yet? Uh, yeah, yeah it would be Apple. I Oh, you're going to do a dot .Mac site? Yeah, it's, it's Mark Curry at Apple.Mac. Oh, see, now that makes it really easy. Yeah, but people, anybody out there can send me, some, send me something. That, you want, yeah, that's great. So say it again, it's Mark Curry dot Apple dot, what is it? Yeah, it's Mark Curry at Apple dot or uh, Mac. Uh, Mac.com, Mac yeah. Yeah. That's your email address. And then if you go to Mac.com slash, probably slash Mark Curry, you'll be able to go to his website. Hey, that's very cool. Yeah, just use them. That's the easiest way to do okay. it. They have a lot of bandwidth. If your site gets really big with a lot of video, you might have to buy more space from them. You only get 100 megabytes to start. Oh, okay. 100 megabytes. That's all you get when you, when you buy your .Mac account. But you can buy more for a little bit more. They have a price in there. And, and, and as you expand, you don't need it now, but as you expand, you're mm -hmm. going to need more and more. But that's a great way to go because they do have very fast servers. You know, can I ask one more question? Sure, Mark. What about somebody to maintain a site? Say, for example, Mark Curry, people are calling me in, and I don't have time to right. get back at everybody. Well, who does that? Or is it, you, know, <laughs> you do that, that baby. <laughs> you got to hire somebody to do that. Okay. The, the best way to get a site really becoming uh, an active site with a life of its own is to create some sense of community. And that means either message boards, chat room, a guest book, a way that people can give back to the site. Now, the nice thing about that is they add content. They add richness to the site. I put message boards on my website, and I think you probably should on yours, because then people can interact with each other as fans of yours as well as interact with you. But you make a very good point. You can't just let it go. You've got to have somebody watching it. Now, very often, I, I, you'll find somebody who is such a fan that they'll devote some of, your, some of their time to help you. Okay. Uh, and that's what's happened for me. I found some great people uh, like Josh Pett, who is one of my favorite people in the world, who's come in there and has helped me administer the board for free as a volunteer. So that's what you probably end up looking for. Eventually, if you need some more uh, help, you can always hire a college kid. They're up on this, Mark. They, okay. know, they know this stuff, man. Right, right. And 10 bucks an hour, they'll be happy happy to help you out. Okay, okay, that's beautiful. Yeah, do some interactivity because that's the best thing. Get your, vi get your viewers, your fans involved with you. Right, okay. Hey, we, right. Love, we love hanging with Mr. Cooper. It's so great to talk to you, Mark. Well, thank you. Well, you know, let me tell you, I got Celebrity Mole coming out, NBC, the January 7th. So All check right, it out. we'll look for it. NBC, January 7th, Mark Curry. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah, we'll see okay. you later, dude. Hey, that was fun. That's a, and that's a, I'll tell you what, it's a fundamental question everybody wants to know. I want to do a website. What do I need? Now, I just recommended tools that are going to cost well over $1,000 to Mark, but he's a rich Hollywood star. So you may not want to spend that much money. There are also inexpensive, even free programs that we can recommend. If you go to our free files of the day, you'll find a lot of them at Call for Help's website, techtv.com slash call for help. Now, coming up next, if you got an iPod for Christmas, you are one lucky fella. But you may, at this point, want to see all the bells and whistles and doodads and doohickeys you can add to it. Chris Breen has a list of the coolest extras, including Apple's new voice recorder. It's iPod accessories when we continue. Stay right here. This program brought to you in part by Pioneer Plasma Displays, taking high-definition television to a whole new level.
Where does reality end and pure vision begin? A Pioneer Plasma display can deliver more than one billion colors, taking high-definition television to a whole new level. Pure vision. Only from Pioneer. Didn't exactly get what you wanted this year? Get into Gateway for storewide savings on PCs, TVs, cameras, and more. Savings up to $500 on our hottest products, including our multimedia PCs featuring Intel Pentium 4 processors. Save $400 on the perfect complement to your PC, America's best-selling plasma. It's under $2,500 after purchase of wall mount and mail-in rebates. Hurry in for up to $500 in savings storewide. Get the box from Gateway. The only place to play. Take your best shot. The E715 with self-portrait, one of the newest internet-ready camera phones from Samsung. Renegades. I'm just going to have to do whatever I want to do. Rebels. Yeah. And pop icons. <laughs> Misfits. It doesn't matter. You're a nerd in life and you'll be a nerd always. And millionaires. It's a good way to explore the nature of truth. Forget the pocket protector. I want to make toys for myself. Meet the nerds of the 21st century. Nerd Nation, a new series coming in January to Tech TV. If you found an iPod under your tree this year, you would jump for joy, wouldn't you? You'd be pretty happy. In fact, right now you're probably busy downloading songs to fill it up, but the iPod really is more than just a great music machine. It can do a lot more than just hold music to help you get the most out of it. Chris Breen, our Mac Daddy. Welcome. Yes, thank Welcome. You. Happy thank holidays. You. Happy holidays to you. Is, this isn't your first Christmas with a new baby, is it? No, this the is my uh, second? second and a half. Second and a half. Yeah. So how was it? I mean, it was good. She got it this time. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a, it takes the first couple of years, but the two-year-old yeah. will probably get what that's going Yeah, she got it. On. What was it about? Uh, the whole idea of some, a stranger coming into her house that's a and like bringing creepy. stuff into the house is like, yeah. mm, and we don't have a chimney. So there's the whole, okay, well, Santa does get in, but it's sort of a it's magic. Ma he's, a ma he's a magic guy. A magic guy. Oh, yeah. that's so neat. It's yeah. so fun. It Henry, good. now, this is probably the last year for that. Yeah. He's nine. I think, he, you know, he just wanted, he was hedging his bets. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he wasn't going to say, but he just wanted to make sure, just in case. Yeah, yeah. He went to bed early. You know, yeah. just in case. Exactly. Yeah. And you should. So, I did not get an iPod for Christmas, but I have my iPod. It's a much beloved device. Let's see what some of the things are. Well, you don't have nearly do enough it. stuff. I don't. No, I only have like one of these things. Yeah, well, you, if you get a, a 30 or 40 gigabyte iPod, yep. you got this case. That crappy case. Um, cheesy exactly. case. Okay, yes. I didn't have to say uh, yeah, that. But it's you. true. This is the one that comes free. This is the one that comes for free. You know, that's all I have. I use it. Yeah. it it, it goes protects in there, it from scratching. Yeah, 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 but you yeah. drop it, not so it's, good. It's not hard. You right? can't get to the right. front of the thing. You so can't. let's get a better case. Okay, better we case. We have a lot of choices. I have a lot of choices. Um, this is one of my favorite yeah, ones. This is that. made by Waterfield Designs. So it's one of those uh, belt clip doohickeys. It's a belt clip doohickey. Okay. You can and get you to the front full port. access to that. Look at that. So you're not, you're not and it, and, but is it protecting it? I mean, if I drop it, is it going to be? Yeah, there's some decent padding like, on that yeah, thing. All right. Okay, how much is that? That one's forty bucks. Forty bucks, and oh, it's even got a little. Uh, slot in the top so I can put it Right, and for the in. third generations, it's got a slot in the bottom. This is a, a first generation. Oh, so you case, can so. even put it in the dock? Yeah. Oh, well, actually, you wouldn't well, put Well, no, you, dock, put, your you cable put your cable into the bottom of it. Yeah. All right, what other ones? You guys, uh, you have another one. This one is an extreme, extreme Mac case. This is, a, you know, kind of the executive case. It's leather. It's leather. Leather. It comes in very, one color. Very, very beautiful. Leather. Yes, and you can put oh, your driver's nice. license in there. Then this, But this gives it a little stability in the mm -hmm. front, so that protects the, the front panel. Right. And I like this uh, clear because you can see the, the, the display, the readout, right. but it is still protected. Yeah. That's cool. All so right. we like that one. Um, How much is that one? That one is also... Is it really pricey? I, I think, no, I don't think it's that bad. I think it's like 35 bucks. 
that's not bad for leather. That's good. Yeah. Okay. And what I really like now is because you have so much stuff with your iPod. Is also from Waterfield. Waterfield is the iPod gear pouch. Oh, now does this hold the iPod and everything else? It holds the iPod. Oh, I've got that. my earbuds in there. Oh, it will hold your power adapter. And even adapter. though it looks like a purse, it's not. It's, it's a, a European <laughs> <laughs> clutch. It's a carry-all. It's a <laughs> yes. It's a man purse. Yeah, a purse. Yeah, yes. Merce. <laughs> well, if we call it a purse. <laughs> That's yeah, nice if you're though. if you're a little concerned about your not heavily padded though, not uh, no no all no, right. but it's just for carrying all your junk. Okay, with you. very good. That's the Merce from Waterfield. <laughs> the Merce from Waterfield Designs. <laughs> that is uh, thirty-five dollars. Uh, it looks like you're going to the bathroom to shave. To be honest with you, <laughs> right. Brian. Thirty-five. And you bucks. can. Uh, yeah, the new. Uh, <laughs> it shaves and it plays better. Yes, music. and it's beautiful. What else? You got? Uh, we have got the uh, voice recorder. The Belkin now, the voice Apple recorder. just announced this at the same time as it announced the forty-gig iPod, right? Right. So, do they have one for the old iPods, or is it only they the don't. new iPods? It's only for the new iPods. So you have to have the the uh, new slot uh, right. iPod. But this is neat. When you plug it in, it just knows. It just knows you've got it, and How? it starts recording audio. How? It's magic. Okay. <laughs> Note to self, chocolate mayonnaise. Okay. Ew. <laughs> How long have you been on the air now? <laughs> long way. Okay. Far too long. <laughs> hey, that's really cool. So the software is built in the new iPod software. Right. Do I have to worry about pulling it out, or I mean, do I have to stop it or anything? No, no, no. And when it records them, does it record it as AAC or MP3? It is recorded as a uh, as a WAV file. It's a WAV file. It's an eight kilohertz WAV file. You can get six hundred hours of voice recording. Wow, that's great. On a, a forty gig iPod. This is the microphone, huh? Yeah. How good is the microphone? Could I record lectures with that, for instance? Yeah, it's good for lectures, any kind of voice stuff. But again, it's lower. You don't want to take it to your next big concert and stand there. Not and at eight it, kilohertz. It, it, you're, no, you're, you're yeah. not going to be uh, bootlegging anything. You're right. It's thing. going to sound like a telephone a little bit. Yeah, and the range is fine for a small room, or right. about two feet is, is optimal. Okay, for this thing. that's the voice recorder. That's from Belkin. How right. much is that? The voice recorder is fifty dollars. Okay, a little, pr little pricey. A little right. pricey. Now, this is the media reader. Now, this is the one I want. Yeah, this makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. well, tell, tell us. About if you're this. a digital photographer, you know, a lot of people came up to me and said, "Look, I've got a digital camera, and I've got this media, and I've used this up, and I'm out on a shoot, and I want to get this stuff to my iPod, but I don't want to carry my my uh, power book or my iBook with right. me." Right. So what you do instead is you pull this little doohickey out here. This thing here. Yeah. yeah. And that, that connects into to the, the bottom of the of the data port. Okay. And then you shove your compact flash card in here. All right. And then it downloads from here into here through here into your iPod. So I don't need any additional software or anything like that. It has some batteries in here. It has, yeah, four AA or AAA batteries. So it's not exactly card a card reader, it's a card copier, right. basically. It's a transfer device. And then it's on here. Can I get it off when I sync the iPod? How yep. do I? Once you sync the iPod, it just downloads it. Automatically into, into iPhoto? Into iPhoto. Now, if you're on a Windows machine, you have to do it manually. Okay. But that's great, yeah. because uh, you know you, you might carry a dozen of these, but you still would run out if you're on a trip or something. You don't right. want to carry your laptop. If you've got your iPod, you can offload this. You only need one. It's your digital wallet. Oh, I love that idea. Yes. Give me some more here. Uh, what else you got? got? Oh, the Pocket Dock. Pocket Dock. The Pocket Dock. Pocket Dock. 19 bucks. Oh, I need this. You want this. I just got it. Yeah. It's a, it turns it into a standard wi fire wire. Right. A huge problem. Frankly, it, with the uh, iPod. In fact, I even went to the Apple store when it first came out, and they said, "No, we don't have any uh, any of those. Uh, you you got it. You just have to use the one that came with your." Yeah. If you uh, leave Apple, your cable behind, you are you're messed up. You can't host. charge it. You yeah. can't. Yeah, oh, this is great. So now it's a standard one. Any FireWire cable. Will any work. FireWire cable, you can get it. Radio Shack. And you can use the adapter that came with your iPod. To, with a FireWire cable to charge it up off yep. the wall. Mm -hmm. oh, that's great. Yep. I love that. How much is that? I'm going to buy one That's now. $19. That's, that's every well, iPod owner should have that. Well worth it. Yeah, I, that was my only problem with the new iPod mm -hmm. was this weird connector really kind of made it difficult to use. Well, that's uh, just some of the secrets you'll find in this fabulous book. Tech TV brings it to you, The Secrets of the iPod. Chris Breen, the author, and a must-buy for everyone Absolutely. who has an iPod. In fact, I've used it already because I remember that, that extra reset, that super, super right, secret, secret reset. One, yeah. I used that and it saved my iPod's life. So thank you very much, Chris Breen. Stick around. We're going to do some more with you, all right? You bet. Our Mac Daddy is not leaving. We've got lots more as the call for Helpathon continues. There's even more iPod accessories on the website, too, techtv.com slash call for help. You want to read all about it. Now, let's see what's coming up next. Oh, our screeners are hard at work wrangling calls. We're going to get a few more calls on the air. We've got to work hard if we're going to get those 70 calls in before the show's over. <laughs> Hour number seven of the Call for Helpathon continues. Stay here. Yeah. This is about time. Yes. You guys are good.
Home Tech is brought to you by GMC. We are professional grade. Introducing the first SUV with a power sliding rear roof. Whoa. The new GMC Envoy XUV. Professional grade engineering. It's not more than you need, just more than you're used to. Salton's Icebox Flip Screen 03 is an all-in-one entertainment system that fits under your kitchen shelf. The Icebox lets you listen to music and watch TV or DVDs, and its broadband connection lets you check email. The Salton Icebox's flip-down 12.1-inch touchscreen tucks neatly away when not in use. It's great for the high-tech kitchen, but watch out. At $2,300 plus installation, it's expensive. After finishing his worldwide rounds, Santa's getting some well-deserved R&R. Yeah, yeah. He's not thinking about the stuff he forgot. But Radio Shack is. We've got the things you need to make the stuff Santa brought work. Including accessories for PlayStation, Nintendo, and Xbox, so you can enjoy the rest of the holidays. He sure is. Radio Shack. You've got questions. We've got answers. There are many events this season, but one you don't want to miss. The Infinity Event of the Season. Featuring the FX, the vehicle that puts the sport in sport utility. The Infinity Event of the Season ends January 5th. See your Infinity dealer for attractive lease and APR finance rates. My name's David Abreu. As a firefighter, I'm able to give something back to the city every single day. But these streets aren't the only ones that need protecting. That's why when I'm not wearing this uniform, I'm a soldier in the U.S. Army Reserve. Find out how David protects his city and his country as a civil affairs specialist in the U.S. Army Reserve. Only at GoArmy.com. Move it up some. Move it up some. There it is, the Call for Help website. I love this site. You know why I love this site? Because everything you see on the show ends up on this site. Thank you, Kat. Sure. Can I get an amen? Amen. Yeah, all right. Including all the Call for Help uh, logoage. You know, we've got a whole new style, a whole new design to Call for Help. You can get the new wallpaper just by clicking right here. And this is something new. We've not done this before. We've got the icons. Have you seen these, Kat? I don't know what's in here. Are there pictures yeah, they're, of... No, they're not pictures of us. No heads? No Leo head? No. no cat head? No. Well, we got to add a cat head. Okay. All right. You can get it for Mac or Windows. <laughs> TechTV.com slash call for help. Is, are we falling apart? A little bit. Okay. Just checking. <laughs> you know, everybody's watching, waiting for well, us to fall apart. I just apart. haven't been outside in six hours, and I've been sitting here for most of it. It's yeah. Just a little I think that's the hard. I'm not starting stop. to bounce. I mean, I'm not tired, but. No? I think I think I'm not moving around enough. This is what happens. Wait, you know, two more hours, you're just we're gonna get punchy. we're gonna have mental fatigue. Yeah, right. you get a little strange. I, I took a jog around the studio. I felt much better. Okay, maybe I'll try that. Let's take it. <laughs> let's take another call. Who's on the line? On the Tech TV Net Cam Network, it's Tech TV's head lab rat Andrew. Oh, 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 I get it. Hey, lab rat Andrew. Hey, how you doing, Leo? I'm doing well. How was your holiday? Well, it was great. You know, I'm out here in the desert in Phoenix. Oh, what you doing there? Well, you know, I'm just hanging out and wearing a cowboy hat. Can you guys see me? <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, oh. do, do you have an that cam or you just think we're uh, telepathic? I think you're telepathic. <laughs> All right. I just want to I'm make sure. I'm electric. I'm supposed to have an that cam. I mean, you know. Oh, yeah, I know. Now, let me ask you something. I asked Wozniak this. What do you give a guy who has everything for the holidays? What did you get? Did you get any technology for the holidays? I got absolutely nothing because everybody in my family is painfully afraid to give me anything. That's what Woz said. And you know what? He had a great suggestion. He said, I tell my uh, friends and family to give me upgrades to stuff I've already got. Uh, because I know, because then even if, you don't know, if you're not a geek, you know at least he likes that thing, so give him the newest version of it. Absolutely. Like if you have an iPod, you want the, uh, the flash reader. Exactly. Upgrade. Which I love. Yeah. Upgrades. Oh, wait a minute. Now we see you. We do have a, a picture of you here. You're on Linux. How can we see? How, where, where, I don't understand. What is the deal here? 
What is this we're looking at? Who's, whose screen? Is that you, Andrew, with the cowboy hat? That's me. Hey. Hey, wave. <laughs> it's not. Uh, it's, I'm in Phoenix. Can you check out the background? Look at that. Yeah. Is that Look the, the is that the desert there. behind you? That's incredible. Look how nice it is there, Leo. I wish we were there. How warm is it, Andrew? Oh. It's about 55 degrees. So I'm freezing my butt off. Oh. oh. So you, de they say we desert. You think hot. <laughs> Right. Now it's a, now you're having a little snowstorm there? A little blizzard? Oh, it's just oh, okay. kind of stormy, you know. <laughs> but listen, I have a, a cool thing to show you. Yeah, well, I, I don't know if we'll be able to see it, but tell us about well, it. Well, actually, you're seeing it right now. It's actually the, the uh, Logitech, uh, uh, the, um, it's called the Orbit, the, uh, the Quick Cam Orbit from Logitech. So that's what you're using? Yeah, that's what I'm using. Watch this. When I move, it follows me around. See that? Oh, Whoa. Yeah, it's doing a good uh, job. Uh, <laughs> you know, I think we lost the, we either lost the signal or uh, you're frozen. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Well, but you know, anyway, it's a very cool thing. I it love it. We, you, around. you don't have to adjust it at all. We actually showed it uh, a couple of weeks ago. Gadget Girl had it on here. That's very cool. Oh, I think it's really awesome. You never have to move it or anything. If right. you go around the house, it moves 160 degrees back and forth. It, it looks, it seems to me, and I played with it a little bit, that it's following flesh tones. Yeah, it is. That's true. Yeah. So actually, the, the image you saw earlier, it was, it was kind of confusing some of the clouds and some of the sky from my head. Now, move, now we've got your image again. So let's see. Move around. Is it going to fo well, uh, uh, follow so Andrew? You're not close enough, I think. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Not there you go. Working. I get down here Either and that I kind of your, move. Your flesh is enough. There it goes. There there it's following you. Oh, that's really yeah. neat. Oh. That's for people who <laughs> are too lazy to move the yeah, net cam. Right? Yeah, right? Yeah, that's, that's exactly right. <laughs> and I'm too lazy to move my net cam. Totally. <laughs> so, really, this whole thing is just a junket. So, so Andrew can go to Phoenix to test the Logitech iCam orbit. That's exactly right. right. <laughs> so I'm out in the middle of the desert testing a silly yeah, camera. Yeah, it works great. I don't know, but you know, the frame rate's really good too, and that's the other thing I'm showing off, is something called sight speed. Yeah, and, I see uh, this, yeah. It's just really high frame rate, like 30 frames a second, so you don't have any breakdown or anything like that. I was very impressed. You were moving, in it, and it really was moving and following you. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's almost production, oh, well, it's not production well, quality, but it's that. 30 frames a second, you know? Now, let me ask you, is it a proprietary uh, codec, or is it using H.323 or 324? my cowboy hat moving up and down, yeah. <laughs> it's, totally, it's totally proprietary yeah. new algorithm. It's not H.232, uh, I You don't see, that's, that's what happens is these guys say, well, I'm not going to use the standard because it doesn't work well enough. They create their own, but then you have to have sight speed on the other end for it to work. You absolutely do, and the, the pricing is kind of expensive, too, so I'm not a huge fan of it. But the quality is great. You get it for great. free, but only for like 10 minutes a month. Right. Oh, interesting. So, but it, but it goes from anywhere from thirty dollars for unlimited to like uh, uh, ninety nine dollars for a whole year. So you know it's not so bad, I guess, if you want to talk. You want really good web conferencing where right. you can move around and do stuff and not lose the frame rate. Um, but to be to be sure, you know, you can use MSN or Yahoo or anything else for free, right? I gotta say, I hope that the IEEE or whoever, or IETF or whoever it is that ratifies these uh, standards for uh, 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 netcam calls will take a look at what some of these proprietary c uh, codecs are doing and, and incorporate it into the next generation of H.323 because I'd like to see this kind of quality uh, in the standards. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Let me just show you something real quick here. Okay. I'm like, I don't know, I'm on a wireless. Uh, wow. A wireless network. You're using all the equipment. Show you how beautiful. This place is. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous it is. Is this an in-law? Is this where your in-laws live? Or? Yeah, it's where my in-laws live. Oh, man. So this is their house right here. Oh. Oh, that's Thank the you. old... Isn't that where Dick Van Dyke lived in his old uh, TV show? I think so. Oh, yeah, yeah probably. You got the hot know. tub? There's, there's the hot tub over yeah, there. Yeah, don't fall in. All right. Nice. Wow. Anyway, it's a great camera. I really like it. It does really cool stuff. And you can also take photos with it and all kinds of cool stuff. Very cool, Andrew. Hey, I well, thank anyway. you. That was a lot. Of, that's really great. Great demo. To have a demo of the product from Phoenix is really cool. Well, thank you. Happy holidays, Andrew. All right, Leo. See you later. All the best for 2004. I know we'll see a lot more of Andrew Hahn and all the guys from the lab uh, in 2004. They're really an important part of all of Tech TV, but especially of Call for Help. It's great. Coming up next, there's really no good reason to open up an iPod. And, well, you know, because there's no user serviceable parts inside, or, or are there? If you've got a dead iPod, Chris Breen's going to show you how to give it mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation right after the break. <laughs> Where does reality end and pure vision begin?
A Pioneer Plasma display can deliver more than one billion colors, taking high-definition television to a whole new level. Pure vision. Only from Pioneer. I moved to Earthlink because I only want the internet that's good for my kids. Because I like being the guy you can always reach. Because an Earthlink address makes a good impression. I moved to Earthlink high speed because my life moves fast. Because access should come with choices. Different people, different passions, different reasons for moving to Earthlink. Whether you choose dial-up, high-speed, or wireless, make the internet your internet. Call 1-800-827-0142. We're currently offering six months of dial-up service featuring Earthlink Accelerator at half price. I moved to Earthlink because they hate internet pollution as much as I do. I moved because they block pop-ups. And I'll take all the help I can get. Because Spanblocker keeps my inbox neat and clean. Speed, security, control. Your reasons are your own. Call, go online, or visit these retailers and get six months of dial-up service featuring Earthlink Accelerator at half price. Move to Earthlink. It revolves around you. We were over our heads in credit card debt and looking for a way out. A number of companies said they would help us, but they were only interested in charging huge upfront fees and putting us further into debt. Credit Guard of America was different. Credit Guard of America won't put you further into debt. As a nonprofit service, we've helped thousands of people for over 11 years. We work with you and your creditors to reduce your monthly payments so you can get on with life. Credit Guard of America cut my monthly payments in half. They cut my interest rate from an average of 23% to 8%. Some even went to zero. I'll be out of debt in four years instead of 20. Credit Guard of America saved me over $13,000 in interest fees alone. Call now to reduce your monthly payments. Cut the interest rates on your credit cards by up to half and get your unsecured debt paid off years earlier. Don't you owe it to yourself to work with a real nonprofit service? Call now to find out how to receive a free credit report. Certified counselors are standing by. Call 800-213-4632. Help the, the marathon, I guess it's a telethon technically, continues. We are now in our number seven. Now, you may have seen, <laughs> you may have uh, seen this video on the web, iPod's dirty little secret from the Nystad brothers. Uh, it's actually a funny little uh, complaint yes. about the iPod battery. Turns out the Nystads have had their iPod for about two years, yeah, 18 months, and the battery died. They made a call to Apple. And the Apple rep on the line said, well, it'll be $250 to replace the battery in your iPod. They made this video as a way of striking back. Now, what it turns out the, the Apple rep was wrong. It wasn't going to cost them $250. And in fact, after this, Apple changed their policy. Now they have a $90 battery upgrade. Nevertheless, this video continues to circulate the web because I think people are really happy to kind of give Apple a hard time. Look what he's doing. He's been making a sign. He's got... He's online with the uh, Apple rep, and here's what he's doing. He's spray painting a message on the iPod posters on the billboards that are around. Apple doesn't offer a new battery for the iPod? No, because the battery's internal. It's not the MP3. Oh, no replaceable batteries. Well, as it turns out, the nice step brothers were wrong. You can replace yes, the batteries. Yes, you can. They were wrong. You can actually do it for 90 bucks, and I would recommend that you do it for 90 bucks, cool, like sending it to Apple. Right. However, if you want to save the 90 bucks, you feel brave, and you're not worried about violating the warranty and perhaps destroying your iPod completely, you can do what this guy's about to do. You do it yourself. <laughs> Show us how we replace the battery on the iPod. All right. Well, here is a first generation iPod. Okay. Now, and first of all, how do you get this cover off? Well, what you do is you contact one of two companies, um, either uh, PDASmart.com okay. or Laptops for Less. Yeah. And what they do is they send you a little kit along with a battery. Oh, so they have little pry bars. They have little pry bars. So PDA Smart sends you these two little things that look like 
tire iron. Are those plastic? Yeah, they're plastic. So they're not going to mar the finish. Right. So the only thing holding that on is kind of friction? It's friction. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So, so you just pry it off. You just pry the thing off, and I've like actually already cracked this one open like a crab. Yeah. And uh, you start under here, and you kind of go around this way. And you take now, off the little clips. What's your experience been? Once you do this, does it fall off easily in the future, or does it still stay pretty? No, secure? I've opened this. I've actually opened this thing about forty times. Oh, just good. because I, you know, when I hang out with other geeks, I take it off, and it's like a strip show for them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nobody's ever seen the inside. <laughs> no, of they one. haven't. It's like, oh, I, I, I've even okay. done it for Apple people. They've they've never seen the inside, <laughs> and they all go. Ooh. So what is that. in there? Well, what's in here is a lithium-ion battery. That's the battery. That's good for about 300 to 500 charges, okay. which so is it, why they run out. Yeah, and it's typical for about two years for one of these to run yeah. out. It's not unusual. Although I've had my original 5 gig for the two years, and yeah. I haven't had a problem with yeah. it. But eventually it's going to run out. So what do we do? So they send you the pry bars, and they send you the replacement So battery. they'll sell the battery. Yeah. They That's nice battery. to know. How much is that total kit? Um, the total kit is forty-nine dollars okay. from PDA Smart. Okay. And if you want them to do it, yeah, they'll do it for an extra ten bucks. Oh, so that's pretty cheap. For 60 bucks, you can get it done. 90 bucks with Apple, 60 bucks with right. PDA Smart. All right. And once you do this, um, the thing is just, actually, you know, you think this is very high tech, right. but you get in here and you realize there's like electrician's tape <laughs> and this sticky double-sided <laughs> tape all, here. That's all it is. <laughs> well, imagine the person, you know, in Taiwan somewhere whose job it is to like put the right. tape down. They've got little <laughs> tiny, little teeny weeny screws. Yeah. They're going to just put some... Bubbles. And a little tape dispenser. <laughs> now, you can also <laughs> replace the hard drive, right? You is that a little harder? No, it's, it's not very difficult. Um, there it is, is. This is the hard drive's data connector here. Yeah. Uh, the only thing you have to be careful about is when you bring this thing up is you don't... Here, turn this this way because uh, the camera, this sorry. camera is catching. Oh, all right. Okay. Um, you don't want to pry it up too much because the data connector can bend and break. You don't want to break that. You then don't want to break that. Then you have a costly then repair. Then you have a costly repair. Where do you get iPod drives, though? That's a little more tricky. eBay. eBay? eBay. Now, why is that? Because these are OEM drives that are not sold by anybody. So what you do is you wait for somebody's battery to die or somebody to spill uh, red wine into their iPod and think <laughs> that's and we know Nancy. My publisher. <laughs> Nancy, yes, we know we know who we're talking about here. And um, she'll never live that down. No, she won't. So use it for salvageable parts. <laughs> my publisher too. Yes, uh, that's great. So you buy somebody's old you broken somebody's iPod. Old you broken may broken get a iPod. you may get a used battery that's not that great, but the drive the drive is, is perfectly fine. How big can the drive get in a, in a standard iPod? On the first and second generation iPods, yeah. you can use a current. Uh, 15 and 20 gigabytes. Not the drive. 30 or 40. Not the 30 or 40, and okay. not the 20 from the second generation. So you want the, ten, the 15, the, the 5, 5, the 10, 10 or the 15, 15 okay. or the 20 from the current generation. See, this is why you got to buy the book, iPod yeah, Secrets, right. because that's where it all is. You show them how to do this? I show you how to do this. See, yes. if the nice that brothers who just read your book, they wouldn't have had to go to exactly. all that trouble. Yeah. Although it is a funny video. It is a funny yeah. video. iPods, uh, what is it, iPods Dirty Secret? I'll find yeah. the URL and we'll, uh, we'll uh, tell you on the website. For more information on how to hack your iPod, and again, this is not, it voids a warranty and it is tricky, so yeah. don't do it unless you're really willing to take the chance on that. And a third generation, when you open that thing, it's like removing your own kidney. I'm not opening that. Okay. <laughs> no, let's not go there. Let's not remove our own kidneys. <laughs> go to the website, techtv.com slash call for help. A little later on, Chris is going to stop by and show you how to remove your own kidney. Right. But first, it's as much a Christmas tradition as fruitcake and eggnog. Dr. Elmo will be here to perform his big hit. Every year we hear it and we love it. Grandma got run over by a reindeer live in studio. Stay right here. Go ahead. Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking on from our house Christmas Eve Sudden cardiac arrest. Each year it strikes 250,000 people, and nearly 80% occur in the home. Hello, my husband has just collapsed. I can't wake him up. No, and he's not breathing. Over half the people who suffer sudden cardiac arrest have no previous symptoms of heart disease. Unfortunately, less than 5% survive, largely because help doesn't arrive in time. Defibrillation, an electric shock, is the only effective way to restart a heart. However, for the best chance of survival, the victim must be shocked within five minutes. Shock advised. Press the flashing orange While button. While a defibrillator now. can't save every victim, many more lives could be saved if defibrillators reached more people in less time. 
That's why Philips, a worldwide leader in medical devices and electronics for the home and office, is proud to introduce the HeartStart Home Defibrillator. Available by prescription, the Philips Heart Start is designed for use in an emergency by virtually anyone. It has a voice that talks to you and steps you the entire way through the process. It couldn't be any easier. I think even if you were really upset, excited, emotional, I think it would still be easy to use. I have first aid kit in my car. I have first aid kit in my house. And so this is small enough that I would just add that to what I have already. And I'd be prepared for almost anything. To receive a free informational video or CD, booklet, and Heart Start ordering details, call this toll-free number or visit us online. You simply don't know. I was only 40 years old and in seemingly perfect health. And this happened to me. It can happen to anyone. When sudden cardiac arrest strikes, time is critical. Take the first step and find out about the Philips Heart Start and discover the power to save a life. Call 1-800-216-9505 or go online at heartstart.phillips.com. Call now. Extreme drinking. Binge eating. Thrill seeking. What happens when people push their bodies to the limits? Watch Tech TV's Body Hits, the only show that examines how your body stands up to the test of modern living. See how people live fast, work hard, and take it to the next level. Body Hits, a new series, premiering Tuesday, January 20th at 9.30, 8.30 Central on Tech TV. It's been a Christmas classic for over 20 years. You can't go by a Christmas season without hearing Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Dr. Elmo, the man who created What's the story with Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer? How did you, how did you, how did you record that? Well, I recorded it here in San Francisco about, you know, in 1979. And then I uh, just gave a couple of copies to friends of mine. You didn't have a label? You just recorded for yourself? No label. And, the gay, and a friend of mine who I gave a copy to gave a copy of it to a radio station here in San Francisco, KSFO. Yeah. And uh, they played it, and a lot of people called in and said they loved it and wanted to hear it again. They a lot it of again other, and again. A lot of other people said they never wanted to hear it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's one. Of, it's kind of. Yeah, I, I'm sure being associated with it. And you, you, you were a veterinarian before you you started this music and yes. this thing. But I'm sure being associated with it is is both a curse, a curse and a blessing, right? Do some people go, oh no, when they see you coming in the door? They did. <laughs> well, you know, when I first came out, uh, they played it a lot. I was playing at the boarding house, and I went yeah. down there, and uh, there was a big crowd of people out front, and I thought they were waiting to get in to see me. But they all had picket signs that said, <laughs> no. this song is ageist and sexist <laughs> and violent. Down with Elmo! Down with... <laughs> well, that's not a nice thing to do. It's a very funny song. Now, here's what we're going to do, and I hope you're okay with this. Okay. We have Chris Breen in the lab there, and he has a copy of Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, the actual CD, but he wants to put it on his iPod. So we thought we'd have a little race. Good. While you're performing the song, Chris is going to be taking the song off the CD, ripping it onto his hard drive, and getting it onto his iPod. We'll see who can do it faster. Can he do it faster than you? How long is the song? Uh, it's about 326. 326, Chris, you feel good? Oh, yeah. Easy. Easy as... Easy. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can get the whole album. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this makes the holiday for me. Dr. Elmo, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve You can say there's no such thing as Santa But as for me and Grandpa, we believe She'd been drinking too much eggnog And we begged her not to go But she forgot her medication and she staggered out the door into the snow When we found her Christmas morning At the scene of the attack She had hoof prints on her forehead And incriminating claws marks on her back Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve you can say there's no such thing as Santa But as for me and Grandpa, we believe Now we're all so proud of Grandpa 
He's been taking this so well. See him in there watching football, drinking beer and playing cards with Cousin Mel. It's not Christmas without Grandma. All the family's dressed in black. And we just can't help but wonder, should we open up her gifts or send them back? Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve You can say there's no such thing as Santa But as for me and Grandpa, we believe Now the goose is on the table And the pudding made of fig Ah, and the blue and silver candles that would just have matched the hair in Grandma's wig. I've warned all my friends and neighbors, better watch out for yourselves. They should never give a license to a man who drives a sleigh and plays with elves. Grandma got run over by a reindeer, walking home from our house Christmas Eve. You can say there's no such thing as Santa, but as for me and Grandpa, we believe. Christmas for that grandma that went over by Randy. Thank and you, look Leo. at this guy. Oh. He got it done, but you waited the last he verse. Me first. You, you made it hard, didn't you? Well, I was kind of waking, waiting for the modulation, and I don't think that I heard oh, the entire song. Oh, you didn't. Oh. I was trying to get the jump on you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you a, little, a little musician thing going on here. Huh? All right. Hey, you got it done, though, in I less than three done. minutes, 26 seconds. <laughs> Does that worry you at all, all that right. he was able to rip it so fast? It does, because I tried to play it a little faster <laughs> as well as leaving off part of it. <laughs> I, <laughs> I knew what was going on here. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Dr. Elmo's CDs are in stores everywhere, and it's not just Grandma Got Running Everybody Around You. You sing a lot of wonderful songs, and I highly encourage people to check out your CD. And It's been great having you on the show. It's been great Thanks being for coming here. Yeah, all right. Happy here. holidays, everyone. Mm -hmm. Now, up next, the elves have been hard at work stocking our big board with everything from video cards to portable MP3 players. We've got tons of prizes up for grabs. The call for help. Thon returns with a Wired World Challenge. Stay right here. That was great. What a lot of fun. It's so nice to hear that. Oh, it's so great. Didn't exactly get what you wanted this year? Get into Gateway for storewide savings on PCs, TVs, cameras, and more. Savings up to $500 on our hottest products, including our multimedia PCs featuring Intel Pentium 4 processors. Save $400 on the perfect complement to your PC, America's best-selling plasma. It's under $2,500 after purchase of wall mount and mail-in rebates. Hurry in for up to $500 in savings storewide. Get the box from Gateway. We got a problem up here. Tower 12, weather's moving it. Heading up. Do you have the right truck? Does your truck have a Duramax diesel? Does it have an Allison transmission? Silverado. It's the right truck. From Chevy. Silverado is the only full-size pickup available with OnStar. After finishing his worldwide rounds, Santa's getting some well-deserved R&R. &R. <laughs> He's not thinking about the stuff he forgot. But Radio Shack is. We've got the things you need to make the stuff Santa brought work. Including accessories for PlayStation, Nintendo, and Xbox, so you can enjoy the rest of the holidays. He sure is. Radio Shack. You've got questions. We've got answers. LCD TV, the power of LCD. 
My name is Jim Lucier. I'm assigned to the 10th Special Forces Group at Fort Carson, Colorado. In my job, you have to be prepared for anything, so I train for everything. Every day is a little different. You push your limits far enough, you find out you don't have any. Japan and Hauptmann by the US Army. And there's one more thing that the Army trained me to do. The doctor will see you now. Get more of Jim's story only at GoArmy.com. Welcome back. It's time for the Wired World Challenge. A chance for you to show us what you know for a change. Let's get somebody on the line here, Kat. It's getting a little wacky in here. It is getting. Well, it's that kind of, you know, that, you know it's... it's <laughs> It's going to be that kind of uh, day, time of day. it's yeah. freezing cold in here. Yeah. It's all right. On the phone right now, ready to play the Wired World Challenge is Ross from Springfield, Ohio. All right, Ross, are you ready to go? Yes, I am. I'm so stoked, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh, that's great, Ross. Well, the elves are here, and they have told me that, yes, the Radeon 9600 is one of the prizes on the board. Okay. I didn't know elves wear blue jeans. I think you need to take your pants off, dude. And what happened to your hair? Ay, ay, ay. It's the tallest elf in the world. You look shorter on TV. Uh, all right, I have in my hand now the questions. I'm going to give you uh, four categories to pick from. You pick a category. I'll ask you a tech related. He's gone. A tech related trivia question. You'll have uh, 15 seconds to answer that question. You do so correctly. We're going to give you a shot at the big board. Have you been following along now? Oh, uh, well, at least for the last three hours. All right, well, you have a better chance, you know, because you know that once a, a number is guessed, we replace yeah. that prize with my book. Oh, well, that's good, too. Yeah, well, you're being nice. I know no, you'd much no, rather. No, no. <laughs> I know you'd probably rather have something that has a chip in it. So <laughs> let, me, let me give you four uh, categories. You ready? Yeah. Uh, here you go. Here are the four categories for this hour. We've been playing every hour. We're running through the questions. Technology innovators, classic video games, wired inventors, or sci-fi book titles. Which one would you like? Oh, this is tough. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, I guess I'm going to go with uh, wired inventors. Wired inventors. You never know what you're going to get, do you? Yeah. This is an interesting question. I have no idea what the right answer is. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a bad start, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> he goes, oh, no. All right. Who invented the telegraph system? Was it Granville T. Woods or Thomas Edison? The telegraph system? The telegraph. Edison or Wood? Woods. Well, I'm going to say Woods because I don't think Edison did it's it. It's a trick question, isn't it? It was Granville T. Woods. How about that? How about that? Now pick a number from 1 to 25, my friend. Well, uh, my birthday's already been picked, so uh -huh. I'm going to choose 23. Ah, your age. That's a good idea. Uh -huh. Let's see what's up. <laughs> hey, you got it. Good dog. That's a good going there. You got the 12-month membership to Netflix. That's, hundred, that's I think, a $240 uh, prize. It's a great prize. Oh, well, neat. Do you like DVDs? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is so great. All the DVDs you can eat for a whole year. Oh, that's great. Oh, what a, I give this to my mom for her birthday every uh -huh. year. So here you go. It's a, a, consider it a late Christmas present, okay? Well, thank you. Thank you for playing our game. Congratulations. And have a great rest of the holiday season. Happy holidays and uh, all the best for 2004. Okay, thank right. you. Take care. Thank you. That's great. Those are some of the other prizes. Thank you very much. <laughs> the Wired World Challenge is happening every day, so head over to our website to sign up. You could be tomorrow's contestant. Coming up next, <laughs> do we wrap up hour seven? You still got your pants on, dude. With a quick email check, we call for help, and the helpathon <laughs> continues. Very, very good luck, don't you think? Very flattering. Oh, poor Craig. <laughs> what you get when you leave us. <laughs> Hurry in to Circuit City's Red Dot Sale today. Look for the red dot and get extra savings in every department. Save up to $430 on desktop packages and notebook computers. Save up to $75 on digital cameras. And save on mobile and portable DVD players too. Like this 5.8 inch widescreen portable DVD player, just $169.99 after price break and mail-in rebate. Don't miss the savings at our huge Red Dot Sale. Circuit City, we're with you. Need extra cash? Don't charge it on your credit cards. Get a second mortgage with a no closing cost option from Ditech.com. With a second mortgage, you can consolidate your existing high interest debts, get the cash you need for any purpose, and end up with one low monthly payment. A second mortgage with a no closing cost option is a great idea from Ditech.com. For fast, friendly service, apply online or call 1-800-71-FIX right now. 
League MVP. Innovator. Grand Champion. Acrobat. Peacekeeper. Enforcer. Record Holder. Freedom Fighter. Sharpshooter. All-Star. Fireman. Exterminator. World Champion. Commander. It's never too late for a career change. Products rating pending through Mature. PlayStation 2. The only place to play. There are two kinds of people with hair loss. Those that keep asking, why me? And those that do something about it. I got the permanent solution from the guys who were as determined as I was. You too should make the call. I'm a member of the 72 Dolphins, so I'm not used to losing anything. When I noticed that I was losing my hair, at first I danced around the issue, then I decided to tackle it permanently. These guys are serious about restoring your hair. Look at me. One call, medical hair restoration. Wanting hair on your head isn't being vain, it's only being human. MHR understands this. Not only do they have more doctors who are board certified, but most of them have had the procedure themselves. These guys get it. Make the call. Get your free information package and start regrowing your own hair permanently. Plus, call now and get $300 worth of additional grafts. One call. 1-800-670-7961. That's 1-800-670-7961. Can I get some music, please? Haven't seen Unscrewed lately? Take a look at what you're missing. I'm like a Greek god in Adonis. Do you think the aliens from outer space wear a lot of doodads on their hats? No. This is awkward. Unscrewed. Weeknights at 11.30, 10.30 Central. Only on Tech TV. Welcome back to... Uh, the seventh hour, almost to the eighth hour now, the Call for Help-a-thon. You know, Kat, we were talking about the uh, Call for Help icons we have on their website. Yeah. And so I opened them up just to okay. see, and you know, these look really great. Right. We have a, we have a home icon, but we folder don't have icon. Heads of, well, no heads, right? You don't need no. our heads. Okay, okay. I just... I mean, look, there's the hard drive that. icon. Right. Uh, this is all the, yeah, this is cool. what you can download from techtv.com slash call yeah, for help. they did a great job. The, the icons, Mac or Windows. Yeah, I think they really did do a nice job. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can get a few more questions in. We've got 30 down in the first seven hours. Okay. I think that's a little low. Let's see if we can get that up to 33. Number 31, yeah. uh, what are your feelings about artificial intelligence software? This um, is from Courtney. It's neither, it's certainly artificial, but it's not intelligent. I, I think it's, we're a long way off from real artificial intelligence. Okay. Turns out it's a lot harder to do. Like Ultra Hal Assistant. Have you heard about that? Yeah. Okay. My, I mean, try it, but my experience has been with all this stuff. Computers are dumb, let's face it. I mean, okay. they're dumber than your dog. Okay. Like Technically, right? right? Right, All they can do is do things very, very fast. Uh -huh. Comparisons, moving data around, adding and subtracting. That's it. Right. To make that, however fast it is, look like real human intelligence is very difficult to do. So, uh, you know, AI, and we saw the movie with Steven Spielberg, the, the notion of robots understanding what we're saying and Creepy. speaking back to us. Hal. It's a long, I think it's a lot longer off than we think. The human brain is a very complex organism. It's not an easy thing to duplicate in silicon. And most of these things are what we call expert systems. And really all that's in there is a database, a tree. Where you say, if you say this and you say this, then what is the possible outcome? Right. It's pure logic. It's not intelligence. Okay. So th I would say cool. no. So you're not worried about no, it? No, I'm Quite honestly, I wouldn't worry myself about that. Yeah, see, that's what they'd like you to think. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we're going to take a break. we got home theater coming up in the next hour. I'm going to change my shirt and a whole lot more. In fact, Kevin and Sarah are going to be back. They're going to do one more uh, upgrade to their PC. We're going to put a new hard drive in. So uh, stay here. The Call for help -thon continues. We've got four, five more hours to go. Long way still. <laughs> oh stay here. Gosh. <laughs> In there, if I were you. Welcome back to hour eight of the Call for Helpathon. We made a deal. I'm, since I'm such an advanced age, the the uh, oh, underwriters for Tech TV required that periodically during the Call for Helpathon I get a medical checkup. This is Nurse Brett. He's not a real nurse, <laughs> as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> it's hollow. He's going to continue to check me and uh, just make sure that I'm not about to keel over. In this hour, Kevin and Sarah are at it again. They're back in the lab. What are they doing in the... Oh, 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 they're going to add a hard drive. Plus, our pal John Johnson here, our home theater expert. <laughs> 
<laughs> you expect something to happen when you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Our home theater expert is uh, is here, and uh, no, <laughs> and we're gonna uh, have some fun looking at the latest in videos and home theater. This is a, a big hot topic right now. Are you done? <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do? No, nope, all checks out. All checks out. Everything okay? Yeah, just put a Thanks, little check mark. Mr. Lapointe, we'll you're, be right back in about. You're welcome, about an hour nurse, or nurse Brett. Kat, how are you feeling? You want Nurse Brett over there and checking you uh, out? No. He could do it. No. Uh, people were wondering where I got the game that Santa goes around killing the elves. Yeah, what's the URL? It's on Milk and Cookies. Is Milk and Cookies, M-I-L-K? M-I-L-K and Cookies. I and actually have it right here if you guys want to okay. see it. Is it a, it's a shockwave game, a flash game? It's a flash game. Dirty Rotten right, Santa? I'm killing it. Yeah, Dirty, no, down, the one with the little, there, yeah. yeah. Yeah, with the nutcracker? One. That one, the oh, nutcracker I'm gonna skip one. Christmas dolls. That I'm doesn't look like it. I'm actually playing it on Mad my computer. Mad Santa, huh? Yeah. All Anyways, right. it's fun. All right. Well, let's see uh, <laughs> if we can uh, have some fun with Santa killing killing elves or just maiming them. Um. Well, he cuts off their heads and blood squirts out of them. Well, you know, that could just be maiming. Them. How could people get? <laughs> how could people get on the show <laughs> if they'd like to? Yes, indeed. If you want to help us out with this show, we would love to have you contribute. The number here is 888-989-7879. You can also email us your questions. Call for help at techtv.com. Put helpathon in the subject line. That's what we're looking for. And if you have a netcam connected to your computer, head into the netcam Cineplex chat room, techtv.com slash call for help. It's kind of hard to get in there right now. There's a lot of people in there, but just keep trying. Eventually, we'll get you on. And I'm looking at the message boards all throughout the show. They're extremely active today. Are they? Fun stuff going on. Good. Yeah, there's like a lot of pages of people talking and talking and talking. So I'm wondering, you know, we had a, there was a big there article. There you got the game. Yeah, I got the game. Uh, let me, uh, there was a big article about us in the New York Times, you know. Right, it's and I'm on wondering, my site. I'm wondering how many people. Did you put, post it? Yeah, I put it, it on my blog, too. There's the cover. It was on the cover of uh, the Sunday Times TV section. I can't if believe it. If you're in it. a local, uh, you know, you're in the local New York area. Right. And then if you're looking at the National Times, which is what I get, uh, then there was a black and white. And look at the great picture of you and me and Roger. And I just yeah. think that's really cool. So I'm, I'm thinking we probably got some uh, new viewers. I hope so. Watching the show thinking, boy, I don't know what to think about that. All right, now let's play the game. Okay, so you have to hit F. F to begin, D to is begin. to hit, F is to jump. And then your arrow keys to go front and back. Oh, you know, my and keyboard's, then, it might, there we go, okay. Okay, get, get ready. Get ready, okay. And then just hit, and now jump with D, D, F. Yeah, there you go, now kill him. Get him, get him, get him, keep, That's there you an go. elf? That keep doesn't look like an elf. And that's the smoking weird, like, Eskimo dude. Now here's a little oh, elf. Oh, the elf will get you if yeah. you don't get them. Right. Oh, and well, you, you didn't tell me that. And then you have to jump with D and F and jump. And Isn't it amazing? Continue to go, there you go. Millions of You're years. It. <laughs> thousands of dollars. <laughs> and this is what we get. Oh, the it's personal addictive. computer revolution, you ladies know, and I'm gentlemen. I give it to you. It. I wish I got to get Morgan Webb up in there. Morgan would be very good at this one. Oh, see, I got to kill this elf before I can get into the elf. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I love how the blood just squirts out. Oh, you are a sick, <laughs> sick person. There we go. I finally got that elf. All right, now watch out for the uh, giant pinchers there. Keep on there. going. Yeah, there you go. Now, now jump. I have to jump over that, right? Forward and jump. Oh, you died. All right, that's enough of that. How about the music? <laughs> hey, let's uh, enough of this silliness. Okay. Let's take a call. All right, on with the show. It is Wayne from Fairhaven. Hello, Wayne. Hey. How are you doing, Leo? It's Wayne. It's Wayne's world. We just live in it. I'm very well, Wayne. Welcome to the show. What can I do for you, sir? Well, I think I have a DVD recorder. Yeah. And I had to take and get the plus and minus of right. a W and the R. Right. And now I take and go to the store, and I look for the media, and right. um, you have to select between the plus R or the minus R. That's right. And um, where I, I take and I've got uh, some DVDs like the uh, Indiana Jones and some of the other ones. Yeah. Um, I want to back them up because I believe, like you are, that I own the disc and I want to back it up for my own. Uh, for your own so. use, not to sell it, not to give it away, but for your that, own use. That's correct. Yeah. I uh, just uh, archived the original. Okay. And um, now I think and I am in a quandary as to what media I should oh. buy when I go to the store. So your your drive does both, plus and dash. That's correct. Okay. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, if you're in most cases, if your DVD can read one DVD re recordable format, it can read the other one. 
What I would suggest is uh, getting one of each, trying it, and seeing if your DVD recorder has any issues with it. Have you tried either one of them? No. Yeah, I mean, a late model DVD recorder is, it, look for, if you're buying a new one, look for something that's called multi-read. It'll say on there, multi-read. Uh, any late model DVD player, I should say, will be able to read these. Uh, and you just put them in and, and they'll read fine. And, and in general, it's not going to have a problem with Plus if it doesn't have a problem with Dash and vice versa. Now, if you're curious about what Plus and Dash and all that stuff are about, this is where I would go. It's DVD Demystified. Dot com. Jim Taylor uh, is, is, it wrote the original DVD FAQ, still online. Jim keeps it up to date. Everything you'd ever want to know about DVD. And he has a very good section on DVD recordables. So you can read up, and, and frankly, if I want to know what's the latest with DVD-R or DVD-RW or whatever, or the compatibility issues, this is where I go. Okay. So he says, and we'll look at this here. Are there issues with the uh, DVD formats in compatibility? He says, yes, but it's complicated. And you can see here he's got a table. But what he, what he doesn't really talk about is the standalone DVD players. In my experience, any late model standalone DVD player is going to do just fine. But if you want to know what specific issues are with Dash or Plus, this is a great place to go. DVDdemystified.com. Okay, Wayne? Okay, thank you. Have a good holiday. You too. Have a great holiday. Take care. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. You can never have too many uh, hard drives or too much hard drive space. If you're lucky, you found one under the tree, but now we got to install it. Those 120 gig hard drives are great. Here's how you put them in. Karen, uh, Karen and Sarah. Karen and Sarah will show us how Karen. to do it. <laughs> when the call for help, it's getting late. When the call for help with continues, stay right here. That's Karen. That's Karen? That's my Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Hey you, get MCSE, Cisco, or A-plus certified, guaranteed, with Smart Certify's fast and easy IT certification courses. You'll earn more money and have more job security once you're IT certified. Listen to this. If it wasn't for Smart Certify, I'd still be working a dead-end tech support job. Let me tell you, there's no better way to pass the IT exams than by using these courses. I've done tons of IT training, but Smart Certify's MCSE course was the best by far. Smart Certify has one-on-one -on -one mentoring and a money-back guarantee. I couldn't lose. Now it's easy to advance your career as a certified IT professional. Call 1-877-TRAINING today and mention code IT to take a free course title. Or go online at www.smartcertifiedirect.com. That's toll-free at 1-877-TRAINING or www.smartcertifiedirect.com. Get your free course now. It's extraordinary. Driven by DNIE technology, Samsung LCD TV, the power of LCD. Didn't exactly get what you wanted this year? Get into Gateway for storewide savings on PCs, TVs, cameras, and more. Savings up to $500 on our hottest products, including our multimedia PCs featuring Intel Pentium 4 processors. Save $400 on the perfect complement to your PC, America's best-selling plasma. It's under $2,500 after purchase of wall mount and mail-in rebates. Hurry in for up to $500 in savings storewide. Get the box from Gateway. Weeknights on Tech TV. It's the screensaver. Patrick and Leo tackle your toughest problems. I've got a teenage son in a DSL line. Uh-oh, you got <laughs> trouble, my friend. Turn you on to cool new stuff. We got tech news, we got the real deal. We got a win thing. And bring you special guests making and using technology today. I'm gonna take a little hammer. Why do a screwdriver when I, okay, I'm out of here. Help, <laughs> how to, and ha ha ha. <laughs> it's all on the Screen Savers weeknight to seven, six central on Tech TV. Got my second win. I'm feeling good. Feeling good. <laughs> Welcome back to the Call for Helpathon. We're uh, heading into our eighth hour of 12. We're going to be here at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, and we're having a lot of fun doing it. Let's. Uh, this is the. This, they, they scheduled this so that this would be the moment when I could run to the bathroom, 
you know, change my shoes, things like that. So, ladies and gentlemen, what? The Car cameramen are losing are it. Laughing. They're laughing. They're, la they're no, giggling. Shaking. The director's saying something. Kevin they're talking to each other. It's an inside Sarah. joke. Karen. No inside jokes. That's ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry I called you uh, Karen. It's <laughs> Kevin Rose. Yes, that's right. <laughs> it's Kevin. <laughs> and Sarah Lane. But Sarah yeah. kind of liked it, I think. Karen. No, yeah. no, no, no. She prefer <laughs> no. Karen? No. <laughs> All right, no Karen. I'll just call him Kaz. Kaz? Yeah. No. no, no, no. no. That's my no. cat's name. So this time you're going to do what? What are you going to do for us? We're installing the hard drive. We're installing a new hard drive. Cool. You know, whether sometimes you want to swap out your hard drive for a better mm -hmm. one or a bigger one. Sometimes you want to add a hard drive to, mm -hmm. you know, if you've got some space and you, yep. want, you want more space in general. Mm hmm I mean, storage is cheap right now. People storage are doing things like dumping their videos, things like that. You know, you can get MP3s. 300 gigs for 300 bucks now. I know, even less That's than not that. What this is. But, Pri prices you know, are dropping. Prices are dropping. So we got our computer here. We got our computer. It's all turned off. That's very important. Turn very the computer important. off before you start doing these Don't types of things. Don't kill yourself when it's done in the hard drive. Yeah, I can actually open it this time. Last time <laughs> we had a, we had a little problem opening it. This <laughs> nice is the computer <laughs> all opened up. Uh huh. And uh, what we're going to look for here is we're going to look at something called your IDE cables. Now, most computers have two IDE chains. These are these these two fat ribbon cables that are coming off here. As you'll notice, the best way and the easiest way to identify them is to follow them to their, to their source where they're coming from. So here's yeah. the, uh, the source to the destination here, which is the two CD-ROM drives. Right. Because we know that CD-ROM drives also run on IDE. Exactly. And also, if you follow the other one here, you'll see this is going to a hard drive. Exactly. And the way you can tell it's a hard drive is because it looks just like the one you just purchased and you pulled out of your, <laughs> out of your box. They're, they're different than the, the ROM drives. You can tell once you open up Yeah, the box. you can definitely tell the difference. Yeah. So you have a choice here. Now, you can either swap out the drive that you have, put in your fresh, clean drive, or you can add storage. So if you just wanted to add, you know, another 300 gigabytes, like your, your D or your E drive, so you can just store all your videos and things like that, you could do that as well. Which is what we're doing here, because we've got the room, we don't really, because if you wanted to take out a whole drive and put in a new one, you would have to use a program like Ghost. Yes. Something the, to take all the data from the first drive to the second drive. There's a lot of people out there that are saying, you know, I just want to move all my data to the new drive. Can't, can't the, do that when Windows is running. Yeah, because when Windows is running, your files are all locked up, they're being used, and what you can't copy over, you can't just drag and drop your Windows directory over. It doesn't work like that. There's yeah. so many hidden files and yeah. special files for booting and things like that. Components and all sorts of things going on. Exactly. Yeah. So you have to use a program called Norton Ghost. It's made by uh, Norton, who makes Antivirus and some other great programs. And uh, you'll actually boot from floppy disks so that Windows isn't running. And then you could do that copy between the two drives. It'll actually copy all the data over from the old drive to your new big drive. And we have some instructions on how to do that on the Tech TV website. But for today, today we're just adding a drive. Yes, we're just adding storage. So, exactly. we got a drive here, and we followed the chain. So, we, we have the chain. Let me just turn this sideways here. Yeah, and this is, this is our existing hard drive. Now, it's important to know two things. You can store two devices on a chain. You'll see one's plugged in here, and then we have an empty connector right here. That's ready for a new drive. Cool. Now, also, you have to know that there's two different settings. There's always on a chain, there's a master drive, and then there's a slave drive. Yes. And so, what you have to do is you have to make sure that the jumpers are set properly. So, you'll see here, these are what's called little jumpers, if you can get a close-up shot of that. These actually pull out, and let me pull one out just a tiny ways here so you can see what they look like. They pull out like that. That's a little jumper. It connects two wires. You can see it sticking right up here. There you go. Once you've pulled it out. So that, that, that connects two wires. And you want to set this to the slave because we're just adding a drive. Exactly. So there'll be instructions. Every hard drive manufacturer is different. They're not all the same. So you have to make sure that you know exactly which ones. It's really easy. You pull out one jumper. You just put it on there, and it's a slave. Mm -hmm. Once you've done that, then you can, in this case, we had drive mounting rails. These, are these rails right here. That's so that you don't have to, most cases are not going to have these. Dell mm -hmm. likes to use these, so it's easy to pull in and out the hard drives. Right. But um, if you don't have drive mounting rails, you'll simply just slide it in and then be able to screw the, the screws in from the side. Cool. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to slide this drive in. Slide it in. It slides in really easily. Yeah, it does because those nice Easier rails. Easier than the video card even. Yeah, for sure because it has those nice rails and they'll just lock into place. You'll see that those are the little tabs right there. Right. They yeah. kind of just lock in there and secure the drive. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to add power to the drive because the drive has to have power to spin up and work. Sure. And you'll notice that we just happen to have an extra little power connector here. But there's also other power connectors that are attached to the power supply. This is your power supply right here on your computer. And what's going to happen is you'll see the, all these different connectors coming off of it. Just basically look for an empty one. Like here's even another empty one right here right. that we could use. So we're going to take that one here, and, uh, or either one, it doesn't matter. 
So you just have to, you know, you're starting from the from the power supply. There's got to be something plugged into your new drive. Right. And if You've you got to have power somehow. Exactly. And if you don't have one, if you run out or you have one of those small little tiny computer cases, you can buy splitters for about three or four dollars at your local computer shop. Cool. And we'll split one of your existing power supplies off so you can plug it into the drive. Nice. And then once you've done that, then you just basically flop this cable over here, and then you're going to seat the cable. I know this is kind of hard to see, but um, basically it's it's kind of difficult too. With it depends on the case, you know. They're all different. <laughs> well, it, it takes a little working, and you have to make sure that you get it right because there's only one way this cable can go in, and uh, you don't want to bend any of the pins. Now, well, you can kind of carefully feel it out. Right. And now I know you you can't really see what I just did there, but I pushed the connector until I felt it kind of snap down to the bottom there. You'll feel it kind of hit the base of the plastic in little connector right here, and that means that you've actually secured the drive in there. So now that you have your power and your in your uh, cable plugged in, you're good to go. So that's set up as the slave on the hard drive's chain. Now what if, uh, this is the question that a lot of people probably have, they want an extra drive, what are the advantages to putting internal in versus external? Well, external seems a lot easier. External is a lot easier because you have, uh, it's just simple to plug in. You can get ones that are either run over USB or you can get ones that run over Firewire, but they're not going to be quite as fast as the internal uh, variations just because this bus runs it a lot faster than say a USB connection to the external drive. Gotcha. But a, a USB connection, uh, the external drive would be actually really nice because it's so easy to store your media on and things like that you know mm -hmm. and, you, and you can take it when you go places if you have a laptop or you have a friend's computer that you want to take it to you can, it's, it's easy to portable you know you can take it around anywhere you want to go yeah it's good to just sort of have all that stuff in one place yeah so awesome. th that's all installed you're good to go and then at this point you can just close your computer case now you're not done yet <laughs> I, we don't have anything hooked up to this so we can't show you but once you get no, this far we didn't want to electrocute ourselves yeah we, do, we didn't want to do that once you get this far you go into your BIOS and uh, we have instructions on the website we do you basically just define the drive and then you format it and then you have all that extra storage and you're good to go. You've just added a new hard drive. You know, I think that people think opening up your box and installing thing is more daunting than it actually is. You know, it's, it's, really it's the first time you do it, you know, you're scared, you might break something, but if you take your time and you read the instructions, it's really not that hard. Good. Great. So, oh, we want to say hi to your mom and dad too. Oh, that's right. They that's just right. got a satellite. My parents, right. my parents are new owners of Directv, and they are watching Tech TV for the first that's time. Great. It just got hooked today. up today, that's like cool. at noon. Like, oh, that, like so halfway couldn't to the, watch call the for help -a oh, My mom, great. I am's man, says we're in. Oh, so, oh, that's hi so guys. Cute. Hello. That's funny because my dad. <laughs> Welcome did, to my world. My dad just got uh, Directv too. Oh, nice. He started watching for the first time last week. That's it's great. you know, I'm going to get a lot more feedback now. Yes. <laughs> well, coming up next hour, uh, Sarah's going to show you how to upgrade. A bigger and better boyfriend. That'll be fun to watch. No. But no, I'm just teasing. No. I'm just making a joke. Thanks, kids. <laughs> what would? Oh my gosh! The fr you know, I don't think we've ever seen you kiss on the air. No, no. Uh -oh. Let's not see it now, though. Yeah. What would not the now. world do with it? It gets sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> what would the world do without Pretty you? Very racy. We cannot wait for your next tip in just a bit. That's what it said. Neither to can say. we. It's not called the call for help or thunder for nothing. Up next, we're going to take more of your live calls. Still ahead on call for help, we're going to show you how to get a home theater system up and running. Stay tuned. Call for help continues the help-a-thon right after this. There are many events this season, but one you don't want to miss. The Infinity Event of the Season. Featuring the G35 sedan, the car automobile magazine calls utterly serious performance. The Infinity event of the season ends January 5th. See your Infinity dealer for attractive lease and APR finance rates. Team ball, Gary. What are you doing? Trying to go baseline if you let me. His D's been pretty tough today. You're right. Get back on the court, glove. <laughs> With NBA Shootout 2004, you're in control. Sports ready for everyone. My name is Jim Lucier. I'm assigned to the 10th Special Forces Group at Fort Carson, Colorado. In my job, you have to be prepared for anything, so I train for everything. You find out you don't have any. It's been in Hauptmann by the U.S. Army. And there's one more thing that the Army trained me to do. 
The doctor will see you now. Get more of Jim's story only at Gourmet.com. Do you have the right truck? The 2004 Chevy Silverado now available with power packs. Get the Silverado Extended Cab with the light duty power pack, Vortec V8, heavy duty trailering, plus the safe and sound power pack, XM satellite radio, Bose sound system, and the security of one year on star safe and sound service. Silverado, now available with power packs. It's the right truck. This is Tech Live. Are you ready? Take a ride. See how it's done. Don't know what to buy? We do. It's hot topics, movie magic, cool science, and tech gadgets. Get it? It's one cool ride. Tech Live. It's all you need. Weeknights at 8, 7 central, only on Tech TV. I have never seen a show so chock full of goodness in my life. That's 12 hours worth of goodness, and if you can't follow it all, I don't blame you. But don't worry, you don't have to write it all down. Just go to techtv.com slash call for help and click the show notes section, hour by hour information. And you even can see ahead what we're going to be talking about as you go to the 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th hour. This is, this is the one, uh, the 12th hour where you should say, Leo loses it on live TV. We'll have to just add that when that happens. TechTV.com slash call for help. Let's take a call right now. Kat, who's on the line? Okay. On How are you line. doing, by the way? Are you feeling all right? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, I'm, I'm good. good. I got my MP3 player from That's the I -River. my bag. This is the iRiver. This oh, is the one I that, that I got. For, uh, for for Christmas for it, my mom. It looks like a little skateboard. Yeah, I love it does. It. It's, it's so really cute. cute. And I'm just sitting here looking on ePinions about what other people have to say about the product. They love it, don't they? They absolutely yeah. love it. 256 megs? 256 megs. It's uh, about $200. It's got an FM tuner, a line-in, voice recorder, everything I need. So when I jog, nice I have it right here. The, uh, the only thing it's lacking is what the hard, is the, uh, the capacity of a hard drive exactly. player. But, it, but that's better for running with because you don't right. want to jiggle a hard drive player a lot. So. Yes, sir. That's great. Pretty cool. That's a nice gift. Your mom's very nice I have a too. question for you uh, later about it. About the I, I River? All yes, right. indeed. But we'll get to Alan's call first. He's from Alberta Beach, Alberta. He's number 32, baby. Number 32 and about number 18 from Canada. We're getting a lot of calls from Canada today. Hello, Alan. Well, hello from Canada. Welcome How to the show. Today? I'm doing great. Happy Boxing Day. Good. Well, it's great. Uh, yeah, Boxing Day is a, is a big day here for, for electronics. Everything's on sale real cheap. Yeah. Uh, there was a 160 gig drive going for $60 US. Wow. That's a pretty good deal. That's amazing! Oh, that's an awesome deal. Yeah, did yeah, you go? Out, did you run out and get three? Uh, I've got too many hard drives. Now. <laughs> you know, it's it's just amazing what's happened. I mean, I remember, you know, my first hard drive was five megabytes and cost three or four thousand dollars. It's just amazing what the capacity has gotten to. I mean, it's uh, 160 gigs is almost an unimaginable uh, amount of space. Well, what can exactly. we do for you today? Well, um, I'm wondering what the difference between WPA and WEP is on mm -hmm. the. Uh, wireless uh, yeah. security. Well, both of them are, uh, enc are encryption protocols. Exactly. Yeah. And the WEP was the original. It's, it stands for Wired Equivalent Protocol, I think. The idea, not protocol, it's Wired Equivalent Privacy. That's what it is. It gives you, and so what they're saying is roughly the same amount of privacy as you'd get on a wired connection as opposed to your wireless connection. Uh, and it turn, you know it uses 128-bit RSA public key cryptography, which is in itself very, very secure. But when they implemented it, they made a little mistake, and a mistake that made it possible if you saw enough traffic for you to crack the web key. Uh, and so that's a big mistake because if somebody sits outside your house and is patient enough and uses the right software, they can actually figure out what the key is and get onto your network. Now, right. in response to that, uh, they've come up with a successor, WPA, and I'm not sure what the WPA stands for, but the experts I've talked to say, no, we don't have the same problem. This is secure, and you should upgrade if you can, because you'll get real wireless security. Well, now, let me ask a question. Yeah. Like the, 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 um, I, I've got a, a, a B network. Okay. And, uh, That's 802.11B is what he's talking about. Okay. 
Yeah, the, the old adapter cards. Will, will they work with the new WPA? Well, you have what you have to go. First of all, Windows now supports WPA. They just uh, shipped the update a couple of weeks ago. So okay. XP has support for it, but of course your hardware also has to support it. Not just your uh, card, your internal card, but your base station as well. And, and some, almost all of the B uh, hardware, I think, can. If it has updatable firmware, in many cases, they designed WPA so it didn't require uh, a new hardware layer. That it was oh, just okay. software. So in many cases, but not all, but in many cases you can upgrade it. Now I don't know, what you have to do is go to the manufacturer's website and look for a firmware update and hope that it includes WPA. But I know many, many companies are now offering firmware updates to include WPA. You know, the truth is, Alan, I wouldn't worry a whole lot about it unless you're, you know, trading state secrets or something like that. Because mo the, the, the effort it takes to crack, to crack even WEP is so great that unless somebody's very determined, they're not going to be getting into your network. Uh, you know, you should, the tr you know, it's also deceptive to think, oh, now I'm secure if you've got WPA installed. Because then the traffic still goes out over the Internet. And I guess that was kind of the point of naming it the wired equivalent uh, privacy. Wired isn't that private either. I mean, you're, you're up to wired equivalency, but remember that your internet traffic then goes unencrypted across a bunch of servers. So unless you're trafficking exclusively over VPN or with a secure socket, uh, like a, on, a, on a transaction website, a banking website, uh, your, your, your privacy is kind of blown anyway, regardless. Yeah. So, so I, you know, I didn't stay away from Wi-Fi because of that. I use it. In fact, I didn't even turn on web because it was inconvenient, and I figured, hey, anybody wants to watch what's going on, they can go right ahead. And what it does is it forces you to keep in mind, if I'm sending a password, make sure it's SSL, you know, you get the little lock and key or the little padlock on the web browser before you send anything private, because then you're protected point to point across the entire internet. And that's really yeah. what's more important. Exactly. Now, is it very hard to set the, uh, the uh, uh, you know, the, either the web or WPA? Like, I, I've seen no. the setup guys there but so you just put the numbers or whatever password yeah. you want you just web have is, the same password for everything yeah well you know web can one of the reasons i don't turn it on is because web can mess you up you turn on web and if you forget to turn it on on the other machine and you don't remember you can actually get, not get on and then you can't get back into the router and i messed myself up a couple of times with turning on web and not paying attention so follow the instructions but basically you it will generate a web key for you you'll generate uh, you'll write down that key and you'll put it into all of the individual nodes on the wireless network and they need that key to get onto the wireless network and I, I haven't used WPA I imagine it works the same Kevin have you used WPA yet have you no. yeah I, I mean I'm sure it's available but uh, but uh, I just I don't feel the need to upgrade to be honest I with know you. with the new with all the new routers that you see coming out they're, they're all WPA. In there. Yeah. yeah and many older ones can be upgraded yes yeah. by the firmware okay hey thank you what is the name of that program you use to break the web keys do you remember? Uh, there's a couple different ones. Uh, I want to say Air Snort, but that's not it. It's uh, Air Snort is a, it will watch the traffic going by and, right. and capture it. I can't. What's the name of the one we used uh, on the first episode for breaking <laughs> keys? Oh well, it's all right. It Go to the broken. Yeah. The broken uh, dot. Is it dot org? The broken dot org, and I actually demo watch episode how to, one. How to do it. Yeah, <laughs> episode one. Episode one. We'll give you a little plug there. Thank you. Thank you, Cos. Now let's take another call. Cat, who's on the line? That, well, Leo. <laughs> Point a camera at Kat. I'll tell you when there's a camera. Over. It's hard to move we those cameras with the Christmas trees no, on top of them. It's not easy. We have no. a very important person on the line. It's mm. Gila, our executive producer's wife. Well, that's She's a very here important in San person. Francisco, California. Hello, Hi, Gila. Gila. Happy holidays. Hello, Leo. What? What? what aren't we going to see you on a net cam? I know you have one. I do have one. Um, if you can hook it up, I'm here. <laughs> People can watch. They can go to my website, gilalane.com. And they can see me either working or even eating lunch or dinner or whatever. <laughs> the artist at work. Gila is a wonderful artist. I love her stuff. And if you go to GilaLane.com, she has a, a spy cam on her, which is very brave, frankly. Well, I also want you to know I may not be in Canada, but we did live in Canada for a while. That's right. You, uh, you and Paul lived in Vancouver, right? Yep, we British did. British Columbia, yeah. So do we count as a Canadian, You're Paul? You're an honorary Canadian, Gila. We'll add you to the count. Excellent. Is there anything I can do, anything at all, to help the world-famous, talented Gila Lane? Yes. What's that? You can get the barnyard out of my internet. <laughs> I, every time I change a page on the internet or yeah. even open it, I get either a rooster no. or chicken. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. You get the sound of a rooster? And I, yes, and I, I've tried everything to get rid of this. <laughs> Somebody playing a joke on you, G 
Would you like to hear what it sounds yeah, like? Yeah, I would. Let's hear okay, it. Okay, wait, let me open one. Oh, wait, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> That's the funniest thing. Somebody well, usually do. Did this happen around April Fools? No. It's been in there for over a year. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Oh, I must have turned the volume down. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Let me show you how you can stop it. Because that, it's oh, an easy thing to do to somebody, and it's just as easy to turn it off. Uh -huh. You're, you're going to go to your control panel. I don't know which version of Windows you're using. Are you using XP, yes, Gila? Yes, Okay, so it's the sounds and audio devices. In different versions of Windows, it's a different name for this control panel. But it's sounds and multimedia, or multimedia and sounds. It'll always be something with sounds in it. Open that up. Okay. It, what it does is it allows you to assign different sounds to different Windows events. I know. And now... What you, the easiest way to turn this off would either be to select no sounds or windows default. And that would revert all the event sounds back to a stand, either nothing at all or the standard windows sound. What they've done is, you see all of these are all windows events. And there are a lot of them. And you have, for instance, uh, uh, okay. when a window pops up, yeah. uh, it will, somebody has attached, say for instance to open program, a rooster crow. <laughs> <laughs> and so forth. That's, it's an easy thing to do. Do you have a prankster in your family? <laughs> yes, you do, and I know who it is. So, so I think that that's probably what happened. Okay. And what I would do is I would just go to your sound control panel. It, you can even figure out you know, which ones, but the easiest thing to do is just go back to the Windows default sound, and that'll restore all the original sounds. You say, no, I don't want to save that previous barnyard scheme. Quack, quack. And everything will go back to the original, and then press OK, and it'll be all better. And then if I were you, I wouldn't feed him for a couple of weeks. Where, where's this button for the default? Uh, it's right at the, well now, it's, again, it looks different in every version of Windows, but this is XP. Right at the top, you click the Sounds tab, Yes. and right at the top, you'll see Sound Scheme. And if you press the drop down, all Windows versions come with at least two, but there are other sound schemes. There's Utopia and a bunch of other ones. Uh, just pick one of those sound schemes, and it'll replace all of the non-standard sounds. How come all I have is no sounds, Windows, default, and ringing for message only. <laughs> I don't know where that last one came from, but the first two are the ones you should look at. I would select Windows Default, Gila. Okay. And then just press OK. Sure. Okay. I and it'll say, it. do you want to save your old sound scheme? And you say, no, I don't want to save that. That's a lousy sound scheme. Okay. Get rid of it. And then uh, track down the culprit. <laughs> hey, thanks for the call, Gila. Happy 2004 to you. Hey, and you're doing a wonderful job. I've been watching you since. Have you Eight really? Have you been working on your art while you're watching? I am. Good. I am. How many paintings have you gotten done in the, in the seven and a half hours we've been on here? Twenty. Yeah! <laughs> well, I'm glad you're being productive. Take care, Sheila. Okay. It's great to talk to you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, a lot of fun, I tell you. We have a lot. A good family of people that we work with. It's always nice to talk to them. You know, we have a, a little added bonus for the next couple of hours. We're going to have our own house band. Now, if I don't remember the name, all I have to do is look at Cat's chest. And, uh, and I can remember their name. Ladies and gentlemen, Low Water! She's got a full of glow, she's got red streaks in her hair. Watch her wind away across Taylor Square. My baby, she's got a reputation Man, she's off the rails, she's out of commission She's talking to the ghost down on Fifth and Steve, really boosting our e-business numbers with Dell Power Edge servers, Intel Xeon processors Right, right It's an SAP Oracle 9 Iraq database solution yep. Porting better resolution from Unix to Linux TCO is down, ROI is up ensuring near-term liquidity and profitable share gain. Great. Give your enterprise applications the flexibility of Dell Business Solutions. Call or go online today.
sound of a child's voice is a beautiful sound. Unfortunately, 27,000 children died yesterday because no one was listening. But you're listening now. Make one phone call and make a difference in one child's life. It'll cost you 80 cents a day. To us, that's a small amount. To them, it's amazing grace. Want to get your game on? Well, viewers, we've granted your wish. Turn to Tech TV for the best in gaming, gadgets, and fun. Let Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb show you how to turn it on. X-Play, weeknights at 11, 10 Central, only on Tech TV. Nice. See, they, they, I think that's a good idea. Low water, ladies and gentlemen. That's a grab. Yeah, let's hear it for them. Towards the end of the show, get some rock and roll, get the energy going. That pretty boy on bass over there, Dave Rubin, of course, an editor here at Tech TV, and also kind of become our staff photographer. He took that great picture in the New York Times. And mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's great. Great to have you guys. Thank you for being here. Low water. Let's get a quick call uh, in here. Why don't get that number up a little right, higher? Let's get it. Number 35 is Richard from Cherokee, North Carolina. Hello, Richard. Hello. Welcome to the show. It's all North Carolina Day. I'm I swear we got Canada and yeah. North Carolina. What yeah, well, I've been watching. It's been going back and forth. That's great. Well, I'm glad you're here. What can we do for you today? Um, I recently bought an iPod, Good. 10 gigabytes. Yep. And um, I was a, most of my music in my library. I've got about over 3,000 files. Yeah. And uh, about 30% of it has been copied from CDs. Okay. And I'm trying to take some of those and put them on my iPod. Okay. And I, I think the iPod won't support WMA format. Oh, oh, so when you copy the CDs, instead of ripping it to MP3, you ripped it to the Windows Media file format. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, the iPod doesn't understand that. Now, this is a big issue, and it's something that people keep, should keep in mind. In fact, the very first caller on the show this morning at 8 a.m. had the similar problem. He was trying to get uh, the, uh, uh, a file from uh, iTunes in AAC format onto a standard player. There really is only one format that all MP3 players will play, and that's, uh, that's MP3. Uh, so, and, that, and that's a, you know, kind of a standard everywhere. In general, when you rip, you probably should rip to MP3 because you don't know where you're going to move it. Now, how do you move it away from MP3 or from into MP3 from AAC or WMA? Well, we got a program for you. Let me see if I can find the computer that that's on. It's called DB Power Amp. This is a free file. You can go to dbpoweramp.com and uh, download it. And it will do the conversion for you from uh, almost any format to any format. So it'll go from Windows Media to WAVE to MP3 in, and others. But in order to make it work with uh, some of these other codecs, including LAME and, and WMA, you actually have to download the, co uh, the uh, codec. So go to dbpoweramp.com. You can download the PowerAmp program. And then on the site, you'll see, well, let me see if I can find it. They'll have a link to uh, where you can download other codecs. Uh, so that's what you're going to need to do. Well, uh, DV Power Amp. You're going to need to download, in, in your case, the, uh, there it is, Codex Central. They're going to need to download the WMA. Codex stands for compressor decompressor so that it can read the WMA files. And then it could translate them to MP3, which is probably what you want to use, or AAC, which is another file format that the iPod supports. It also supports WAVES and a few other file formats. This is a great program, free, dbpoweramp.com. All right, thanks for the call. Coming up next, if you're still puzzled on uh, how to put together that new entertainment system, does the input go on the output or vice versa? Don't worry, senior editor from Secrets of Home Theater and Hi-Fi, John Johnson is here. He's gonna show you how to do it. Home theater set up for experts and dummies. One call for help and the help-a-thon continues. Stay right here. You know, you could order a scratching post. Have it here tomorrow. Mr. Schnookums really likes you. Mr. Schnookums got some sharp claws. <laughs> How can a butterfly help you? Find out at msn.com. 
didn't exactly get what you wanted this year? Get into Gateway for storewide savings on PCs, TVs, cameras, and more. Savings up to $500 on our hottest products, including our multimedia PCs featuring Intel Pentium 4 processors. Save $400 on the perfect complement to your PC, America's best-selling plasma. It's under $2,500 after purchase of wall mount and mail-in rebates. Hurry in for up to $500 in savings storewide. Get the box from Gateway. It's extraordinary. Driven by DNIE technology, Samsung LCD TV, the power of LCD. I can assure you the bank's closing costs are very competitive. I'll just open these blinds to let in a little extra light. <laughs> Consolidate bills and lower your monthly payments now with a no closing cost home equity loan from Ditech.com. That's impossible. Get the cash you need now from Ditech.com. Lost another loan to Ditech. Log on to Ditech.com or call 1-800-DITECH-1. London, Brazil, Tokyo, you're a hard man to keep up with. How can the butterfly help you? Find out at MSN.com. Renegades. I'm just going to have to do whatever I want to do. Rebels. Yeah. And pop icons. <laughs> Misfits. It doesn't matter. You're a nerd in life and you'll be a nerd always. And millionaires. It's a good way to explore the nature of truth. Forget the pocket protector. I want to make toys for myself. Meet the nerds of the 21st century. Nerd Nation, a new series coming in January to Tech TV. Did you really think you could love by number? Did you really feel that you had a guide? Did you really think that you could love by Thank you, boys. That's great. Nice to have a house band. Now, if you just received a home theater system, you are very lucky. And you may be sitting there with a bunch of wires in your hand and looking at the backs of a bunch of equipment saying, Help! How do I put this thing together? Good news. John Johnson's here, senior editor at Home Theater in High Fidelity. And he's going to show us how. This is always tricky. In fact, even if it's your own equipment that you've hooked up a dozen times before, sometimes you forget how it went. I remember every time I moved, I have to kind of remember how I did it before. Well, I put a piece of scotch tape on each cable and number them. Very Another smart. Another number on the back of the component. Very smart. So that, that, settles, that settles it when you move, but the first time you've got to figure it out. It's a real mess. So, I mean, there's, you don't have a one overall manual because each item has its own manual. There's no overall. Is there a standard way that home theater guys do this? Yes, well, it all boils down to the type of cables that you're going to be using. Okay. And the most common type of cable is called an RCA audio cable. Those are the RCA jacks. In fact, we got them right here that you see on the on the back of every pretty much home consumer device is an audio jack. In fact, sometimes TV will even use these jacks for uh, the composite output. Do you have that? Can you see that? That's the RCA. There's John. Here's the RCA jack right here. So uh, that's one kind. Then there's coax, right? You zoom in That's out. all right. Don't, don't okay. you'll confuse them. Well, this <laughs> this is the RCA cable that comes in the box with the component. Yeah. Now, do you want to use that? No. This is the one it's of the cheesy. things you want to do first of all is plan on throwing these away <laughs> Throw that as away. soon as you can afford some decent okay. cables. Okay. Okay. And uh, there are all kinds of cables out there on the market to choose from, and I brought some examples here to uh, to show show your viewers. Yeah. Now that was the the RCA. So cable. let's replace that RCA. What are we going to replace that with? Well, you're going to replace it with something. Like a little this. heavier gauge. Huh? Yeah, this is a little bit heavier gauge. These are made by uh, BetterCables.com, and this is called a component video cable. And you can see that yeah, they are colored red, green, and blue. Yeah, still RCA jacks. Still RCA plugs and jacks, but you would use uh, one cable for an audio connection and three of these for a component right. video connection. What, what makes it better? Is it that there's more copper in the wire? Or? Well, I think it's a combination of the of this 
the solid build of the cable, but it's mm -hmm. also the quality of the connectors. If you compare those connectors, these with, are gold. Uh, is that uh, maybe they use a better metal? I mean, just the, just the, you can see the, how, how flimsy these are. Yeah, what will happen yeah. is these will break <laughs> over break over a period of right, time, whereas right. these will stay in okay. your system forever. Yeah, I remember you know monster cables. Of course, were the first to really kind of do this. Uh, it's a fine art, though, how, the, to get the cables right. I mean, thicker isn't necessarily better. It's not always no, better. No, it's not so much thicker as it is the way the conductors are wound ah, together. Okay. Sometimes they're spiral, sometimes right. they're uh, woven. Right. Uh, it, and, it really, and these, for example, which are made by... Look at these. They're, these are like ribbon cables. These are, these are made by Nordost Corporation. Look at these. And they're flat. And these would replace, what, speaker wire? Here, let me bring them out here. <laughs> Right. Speaker those, wire would, those would replace the generic speaker cable that you can get. I bought this uh, spool of speaker cable from Radio Shack for about $6. Yeah, yeah. For that's, what I have, that's what I have wiring my house. Now, this will work, but it doesn't come with these banana connectors on the end right, that you can see right. here. All right. So get better cables. Yes, but you don't have to go overboard. The general rule of thumb is that for, for every $1,000 worth of hi-fi equipment, you spend about 10% of that or $100 on oh. the cable. Well, that's good. When you're budgeting, you can keep that in mind. All right, so we've replaced all the cables, we've got better cables, now what do we do? Well, now, unfortunately, you have to connect them to the components. <laughs> and just look at the back of these boxes, you'll never figure it out. Is there a good place to start? Well, yes. Should so I what, hook up the TV first, the sound system? I would suggest use, connecting the source components first. And the source components can include the DVD player. Okay. For example, this is a, a, a DVD 5900. Very nice one. The Denon is very nice. And the reason I brought it is it has the new DVI output on it, okay. as well as a FireWire output so, on it. So let's look at that on the back here. This is the DVI output. It's the same D as a DVI output on a computer, right? Yes, it it's is. digital video. And the advantage of this is it eliminates having to use three cables. You can just use one cable. Here. Plus, it's all digital, right? No it's analog all digital, conversion. Yeah. And you just plug one cable and one connector into here, and the for other one in the back of your TV. And video for everything. Well, no, yes, just uh, video. This DVI will carry just a video, a digital video. Got it. That's the video but stream. The new, the new connector, which is this. And I brought. Where is it? It's the H HDMI connector. I don't. No, it's around somewhere. Yeah, it's where. See, this is what yeah. happens. <laughs> somebody. That's there somewhere. Somebody ran off with it. I think. Okay, it uses a uh, connector that looks a little bit like a USB plug. Okay, and that's for the audio. That will carry digital video and digital and, uh, audio. And is that going to be replacing DVI? That's going to replace DVI. See, I just got used to the idea that I should be looking for DVI on my TV and on my output devices, and now we've got this new standard. Well, it's it's uh, going to replace DVI, but it will be pin for pin compatible with DVI. So I could get an adapter then that would convert it. You can get a, okay. an adapter with a DVI plug on one end and an HDMI plug on okay. on the other end. So rule number one, we're going to take a break now, but rule number one is connect the source material first: the DVD player, the VCR, the stereo CD, satellite box, satellite box. It. Set those up first. Now we're going to take a break, come back. Well, next hour we're going to talk about putting the speakers on the system and adding audio to it. It gets more, it gets complicated, but if we break it down step by step, I think we can do it. Okay. It's we'll great to have John Johnson here, and we'll have more with John Johnson in a little bit. We're going to take a break right now, and we'll come back with more as the call for Helpathon continues. We're in hour number eight. I can't believe it. Stay here. We'll have more in a bit. Call Progressive today. Welcome back to the call for Help of Funds on the air. And it's time now, once again, for the Wired World Challenge. We're doing it every hour, 12 times. 12 Woo! times. And this would be our, what, eighth time? Um, Let's play. I'm losing track. I know. I have it's no all idea. It's going together. Something like, something like that. Yeah. So who is on the line right All now? right, Leo. It's Sam from Dayton, Ohio. Go, Sam, go. Go, Sam, go. Hello? You, you, got a, you got a cheerleader over here. Hey, Sam, how you doing? Hi. Pretty good. Welcome to the show. It's nice to have Kat on your side. That's going to help now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. So we got some great prizes, and there really there's only one catch, and that is you got to make sure you don't pick the number that's already been picked, because behind those numbers, my book. Oh, no. <laughs> four categories, four categories, and I'm going to give you one of them. I'm actually going to give you four. You pick one of them. I'll give you a question from that category. Get it right in 15 seconds or less. Then you pick a number from 1 to 25 on the big board. There's nothing on the big board right now, but I'm sure it'll appear there later. Are you ready? Yep. Here we go. Here are the qu uh, categories for your questions today. We have classic, uh, let's see here, technology innovators. Here it is. Classic video games, convenient inventions, and sci-fi book titles. Which would you like? 
I think I'm going to go with uh, the classic video games. Oh, are you a video gamer from way back, Sam? Yeah. Yeah, all right. We've had this guy on the show, actually. Great guy. Nolan Bushnell. He's the founder of the video game Pong. He also founded what legendary video game company? Created Pong, founded what video game company? Nolan Bushnell. It's one of the early uh, ones, one of the I'm going to guess Atari. You're going to guess right, Sam. You're absolutely right. Nolan Bushnell, Atari. Pick a number from 1 to 25. Uh, I'm going to say number 13. I think you're safe. Nobody's guessed 13 today. Let's see what's under it. Studio Deluxe. This is a great solution for anybody who wants to do home videos. It's a, it's a breakout box. You can connect to your system so you can get the video in, and it's great software, too. My favorite Windows software for editing videos. Pinnacle Studio Deluxe from Pinnacle Systems. Can you use that, Sam? Yep, I think I can. Congratulations. Want to see some good home movies now from you, okay? Okay. Thanks for playing our game, and thanks to Pinnacle Systems for that great prize. The Wired World Challenge happens every hour during our Helpathon. We want to play with you. If not today, on future Call for Helps, go to the website, sign up so you can play the Wired World Challenge. All right, we're on the home stretch for this hour, but there's still loads more to come. We're going to check the email, get set up for hour number nine as our call for Helpathon continues. Hit it, boys! So I'm going out tonight. I'm out to break the records. Like most tickets and most chicks in my way. Hops are gonna break, but I'm gonna be okay. Can't get DSL or cable broadband? Starband is your solution with high-speed internet via satellite for homes and small businesses. Award-winning Starband offers high-speed downloads up to 10 times faster than dial-up. Starband is always on and the only company here today with service for everyone, everywhere throughout the entire country. Because Starband high-speed internet is delivered by satellite, you can save your phone for phone calls. You also get the Starband members portal with free email, basic web hosting, online bill payment and account management. Upgrade your Starband hardware to receive Dish Network TV in addition to Starband high-speed internet all on the same Dish. Call 800-4-STARBAND today to get the new $39.99 residential starter plan. Mention Tech TV to get Starband's protection plan free. Call 800-4-STARBAND or go to Starband.com. I'm Angela Baki for Check It Out. Time control. You're your greatest weapon. weapon. I can't believe I owe this much money. How did it get this bad? Two jobs, and I'm only paying the minimum? I'm just not getting ahead. Now I'm even scared to answer the phone in our own home. Disconnect notice? Could things get any worse? Where's the light at the end of my tunnel? Community Credit Counseling Corporation understands, and we can help you solve your problems. One simple phone call to us can help take the creditors off your back and let you begin the rest of your life. We're an accredited nonprofit agency. We'll help reduce your repayment time by up to 75% and lower those high interest rates to as little as 0%. Finally, I'm on the road to reestablishing my credit and my life. Whether you owe thousands or hundreds of thousands in credit card debt, call the toll-free number on your screen for more information. Call now. Get your life back.
a guy on guitar. He's my attorney. Well, we're going to wind up hour number eight now on the call for help a -thon. We've got 35 people served. Kat, I'd like to get that number a little bit higher. It's to going say to be my question. All right, your Why question. Why can I only get FM on this? Why can't I You'd also think they get put AM? AM? They could put AM on there. I love AM radio. There's no reason not to put AM on okay. there. It just adds to the cost and the complexity. They'd have to put another right. receiver in there. And uh, maybe it uh, has something a little bit to do with the uh, antenna, because an AM antenna has to be uh, pretty long. They usually coil it around. It might be the device is too small. To, well, I have a small AM radio. I could do AM in there. I think it's just to save money. And they figure... You like music, you're not going to be listening to AM. But see, I like AM too. I love it. I love AM. I'm about to do an AM a talk show, by really? the way. Can uh, I be one of your guests? You can. I'm going to do it every weekend. I'll tell, fill you in on that Sweet. when the deal is cons consummated. Sounds good. Can we get another question? How we have time? can I put memory in my computer? How can I what? How do I put memory in my computer? You open it up, you stick it in. That's all you know you have what? To Maybe do, huh? Kevin could give us a little demo next hour. It's all an right. easy thing to do. You got to get the right memory. That's the key. Go to crucial.com and 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 you know go through the selector there. Make sure you get it's the really right easy. memory for your machine. And yeah, it's pretty easy. You just stick it in the slot and fold up the little ears. Hey, thank you, Kat. We thank got you. to 37. That's good. But we're going to do a lot more. We've got cell phone switching and a whole lot. Maybe we'll show you how to install memory. And I'm going to take off my pants. It's all coming up next ah! hour. And then I'll put them back on again. As Call for Help's Helpathon continues. Stay in. <laughs> I'm going to take off my pants. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. There we go. Well, that was pretty quick, but I got the pants back on in time. Welcome back to hour number nine of the call for Elephon. I am Leo Laporte. Where's the nurse now? Hey, nurse! Just pull it out. Thank you. That's a, that's a very interesting sounding nurse. You just heard a uh, snippet, by the way, a little earlier from our house band. We're going to call you our house band, if you don't mind. The call for Helpathon house band, Low Water. You'll be hearing more from them throughout the show on the call for helpathon in this hour mo blogging i've been mo blogging during the show have you been mo blogging cat have uh, you i have and i'm going to show our mo blogs in the next block good uh, you know it's a very easy thing to do if you've got a camera phone you could set up a web page and all the pictures you take here i'm going to take a picture right now all the pictures you take smile oh you were wearing your jammies i'm sorry <laughs> i could put those right up on the web just like that look at that We'll show you how to do it. It's a lot of fun. Plus, take advantage of those new telephone regulations that uh, allow number portability. Switch your cell phone provider without losing your number. There are some um, caveats, ins and outs. We'll show you the details on that. John Johnson will come back and show us the next part of installing your home theater system. This is fascinating. And we did find that cable that's going to be replacing the DVI input. We'll show you that and tell you what you should do uh, if you're buying a TV or an audio device. Uh, right now. Let me see. I just, you know what? I'm going to actually send this right out to my mobile blog. Text I'm... America has been a little slow today. That's who I use as my mobile blog service provider. And I've uploaded yeah. about four pictures that haven't yet made it there. But really? I know they will eventually. Yeah. I see I see two from today. Yeah, I've uploaded about eight or nine. So I don't know exactly I what's... I might have made it. Oh, there you are. In the dressing room. That's cool. Yeah, there. Oh, yeah. See, I only have... Look, For some reason, I only my, have the Fighting 501st. My hair is all whacked out. There's the Fighting 501st playing video games on, on, on my side. So I don't, I'm not sure why they're not uploading yet, but uh, we'll get them up. I can't wait till we have the capability to send little videos up there. Well, I can now. Oh, you can? You can too. And you can send them to Text America? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, really? Yeah. That's up, now, I have to, well, okay, that's a feature they say they've added, and I have seen videos on there, but I have sent videos from this phone supposed to work and I haven't yet seen them appear on the Text America site so well. there may be some issue with this particular uh, phone well, so model. Then it doesn't really work yet. <laughs> well I've seen videos on there. Some people have yeah. uploaded videos. Yeah. Okay let's try it. All right I'll take a video you take a video but while we're doing that okay. why don't you take uh, tell folks how they can get in touch with okay, us. Okay right if now. you want to ask your question on this very show and help us get that number right there higher call us. The number is 888-989 7879, or you can uh, reach us at this website here, techtv.com slash call for help. Get into our chat room. If you have a net cam, we'll get you on the show really quickly. And I'm also going to be checking the message boards. There's a whole thread dedicated to this very show that I've been interacting with 
all day long. So go ahead and post your questions there. It's practically a live chat room, isn't it? I mean, it's not live exactly, but you're, it's so fast that yeah, you can actually... Yeah, the, the chat room is a little crazy right now. It's, I couldn't even get it's in. fun. I got bumped out and I couldn't get back in. It's right. so busy. We, we, I think our limit is 200 people and we've easily exceeded that. All right, I'm going to take a video right now, okay. Kat. So uh, do something laughing, dancing. Oh my gosh. Kat Schwartz, ladies and gentlemen. Da, 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 da. Here it is. Yeah, yeah. A panorama. There. That's all you get from me. There you go. All right, I stopped it. Now I'll, I'll upload it and we'll so see if it shows I up. Should send one also because mine seems to be uploading quicker than yours. Mm, yeah, I'm having trouble and I don't know why. Hey, let's take a call while we're, okay. while we're let's do playing it. with it's our Dustin phones. from Portsmouth, Virginia. I'm sorry about all this phone playing. Hello, Dustin. How are you? Hi, Leo. Welcome to the doing? show. How much of this have you seen? How much of this have you seen, Dustin? Most of it. Are you really? No kidding. Uh, uh, probably a good two or three hours. Oh, yeah, the most of it. We've been here for eight hours, Dustin. Oh, I know. <laughs> I don't know how you're doing it for 12 hours straight. Yeah, you know, I'm enjoying it, actually. It's a lot of fun. But I was saying during the break, I don't know how Chris Perillo did eight, or you, and you too, Kat, and, and Roger, how you did 18 hours last year. I, I mean, I know I can make it to 12, but I don't think, if, I, if we were saying right now another 10 hours, mm -mm, I don't think I could do it. Du you could do it? Oh, yeah, I could do it. You could do it? All right, let's do it. More Red Bull, and we're going to go all the way. Hey, Dustin, what can we do for you? I just had a question. I know you're a uh, big Apple user, mm -hmm. and uh, I was thinking about switching from PC to Apple. Okay. And uh, I'm a home user. We do a little bit of uh, gaming and uh, word processing, Internet. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, uh, for the overall investment, would you recommend the uh, single processor over the uh, dual processor or vice versa if I was choosing a G5? So you're not asking me whether you should go to Apple, right? You're just saying, which Apple should I get? Right, yeah. Okay. Pretty much, uh, since I've been playing with a little Apple, I, you know, Apple's here, there, at the Apple Store, you know, I think they're leaps and bounds better than PCs from what I've experienced. Well, I, I'm, I'm going to agree with you, and I have to say I love Macs, and I'm very happy. I use Macs and Windows, but I'm very happy with my Mac. But I don't want people to feel like, you know, you, you got to use a Mac or you're not using a computer. Whatever you use and whatever you're comfortable with is fine with me. Right. But, but so Dustin, you've already made the decision. Now let's take a look at how you buy. They really have kind of simplified the thing uh, uh, quite a bit for desktops. There really are only three models of desktops now. Right. You have a single processor, 1.6 gigahertz, and that's $17.99. This is the new G5 processor, and then you have, that's it, there's three desktops. Uh, I've looked at benchmarks for the single processor, and they're very disappointing. And the reason, I believe, is that they're using an older motherboard for this that is not as good and not as fast. What about if you were able to pick up uh, one of the uh, dual, one, I mean, the single 1.8s that they had out? Uh, the same thing. If, if I were you, I would bite the bullet and go to the 1.8. Now, I'm not sure I'd spend an extra 500 for the dual twos. I don't okay. think you're going to see a huge difference there. Although, the bus is a little faster. They come with, uh, you know, some different features on this thing. Uh, but, frankly, I think the sweet spot on this one is the middle one, the dual 1.8. Uh, at least go with the dual 1.8. Yeah, uh, the, just based on the benchmarks. And if you go to, I'm trying to remember, I think I saw them on a non-tech or Tom's Hardware. But if you look at the, if you do some searches for the benchmarks, very unspectacular for the low end in the G5. Yeah, that's what I haven't been able to find is benchmarks comparing like the single 1.8 with the duals. Right. I haven't been able I, to find much. The ones I saw were terrible. So yeah. now that was the 1.8, not the 1.6, but I'm, I'm figuring they got, maybe this is a more up-to-date motherboard. In fact, I'm sure it is. Right. I but, know the 1.6 uses the slower uh, RAM, so I figured there'd be a big difference there. But yeah. I didn't yeah. know it was a slower motherboard as well. I, w I would say, yeah, it is. I would say go with the middle one. That's going to be the, the sweet spot right there. Okay. okay. By the monitors, would you uh, still, about, I was between a 20 and a 23 inch Apple <laughs> monitor, would you, is there one over the other that you recommend? It's all how much money you got, baby. <laughs> is that what it is? The whole day, I would love those 23, I mean they are gorgeous. What kind of work do you do? You said just your word processing and some gaming, things like that? Right. Uh, yeah, I, I just, uh, you know, I was going to enter the Apple market and I just wanted to make a one-time purchase. Yeah, you know, I don't blame the 20, been, you know, a couple of years at least. 23 is really big and, and, and it's nice, but it's really designed for people who want to have multiple windows open, graphics professionals, video editors, things like that. For what you're doing, I think the 20 is going to be fine. 20 is fine. Yeah. Don't, I mean, that's a lot. The price differential is, what, a couple of grand, right? How much? Right. Yeah, it's, it, seems to, it seems to me, I haven't looked at this in a while, but let's, let's just take a look here. Well, the way you do it on the Apple site is you configure, once you choose which one you want, you configure it and you choose the display. The 17 is 699. The 20 is $12.99. Well, they've dropped the price a lot on the 23. It's only $2,000, but that's an awful lot to spend for a monitor. Right. I, know, I, I, I have to say... I'm uh, a student at uh, CNU. Well, it's your money. Virginia. 
And they, I sell it for sixteen ninety nine for students. So. Well, that's oh, you're getting the student discount. Right. Yeah. Well, now sixteen ninety nine. It sounds pretty good. Yeah. Have you looked at them in person? Yeah, they're a beautiful monitor. Oh. I know that. Oh, they're great. Well, I'm not going to spend your money for you. <laughs> if it were mine, I'd probably only get the 20. 20 is a lot of real estate. Okay. But boy, for just a few hundred dollars more, 23 inches, I'll tell you, movies look great on it. Yeah. The only thing I'm worried about is, like, uh, Internet. Yeah. Know, it's like some of the websites, they don't support the thing with the native resolution, something like 16 by 1200. Right. And, I, you know, everything looks real small. That's the only thing I'm worried about with well, the 23. Well, and that's, that's something very much to consider anytime you're buying any LCD. People don't realize LCDs have a native resolution that they're good at, and very often they don't scale very well to larger or smaller. So you really should look at the LCD at the flat panel display with the resolution it's, it's best at and see if you can live with that. If the text is real small for you, and I'm, I'm over 40, so it's hard for me sometimes to see small text, you might want to keep that in mind. It might be a bigger display is not a better display for you. Right, that's what I like about Apple. Though. They do state the native resolution, Very unlike important. you know a lot of PC monitors. Yep. They say they're capable of this, but if you put them in that, then you know the oh, the look, uh, pixels and the look uh, text looks distorted, sometimes too large, and it doesn't fit all on the screen properly. Exactly, it can look terrible. It can be smeared or jaggies, all sorts of things. Right. Yeah, you use almost always with an LCD. You want to use the native resolution and try to uh, chew, avoid all the other resolutions. Okay. Hey, thanks for the call. I appreciate it, Dustin. I appreciate your time. Oh, it's, it's great. I'm, we're, we're, yeah. Hey, I got nothing but time, to be honest with you. Thanks for calling. Take care. Coming up next, we're going to show you how you can do what Kat and I do. That is, have a website where the pictures from your video, uh, your, your uh, camera phone, are uploaded automatically for everybody to see. But first, let's rock it out a little bit more. Low water going to take us to break. Guys? Who convinced you that I needed you? To me, you were a ghost I could not see through. We share the same face in remote space. Soon your Ouija board is bound to point to yes. You push you with a tip. exactly get what you wanted this year. Get into Gateway for store-wide savings on PCs, TVs, cameras, and more. Savings up to $500 on our hottest products, including our multimedia PCs featuring Intel Pentium 4 processors. Save $400 on the perfect complement to your PC, America's best-selling plasma. It's under $2,500 after purchase of wall mount and mail-in rebates. Hurry in for up to $500 in savings store-wide. Get the box from Gateway. No me digas que mando de mando Take your best shot. The E715 with Self Portrait, one of the newest internet ready camera phones from Samsung. After finishing his worldwide rounds, Santa's getting some well deserved R&R. &R. <laughs> He's not thinking about the stuff he forgot. But Radio Shack is. We've got the things you need to make the stuff Santa brought work. Including accessories for PlayStation, Nintendo, and Xbox, so you can enjoy the rest of the holidays. He sure is. Radio Shack. You've got questions. We've got answers. There are many events this season, but one you don't want to miss. The Infinity Event of the Season. Featuring the new G35 sedan with intelligent all-wheel drive that changes with the weather. The Infinity Event of the Season ends January 5th. See your Infinity dealer for attractive lease and APR finance rates. Can I get some music, please? Haven't seen Unscrewed lately? Take a look at what you're missing. I'm like a Greek god in Adonis. You gotta turn off the stove, Billy. Quit coughing, Billy. Do you think the aliens from outer space wear a lot of doodads on their hats? No. Besides dressing up as a blue bunny, do you have any skill? This is awkward. Unscrewed. Weeknights at 11.30, 10.30 Central. Only on Tech TV. You just wear flat.
nuts over our mo blogs or our mobile blogs, meaning a blog that's uh, content is pictures taken from our camera phones. What's a blog? And what a blog? Yeah. It's a web you better blog. Define blog too, it's like your diary, yeah. basically. It's Online a place diary, where you yeah. can easily put up content and have other people view it and comment on it. And if we think something is cool after a week, then you know it's cool. So check this out. This is my mo blog. C4T.textamerica.com, that spells cat. This is what a MoBlog looks like, a bunch of different images, and then you can see here that people comment on the images, and to read the comments and get a better look at the pictures, you just click on the image and it'll take you, what is that dinging sound? And it'll take you to that, oh, it's my computer? I don't think, I don't know, anyways, okay. So it takes me to my images page, and then I can add a little comment, which Leo doesn't do because he's lazy. And then <laughs> what you do is you listen, uh, you can read what other people have said, and if you want to add a comment, you have to log in, and then you can go ahead and say things to me like bedhead, or really nice stuff, or mean stuff too. Hair sticking I know. Up there. She was doing my hair. There's Khadija. That's funny. Yeah, so uh, here's Leo's MoBlog. Here's all of his different images. It's not images. up to date, though. I'm telling you, know, there's four or five up, images dude? not there. Um, now, did you send the video to it? I just sent the video, okay, yeah, well, but we'll I'm not. We'll see if we get to it. Confident. But okay, so you get the idea. A bunch of images, pretty cool, right? So this is a website that you go to to sign up for a free MoBlog account. It's called Text America. And this technology is still relatively new, so it's not perfect yet. There are a lot of problems, like Leo said, sometimes his images take a really long time to get up, or um, sometimes there's just weird stuff that happens. But it's cool if you can get down, to, you know, if you can get past, there's past the fact that there's problems with it. Go to Text America, sign up for a username and password, and then you can design your very own MoBlog. And it's cool because they host all of your images for you and it's free. So you pick out your design template, you pick out the name of the uh, the name of your MoBlog, and then what they're going to do is they're going to send you a username and password and an email address that you need to program into your phone. And you have to have a secret passcode if it's a private MoBlog so that only you can send images to your MoBlog. So I take a picture, I go ahead and hit send to, cat is what I have it listed on my phone as, and then it will go ahead and appear on my page. Now, a lot of times you want to edit comments or you want to edit images that you want posted, so you do have administrator tools on the, mobile, uh, on the Text America site. Go to that page that is your um, editing page, and what you can do is you can either simply delete the entire thing here, or you can individually go into each image and edit the comments. I can even block IP addresses, although people find ways to around that quite frequently. But I can, I can edit everything I want. So it's a pretty cool way to have um, fresh content on your website all the time. All the, th the only thing is you got to get a camera phone. And I really like this camera phone. It's worked out great for me. I have a couple of MoBlogs. There's, some, there's one for Call for Help. The address is on our website, but here it is. It's, it's call for help, but it's spelled C4LL4H3LP.textamerica.com. But it, it, that is a, that's a public MoBlog, so people can contribute images as much as, as, much as they like. It's fun. MoBlogging is cool. Check it out. There's more details on our website, techtv.com slash call for help. Come and join our community. It's fun. Well, what, are you, uh, what are you doing you over know, there? Is well, you know, sometimes what happens is uh, the phone gets kind of stuck. And so I turn it off and on again. And I think that might help to uh, get the upload. Sometimes it's not, you know, Text America. It's just the phone gets a, a little bit stuck. I guess. Um, you know, I actually ran out of space a couple times on because I just have the standard card the that's phone, in here. Yeah. yeah, so I had to delete a bunch of different areas, like my call logs right. and my drafts that I've sent out. Right. So, yeah, like I was There's saying, the technology is not perfect, but it is fun. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 it's, it is, it's, I have over 1,100 pictures yeah. on there. I've been doing it for about six months. That's a lot. And I, I just can't stop, you know. It, 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 I don't comment on them because I kind of like the idea of people figuring out what's going on. Yeah, you know? and you don't want to type it all in. I don't like doing it on the, on the cell phone. That's right. It's right. A, it's a pain to type it. We probably brought Text America's site to its knees. We'll see if yeah. we can get through. Textamerica.com. Yeah. There are, must Check be other out. people who do it, but I haven't found them. Right. We're, we're looking into it just to they see what else is job. out there. They do a great job. Yeah. All right. Coming up next, it's more of your live calls. So call us and still ahead on Call for Help. Switch cell phone providers and keep your phone number. How cool is that? We'll help you find the best deals. But first, let's get another taste of low water. Low water. Low water. Yeah, Go. Hit it. Low. An extra blanket for her, she gets cold Sometimes I wonder where it's leading When both my knees are bleeding But it's what we're needing Hurry in, 
on to Circuit City's Red Dot Sale today. Look for the Red Dot and get extra savings in every department. Save up to $430 on desktop packages and notebook computers. Save up to $75 on digital cameras. And save on mobile and portable DVD players too. Like this 5.8 inch widescreen portable DVD player, just $169.99 after price break and mail-in rebate. Don't miss the savings at our huge Red Dot Sale. Circuit City, we're with you. Larry the Cable Man hates the middle of the month. Why? Because that's when he mails bills for the local cable company. You know, if only they'd switch to direct TV service like I did, where you get more and pay less than cable. Like now, I got a free two-room direct TV system. That's one receiver for me and the wife, and another for the kids. With professional installation, that's a $250 value, and I got it free when I call. You see, direct TV delivers hundreds of channels. And my personal favorite, the NFL Sunday Ticket. Plus, access to the best premium movie channels like HBO, Stars, Showtime, Cinemax, and more. And with all these great pay-per-view choices, like first-run concerts, sports, and movies, DirecTV service keeps the whole family together. And look at this quality. Crystal clear digital quality pictures and sound on every channel. We get all this, more channels, better quality pictures and sound, plus our local channels at a price that can be cheaper than cable. With no hidden charges. And no upfront fees. Hey, Dad, can you turn it up? So do what I did. Call now and take advantage of this great offer. A two-room, two-receiver direct TV system, complete with professional installation, free just by calling Prime TV. Call now for your new direct TV system. Just pick up the phone and call 1-800-808-7564 for your direct TV system now. That's 1-800-808-7564. Offer ends December 31st, 2003. Call 1-800-808-7564. <laughs> What do you got there? You got the call for help webpage, techtv.com slash call for help. Click the more tips link to get all the tips from our, uh, our a whole year of call for help. I mean, lots of great stuff here. This is this is really where we uh, where we shine, I think. If you like tips, everybody likes tips on how to use computers and technology. Just check it out, techtv.com slash call for help and click that more tips button. You can go all the way back to March 2000. Lots of great information on our website. All right, we got time for another call. I'd like to get that number up to 40 before the uh, end of the hour if we can. What are you still sending a uh, phone? Now uh, I'm sending pictures? the video. I just I just right. figured it out. Okay, uh, number 38 is Jan from Ipo, Malaysia. Malaysia. Yeah. Wow. Hi, Jan. How are you? All right. Good morning, Leo. Good I'm morning. Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm great. What time is Merry it in Ipo? Merry Christmas. Wait, Merry Christmas. What time is it in oh, Ipo? We. It's uh, 8.25 in, in the morning. In the morning. Well, it's nice of you to start, your, start your day with us. I, I, where, when, yeah, do, yeah, well, you, when do we appear in... Up. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. When do we appear in Malaysia? No problem. So, sorry, say again? When do we appear on TV in Malaysia? Do you know? Um, I have no idea. It's <laughs> usually just a few, at least a few days delay. Yes, that's right. So, yeah. uh, I think they're gonna. I think uh, they're I gonna show this at 3 a.m. Uh, uh, today, in about uh, a little less than 12 hours, 11 hours from now, is my understanding. Anyway, what can we do for you, Jan? How can all we? Right. How can we help you today? Well, I'm 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 getting a bit tired of all the cables, and I'm doing some uh, some video conferencing with my family back home. Yeah, and. I have already the video streamer, I have my uh, wireless keyboard, uh, the only thing what is missing is a good wireless web camera. So you don't want to have your, the camera connected directly to the computer, you'd like to have it wireless completely? Exactly, right. exactly. So I just want a box uh, connected to my USB or something and then uh, the camera that I can put it with, with the microphone, that I can put it anywhere, anywhere in the house. Cat, would you do a little Carol Merrill thing for me? What do you want me to do? Anything. The, the for camera you. that's right behind you is a wireless yeah. webcam. 
Now we aren't using it wirelessly, but if y y yes, the spy cam, that one right there. Do you there. think the quality on this thing is? Gonna well, be he said he wanted a webcam, so that's what you're going to get. Now this will work with Wi-Fi. We've disconnected the antenna from it, and we ha we're using it hardwired. But you can also it's uh, you can also attach the antennas on there, and use it wireless. Okay. There and it it's is. and it's I think it's often uh, intended for uh, security applications where you don't want to have to have the computer right next to the camera. It comes from D-Link, yes, D-L-I-N-K.com, yeah, and as I remember, it was several hundred dollars, but, but let me see here if I can find it. Here it is, Internet Cameras, and uh, so this is, this is what you want, and they have them, uh, these are all 802.11b, as you can see, it was originally a security, uh, but this is probably the one you want. We like this one a lot, that's the one you, you see on Call for Help, it's the DCS-1000W. Uh, of course, yeah, you're still yeah, going to yeah. have to power it, uh, you're going to have to plug it in, I don't think it can use batteries only, and even if it did, you'd have to change them fairly frequently. But what's cool is you can control it through your web browser. It's got a Java plugin that make it very easy for you to control it. Uh, and it's really designed for security, but, uh, but again, you could, you could use it as a wireless webcam as well. Okay? Yeah. All right, and, th and then the quality, the, 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 refresh, the refresh rate is like 30 feet per second, or? Well, it is, but remember, uh, you know, when you say webcam, you're talking... Uh, about a lower quality device than a camcorder, let's say. I mean, the, the lenses aren't as good, the, the, the CCD isn't as good, it's just a lower quality device. If you really wanted to, uh, to do something of high quality, then, you, then you'd have to kind of connect a camcorder to a device that then was a Wi-Fi device. This is about as good as you're going to get. Yeah, it could catch full motion video, 30 frames a second, but it's not going to look like a broadcast camera. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a decent camera, but not a great... You know, if you want to take a look what the image looks like, you can actually go to uh, our website. If you go to the Call for Help website, you can see the Cat Spy Cam. That's the same camera. Uh, just click on the right there, Cat's Cube Cam. And you'll see, now this is probably not a good test of it because uh, the uh, lights here are kind of blowing it out. Uh, but, there, but there it is. That's, that's, that's kind of the image quality. And yeah, you can do 30 frames per second of that quality. Okay? Hey, thanks for the call, Jan. I appreciate it. Great to talk to Malaysia. Isn't that cool? Viewers, all we're in 70 countries, you know. Yeah, 70 know. countries. That's, that's really amazing. weird. Coming up, we're going to bring John Johnson back and find out how we finish hooking up our home theater setup. We've only got the, you know, the, uh, the source devices hooked up. We've got to hook up the TV and, most importantly, the audio. We'll show you how to do that in just a little bit. But right now, a little more low water, gentlemen. Because I amplify. Yeah, I amplify. Because I Where does reality end and pure vision begin? A Pioneer Plasma display can deliver more than one billion colors, taking high-definition television to a whole new level. Pure vision. Only from Pioneer. The newly redesigned 2004 Pontiac Grand Prix. 260 horsepower to help you get the most out of your ride. And OnStar stolen vehicle tracking to help you get your ride back. Fuel for the soul. One sees never enough of a great thing. This is like seeing Haley's Comet or getting friendly viewer mail. Now, twice the action, twice the excitement. Ow! Oh! X-Play hits you with back-to-back -back episodes that are double the fun of just one. And it's covered in rich Corinthian leather. Oh, it is. It's the X-Play double play you've been dying for. It's a lot of fun, and eventually you go crazy. Watch a full hour of X-Play every day. Weekdays at 4, 3 Central on Tech TV. There are two kinds of people with hair loss. Those that keep asking, why me? And those that do something about it. I got the permanent solution from the guys who were as determined as I was. You too should make the call. I'm a member of the 72 Dolphins, so I'm not used to losing anything. When I noticed that I was losing my hair, at first I danced around the issue, then I decided to tackle it permanently. These guys are serious about restoring your hair. Look at me. One call, medical hair restoration. 
Wanting hair on your head isn't being vain, it's only being human. MHR understands this. Not only do they have more doctors who are board certified, but most of them have had the procedure themselves. These guys get it. Make the call. Get your free information package and start regrowing your own hair permanently. Plus, call now and get $300 worth of additional grafts. One call. 1-800-670-7961. That's 1-800-670-7961. Want to get your game on? Well, viewers, we've granted your wish. Turn to Tech TV for the best in gaming, gadgets, and fun. Let Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb show you how to turn it on. X-Play, weeknights at 11, 10 Central, only on Tech TV. Number eight in the call for help a thon. We're keep we're gonna go till eleven o'clock tonight, Eastern time, and I think we'll be able to make it. I, I don't see anybody collapsing on the set just yet. We uh, last hour we're talking to John Johnson and talking a little bit about home theater and home theater setup more importantly. And John, you mentioned the new connector that's gonna replace DVI. This is an all digital interface. It's an all digital interface, and this is DVI. DVI and, and this is called HDMI. Now that's going to be the new standard HDMI? Products are starting to come out already with HDMI connectors. Okay. But, but this is interesting. There's no conversion necessary. It's just a different connector. Same pinout. No, and in fact, this is an adapter cable, which all you'll have to do is plug this into your DVI component, which in case that we have the TV over right. here. And if you have a new DVD player or a satellite box or whatever with an HDMI out, you just plug this end into that, and it's pin for pin compatible. This looks like actually a more <clears throat> robust connector, easier to use. So I think that's probably a good move on. And the part. good news, it's going to replace all that mess of source uh, cables we have on the back oh, of our receivers. No, just one plug and one jack. That's the hardest thing about setting up this wiring. Now this is still just video. We've got to hook up the audio too, don't we? Right. DVI just carries digital video, but HDMI will carry not only digital oh. video, but digital audio. Oh, you were kidding when you said it eliminates all the plugs. So this will replace that optical cable, the tossing cable? It replaces it all. So you oh, just need wow. one cable and one plug, one jack. Hallelujah. It, until then, we still got to wire this stuff. Now let's take a look at the back of our source. We already hooked up the source, right? Or we're going to hook up the source via the DVI connector. Okay, the way I've connected this is I've used an S-Video out for the, for the video. If I had the choice between S-Video, Component, DVI, and Component, which is the best way to hook it up? DVI. DVI. And HDMI and then, when that comes out. And then component after that? Component, then S-Video, and composite, just forget don't that even, even exists. Don't even do it. So this is not the preferred way to do it, but this is how we're going to do it today. Right, because okay. I wanted to be able to show the back, it's, and it's three decent. cables make, makes a mess. So. Yeah, it's pretty decent, right? It is. It's actually very good. The, okay. the biggest <laughs> difference is between composite video, the old style, and S-Video. When you go to component video, it's a little bit better, and then you go to, to DVI, it's a little bit better. Because that's all digital, you it's know, all and digital. that's going to be great. No conversion to analog and then back to digital when you have a TV set like this it's a digital TV but in spite of HDMI replacing all those source cable you're still gonna have to connect the speakers and that's why I wanted to show you let's now. take a look at the speakers here all right you've got on the back of this <laughs> receiver which, this is where you get in trouble look at that receiver and this is not really so bad you should see some of the four thousand dollar receivers it's like this all the way across oh heaven help us okay so here are the speaker binding posts and what I've done is use this this bulk roll of speaker cable that I bought but you're using standard speaker cable it's a little heavier it's 18 gauge right I mean, right yeah. and you get yourself a stripper I mean right. the, the wire kind not the human kind just right? to, to get the, 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 the insulation and, and pull there, about right? a half an inch of, of the insulation off yeah. and you twist the copper okay. and you unscrew these binding posts insert them and you want to make sure that you've got the same connector on the plus uh, which is the red here binding post going to the plus on the speakers if you don't you reverse the phase right right you, you'll reverse this phase you lose all your base well something. no what'll happen is it'll sound like the, it's, it's not coming from anywhere rather than focus oh, coming from the you'll center. know in other words if you mess it up it's Probably. it's if you know what to listen for you just right. have to be careful to do it right in the so first get place the, get the red to the uh, the, the positive and the negative to the black. Right. And then we're going to hook that up to... Uh, okay, now I've, used, I've used this bulk speaker cable to hook up most of the speakers, and I've used this uh, flat line. It's called two flat. This is Nordos. the good stuff that you showed us. It's the good stuff, but it's only a couple of dollars a foot. Okay. okay. And it has banana plugs on the end, and you just order it for the size. So the, the banana plugs want. will even work with these posts, because you just go right inside right. the inside you of the just, post. Right. Okay. You can just pull them out and just insert them back in. That's a much easier way them. to do that. I like that. Yeah. And these are higher quality than the standard digital. They're higher quality, and the nice thing about it, which is the reason I bought it, is it'll go under the rug and not make yeah, a lump. Yeah, it's flat. 
I yeah. love that. Okay, now the, that's the, good. Those, those are they're going to our satellites. That goes to the satellites and the front and the front of the left and right and the okay. center speaker. And the center speaker. What about this? What right. is what? Look at this. This looks like a keg of beer or something. This is a subwoofer. Right. It's one of the best buys on the internet. It's made by SV Subwoofers. How much is it? It's about six hundred dollars. But you're really going to get some thunder out of this. Oh, tremendous! This port on the top, it, the air comes out of there like a hurricane when this thing starts going. That's kind of the key on a subwoofer: is the ability to move a lot of air, right? I mean, it, that's really all it's doing. And the one thing I wanted to point out about this is this is the one component you'll hook up with, with not with speaker wire, but with an RCA coaxial cable that we talked about before, that's which plugs right into here, here. Uh -huh. on one end, and the other end goes into the subwoofer out pre-out on the back of the receiver. Now this is pretty heavy gauge. Are you using a monster cable or what kind of cable are you using? Uh, this is Better Cables again. Just another but, but, BetterCables.com, right? But uh, SV Subwoofers sells this as well. Is this going to be labeled specifically subwoofer cable? No. Okay. No, it's just... It's, it's standard just, speaker cable. It, it, it's, it's, uh, it's a standard coaxial RCA cable, coax, but, but it's okay. heavy duty. All right. And, and it'll go under the rug too and you can step on it and it won't hurt. Would it. you use the flat cable on here? You could, okay. and uh, Nordos and a couple of other companies make a, a RCA cable that's flat, and it will go under the rug. These are SVS, 600 bucks online. That's great. About let's, three or 400 watts. And let's watch a movie. Do I, do I want something with a big uh, a wolf in it. <laughs> what do we right. got here? Well, this is Spider-Man. We have Spider -Man. all Spider-Man. And by the way, we got to thank Sharp for this Aquos, the 37-inch Aquos. Whoa! That's vibrating the whole platform. <laughs> they tell me in the control room it's actually vibrating the control room. By the way, that was Stan Lee in there for a moment saving that little girl. Stan Lee's a little cameo in that movie. Of course, the creator is Spider-Man. But you can see what you get for $600. Wow. It shakes the whole stage. It not only shakes the stage, but they told me in the control room, which is about 30 feet away, that they could feel it in there. Well, a subwoofer is, is one of the most important components you can have because you not only can hear the sound, but you can feel yeah. it. And that's why a movie theater sound is so great. It's because they really move some air. But this is, this is marvelous. Of course, we're sitting on a hollow platform, which is probably acting as a little resonant and a big subwoofer like that will complement little speakers like this. And I brought along a Perry and Audio speakers, which have real cherry veneer on it, so the wife beautiful. will be happy with yeah. them. And for about a thousand to fifteen hundred bucks, you can set yourself with some quality quality items. Is the speaker the most expensive part of a home theater after the TV? Not necessarily. This Denon DVD 5900 is two thousand dollars, <laughs> and you can spend fifteen thousand dollars on a DVD player. So how much? With all of this, with the, with the $7,500 or $6,500 Sharp Aquos 37-inch HD TV, the Denon, the speakers, what do we spend here? About ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000. Well <laughs> worth it. Well worth it. With the price of movie tickets today, I say go for it. John Johnson, Thanks it's great so much to for have you. Me. Thank you so much. It's always fun to have you on. If you missed anything this hour, remember you can find it, of course, as always, on our show notes at techtv.com slash call for help. And look for John's work, of course, in... Secrets of Home Theater and Hi-Fi at HomeTheaterHiFi.com. HomeTheaterHiFi.com. Thank you, John. What you're fun. Welcome. You're, you're leaving this all right for us. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Coming up... <laughs> start the movie. Coming up next, <laughs> cell phones are a great convenience, but switching to a new cell phone service can be a real hassle, even with number portability. We're going to show you the ins and outs of number portability in just a bit when the call for Helpathon continues. Let's rock. I feel like we're falling off ourselves. Here he comes. Toby Maguire is Spider-Man. Need extra cash? Don't charge it on your credit cards. Get a second mortgage with a no closing cost option from Ditech.com. With a second mortgage, you can consolidate your existing high interest debts, get the cash you need for any purpose, and end up with one low monthly payment. A second mortgage with a no closing cost option is a great idea from Ditech.com. For fast, friendly service, apply online or call 1 800 71 Fix right now. Here in our tour of Jack and Daxter's world, we have the Baron to help demonstrate a battle scene. All right, uh, let's pretend you're Jack. All right. Now summon your Dark Jack powers. My what? Okay, you need to be a bit quicker with your Dark Jack powers. This world is better left to Jack. Ready to for tickle. Ah, eat this. 
Didn't exactly get what you wanted this year? Get into Gateway for storewide savings on PCs, TVs, cameras, and more. Savings up to $500 on our hottest products, including our multimedia PCs featuring Intel Pentium 4 processors. Save $400 on the perfect complement to your PC, America's best-selling plasma. It's under $2,500 after purchase of wall mount and mail-in rebates. Hurry in for up to $500 in savings storewide. Get the box from Gateway. Customers expect a website that delivers instant results. Like Progressive.com. Buy car insurance instantly from the site rated number one seven times in a row. Visit Progressive.com. Extreme drinking. Binge eating. Thrill seeking. What happens when people push their bodies to the limits? Watch Tech TV's Body Hits. The only show that examines how your body stands up to the test of modern living. See how people live fast, work hard, and take it to the next level. Body Hits, a new series. Premiering Tuesday, January 20th at 9.30, 8.30 Central on Tech TV. Welcome back to the Call for help -a Look, Nurse Brett had a baby. I thought you looked like you might be expecting. That's great. Very. What's the name of the baby? L. L? L, you couldn't afford a whole name, you just could give her one letter, that's all? Just Mom, L, the letter L. Mom wanted something that I could... Uh, that you could spell, I know, yes. Mom wanted something you could spell. Diva in training, what a pretty baby. Hello, L. Where's Mom? Is that Mom back there? Hi, hi. Oh, Dr. Brett. <laughs> He's not really a doctor. I'm back <laughs> Han Choi, by the way, mentioned that there's another networkable camera. This is the Panasonic. And the nice thing about this is you can use software to control it over the internet. Yeah, so well, it's it's basically it. a web page, so you can actually tilt it, pan it. Very neat. And this one, it, yeah. spent a little more, has 21x optical zoom. But again, these are intended for security cameras. They're, yeah, they're not really you know, webcams per se. You're not going to get high se. quality cameras. They're not the greatest quality, but they're not really meant for just sitting on top of your right. computer screen. So the FCC finally mandated it. Verizon fought all the web cell phone companies fought it, but they finally gave up. And November 24th, uh, 24th, the cell phone yeah. number portability went into effect. What does that mean? Basically, that means you can switch providers and keep your phone number. Because a awesome. lot of people who have had cell phones for like five years don't want to switch because their phone number is, everyone knows the phone number, and you, you can't call everybody. That's right. Uh, so. and, in fact, the FCC went a little step farther. They said that landline companies had to support it, too. Yeah, that's, the, this, that's, that's an interesting one. So yeah. that you can actually take your landline, make it wireless, or go the other way and go I think take most people your... go to the wireless, right? Because yeah. it, why have more than one phone? you got one phone you use all the time. Or if you just hate technology that much, you can go back, back to the, to the landline. landline. I want a phone with a dial, please. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you could do that too. If have you, you want. done this, or do you know anybody who's done this? Um, I've heard of a couple, few people have done it. Yeah. And um, is it, what kind of issues have come up? Well, the biggest problem is right now. The, the FCC never said there was a. Um, they said, okay, you got to do it in two and a half hours. The switch has to occur. Really? But they never said, look, you, you, all the companies talk to each other, come up with a way to do it. They, didn't they never did that. How to do it? So a lot they had agreements saying, hey, you know what? We're gonna let you into our database, look at our phone numbers, oh, and blah man. blah. Two and a half hours. But it doesn't. It hasn't happened that yeah. way. So I've heard complaints that it's been taking a week. Right. Um, I've heard one guy said it was an hour, or no, a day and a half. So AT and T had not... problems early on with their software. In fact, the FCC filed a complaint against AT and T, saying, you guys, you got to get with it. So they, are, the FCC, is really well, stepping on. Oh, these they guys. are stepping on. But AT and T had an interesting issue about three weeks before number portability went into effect. They couldn't activate phones. Right. So anyone who Big software who was, issues. Oh, yeah, because yeah. they have two networks going, and right. they, they couldn't even activate any phones. They were just having, like, uh, one of the guys in the lab had an uh, AT&T phone for three weeks that didn't work. So, so I have a phone. I want to switch carriers. I want to keep my number. What's the first thing I do? Do I go to the old carrier or the new carrier? You get, go to the new carrier first. But the thing you have to decide is, is it worth it? 
Okay. Okay, because if you're already in, in a contract, you're going to have to pay $150, 200 to get out of your contract. Many people don't realize that your contract sometimes gets automatically renewed when you change your plan. I found exactly. that yeah. out with Sprint, and if they you said, it costs 150 bucks. Wait a minute, I've had this phone for four years. Sorry, you changed your plan you last You change year. your plan, you're, you're hosed. So yeah. you, have to, you have to make sure it's worth it. If you hate your carrier that much, or if you're out of contract, yeah. then it's totally worth it. And you it. may be out of contract. You might be out of you contract. You should find out. Yeah, if you do that, then keep in mind, you're probably going to have to buy a new phone. Okay. Um, even though like your phone is a GSM phone, right. technically would, it will work on Singular or T-Mobile right. or, or You could take your number, but you may not be able to take the, ha yeah, the handset. Yeah, technically it does. That phone will work on three carriers, but they lock it, so you right. can't. You can't just take the SIM chip out of it and put another one in. You can't do it, so yeah. you generally have to buy a new phone, okay. so you have to invest in some hardware as well. Not necessarily a problem. A new carrier will often subsidize that phone to get you Yeah, signed great up. deal. Yeah. Great deal. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing to keep in mind, obviously, do not cancel your phone your old existing oh, line. Yeah, because the number they, goes away. The number goes away. And uh, you have to go to the new place, say, hey, I want this. And Let give you them the, cancel it. They will cancel it. But the thing is, it's always good to call in a few days you know, after your new phone's active to make sure that it got canceled. Yeah. Because, you, don't want you know, two bills. <laughs> com computers are great, but right. you know, they, they make mistakes. And, well, and the and, people too. <laughs> and, and as with all businesses nowadays, the, the first place they cut back is on sub customer support. And it's often very hard to get a human who can help you solve yeah, these problems. You, yeah, you don't want to get stuck in that Bermuda oh, Triangle oh, of trying oh, to oh, deal oh, with no. the cell phone company. So at least call, make sure that it has been canceled. Now, so we've done it. it. We've got a new phone. Now i got to get my data off of my phone. This, <laughs> is, a, this phone. is a huge, huge <laughs> problem. Not easy. I know somebody, a friend of mine bought a phone and she had 250 numbers. Right. The phone only supports 255. Right. So how do you get all the numbers off? What do you so, recommend? Well, there's one way. You can sit there with both phones and... No, no, no. I'm not doing that. Okay. It, it, it is a problem. Now, <laughs> the beauty is Bluetooth technology. If so you have a more recent phone. If you have a more recent phone, or even if you don't and you buy a phone with Bluetooth, at least you're cutting the, the step in half. Yeah, you don't have to get them all entered into the new in which case you just use software and uh, like I, I picked a so this is a Sony Ericsson T six 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 T six sixteen. Thank you. Very popular phone. A lot of people have it. And uh, what's really nice is it, you can download the software to sync. And that's a if Bluetooth. You have, if you have so a Bluetooth if you've got phone. it in your PDA on your desktop, if you've got it in Outlook or whatever your, exactly. your PDA is, then you're going to be able to easily copy it over to the You can phone. copy it over. Just keep in mind in Windows, um, Bluetooth is considered, it's still considered a serial connection. Okay. So there's some COM port issues you're going to have to work out. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. You well, mean we still have interrupt conflicts in this day It's not interrupt. It's just, it's a COM, like it, the phone, like it, by default in this, in, on this notebook it's with this Belkin, uh, it's COM4. COM4. But it's not considered to be active. You have to actually oh, activate dear. it in the software. Software. That's so where there's some little Bluetooth. I had an advantage traits. on the Apple. It was very easy to get this phone's Apple. Bluetooth. I just set it up. The, Same. I already support the Bluetooth and I just copied it right. Yeah, over. these things work really yeah. great. By yeah. the way, there's a lot of Bluetooth phones in this place. Do you like Bluetooth? <laughs> are you happy? I like it. It's getting it's getting better. Uh, yeah. the headsets aren't the greatest quality mm -hmm. yet. Yeah. Um, but you know, the things you can do a lot of it for me is because I use Sprint right now and I have to upload all my pictures. So I have to have the data service. Right. I don't want the data service. Right. Because I only use it for the pictures. For the pictures. That's data, buddy. Exactly. But the thing is, that's the only reason I need it. So a, blue, if a Bluetooth phone would be nice because right. I can just then copy you don't it. Have to yeah, have I, don't need, I don't need the, I the service. It. I get it. Now, if, okay, you don't have Bluetooth. Then you're going to have to buy a cable. Cables. They which, ne very rarely come with a cable. So you almost always have to buy They never come with one. a cable, yeah. and they are, they're very specific. Certain models have them. They have them for some models, not others. About 30 bucks plus yeah, software. Yeah. Unfortunately, but the thing is, if you're getting rid of your phone, you're going to have to dump. Right. You have, to, you have to buy two sets of cables. Buy a cable just to get rid of a phone? To get rid right, of a phone. So these are all things to keep in mind before you consider the, number switches. There is one other option. What is that? If you go to a cell provide, the company that you got the phone from, right. it, it, the specific store, not necessarily a third-party outlet, there's a chance they may actually have c connectivity so you can actually print out your phone numbers. Yeah, I did that. When I switch, when I got Wait, a new phone. I don't phone, understand. You print out the... You can go and give them your phone and say, hey, can I get a printout of all my phone numbers? And they'll plug it in. And oh, from the phone? From the phone. Yeah. You so still have to hand enter it. Sprinted that Sprinted for you, that, Josh, Yeah, uh, Sprint offered for me as well. To, to be, uh, but you still have to hand enter it. You have to ha hand enter it, but you, but you don't have to take it off the phone, That's which is nice the biggest, feature. big, big, big problem is That's to get nice the numbers feature. off the phone. Of course, if you're switching away from Sprint, they may not be so happy well, to do that. Well, that's the secret. You go before. <laughs> and say, you can know, you get the numbers off I'm kind here. of concerned. I don't want to lose my info. Yeah, you know, bank Don't plate. tell them you're switching. Exactly. But definitely, um, there's some great, great deals. Make sure, though, before you connect with a new carrier that, you know, you're going to get a good signal from them and all that stuff because you don't want to 
month switch, Again. get stuck in the contract and realize right. that, oh, you know, Well, this most of them work. will give you two or three weeks to, to cancel if, if it yeah, doesn't work for you. Definitely, well. definitely. Do, do try, try it out. Try it everywhere you're going to go. Yeah, exactly. Hunt Choi, thank you so much. I appreciate this. A little primer on how to switch your phone without switching your number. Finally, we can do it. It's Go ahead. I, sort of. I'm waiting. My contract's almost up. <laughs> Coming up, the Wired World Challenge. We've got lots of great, great prizes still to give away. Will you be our next winner? Stay tuned and find out as the Helpathon continues. MCSE, Cisco, or A-plus certified, guaranteed, with Smart Certify's fast and easy IT certification courses. If it wasn't for Smart Certify, I'd still be working a dead-end tech support job. Smart Certify has one-on-one -on -one mentoring and a money-back guarantee. I couldn't lose. Call 1-877-TRAINING today and mention code TCTV or go online at www.smartcertifieddirect.com to get a free course now. The greatest adventure of all time is here. The game is on. Critics call it a mind-blowing adventure. Eyes open. With amazing action. Sean Connery. Get him. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Own the DVD today. Cheers. Right now, I'm watching. Razón. No me digas. Okay. Take your best shot. The E715 with self-portrait. One of the newest internet-ready camera phones from Samsung. Oh, hold on. Yo, what are you doing? Playing team ball, Gary. What are you doing? Trying to go baseline if you let me. His D's been pretty tough today. You're right. Get back on the court, glove. <laughs> With NBA Shootout 2004, you're in control. for everyone. Hey, Billy wants to check out bikinis online. What? The Bikini Islands, history class. Oh, sure. Hey, Billy, it's cool! How can the butterfly help you? Find out at msn.com. After finishing his worldwide rounds, Santa's getting some well-deserved R&R. He's not thinking about the stuff he forgot. But Radio Shack is. We've got the things you need to make the stuff Santa brought work. Including accessories for PlayStation, Nintendo, and Xbox, so you can enjoy the rest of the holidays. He sure is. Radio Shack. You've got questions, we've got answers. Welcome back, everybody. It's now time for the Wired World Challenge, and Kat and I have decided to take over. Yep, Leo, do we have a caller on the line? <laughs> yes, we do, Kat. Okay, who is on it? On the line right now, Margie from Dillon, Colorado. I think that's how Margie I think. likes to ski and, <laughs> and watch water buffalo mate, and she's very excited about right, playing our game. All right, all right, enough of you. Margie, are you ready to go? That's well, where he before, should be. Before we go, <laughs> let me tell you folks at home how this Grand. whole thing works. Hey, how's it going? Are you excited? Oh, yes. Are you going to win? I hope so. Okay, Sarah has in her hand four questions from four different categories, and you'll be asked to pick a category, and Sarah will ask you a tech-related trivia question. You'll have 15 seconds to come up with your answer, and here's the best part. If you answer correctly, you'll get a shot at our prize board, where we've covered up some very cool prizes. Sound good? Sounds great. All right, let's do it. Okay, here are today's categories. Technology innovators, space acronyms, convenient inventions, and sci-fi book titles. What's it gonna be? You have 15 seconds to answer. Convenient. Convenient inventions? Yes. Okay, here we go. Convenient inventions, question. What device invented by Zenith named the Lazy Bone contributed to creating couch potatoes? The remote control. Yay! <laughs> All right, that means you get a chance at our gigantic prize board. What number are you going to pick? Number nine. Number, number nine. nine. We have... Oh, oh you got the move -o. You nice can now take prize. 
Yes. Congratulations. Holds right. about 20 songs. You're all set with your MP3 player And you now. thought Christmas was over. Yeah. Not thanks. We want to say thanks to Creative for that prize. Very, very true. Wherever right, challenge is happening every day, of course, on Call for Help. So head over to our website to sign up, and you might be the contestant next week. Leo. That was fun. Yeah. You did, you did very well. You can do that every time if okay, you want. But I have a question right, for you. What? Why are you using my book as a monitor stand? <laughs> I mean, that really, I think I think that there's better things you could use. Uh, Coming up uh, next. I could use it to boost me up. I yeah, can sit on it. Yeah, don't sit on it, all right? Coming up, we're getting oh, ready to answer even more of your questions as we draw to the end of Hour 9 of the second annual Call for Help of Thumb. We're so glad you're here. Stay tuned, won't you? Buy my book. Yes. <laughs> OLM.net presents more true tales from the World Wide Web. At OLM, our web hosting customers say it best. We started with another hosting company, and they couldn't care less about us. We're a small business, and OLM treats us like family. OLM was probably the best business decision we made for snickerdoodle.com. Become part of our family. Visit OLM today or call 1-877-2-OLM-NET. Over 200,000 websites. OLM.net. Hurry in to Circuit City's Red Dot Sale today. Look for the Red Dot and get extra savings in every department. Save up to $430 on desktop packages and notebook computers. Save up to $75 on digital cameras. And save on mobile and portable DVD players too. Like this 5.8 inch widescreen portable DVD player, just $169.99 after price break and mail-in rebate. Don't miss the savings at our huge Red Dot Sale. Circuit City, we're with you. What's crucial to me? What's crucial to me? Making the most of my time. Speed. Getting more and paying less. Doing things the right way. What's crucial to me? Staying on top of everything. Making my computer last another year. Doing seven things at once. That's why I made sure I have enough memory. And now my computer can keep up with me. So that you can focus on what's important to you. Crucial makes it easy to select, purchase, and install memory upgrades. Memory, it's crucial. I can't believe I owe this much money. How did it get this bad? Two jobs, and I'm only paying the minimum? I'm just not getting ahead. Now I'm even scared to answer the phone in our own home. Disconnect notice? Could things get any worse? Where's the light at the end of my tunnel? Community Credit Counseling Corporation understands, and we can help you solve your problems. One simple phone call to us can help take the creditors off your back and let you begin the rest of your life. We're an accredited nonprofit agency. We'll help reduce your repayment time by up to 75% and lower those high interest rates to as little as 0%. Finally, I'm on the road to re-establishing my credit and my life. Whether you owe thousands or hundreds of thousands in credit card debt, call the toll-free number on your screen for more information. Call now. Get your life back. I'll tell you, I'm just getting, you know, you get a little, you stiff and you... I get a little stiff in my... Oh, that's much better. Oh, oh, I feel much better now. That's just a water bottle. Hey, Kat, let's check some email. What do you think here? Anything? Okay, this guy, Mario. Excuse me, we're trying to do a show No, here. no, the movers are here with my chair. I think it's very important. Uh, Dr. Brett, thank you very much. This will make it much easier for you to take oh, my vitals, I believe. Oh, signs of fatigue. Go. Bill Cohen, yes, I am. No signs of malnourishment. No, no, you notice that. Just that's okay. Just signs of fatigue. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you may continue. Okay, Kat. this guy says that somebody just gave him a G5. Woohoo! And he's not Louise. exactly sure why it's so much better than his G4. Oh, well, actually, the chip is considerably better. I mean, that's, that's one of the things is the G5 chip. Uh, these, by the way, they're coming from IBM now. And all the, all the power PC chips are based on an IBM uh, board set called, uh, uh, that, that they developed for their mini computers, the mm -hmm. PowerPC. Uh, uh, actually, it was called the Power... I, now I've forgotten, the Power something. Okay. And they've turned them into a single chip solution. IBM's done a lot of great research. This, this chip has copper uh, connectors in some ways, so it improves the speed. Uh, it has 
these big caches. The bus speed is considerably faster, up to a gigahertz bus, which is a, a really makes a big difference in getting data into and out of the chip. It's got an improved velocity engine. Uh, that's the uh, that's the kind of uh, design, the engine designed to do multimedia um, things like. Basically, what it is is it's a way of doing uh, an operation to a large amount of data, uh, single instruction, multiple data they call it, and that makes a big difference in things that you do commonly like process MP3s, uh, you know, rip CDs, uh, edit movies, things like that. So it, I think in a lot of ways it's a great chip. It's not faster than the 3 gigahertz Pentium 4 in many operations because even though it's a fast chip, it's only running at 2 gigahertz compared to the 50% faster uh, Pentium. And I think it hurts it a little bit because of the lower clock speed. As Apple gets those clock speeds up, IBM continues to make improvements in the, in the PowerPC chip line. I think you're going to see a, a really good chip. In fact, some analysts are saying that the new PowerPC family has really more headroom. For a long time, we thought, oh, gee, Apple made a mistake going with the Motorola chips. They, they're not growing as fast as Intel's chips. Now some analysts are saying, wait a minute, it looks like that power PC has, line has a lot, a long way to go. It can mm -hmm. really improve itself, whereas Intel may have started to slow down in the speeds and so forth, things it can do with its chips. It's a race now. Uh, Apple has been behind for a long time, or I should say Motorola and IBM have been behind it for a long time, but they're starting to catch up. And I think we're going to see that G5 chip improve as, as software and the operating system are tuned for it. The performance is going to get higher and higher, and pretty soon, once the clock speeds come up, it's going to really compete very well with the Pentium. I think 4. it looks cool, too. It's a, I, I, you know, I think the real reason to get a Macintosh, and we've talked about it a lot today, is the operating system. Right. I think OS X is just a really dynamite operating system. Best Did I ever tell you how much I love OS X? <laughs> I don't think so. Let's talk about it some more. What else you got there? Okay, Steve wants to know, what is an, why should I get a desktop versus a laptop? Can they do different things? Not or? really. I mean, actually, it's, you know, jo Steve Jobs of, of Apple said this is the year of the laptop, and I think he's right. Laptops are starting to outsell desktop computers. The disadvantage is laptops more expensive a little bit slower and more prone to get beat up because right. you're throwing around they're small on the other hand they're portable uh, you know you should get the right tool for the job if you're moving around get a laptop if you're sitting still get a desktop we're going to take a break but more to come as the call for helpathon continues stay right here here's low water Laugh like me when he talks of future plans From the first time that we spoke outside The stars were silent in the sky the last time I met you I got a stash down here Oh, here we go Very important That's how I feel. They're just okay. That's enough. You can Low water, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for them. They're great. Our house band today, Dave Rubin and company. Hey, Dave, who you, would you introduce the band? Tell us who the members of the band are, so we can, you know. Uh, actually, I don't know all the names. You don't know who they are. Uh, yeah, hey, my they, name's Dave. Yeah. And, uh, that guy's John. Let's John. And uh, this guy's name is Nick Davis. Okay. And uh, we're Low Water. Hey, it's great. Uh, we have a little website if you'd like to go. What's the it. website? It's lowwatermusic.com. Awesome. Well, David, we thank you for bringing your friends. Yeah, thank you. Leo. And for playing with us. L O W W A T E R music.com. Two yes. W's, right? Yes. All right. There it is. All right. We're now in what hour are we in, Cap? We're headed into the 5 o'clock hour. And Here, uh, which is uh, 8 o'clock <laughs> East Coast. We've got three more yeah. hours to go. It must right. mean we've done nine hours. Hour 10. I don't know. Woo! Yeah. Can you do? Let That's the first thing to go, by the way. Simple math capabilities. Yeah. Yeah. I'm having a hard candy. I'm. I'm sorry. I th you know, I always think at the top of the hour, we're gonna go to Tech Live or something. Right. No. It's <laughs> us again. No, hey. They did it to me again. <laughs> this show continues. Okay, Postage two cents without message. Okay, low water. And yeah, this um, is a nice site. Yeah, they did a nice good. job. I was talking to Sarah earlier about her ability to put videos on her Moblog. And yeah. If you go to sarahlane.com, click on the little image on the left-hand side, and you can, I don't have it up right now. But she's got videos. Get, she's got videos, and it just says video clip, but you have to have QuickTime 6.4. Yeah, yeah. but she has the same camera we do. Right. So that's what I understand. I For know, some I reason, understand. I'll upload videos to Text America, and it doesn't see them, but you're, do, you're just doing it, and it sees them, right? Right. Mine wouldn't even send it. It was just hung up on it. Like you said, well, they're sometimes larger the files. Has the issue. They're larger files, so... Coming well, up I don't in know. this hour, though, Sarah and Kevin. Maybe Kar Karen and Seven can help me. 
<laughs> with my seven? problem. I like did, that. Did I just say that? Karen, no, I said it. Oh. <laughs> Kara and Seven. Should we, uh, what, what do we do here? Take Alex a call? Alex Lindsay is going to be here this hour. Oh, yeah, Photoshop guru. Yeah, That's going to be fun. What are Kara and Seven going to do? <laughs> They're going to reveal the applications they think the should be. The top ten applications. Yeah. There you go. If, right. if you get a new computer and you have nothing installed, my favorite five First thing you should put Kevin's on Kevin's favorite five, the Whoa. things you have to have. First things you should have. If you oh, have that's nothing good. else. That's fun. That'll yeah. be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Uh, hour ten, as we said, a call for help with on. Obviously, things are falling apart now. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you though, this is this has been a great time, and, it, and it's not as difficult as I thought, and partly because of the support we have here. I mean, we have some wonderful people helping us out behind the scenes. When can I, Michelle von Wald? When can I talk to the people behind the scenes? Because I'd love to. If we if we can find some time during the show, I would really like to, because these guys have been working just as hard, maybe harder than we have, mm -hmm. uh, through the last ten hours. But right now, I think we should take another call. We got to get that clicker up a little higher. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. Let's All right. make this. Uh, Number 39, it's Jay from Beverly Hills, California. 90210, hello he Jay. He How are you 39. doing, Leo? I'm doing well. How's the weather in Beverly Hills? It's a little bit cold. Oh, really? I thought that yeah. it was all arranged, that it would always be beautiful in Beverly Hills. It's supposed to be sunny, but uh, I guess they canceled it today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm glad to talk to you. Uh, I'm going to be doing a radio show in L.A. starting pretty soon, so I'll let you know when, the, when that starts. But uh, I hope you'll be listening when I start doing that. Uh, for sure. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. Oh, there they are. That's Jay and the Jayettes. Who is that behind you? I have Julia and Chelsea, my two daughters. Oh, hello, Julia. Hello, Chelsea. They look like they like Dad, but it's probably just because they want to get on camera, Hi. right? <laughs> <laughs> what can I do for you, Jay? We want to set an in-house intranet. Oh, wow. So how, that's pretty sophisticated. You want your own website that's only visible internally. Yes. Yeah, companies do that. We even have an intranet. It's intranet as opposed to internet right. uh, here at Tech TV. An intranet is used by large companies to uh, give employees information about things like uh, human resources, benefits, uh, announcements, things like that. What would you want to put on your intranet in your home? Just uh, total communication between the girls and mm. the computers and their rooms, and we can all talk and That's great. exchange stuff. Do well, if you've already, I can be in my room and they can do their homework. Right. If you've already got a network, you're really 99% of the way there. It sounds like what you really want is a file server, which is a centralized location for all your files that's visible to all the computers so that when you log in, your, your, no matter which computer you log into, your desktop is there, your documents are available uh, on any computer in the house. Is that something like what you'd like to do? Yes, but yeah. now I have a G5 and a PC. Right. And they've got the PCs. Oh, no. You think, now you thought you were complicating it, didn't you? <laughs> but, but actually, it's not going to complicate it very much. There's a couple of things you could do. You already have an intranet, in a sense. You just don't have any central locus. You don't have a, a server. You don't have a, uh, a file server. You don't have a web server. If you wanted to have, for instance, a centralized website that was only visible inside the network, one of the computers would have to serve it. It would have to be running a web server. Your G5 is a great uh, candidate for that because you already have Apache on the system. All you have to do is turn on web serving. There's, you know, you go to, do you know how to do the web serving on a Mac? Yes. Yeah, you just put something in the sites folder and there you go. So that would be a centralized website that you could go to, and you could add capabilities to that. But really, it sounds to me like mostly what you want is a file server. Let me, let me ask Kevin, because I know he has a pretty sophisticated network set up. Okay. Uh, how can we help Jay? He wants to basically set up an intranet within his house, mm -hmm. and I think really what he, what he needs is a file server. Do you know of a good solution for him? Should he maybe put together a Linux box? Just or? a web intranet? No, well, I think he mostly wants to share files and have kind of a centralized location for all of the data, so wherever they are, they can read. Well, you can do a couple different things. You could run a Linux box, or you could as get... As a file server. As a file server. It, it could be a little FTP server, or actually you could do Samba. And then right. just have, have it be like a It shows a up as share. a volume. It would just show up as a volume on all the computers across exactly. the house. Exactly. Yeah. Now, if you wanted a web page or something like that, you could do Internet Information Server. They have like the personal edition. Right. Well, okay. I mentioned he's running a Mac, so he's got Apache on his Mac. Okay. He could easily do the same yes. thing. He wouldn't even have to download any additional software. Uh -huh. uh, so f you think for a file server, the best... Now, of course, you can go out and buy something like a COBOL, which is a plug-and-play file server. You just plug it into the wall, and that's it. It does yeah, everything. Yeah, I actually have one of those at home as well. Yeah, yeah see, I knew you did. Those, those are great little boxes because the one I have is has 
a RAID unit on it, wow. and it has a mirror so that I store all my data on there via just drag and drop like through Samba, and then if something were to go wrong, I just have that backed up mirrored hard drive. Wow, that's great. Now, Cobalt got purchased, didn't they? They did. They're now owned by Sun. So, well, that's good. Okay, that's good. Okay, let me, I'm trying to find... Uh, the Cube is no longer, I don't believe they, they don't make, make the, the Cube, cube anymore. anymore. You have to buy the rack. Okay. But uh, then you can buy yourself a little mini 19-inch rack for your house and set up your own little server environment. It's kind of fun. It's something fun to do if you want to, you know, set up your own little home networking. Yeah, this that sounds like a great thing. Yeah. I would say Cobalt's probably a good way to go. Now, one way to go is simply to go on eBay and do a search for Cobalt. You could probably find the old Cube. I'm going to do a search here and, and get somebody's old Cube. It ran Linux, but the idea was it was a headless server. It didn't have a, you don't have a keyboard or a monitor attached to it. It just right. kind of sits there and, and runs. Here's one for $50. <laughs> a Cube? A Cube. 10 gigabytes. Well, it, now, uh, there's only one bid, and there's uh, four days left, so maybe we'll get the price up yeah. a little higher. But it's, uh, it's, a sm it's an older Cube. It's the Cobalt Cube 2. But this is a great thing for a file server. Uh, you can make your own, as, as we said. You can just go out and buy a cheap computer, put Linux on it. But the nice thing about the Cobalt is it's kind of automatic. You just put it on the network and it becomes the kind of central locus for all of your files. It's pretty cool too. It also has a great feature that I like and that's you can go to the web page if they come out with any updates like security patches right. or anything like that. It's all built into the software. So you just browse like you would a web browser to your cube. You can then configure it and also run all the updates from there as well. Expect to pay about two to three hundred dollars for a good used cube, probably a, maybe a little bit more. That seems more reasonable. Depending on 50, whether it has yeah. RAID or not and options that... So you bought one? Yeah, I did. You're a wild man. Well, I like to have a little bit of everything. I like to play with all the different... Yeah, I do. It just sits there. He's a wild it's man. It sits there because it doesn't have... She just thinks it doesn't get used because it doesn't have a monitor. It's, it's being used. That's Jay, Jay, like Jay, that. Jay, does that sound like something that uh, would fit your bill, fit the bill? That in? sounds fantastic. Great. Yeah, I, I like the Cobalt. Chelsea, my Chelsea's got to be on TV. Can all right, where's Chelsea? Is? You know, you guys got to turn a light Hi. on, though, because all I can see is the... Hey, Chelsea, all I can see is the door behind you. Turn a light on. Unless you like sitting in the dark. Hey, Chelsea, how are you? How old is Chelsea, Jay? How old are you, Chelsea? Hi. How old are you, sweetheart? She's 11, and Julia's 13. Oh, I have an 11-year-old myself. How is that? Is that fun for you, Jay? Oh, yeah, that sounds perfect, Leo. <laughs> All right. Hey, I appreciate the call. Hello. See you later, Julia and Chelsea. Thanks for joining us. It's been great having you on. Now, that is, that is one fun family, you can tell. They're having a party at 90210. There's the Cobalt Cube that we were talking about. And really kind of a neat product. That would be a good segment for us to set up a file server. We'll have to show you how to do that. Coming up next, there's a whole world of freeware out there to download. But what programs do you really need? Well, we're going to find out which applications Sarah and Kevin like the best, the ones they think every computer owner should have on their system. As uh, the call for Helpathon continues, stay right here. This program brought to you in part by Circuit City. We're with you. Hurry in to Circuit City's Red Dot Sale today. Look for the Red Dot and get extra savings in every department. Save up to $430 on desktop packages and notebook computers. Save up to $75 on digital cameras. And save on mobile and portable DVD players too. Like this 5.8 inch widescreen portable DVD player, just $169.99 after price break and mail-in rebate. Don't miss the savings at our huge Red Dot Sale. Circuit City, we're with you. How about Cassandra? Yeah, that's yeah. pretty. I wonder what that means. Yeah, that's a uh, Greek for prophet of doom. Okay. How can a butterfly help you? Find out at msn.com. This is Dave. Dave. Bob Haybeck. Hi, Bob. Dave, without the guiding hand of our big iron, you're a ship without a sail. Well, not really. We just put in a Linux cluster of Dell servers with Intel Xeon processors. Oh. Well, that's one way to go. It's highly scalable, flexible, available. Listen, Dave. Let's do lunch. I'll get back to you. Get more out of your data center with Dell Business Solutions. Call or go online today. Cool. 
Mega? Rad. <laughs> Mega bad. Now the sad sister circle. That's good. How can the butterfly help you? Find out at msn.com. Renegades. I'm just going to have to do whatever I want to do. Rebels. Yeah. And pop icons. <laughs> Misfits. It doesn't matter. You're a nerd in life and you'll be a nerd always. And millionaires. It's a good way to explore the nature of truth. Forget the pocket protector. I want to make toys for myself. Meet the nerds of the 21st century. Nerd Nation, a new series coming in January to Tech TV. That's right. So if, you, if you just got a new computer, mm -hmm. and there's nothing on it. Right. These are, I have five and you have five right. recommendations of things you have to install. So let's start off with your top five. Okay, my top five. Number one number is one. Winamp 5. You're a big fan of Winamp. I'm a big fan of Winamp. Always have liked it. I, I just, I like, I, um... I like the way it looks. I like the way it plays. Didn't like Winamp 3, but who did? Yeah. But Winamp 5 is awesome. What about Winamp 4? There is no one up there. Okay, just checking. Just making sure. Making sure. So bad. <laughs> no, it's, it's cool. Anyway, I mean, look at the interface. It's, it's I love cool. it. cool. There's a lot of stuff. You, you know, of course, playlists. You can do all the stuff uh, that you think you can do, although now it supports AAC for playing and encoding, which is awesome. That is cool. AAC is a big thing now. iTunes users will know what I mean. Anyway, Winamp, that's Thank my number you, one. Julia. Okay. We're blowing through this, though. Number two. All right. Tweak UI. This, of course, is a Windows XP deal. But if you have Windows XP, you have to have Tweak UI. This is a great free plugin, uh, well, a variety of uh, plugins, really, that allows you to tweak Windows in so many ways, whether it's for your mouse, um, in Explorer, stuff that you can do in the Start menu, um, you know, adding or removing, you know, if you want to remove that little um, arrow icon. Um, the shortcut the icon. The shortcut icon on your desktop, all that stuff. So you if you're can a tweaker, tweak UI. if you just love messing around with your computer, this is the application. And it's free, which is also yeah, really cool. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of tweaking applications, but uh -huh. this is the place to start because it's free. And you know it's it's a Microsoft thing. So I always you know get, it's gonna work. Yeah, I always get worried about tweak applications because you never know who's writing them and whether they know what they're doing. In this case, Microsoft made it, so this it's is all good. good. Yeah, there's some more, but this is this is definitely the place to start. Tweak UI, it's awesome. Moving right along, it's Slick Run. Now I'm not, I don't actually have to uh, launch it because it's this little dealy bob right up here. I've got okay. my date and my time, and it's pretty much just a run command shortcut. It's like Windows R, you know, for the run command. It's that, but it's just a little thing that floats. I can put it anywhere I want to. So you just click right in there. I click right in there, and now give me a give me a command. Uh, just uh, CMD, give you a command prompt. All right, there we go. Nice. Launches up really well. Now you, I could put it down in my task taskbar, for example. I can, uh, you know, well, let's go into options really quick because there's a lot of things it can do that I can't really show you here. For example, these are all magic words. These okay. are all um, built in. So if I was to type in define here. Uh -huh. um, uh, it would say, oh, okay, I know, you want to look up a definition, and I will, uh, you know, let's say for Kevin. Wow, that's a, that's a silly one. But it'll attempt to look up your name. I see, okay. So there's stuff built in, so it'll even launch, you know, it'll launch a website if you wanted to do the broken dot org. Um, you know, it's just a, it's a simple way to do that as well. And then, like, you have ones like Amazon, so if you just want to go to Amazon real right. quick, you just type it in, done deal. Exactly. And what, you, what, the, what the really nice thing that you can do is you can add your own. So if I, for example, I made one called Couch. And what Couch means is that I want to look on Craigslist because I'm constantly looking for couches. Oh, and it does a search for you and everything. Afford. So I said what I mean when I say Couch is Craigslist, gotcha. so I can build it that way. Okay, okay. next one. Last one. Oh, next one. I have two more. Uh, ne second to last is the Google Desk Bar. I've talked about on the screensaver. I think it's awesome. You want to do a search for cats, it's going to pop up this fun little thing right here. It does not require your browser. Okay, it doesn't use your browser at no, all. And no, then you I'm can launch this right into right a browser if you wanted to, though, sure, right? Sure, yeah. If I want to, I can make it full screen. Or I can configure it to turn, you know, uh, turn into, uh, well, not turn into, but launch my web browser. All sorts of things you can do with the Google Desk Bar. Like Slick Run, there's some um, shortcuts. If you want to do news, control N. Google uh, images, groups, blah, blah, blah. Last one. Last one. Trillion. Yeah, sure. Trillion is awesome. Um, if you have, you know, people use Yahoo Messenger. 
AOL, all of them. MSN, the I whole know, thing. I know, client friends are on all the different networks, and this one logs you into all of them at the same time. You've always, one everyone, everyone has that one friend that uses Yahoo, and so you can't talk to them because <laughs> that's right. nobody wants to install Yahoo Messenger. If you use Trillion, you can do them all. Um, in Crips Conversations, that's also very helpful in and this it's free. age. And it's free. And I like the way it looks, too. It's cool. It's very space age. We're done. That's it. We are going to uh, have Kevin, five more. Kevin's, for me. Kevin's five picks after a couple of. You don't want to miss those. Breaks. Yes, mine are better, but his are no. coming up. Cool stuff, Leo. I think Leo's dead. Leo, is he awake? The elf killed him. He's gone. It was only a matter of time before he passed out. Leo, more call for help coming up right after this. What? 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 Didn't exactly get what you wanted this year? Get into Gateway for storewide savings on PCs, TVs, cameras, and more. Savings up to $500 on our hottest products, including our multimedia PCs featuring Intel Pentium 4 processors. Save $400 on the perfect complement to your PC, America's best-selling plasma. It's under $2,500 after purchase of wall mount and mail-in rebates. Hurry in for up to $500 in savings storewide. Get the box from Gateway. My name's David Abreu. As a firefighter, I'm able to give something back to the city every single day. But these streets aren't the only ones that need protecting. That's why when I'm not wearing this uniform, I'm a soldier in the U.S. Army Reserve. Find out how David protects his city and his country as a civil affairs specialist in the U.S. Army Reserve, only at GoArmy.com. After finishing his worldwide rounds, Santa's getting some well-deserved R&R. He's not thinking about the stuff he forgot. But Radio Shack is. We've got the things you need to make the stuff Santa brought work. Including accessories for PlayStation, Nintendo, and Xbox, so you can enjoy the rest of the holidays. He sure is. Radio Shack. You've got questions, we've got answers. Twice the hell. Twice the hell. Twice the fun. Twice, twice the fun. The screensavers. The screensavers. Twice a night. Twice, twice, twice a night. Catch Leo, Pat, and the gang two times, two times. every weeknight. First at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 Pacific. Then again at 12 Eastern, 9 Pacific. Two times, two times the magic. magic. Two times the mayhem. The screensavers. Screen two times savers. every weeknight. Only on Tech TV. Only on Tech TV. The Call for Help webpage is the place to go if you want to know more about the things we talk about on the show. Not only today during our help thought but every day. In fact, the Call for Help Daily is a great way to get the information uh, sent direct to ma your mailbox. Every single day, join 150,000 plus other members and, uh, and subscribe. You do have to have Tech TV membership, but that's free and easy to get. Once you've got it, log in and check the newsletters you want to get. Robot Wars Damage Report, Tech TV Tips and Tricks, Tech TV Week. Subscribe to them all, but most importantly, the call for help daily. All right, there we go. Now, let's see if we can get another call on. We've only got 39. I'd like to make it lucky 40. Who do we have? Oh, lucky indeed. Lucky we 40. are lucky to have this next um, question asked. It's not by the phone, but it's actually pre-recorded. Let's see if you can guess who it is. All right, Number oh, 40. that'd be fun. Okay. Hey, Leo, I have a question for you. I have a 14 megapixel Kodak camera, which does not give you the option of shooting in black and white. It does give you the option of desaturating when you're in the, uh, the dialog box. The question is, is that the most effective way to do it, or should you bring it into Photoshop and deal with changing it black and white there? My question. 
pretty well dressed for a question. <laughs> the best dressed questioner we've ever had. Kenny Rogers, of course. Cool. Hey, that's great. Thank you for asking the question, Kenny. I wish we could get you in here to ask it in person. Kenny's a big photographer, you know. Does a lot of megapixels. That's a pretty fancy camera. Megapixels. Probably a little more than most people need. That's a lot of megapixels. But he asked a, a, an important question that everybody really uh, is, 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 should know about, and that is you don't want to modify the picture in the camera. Ideally, take the best possible picture you can, all the information you can get in that camera, and then make the changes later. Now, I'm not going to show you how to make the changes because why should I? I've got Alex Lindsay here, our Photoshop wizard. Come on over, Alex. It's great to see you. You've showed hey. up finally, huh? <laughs> For the last yeah. three hours yeah. of, of, my, of my death throes Got here. Uh, come on around here right. so we can uh, get you in the shot better. Now, did I answer that right when I said don't do it in the camera? Get as much information right. you as you always can. Wanna, you always want to have all the information because there's a right. lot of different ways to... Uh, uh, to do a lot of different things, and so if you if you commit to it in the camera, then you're gonna you'll never be, be able to, well, and you'll never be able to pull any of the information back out. Right. Now let me see if I can find Adobe Photoshop on here, and you can show us. Now we have an old version of Photoshop. I hope you won't turn up your nose at this, but this is Photoshop six, oh. two versions oh. old. And now it, I'm gonna load in an image, and, and you could just show us uh, what you would do. We have a lot of images uh, on here. I don't even know what these are. Well, that's black and white. We should start with a color picture, shouldn't we? There is a nice rose. Wouldn't we like to make that a black and white rose? How would we go about doing it? Actually, that might be a bad choice because of the red on the black like that. No, it's fine. It's fine. Is it? It, it, okay. With any of these, the, there's a couple different ways that you can uh, that you can go about this. Um, one is right, to do you walk exactly. me through it. All right, all right. So, Teach me tonight. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. That's a song. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, one of the ways that you can do it is, is uh, you can do what, what he had suggested, which is to... Um, do it in the camera and well, desaturate. Can, well, no, no, not in the camera, but what you can actually do here is if you go up to image... Image. Um, and adjust. Adjust. And you'll see a, a huge saturation. Ah. See, now here, if you pull the saturation down there... Desaturate the colors. Now this is all, this is one way to do it. Now, now what you're going to get is a that's a, a that's black and white rose. a black and white image. Okay. It's a, it really black and white's not doesn't do it justice. I mean it's it's got some better tonal range than that. But you can see you could even go through you can you can you can yeah you can if you wanted something to look more see you know see you know you can right. really bring stuff down that way. So this is one way to get to get at it. Now see Kenny the nice thing is you still have that high quality image if you decide you don't want to make it black and white you want to do something else with it you haven't you, the information is still there. Right. Now there's another way to do it. Okay, let me, let let me close the desaturation. Now you can also go up to um, if you go back up to image. Is this hard for you to do this? What? <laughs> I'm not used to getting a lot I know, of ones. But so I like it, was, it uh, like yeah, this. This so, is good. Alright. Um, now what you can also do is uh, go into um, and my mind just my mind just turned off. Ah, there we go. Uh, Go into mode. You've, you haven't used one of one, this old Photoshop six and so on. Yeah. Should I just make it a grayscale? Yeah. You know, um, See, that's what me as the as the moron would do. Now, what that's going to do? Now, if you go to grayscale, go ahead and do that. Discard color information. Now that's that's, that's exactly what that's exactly what happened when you brought it back. It's the same thing as desaturating. The same thing as desaturating. Ah. Now I the see. now the now if you go into the channels, another thing that you can look at is if you look at these channels here. We've, we've looked at this before when you've been, been on Call for Help on right. Wednesdays. You've got the red channel, you've got the green channel, and you've got the blue channel. Yeah. Now, sometimes what, you, what, what can be the most effective is to start combining these different channels together. Now, Interesting. And to be honest, that's a whole, you know, for me to describe it might be a whole tip and trick for okay. me to, to so kind of we'll to that. sort that out. But, but even this but, gives us a pretty good looking image. If I just take the red channel, because I guess it's a red rose, right? You, well, yeah, th now you're going to get a lot of the white in there. And now the other thing you could do is you could possibly take the um, red channel and copy it to a new layer, you know, and, and, then, and then start combining the red and the green. Uh, so I have two copies of red. Maybe turn both of those on. And well, then no, 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 no. The, um, have the red and the green. You, well, anyway, you can start playing mixing. With this. Yeah, you can start Got using it. all of the channels and recombining them to get more contrast. Because the problem with the red is that you have a... Uh, it's kind of blown out. It's yeah, kind of blown out. Yeah. The green is too is too dark by that itself. Ain't work. So what we can start doing is mixing those channels back together, Got and it. we can get that high contrast that you would normally get with a black and white film. That's what See, you want. See, the thing is, is, what you don't want is if you just take it and desaturate it, or just pull out the the black and white information, you get this kind of dull look when I you want had a, a real vibrant. Range. Yeah. And, and so what happens is you can start mixing these uh, channels uh, right. back together, and you can use them to um, to, to create something that looks vibrant. Right. Um, and and, I'll, and what I'll do is that's a, it's a great 
Do we do a full one? We'll do. We'll All right, do a full that's one. good. That would later on in Call for Help. Every Wednesday, Alex joins us on Call for Help, and he could show us some great tricks. The key, though, is you want, and a great black and white photo has this, a large range of, right. co of shades of black and white. Right, you get this really rich, um, intense look. Right. I and mean, that's what you really want out of that black and white photo, right. and so that's... Well, that's I hope you're watching, one. Kenny, and I hope that helps. That's a great question, we thank you so much for asking. And coming up, more calls. Alex is going to be here for the next three hours. We want those Photoshop calls particularly. What happened to my collar here? And we're going to get Kevin's top five picks for must-have downloads for a new PC. You've seen Sarah's. What does Kevin have to offer? We'll find out as the Call for help -a -thon continues. Now an hour number... What, nine? Ay, ay, ay. Stay here. Ten? Ten? Wish you hadn't told me that. Hurry in to Circuit City's Red Dot Sale today. Look for the red dot and get extra savings in every department. Save up to $430 on desktop packages and notebook computers. Save up to $75 on digital cameras. And save on mobile and portable DVD players, too. Like this 5.8-inch widescreen portable DVD player, just $169.99 after price break and mail-in rebate. Don't miss the savings at our huge red dot sale. Circuit City, we're with you. This is a place you don't want to be. Not if your plaque or stains in your teeth and deep between. Because here you'll meet the new Sonic Air Elite by Philips. With patented Sonic technology, its bristle tips move three times faster than all other leading power toothbrushes for a cleaning experience unlike any other. Like that, only smaller. Sonic Air Elite reaches deep between teeth and below the gum line. It reduces coffee, tea, and tobacco stains and reverses gingivitis. More dental professionals use the Sonic Air brand themselves than any other power toothbrush for deep cleaning that goes beyond mere brushing. For whiter teeth and healthier gums in 28 days, guaranteed. Ask your dental professional about the new Sonic Air Elite or visit us at sonicare.com. Stop brushing. Start Sonic Air. We were over our heads in credit card debt and looking for a way out. A number of companies said they would help us, but they were only interested in charging huge upfront fees and putting us further into debt. Credit Guard of America was different. Credit Guard of America won't put you further into debt. As a nonprofit service, we've helped thousands of people for over 11 years. We work with you and your creditors to reduce your monthly payments so you can get on with life. Credit Guard of America cut my monthly payments in half. They cut my interest rate from an average of 23% to 8%. Some even went to zero. I'll be out of debt in four years instead of 20. Credit Guard of America saved me over $13,000 in interest fees alone. Call now to reduce your monthly payments. Cut the interest rates on your credit cards by up to half and get your unsecured debt paid off years earlier. Don't you owe it to yourself to work with a real nonprofit service? Call now to find out how to receive a free credit report. Certified counselors are standing by. Call 800 213 4632. Want to get your game on? Well, viewers, we've granted your wish. Turn to Tech TV for the best in gaming, gadgets, and fun. Let Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb show you how to turn it on. X Play, weeknights at 11 10 Central, only on Tech TV. Well, we can't get much better than that. I mean, we've got Kenny Rogers on the show now. We've had Elmo, Dr. Elmo of Elmo and Patsy. We've had the fabulous, uh, whatchamacallit, Low, Low Waters. Water. <laughs> Just teasing them. And, uh, and, 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 of course, Diamond Rio, Dana and Jimmy join us. I mean, we, this has been really fun. I don't think we could do any better than the... This. So let's just go home now, okay? Oh, no Cooper. way! Mr. Cooper, we had Mr. Cooper. I forgot. Come on, hanging with Mr. Cooper. We've got many more hours. I'm hanging with hanging with Ms. Cat. That's right. Who do we have on the phone now? All right, it's Ryan from Traverse City, Michigan. He's number 41. Just when I Yeehaw. thought it couldn't get any better, Ryan calls. Hey, Ryan. Hey, how you doing? Leo? I'm so glad you called. I'm doing great. How are you? Good. What can we do for you today on our help-a-thon? I am looking for a good organizer program for yeah. my laptop. For your laptop. Okay. Windows or Mac? Windows. Okay. Uh, what would good mean to you? Well, I'm looking for something that has a calendar, a uh, calendar day planner, yep. a to-do list, yep. 
over all my contacts. And something I'm pr looking for is I want to be able to have, like, a database with it. So if I typed in mm. search car, it'd be able to tell me all my oil changes, my oh, to-do list for cars, stuff like that. Mm. All right. Now, Outlook, of course, is what most Windows users use because that comes with Microsoft Office, and most of them have a copy of that. I take it you don't have Outlook. I have it, but I'm trying to get away from Microsoft. Ah, all right. I can understand that. Well, this doesn't have that database, but it has every other feature you'd want. This is absolutely free from Palm. Believe it or not, even if you don't have a Palm PDA, you can download the uh, Palm desktop, which is, which is a great uh, piece of software. Now, in order to do this, you have to go to the Palm One site, palmone.com, and you have to pick the program. I'm going to see, let's see, we're going to search. Uh, actually, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to, uh, let's look in support. And you'll, then what will happen is they'll send you an email. Uh, you, can, you can even lie and you can say, oh, yeah, I have a Zyre 71. That's what I've got there. And then you'll find the Palm Desktop software here somewhere. There it is, Palm Desktop for Windows. And in order to download it, they'll ask for your email address. And uh, you fill that out, and they'll send you an email. So, do we have it installed on any of the systems, Roger? Did we ever get that? Fortunately, no. No, all right. So that's one solution. The nice thing about that, it's free. It does all of the things except I like your idea of this searchable database. For that, you'd kind of almost want a free-form contact manager that you just dump stuff into and then search through. Let me show you a couple of, uh, of uh, other ones, and uh, then maybe I'll have a solution that might help. One of the programs I used to use and like a lot is now, from now software, is now up to date, which is another uh, great program. Now, it's not free, but you can download it for free and try it for free. In fact, I just installed it on here. We have it on PC1? All right, I'll tell you what. Let me start the uh, installation of the now up to date. Do I have it? I guess I didn't put it on this machine. And we'll go over here and on PC1. There it is, the Palm Desktop. Take, take a look at this, Ryan. There's the, uh, there's the date book. There's the address book, the to-do list. You could use these memos as this kind of a database, but it's not going to allow you to search the whole thing. I think this is a, I have to say, I think this is a pretty good program for free. And again, you don't have to have a palm to use it. I like now up to date. That's a nice program. I'm thinking, though, you want more like a freeform database, don't you? Sounds about right. You know, Ask Sam is a program that's been around for a long time. Let's see if I can get to the Ask Sam website here. Oh, I don't know. There, maybe it's surfsaversoftware.com. Uh, is that it? Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe they've rechanged it. What it was is a freeform database, and this is, they, it looks like they've transmogrified it. Uh, and the idea was you just dump everything. Here it is, Ask Sam. It's a freeform. You just dump everything into it, and then you can search it, and there's a free trial here. So I think this might be something, considering what you just told me about the, uh, the searchable, this might be it. It's a freeform database. Unlike a, a standard contact or PIM, it, uh, you don't say, this is the phone number, this is the uh, name, this is the address. You just dump everything in there. And you can search it. You can have records. It has a lot of functionality because it has some intelligence. It knows when a phone number is a phone number, things like that. I think that's more like what you want. So it's surfsaver.com. Well, actually, it is asksam.com www.asksam.com, and you can download the trial version of it. And I don't think it's too uh, expensive if you want to buy it. I know people have used this for years and are very happy using it as a contact manager. Particularly if you want that, you know, search for anything in the database. Okay, Ryan? Sounds good. Yeah, get, there's, a, there's a free one. There's a, there's a less free one, uh, the now contact and up to date, and I love that. A great program, but it costs money. You can try it for free. And then here's a free, one, uh, free trial, anyway, of a program that's a little bit different from your standard PIM, uh, but a really a good one. I think really kind of a neat program. I hope one of those will work for you. Now it's time for uh, part two of the best programs you could install on your PC. We heard from Sarah. Yes, I've got my top five, but first we have to tell you, we pulled a little prank on old poor Dan. Uh -oh. We had our executive producer, Paul Block, tell him that he had to put on the elf costume. Here's Dan right here. Take a look at Dan. That's, that's Dan in the, in the elf costume right there. He doesn't look happy. Now, I have to say, they may have told him the costume. Nobody said anything about the wig. I think, Dan, you're enjoying this a little yes, bit too much. that's not true. He's such a cute little page boy. He's, He's very attractive. Oh, I love it. I love so my top five apps, top five applications can for a new PC. Can you top Fufu? I can top him. All right, let's start with number one. Number one is, you'd like Huzzah, 
everybody likes Kazaa. Everybody's well, used Kazaa in the past, but sure. it's been full of ads and things like that. Yes. Then came it's a, a version of Kazaa, the Kazaa K++ edition. Right. That got banned. You yeah. can't find that anywhere. Well, you, you can't can, find it on Google. But we're not going to recommend that you find it. Yeah, Kazaa chased them and, and took it off. Yeah, it's hard to find it's nowadays. Hard to find. Google's actually removed the results. But mm -hmm. here's ah. one here's one little legal add-on we have here. It's called Diet Kazaa. <laughs> For those who want to trim their Kazaa, just yes, sad. Exactly. Right. What it does basically is once you launch it, it's going to look at your existing Kazaa and then rip out all the adware. So this little application right here is going to look at all those DLLs that Kazaa has and just like completely rip it out. All right. And then you can launch Kazaa like you normally would and you'll have the same old good Kazaa that you like but without any ads. Now that's great. It's pretty cool. And this is running freely and nobody's, nobody's upset with Diet Kazaa? Kazaa isn't going after them? Kazaa can't really go after them that I, that I know of because they're not actually using any parts of Kazaa. Well, they're just go. modifying. The name, well, I don't know about that. Well, they call it Diet K. <laughs> Diet K is Diet what their K. official name is for it. So. All right. Anyway, that's number one. Okay. Number two, number WinRAR. Two. WinRAR. Everybody likes WinZip for extracting files, creating new archives, things like this. Exactly. Uh, but WinRAR, I, I tend to like a little better. First of all, RAR, the .rar file format, mm -hmm. is kind of a little bit of an underground file format. A lot of people use it to trade files mm -hmm. and things like that. Sure. And also, this supports so many, this actually supports more types of compression than WinZip does. It has a list of like 15 different types of compression from ACE to like, uh, you know, GZIP files to like, you name it, it supports all these different types, even ISOs, it can browse within ISO images. So it's a great little program. It's called WinRAR. I really like it. So you can do anything. You can you can unzip anything the way you would WinZip uh -huh. with a lot better features. Exactly. Great. Next one is uh, this one's called SciMeter. Oh, cool. I, I like this one a lot. It's really cool. It's basically a meter that runs. Let me uh, let me pull this out here so you can see it. Uh, take a zoom in on that. What this is going to do is it's going to monitor your CPU activity, right. your your network activity. So if you're downloading files, you can see it how many kilobytes you're downloading, Matt. So you can tell how fast your internet connection well, let's is. Let's say it's it's you know locked up and you go, gosh, what is going on? It would be through the roof. Exactly. Exactly. You can see that you're actually 100% maxed out. Mm -hmm. Your hard drive activity, also how much hard drive space you have in your memory. So it's basically just a little application that sits in the corner of your screen and you just take a glance at it from time to time to see what's going on. Completely I like free. This. I really like it. I actually created a skin. Yeah, it's completely skinnable. It's actually pretty cool <laughs> they too. They have a list of skins. One is called the Sarah Meter. So you can download <laughs> Sarah's skin called the Sarah Meter. I have funny hobbies. Okay, next one. Next one is called Smart FTP. I don't know, Leo, have you checked out Smart FTP at all? I've never used that. Oh, it's, an it's, it's an FTP client? Or yeah. Server. FTP client. Yeah. It's really cool because it's free and it's awesome. It's it's probably the best FTP client that I've used and it's free. And you I'll were using Qt FTP for a while and you like it so much better. Well, I like Qt FTP a lot, but they, they charge for it. I've also I've used pretty much That's every FTP client that there is. And uh, and this one I just tell you the features that it has as far as being able to open up uh, multiple sessions at once. It has a really good um, speed uh, diagram here when you're downloading files. It shows you where you're pulling it from and which individual oh, files awesome. are getting pulled down. It shows nice little graphs and charts of what you're pulling down and it's free for non-commercial use. Can't you beat can't that. You can't beat that. All right, last one. Last one. Hold on, let me exit this here. This is, is of course iTunes. Of course. Have to say iTunes. I love it. AAC files sound great and it works great with my new iPod. Thanks dad for the iPod. Love that. <laughs> he got an iPod too. Yeah. Yeah. iTunes. It's an obvious one, but it's a good one. Who doesn't like iTunes? Yeah, iTunes That's is a great such little application. A good little interface. Good stuff. That is our list. You have now 10 downloadable programs, oh. all free. Pretty much. All free. I think so. Yeah, all mine were free. Mine were free too. Ten free programs you can download onto your brand new computer that will help you out and no funny business. All right. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, kids. Go get some eggnog. We'll see the table dancing later. Woo! Right. I could have used a little more cowbell. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a fever. A fever for cowbells. Here is uh, now up to date. I downloaded and installed it. This is the free trial. That's the contact man. I mean the uh, calendar. And a, a very nice. I think it's very pretty. It, it kind of betrays its Mac origins. There's a Mac and Windows version. There's the now contact manager. This is very nice. I'm downloading Ask Sam. It's a little slow, but when I get all of Ask Sam on here, all 23 megabytes, I'll install it and give you a little look at that for our questioner about uh, a good free form f file uh, manager. Now, coming up next. I know many of you got a new digital camera for the holidays, right? And, and, and the instruction manuals. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's nice to have them, but no one wants to read them. We got something much better for you. We've got a walking, talking instruction manual. Alex Lindsay from DV Garage. He's going to get us all on the road to better photos right after this as the Helpathon continues. Stay here.
Samsung, it's extraordinary. Driven by DNIE technology, Samsung LCD TV, the power of LCD. I can assure you the bank's closing costs are very competitive. I'll just open these blinds to let in a little extra light. <laughs> Consolidate bills and lower your monthly payments now with a no-closing cost home equity loan from Ditech.com. That's impossible! Get the cash you need now from Ditech.com. Lost another loan to Ditech. Log on to Ditech.com or call 1-800-DITECH-1. Yo, what are you doing? Playing team ball, Gary. What are you doing? Trying to go baseline if you let me. His D's been pretty tough today. You're right. Get back on the court, glove. <laughs> With NBA Shootout 2004, you're in control. Sports ready for everyone. Introducing the first SUV with a power sliding rear roof. Whoa. The new GMC Envoy XUV. Professional grade engineering. It's not more than you need, just more than you're used to. Can I get some music, please? Haven't seen Unscrewed lately? Take a look at what you're missing. I'm like a Greek god in Adonis. You gotta turn off the stove, Billy. Quit coughing, Billy. Do you think the aliens from outer space wear a lot of doodads on their hands? No. Besides dressing up as a blue bunny, do you have any skill? This is awkward. Unscrewed. Weeknights at 11.30, 10.30 Central. Only on Tech TV. I'm just getting started here. We're in the 10th hour of our call for Helpathon, a 12-hour all-day marathon from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Just one purpose in mind here. We just want to help you with your new technology, whether it's your digital camera, your video camera, your new PC or Mac, wh whatever you need help with. That's what we're here for. And of course, we've got the Brain Trust here with us, Kat Schwartz and Kevin Rose and Sarah Lane and, and, uh, and lots of other people, too. In fact, uh, Alex Lindsay is here, our friend uh, from a DV Garage, our Photoshop expert. Alex, if you've never seen Call for Help, Alex joins us every Wednesday with great Photoshop tips. And in this case, he's joined us with a dead Mac. What's going on, dude? <laughs> I, uh, right, before the, right before I came on, I swapped the battery, and for and, some reason... And the Mac's now unhappy. I've done some kind of Press connection. Press and hold that button for a few seconds to turn, make sure the thing's turned off completely. Sometimes the Mac can get kind of stuck. And once you're sure that it's uh, turned off, which it probably is by now, now try it and see if you can get it to start up. I, I do hope now you just knocked off my computer. <laughs> See, it's gonna be one of those things. Well, that was weird. It just went. Uh, you, it just went dark. Look at that. I don't know. <laughs> I was fine before I started there. So, it's yeah. your fault, Lindsay. Hold on, let me let me see if I can. It really wants to have this. You think thing it's? Here. You think oh, it's? It came on. Yeah. You see, you, you gotta listen to Leo. I just, I just got panicked. So I'll tell you what. Uh, we're, we, uh, what is, what is the deal? Were we gonna answer a question? Or were we you gonna question, show us a demo? We had demo? a question that was coming in later. So now I'm gonna throw everybody a curve. No, 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 no. But I can do it. We're, well, no, that's all right. So you're booting up. Why don't we take a break while it's booting up? Let's take a minute or two now to get. Give us a second. Going. You want to wait? I, or I can answer that question and we can. All right. We got her on the line. Is that? Uh, uh, all right. Uh, so we got Craig hustling. Old Baldy is working oh, real. Come on. Old Baldy. Well, hey, he left us for uh, for unscrewed. I think I can mock him a little bit. Hey. It's nice to have you back, though. Who we got? Tori on the line. Tori from Lincoln, Rhode Island. Hey, Tori, Lincoln, Rhode Island. Hi. Well, that's great. I grew up in Providence, just down the road a ways. How are you doing, uh, Tori? Wonderful, and you? I'm very, very well. Now, is uh, is Lincoln where the Greyhound track is? Yes, it is. That's what I thought. Yep. <laughs> it's been also, many? Um, Leo, I had a good laugh for you. Oh, yeah? My maiden name is Laporte. No! Yep. Got any relatives in Cumberland? Yeah, well, I'll tell you, you know, when I lived in Providence, Laporte's a very common French-Canadian name. Yes. And when I lived in Providence, there were literally, I'm not joking, 21 Leo Laportes in the phone book. Oh, wow. Now, we're all related. <laughs> but 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 distantly, Tori. <laughs> Tori Laporte, I'll be darned. From uh, and you grew up in Cumberland. 
I grew up in Lincoln. My dad is from Cumberland. From Cumberland. Well, you know, my dad, who is also Leo Laporte, goes every uh, few years back to Montreal, mm -hmm. where the original Laportes came from. And apparently, all us Laportes, and there are 20 or 30,000 in the country, came, descended from one uh, woman who came over uh, from France, went to uh, M Montreal, and, and, and was very prolific. <laughs> so, That's Tori, what I, my, my grandmother originated was from Montreal. Montreal. Sure, you bet. So we are distantly, maybe not so distantly, related. <laughs> well, in that case, we're going to give you extra special treatment, Tori. Oh, I love that. <laughs> so now, Alex, I don't know what's going on. Oh, your, your hard drive is being checked. All right. <laughs> so, Tori, give us your question, and we'll see. If we can get into Photoshop, we'll do it, and, uh, and, and we can help you. What's your question? Okay, we have some very, very old glass negatives. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they're like turn-of-the-century type things. Glass negatives. Yeah. How big are they? Um, they range in size. Those are mm -hmm. precious items. Yeah. Are they like eight by tens or little? Or? Um, some of them are very little. Yeah. Some of them are large. Some of them, you know. So, so the first thing you want to do is preserve them, I imagine. Yes. Get them into the computer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How would you scan a glass negative? Um, that was my question. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what What you need is there's a there's actually for a lot of scanners you can find a. Uh, it's a uh, transparency adapter. Because most so scanners light. do it by reflecting light off right. something. Now, that's not going to work with any kind of negative, including a glass transparency, because what you want is light shining through it into the pickup. Right. So you either have to get an adapter. Now, the adapters don't work too well. They're just little mirrors. No, no, there's, but they have big adapters that sit on top of the scanners better. that are big light behind that's it. That's what so you it's, want. So it's, it's fully lit. It's, it's as if it was a, the scanner coming from below, but it's above. And, it's, uh, and it'll light it from, from behind. And that's really what you're going to need to do any kind of transparency scanning. Okay. Does it, Are they expensive? Uh, it depends on the scanner. Um, usually, uh, and I, off the top of my head, I think that they're usually in the $200 range on top of whatever your scanner costs okay. um, to get something like that. So All that's, right. you know, it, it's probably something you more, might more, be more likely to rent or to go to a service A lot of times you're better them. off, when you, when you, if you have a hard scanning uh, problem, you're better off to take it into somewhere that they do, do this kind of scanning. Depends mm -hmm. on how many you have. If you've got... 50 of them, then get a... We have more than that. You have more than that? Then, then what you're going to want to do is invest... I mean, if, if, if this is something that's really important to you, you're going to want to invest in a, in a great scanner. Yeah. Um, DPI is going to be a big thing, you know, dots per inch. How mm -hmm. high can that scanner... Uh, what resolution can it scan at optically? So don't let them do any funny business about how it can interpolate the, uh, you know, it'll say 4800 by 4800 interpolated. Just ignore that number. Okay. What you want to know is that what, how, how, what the resolution is optically because when you have really little images that you're scanning, that is going to make a huge difference on, on how big an image you get into Photoshop. All right, we're, we're out of time. We're going to take a break. But before you go, Tori, this is the web page of all Laporte's worldwide. Laporte St. George. We're all all descended from that. And by the way, there is our family motto, yours and mine, Tori, ad posse, ad esse, which means we'll be right back after this break. Stay right here. Okay, remember, we're just checking out prices. So no matter what they say, we're not buying yet. Right. What's running through your veins? Ice water. Right. Can't face it. So with Circuit City's Price Match Plus, you're covered on price. Well, take it. <laughs> Go ahead. Take it. If you find a lower price within 30 days of purchase, we'll give you back 110% of the price difference. Circuit City, we're with you. Nice game face. You didn't even see it coming. What's crucial to me? What's crucial to me? Making the most of my time. Speed. Getting more and paying less. Doing things the right way. What's crucial to me? Staying on top of everything. Making my computer last another year. Doing seven things at once. That's why I made sure I have enough memory. And now my computer can keep up with me. So that you can focus on what's important to you, Crucial makes it easy to select, purchase, and install memory upgrades. Memory, it's crucial.
Didn't exactly get what you wanted this year. Get into Gateway for storewide savings on PCs, TVs, cameras, and more. Savings up to $500 on our hottest products, including our multimedia PCs featuring Intel Pentium 4 processors. Save $400 on the perfect complement to your PC, America's best-selling plasma. It's under $2,500 after purchase of wall mount and mail-in rebates. Hurry in for up to $500 in savings storewide. Get the box from Gateway. I'm looking at him right now. He's perfect. The new Jetta. For some people, it's a perfect fit. Welcome back. Time for the Wired World Challenge. We're doing it every hour in the Helpathon, and since this is hour number ten, it must be our tenth challenger. Who's on the line, Kat? Uh, I'm just I'm talking to Morgan here, and she says hi to everyone. So is she going to she, yes, show she is up? Gonna is call she going to call a little bit okay, if we need right. if we need her to? We always need Morgan. She's ready. She's Good. smiling at me online. Aww. Hi, Morgan. On the phone for the Wired World Challenge, it's Chris from Manhasset, New York. Hey, Chris, how are you? I'm doing good, and yourself? I'm doing very fine, very fine. Now, I'm going to give you a chance to win something, all right? I hope so. Here's how this works. I'm going to give you four categories. You pick one. I'll give you a question from that category. You answer it right in 15 seconds or less. You know what happens? You get the I win a great prize. Well, not yet. you got to pick a number from the big board. And i got to tell you what we've been doing here. As prizes are won on the board, we take that prize off and replace it with a book, my book. So, so at least 10 of those numbers... You ain't going to win a great prize. You're going to win my book. Ah! <laughs> so yeah, I hope you've been following the show and you know which ones have un, uh, uh, you know, not been guessed yet. All right? Actually, my mom has been keeping record for sure. me. Sure. So you share the prize with mom. Yeah, sure. <laughs> all right, here are your categories. Are you ready? Sure. We got innovators. I'm sorry, technology innovators, space acronyms, inventors, and sci-fi book titles. Which one would you like? Hmm. Um, what does mom say? Space acronyms. Oh, is mom good at space acronyms? No, mom's not here now. <laughs> just with my wife, Jane. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. All right, we got NASA. Okay, what does that first A in NASA stand for? The National... Aeronautics. Aeronautics and Space Administration. You're absolutely right. I'm picking up it from 1 to 25. Big one. Good number. What do you got? Um, number five. I don't think anybody's guessed that one. What's under number five? Hey, you got go live. This is a great program. If you're going to do a website, you are interested in web design? Yes, yeah, somewhat. Thank you. Oh, this is it's a wonderful great. product. Go Live from Adobe Corporation. It is, a, it is a great way to, it's very expensive, a couple hundred bucks for this program, uh, several hundred bucks, and it's a great way to design and manage, more importantly, manage a website. One, a, really a wonderful program. So congratulations. Oh, great. Thank you very You've much. You've got a nice a prize. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you. Unfortunately, you don't win this fabulous book. Uh, maybe next time. Are you a lucky guy? <laughs> and don't look in the box, because there's no book in the box. The Wire World Challenge is happening every day. In fact, it's happening every hour during our help -a-thon. So stay tuned for another chance to play next hour. If you want to play with us during our regular show, make sure you go to the website and register to play. We're still rolling along like a herd of turtles. After the break, we're going to check the email, wrap up this hour, get set for hour number 11. The call for help -a -thon is on the air. You stay right here. Dave, Brian, are these your consultants? They're providing an ongoing assessment. We're on a standardized Dell Linux solution. Power Edge servers, Intel Xeon processors. What about assessment? Validation, deployment. Dell services are proven and scalable end to end. They're customer centric. We're more uh, contractually inseparable. Manage your enterprise for less with the flexibility of Dell products and services. Call or go online today. After finishing his worldwide rounds, Santa's getting some well-deserved R&R. He's not thinking about the stuff he forgot. But Radio Shack is. We've got the things you need to make the stuff Santa brought work. Including accessories for PlayStation, Nintendo, and Xbox, so you can enjoy the rest of the holidays. He sure is. 
Radio Shack. You've got questions, we've got answers. The newly redesigned 2004 Pontiac Grand Prix. With 260 horsepower to help you get the most out of your ride. And OnStar stolen vehicle tracking to help you get your ride back. Fuel for the soul. There are two kinds of people with hair loss. Those that keep asking, why me? and those that do something about it. I got the permanent solution from the guys who were as determined as I was. You too should make the call. I'm a member of the 72 Dolphins, so I'm not used to losing anything. When I noticed that I was losing my hair, at first I danced around the issue, then I decided to tackle it permanently. These guys are serious about restoring your hair. Look at me. One call, medical hair restoration. Wanting hair on your head isn't being vain, it's only being human. MHR understands this. Not only do they have more doctors who are board certified, but most of them have had the procedure themselves. These guys get it. Make the call. Get your free information package and start regrowing your own hair permanently. Plus, call now and get $300 worth of additional grafts. One call. 1-800-670-7961. That's 1-800-670-7961. The Helpathon still on the air. They never said we could do it. They thought we couldn't do it, Kat. We're here. It is almost 9 p.m. and we're still alive. Mm -hmm. You feel pretty good, don't you? I feel great. I feel fine. I'm fine. It's easy. It's easy. Let's do 20 hours. I could keep going if you want to. I'm gonna go. I'll go as long as we. They could turn the cameras off. We'll just keep answering questions. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what? Uh, what do you got? An email there? Anything okay. we can answer quickly? Because I want to get that number higher. Why? This is gonna be number. 42. 42. Oh, that's a good Why number. Why does a video card have memory on it? Well, to understand that, you need to understand what a video card is doing and how it works. In the early days, by the way, they didn't have memory. They used memory, but they used system memory. In order to get a display on the screen, what happens is the processor sends data to the video card, uh -huh. which then turns it into a picture. Uh -huh. Now, it doesn't want to turn it into a picture on the screen because you'll see it drawing. So it draws it off screen and then blasts it onto screen. 60, 30 times a second. So the idea is it's kind of, the, the memory in a video card is kind of backstage. It's where the picture is getting created so that it can then blast it onto the screen as fast as your screen can refresh. Cool. So that's why it has memory. Thank you. Wow, we have, uh, we've got uh, uh, 10 hours down, two yeah. hours to go, yeah. and I feel great. Sweet. Coming up next hour, we've got Kevin and Sarah, a whole lot more. I hope you're making it all right. You feeling okay? We'll send you some coffee. The call for help Helpathon continues. Stay here. Hi, call for help. <laughs> hey, call for help is on. A zuba doo boo. Hour number eleven. The call for helpathon is on. Nurse Brett is going to check me. He's got. You know what that's called? You have any idea what that's called? Cuff. That's, no, it's an asphygmal mammometer. Yeah. Yeah. That's the big. You going to check my BP? And a couple other things. What are you going to do with that? Yeah, you don't want to know. In this hour, Kevin and Sarah are going to show us how to install a brand new DVD or CD-ROM drive. Uh, we did have Dave Manichetti, and I'd mentioned this before, so I want to tell you, we had from Y&T, we were going to have him on. He's not feeling well. Dave, get better. That's fine. We, you know, come back anytime. But what we are going to do, since we don't have Dave, is answer as many questions as we can. A real chance for us. You're cutting off my circulation, Nurse Brett. Yeah! We're gonna <laughs> we want to get, I don't know, what do we want? We want uh, uh, at least 60 calls on the now... <laughs> I don't like that sound on the now yeah. serving. Kat, would you, while Brett checks me, will you uh, please tell oh. everybody how to get a hold of us? Yes. Not how to, how to get a hold of me, though. Sure, no, you don't want to see what's going right. on over there. Yeah. Should I cough? If you want to participate yeah. on this show, give us a call. 
Keep it together. The number is 888-989-7879. You can email your questions to call for help. Is that at sterilized? Dot com. <laughs> If you're an international viewer, go ahead and send us an email. We're going to be here all day long, and maybe we'll get the chance to answer your question live on the show. And if you have a netcam, head into the netcam cineplex chat room, techtv.com, slash call for help. Go to the interact section, and we'll get you on the show. And at the end of this hour, and all throughout the show, I'm going to be looking at the message boards we have set up just for the call for help-a-thon, so go in there and post. Are you guys done? Is it either this man is dead or my watch is stopped. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take another call. That's oh, kind of fun. Oh, we have Mr. Unscrewed himself. Marty Sargent is here. Hey, Marty. Hey, Marty Sargent. How are you, dude? Hey, happy holidays, people. There hey, he's he on the net cam. Now, where are you? Are you, uh, are you uh, on the road? Are you home? Where are you? Uh, I'm home in Spencerport, New York, and it's very, very cold here. <laughs> Marty grew up. This is upper New York State. Right. This is on the, the banks of the Erie Canal. Marty grew up in a very cold climb. Is it's there like two degrees here. Two degrees <laughs> Kelvin. <laughs> Kelvin, that's that's pretty cold. Uh, is there snow on the ground? Uh, there, there's not. No. no, there was, but it's all it's all frozen it's now. All it's, frozen. Just, it's just ice. It's Fro slick ice. They call that tundra. That's exactly. Frozen tundra. So, so I've been watching the Colathon all day long. Oh, man. don't lie to me. I have. It's awesome. You I'm must like right there with you. Every time you change your shirt, I change my scarf. <laughs> It's a lot of fun. I feel like I'm, there. I'm kind of pretending like I'm you. I thought you were going to say I changed my shorts, but obviously you haven't done that in a while. My so. new scarf on. Yeah, that's cool. Now, do you wear, uh, is it one of those six-foot scarves? Those long it, scarves? It, I have several. I have a scarf collection here in Spencerport. <laughs> There's not much else to do. Do you have a good holiday? Not, what's that? Do you have a good Christmas? I had a wonderful Christmas. That's I had some great. wonderful gifts. Uh, I got a new ninja suit. <laughs> yeah. As well as a grappling hook. He calls his jammies ninja suits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. I'm yeah, serious. Yeah. The government wants me to do some special ops work uh, north of the DMZ, so <laughs> I kind of needed this stuff. <laughs> you know, you can never have too many grappling hooks, yeah, I That's find. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, what, are your, what are your plans for New Year's Eve? Anything? I'm going to be back in San Francisco, so I was thinking, you're going to have your annual poker game? Am I invited to that this you year? You bet, you bet. The whole right, unscrewed crew is invited. Cool. Hey, can, I, can I ask a tech question? Sure. So one of my uh, rich and beautiful TV friends, they got one of those uh, <laughs> plasma TVs, you know, the ones that yeah. they've been advertising, the yeah. thin ones? No kidding. And she wants to know if it's actually a good idea to hang it over her bed like that smart-looking couple does on the TV commercial. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, if you can get the mirror out of the way, I think it'd be just fine. You know, yeah, it's okay. You're never in hang. She lives I, in Hollywood. I, in my opinion, never hang anything over the bed. Yeah, that's just asking for trouble. But, you know but seriously, saying? like, you know, they always show those things on the, on the TV. That yeah, there's never any wires. I mean, yeah. is that realistic? No, that you it's do not. That? Is there any way to wirelessly connect the TV to your receivers and all that stuff? Yeah, actually, we have a, a friend of the uh, show and a, a big fan of yours who lives just around the corner from here, and I've been over to his place, and he decided he wanted a wireless plasma, and in order to do that, he had to drill holes in the wall, run the wires through the wall, put the equipment in the closet, because, yeah, of course, Marty, you're absolutely right. You not only need a plug, but you've got to connect the input, the DVD or the, or the TV tuner to that thing, and you're going to have a lot of wires. So it isn't, it isn't realistic, absolutely. It's, it's really not. They make them no. look better on the commercial. Not unless you want to so put holes in your walls. you've got to drill a lot of holes in your walls. Yes, absolutely. Nothing gotcha. but. Hey, Marty. I'll let her know. She works for HDTV. She can, she can afford that stuff. Oh, really? Who, is, this a, is this a new love interest? Anything we should no. know about? No. Come on. Just someone I met on the internet. Who? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when, when, when are we going to see wedding bells for Martin Sark? I don't know. Speaking of love interest, Kevin and Sarah are starting to creep me out. I know what you mean. As I've been watching them throughout <laughs> the cold <laughs> time. We have, 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 he's just jealous. That's right. <laughs> don't, don't take it personally, kids. I think they're a good-looking, scrubbed young couple, don't you? They look so wholesome. They represent the Aww. best of America. That's that's a, the hope of a, a hope of this country. Hi, Marty. That's Hi, Marty. Hey, we miss you. <laughs> Come back from Fencerport real soon. My now. drinking hey, buddy's gone. Party on New Year's Eve, right? I thought you grew up in Absolutely. Rochester, dude. I, what's where's Spencerport? Well, I say Spencerport because it just sounds so much more bucolic. Spencerport's the ugly, ugly step kid of Rochester. Oh, or is something. it? It's like a, a <laughs> suburb of Rochester. Really nice. It's kind of tough though. It's the wrong side of the track. Hey, give, now is this your? Uh, is this your? Uh, where, where are we? Are you in your bedroom? Where are you? I'm in. I'm in uh, what we call the laundry room. Can you show us a little bit of the laundry room here? Yeah, I was sure show you on the laundry room. Yeah. I'm going over here. That's that's the closet where my mom hides all the uh, the ripple. <laughs> and I think when you were a kid you spent a lot of time in there, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Sure did. Yeah. You know. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You'll handle it. She does a shot of schnapps. <laughs>
<laughs> your poor mother. I've met your mother. She's a very nice woman. Isn't she wonderful? Yeah, when she's sober. <laughs> hey, can I have a prize? <laughs> Shut up! What? What? Okay, you have a question? Did you no, say? I have a prize. Yeah, you have a prize. I'll give you a prize. I got this lozenge I've been sucking on. Would wow. you like it? No, I want, I'll pick number eight off the big board. All right. Number eight. What's number behind number eight? Dan, hey, congratulations. Dan, number eight. You win a copy of my book. Yes. Leo Laporte's 2004 Yay. Technology Almanac. In fact, Marty, ding, ding, ding. you're in here. Yes. We've got some sort of, there's a crappy picture of you in here somewhere, if I can it's find it. It's such a terrible picture. It it's a, like it's the worst crying. picture I've ever seen. You, you picked like that picture crying. on purpose to make I you look I did. I did it to humiliate you, you, and I fail, obviously, because you have no <laughs> humility whatsoever. Here. Where is the picture show. of Marty? There's a good yeah, picture so, of Kevin. So the Let them guess. There, there's a good picture. I mean, that's a good picture of Kevin, I think. Everyone Hello? in the book looks great but me. But Marty, well, Marty, if the shoe fits, dude. Hey, I know. I'm not very photogenic. <laughs> no, yeah. you're great. Maybe we can get Alex Lindsay to Photoshop that up. Make yeah. me look presentable. Catch Martin Sargent every uh, weeknight on Unscrewed, 11.30 p.m. Eastern. Now, here's a picture. I found it. I just saw a picture of you. You're wearing a nice turtleneck. You actually look quite presentable there. Kind of dapper, huh? Yeah, you do. You look very... Yeah, very please nice. do watch Unscrewed, 11.30 Eastern Time on Tech TV. Monday it's a wonderful thrill Friday. ride every night. Tonight, we got Sir Richard Branson, Aww. my polo buddy. Oh, he's a virgin. Yeah, that's yeah, the guy. the guy. Yeah. All right. Hey, thanks, Marty. Have a great right. holiday. Happy holidays. Happy everyone. New Year. We'll see you when you come back. Bye. Martin Sargent, ladies and gentlemen, Yay. freezing his you know what off. Coming up next. Wow. Kevin and Sarah will be back to teach you how to put a new DVD or CD drive in your PC. Stay tuned. The call for help with Vaughn continues right after this. Hello? exactly get what you wanted this year. Get into Gateway for store-wide savings on PCs, TVs, cameras, and more. Savings up to $500 on our hottest products, including our multimedia PCs featuring Intel Pentium 4 processors. Save $400 on the perfect complement to your PC, America's best-selling plasma. It's under $2,500 after purchase of wall mount and mail-in rebates. Hurry in for up to $500 in savings store-wide. Get the box from Gateway. It's extraordinary. Driven by DNIE technology, Samsung LCD TV, the power of LCD. Do you have the right truck? The 2004 Chevy Silverado now available with power packs. Get the Silverado extended cab with the light duty power pack, Vortec V8, heavy duty trailering, plus the safe and sound power pack, XM satellite radio, Bose sound system, and the security of one year OnStar safe and sound service. Silverado, now available with power packs. It's the right truck. She needed them. They answered the call. Call of Duty. Rated T for T. Can I get some music, please? Haven't seen Unscrewed lately? Take a look at what you're missing. I'm like a Greek god in Adonis. You gotta turn off the stove, Billy. Quit coughing, Billy. Do you think the aliens from outer space wear a lot of doodads on their hats? No. Dressing up as a blue bunny, do you have any skill? This is awkward. Unscrewed. Weeknights at 11.30, 10.30 Central. Only on Tech TV. You know, I just realized this is the 11th hour. The 11th hour of our 12-hour call for help of fawn It's like Armistice Day, the 11th hour, yeah. And speaking of uh, peace in our time, Kevin and Sarah are going to show you how to upgrade in the your time of PC. Cholera. Yes, peace in the is. time of cholera? Yeah, that was a classic reference nobody got. Okay. No. Kevin's like, that's funny. Uh, yeah. Really. <laughs> ba -bum -bum. All right. 
What are we doing? Yes, we're installing <laughs> a CD burner and or DVD burner. These, okay. were, these were hot gifts this year. So we're ho you're, you're hoping it's a DVD burner, but it might be a CD burner. It might be a CD burner. Dan and got one, Keith too. got one. I I mean, did, they did? Yeah, everybody's getting one. <sighs> I didn't you get, didn't get one. one. No. No. Well, anyway. I got socks. You got more than socks. Well, all right. Okay, so, so anyway, uh, <laughs> what, what, what you have to do now, first thing you got to do is you got to pop out that drive bay, which the empty drive which bay. Which clearly we've already done. Yes, I've already done that. You can take a little screwdriver and just wedge it in there. It'll just normally pop right out. Or sometimes the easiest way to do it is to go ahead and open the PC first and then pop it out from the inside. Well, that seems like the, the safest way to do it, but you're saying you can actually just pop it right out the front. Well, you can. In some some, cases. It depends on the case. Depends on the case. Uh, I think right, that, actually, I, I take that back. The easiest way is probably from the inside. Inside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's getting late. We've already been inside the box today and nobody's afraid anymore. Yeah, nobody's afraid anymore. So we're already inside the box. We have our empty bay and we're waiting for a CD-ROM drive. I have one. This Excellent. is our new, well, let's pretend it's new, no, CD-ROM drive. This is a DVD burner. Actually. DVD burner. Yes. It's DVD uh, right. plus RW. Okay. This is this is a good little piece of machinery. Yeah. We are, we've already mounted the, the guide rails here. Which is very helpful when sliding. Exactly. But uh, most computers will not have these little guide rails. Most of the time, right. you're just going to have to slide it in. Don't I have it? We have an example of yes. if you don't have guide rails. Good, good call. Let me move uh, my laptop out of the way. Yeah. So, Let's do that. So if you don't have guide rails, here's an example of a CD-ROM drive that has been screwed in from the side. These are guide rails also on this other computer if you want to see exactly what we're talking about. Yeah, so these are the extra guide rails that we were talking about. The green about. dudes. They're normally mounted inside the case like this. You can just pull them out when you need them. Uh, but basically you just screw it in, slide it in from the front, and then screw it in from the sides, and then take off the other panel mm -hmm. so that you can screw it in from the other side as well. Because you want to make, really make sure that it's flush with the other drives and that uh, it's nice and secure in there. So it's going to slide in fine. You just have to take a little bit more care that it's properly mounted. Exactly. So let's go ahead and do that with this one. This one, is, like we said, is a little different. Um, we're going to go ahead and just slide it down, and it's going to lock right into place. There we go. Very well. Done. Pretty and as easy. you can see, once the tabs... Uh, are are in the in the appropriate notch. Uh -huh. You've done your deed. Yeah, you'll hear like a nice little click that happens. Mm -hmm. And then this here, uh, this is basically just an audio cable. This will probably come with with the ROM drive. Nine times out of ten, it's going to come with one. You plug it into the audio input. This is what's going to give you audio from your sound uh, from the CD to the sound card. And, and it's you, and the size is perfect, so you're going to know what it is. Exactly, and that goes all the way down. If you take a look here, it goes right into our Sound Blaster card here into the CD input on the on the sound card. Makes perfect sense. Yep. So that's done. Now what we have to do is, like we were talking about before, it works the same way that the hard drives do, and then there's a master and a slave. Okay. So we have two drives here because we're going to want to do things like disk-to-disk -disk copy and stuff like that. You Absolutely. Know, you have a, a yeah. CD or DVD you want to copy. If you have a DVD burner, you want to do it right. Exactly. So uh, basically what we have here is here's our chain. This is our IDE chain. The master and the slave, we have it set to cable select, so this is going to be our master. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to pop this down in here, and if you push down in, you'll just feel it. It'll slide all the way down and be nice and snug right there. So that's again, the, again, it depends. It's very obvious where it goes. Yes. Uh, look at your existing CD-ROM drive and look for the empty, uh, empty ribbon that's coming off it. So you can see this was our existing one, and we had one extra empty. Mm -hmm. So there's always going to be two devices that can be hooked up to any IDE chain like this. Now, is your second drive always your slave? The second drive, no, it depends on how you set it. This, by chance, we have set to cable select, so it's going to start with the top as your master, and mm -hmm. the second is a slave. But you can take that little jump route right there. If you see that little jump route off the tip of my finger, yep. you can t t take that. If you were to move it one notch in, that sets it to the slave. One notch over is the master. So you can set it by jumper. So you have control over how you yes. set that up. Complete control. Great. So once you have that, the last thing you have to do is give it a little power. This, of course, is our power connector. And we're just going to push this down here until it locks into place. And now you've just given the drive power. Again, like with the hard drive that we installed earlier, we just want to make sure that there's a clear path back to our power supply. Yep. And you can use any power connector in there. It doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. And after you've done that, you just go ahead and close up your case, <laughs> fire it up, and then you will have a new burner. First, you have to go into the BIOS, and you have to set it to detect the drive. Mm -hmm. All those instructions are unique depending on the computer manufacturer on how to right. go ahead and do that. It's pretty fr st uh, straightforward stuff. And then you install the burning software, and you're good to go. That is easy. DVD burner, CD burner, and you can do it in about uh, you know, 20, 30 minutes max. Yeah, I mean, we did it in five. Yep, that's true. <laughs> it can all be yours, this knowledge, of course. We do have articles on the website, mm -hmm. so if anything went by a little too fast, you didn't see where Kevin's hands were, blah, 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 just go to techtv.com slash call for help. Excellent.
Yeah. It's weird to say call for help. It is. We're I'm the since the show. screensavers. Maybe we won't leave. <laughs> yes, stay We're here. We're your new kids. Please. You kids. You gotta Adopt leave. us. Adopt you us. You gotta leave. We can't You've got keep money. It. We don't got enough room for <laughs> y'all. All right. Thank you. That was fun. That was fun. That's our last segment of the day. Is it? Well, thank you for well, being here. I mean, we're here. here. We're around. But that is as far as installation goes. They you told us to stay too. around in case you collapsed. They said, Kevin, we need you he here. He still might. We got, you know, two yeah. hours. Yeah. So you could go down. I don't think I'm going to collapse, I'm afraid. I, I mean, if we went another 10 hours, maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not even then. Is maybe the toupee glue then. still it's holding the up? The glue is good. Okay. Everything's cool. fine. I got a new shirt. I, in honor of Marty's poker party, I got my poker shirt. All right. And we're going to continue. Thank you, guys. All right. The call for help with thought hour number 11. One more hour to go. I can't believe it. Only one more hour. One hour and 45 minutes to go. You know, one thing I wanted to do from the very beginning is go a little bit behind the scenes. No show exists in a vacuum. I couldn't do this show without the people behind the scenes, behind the cameras, in the sound booth, and in the control room. We're going to do something we've never done before. We're going to go behind the scenes in a little bit. Plus, answer more of your phone calls and have a lot more fun. Stay tuned. The Call for Helpathon is on the air. Lots more to come. PlayStation 2, the only place to play. We're extending our amazing five free CDs giveaway. Even we couldn't believe how popular our Video Professor Software Savers offer would be. The phones have been ringing off the hook, stock has been flying off the shelves, but we want everyone to get a free pack of software. So we're extending this amazing offer, giving you time to call in right now and get a great pack of software for the whole family free. These self-help and informational CDs contain a wealth of knowledge that no home should be without. Take a look at what you get free from household names you know and trust, like Home Depot, Rand McNally, American Medical Association, and more. From wallpapering and plumbing to building cabinets, let the Home Depot experts show you how to do all your home improvements. Then create your own home on your PC. Repaint, add a new addition, and see it all in a 3D walkthrough. Create customized, printable travel maps of anywhere in North America. Plan trips ahead of time, add points of interest, restaurant stops, and more. You'll never get lost again. Research almost anything in seconds. History, maps, nature, science, geography, trivia, and more. And for medical help for your family, turn to the Family Medical Guide, covering everything from minor scratches and burns to emergency assistance with CPR, shock, bleeding, and heart attack. It's essential for any home. That's over $100 in free software that turns all this into this. All you pay is $6.95 for shipping and processing. It really is free. Video Professor gives you all this free because we know once you see how these CDs improve your life, you'll come back to us for more great software. You have no contracts to sign and no commitments. Plus, as an added bonus, if you call right now, we'll also throw in an extra free gift. This free typing tutorial uses fun games and tests to improve your typing skills. This special extended offer can't last forever, so make sure you don't miss out. It's free. It's risk free. Our friendly operators are standing by, so call right now to get your free software pack. To get your free software pack and free bonus CD, you must call now. Call 1-800-478-5028. <laughs> We really talk about this a lot, but I, I think it's very important that you know that the Tech TV website is a great resource for lots of information. And of course, the Call for Help website at techtv.com slash call for help is really the place to find out more about what you see on our show. Now, free files are one of the things we do every single day on a normal day on Call for Help. And if you want more free files, the place to go is right here. Where is it? Oh, they didn't put it on the front page because there's no free file today. So just go over here on the left, the nav bar, and click free file. You'll find there all the free files from past shows going all the way back to March 2003. Free files galore at techtv.com slash call for help. Now, this is something I've wanted to do for a little while here because there are so many great people who work on this show. The show really 
you know, Kat and I and Roger and Dan and Alonzo, we, we are in front of the camera, but there's so many people behind the camera. I think it'd be kind of fun to take a little walk back here, follow me onto the set and see the people behind the scenes, starting with this guy who I've worked with for 10 years. Is it 10 years? 10 years. Steve Porter, who is our floor director and actually manages the whole studio operation. You're not always the floor director, but many times. Many times. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, Christmas? Christmas. I had a great Christmas. Steve is one of my good buddies. I couldn't do this without him. Look at over here, Marcus Buick, who for many years was our sound guy, went off to do freelance, but you're back just for us, huh? He's a sound guy with no sound. A soundless sound guy. <laughs> can, can you turn on the mic, Buick? It sounds good. We couldn't do it without Marcus. He was here with the, the very beginning with the, the screen savers and the, yeah. the site even. The site, That's right. Yeah, yeah. You go way back. A long, I'm so old. You're an old guy. Well, Not happy sure. holidays. Hey, likewise. It's great to see you. Who else here? John Martin, we've got to say hi to. Now, John right now is running the jib. Yeah, that's can right. Can you show us this thing? What is the jib? Jib. You can boom in, this boom a, down, move left, crane right. Camera. A crane camera. And yeah. I just ate 13 chocolate covered espresso beans. So you're feeling pretty fine? Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Kevin Rose. <laughs> That's one way to stay happy, healthy, and, and wise. A lot That's of Red great. Bull. John, happy holidays. It's great to Thank have you, you on the crew. We really appreciate it. Who, well, Paul Block, our executive yes. producer. Don't dive out of the way, Paul. What you got there? This was a gift from Text America. Chips and a mound of. Uh, I don't know Something. what. I'm gonna, it's a sushi tart. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Text America sent it to uh, the, the cast and crew. We already met, of course, Paul's lovely wife, Sheila Lane, who called a little bit earlier, but Paul Block's she did, executive and producer. And she wanted me to tell Leo that his fix did not work. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> well, to, he just wants me to come over. I know the truth. Let's see who else we have. Deb Crowback, who will run away when I go after her because she hates to be on camera. I'm running away. All right. She, uh, she does a lot of things around here, often in sound. You started as a camera operator. In fact, you were a camera operator in the old days of the screensavers, yes. you, me, and Kate. We had a great time. Oh, we had a ball. It was a lot of fun. We did. We Happy did. holidays. Deb. You too. It's great to see you. What, can, I, can we go back? Let's go all the way back into the control room because this is this is sometimes we don't ever get to see it back here. Fawn Lou, how you doing? Happy holidays. Jillian, our old intern who came back just for the day from UCLA, and now in here, this is the brains of the operation. We couldn't do it without these folks in here. This is the this is the control room. George Crow, who is the series producer here from Left. To right. Hey, George, happy holidays. Peter Hammersley, who is a big shot. He's the big boss here. Without him, this, this whole station would just fall right apart, right? <laughs> right. And Janelle Harris, who's running CG. I don't, we haven't met Janelle. Pleased to meet you. We brought, <laughs> we brought in a lot of people. Usually, Brett the nurse runs the CGs, but I guess with Brett uh, having other duties, we have to have Janelle in here. Now, I want to say hi to Rob Darcy. Now, normally, Rob, you, you, you do camera on the screensavers, and mm -hmm. he's the director for Call for Help. That's right. And normally you'd be in the director's chair right here, but but, but look who's well, here. I What's, get to take a little happened? break. This is Greg. Greg's TD. He's filling in right now. We call Greg T because Tremelling's too hard to say. Now, can you talk to me while you're directing? Yeah, because we're just we're on one camera, so you know, it's all <laughs> He's easy. got nothing to do. Brad there's doing all the work. Yeah, we got to say hi to Brad, too. Hey, Brad. You just can't hi, talk to him. <laughs> Sitting, so now the director doesn't really do much because the director just talks and points. The guy who's doing all the work here is the technical director who's pushing the buttons. And this is Keith Harrison and a good friend. Keith's been with us for a long time. You also TD over on the screensavers. Uh, yeah, I do. Now, how do you figure out how all the, what happens if I push this button? Um, no, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Take us right off the air. Now over here, this is the line producer seat. And actually, it's kind of fun to have Michelle here. Michelle mm -hmm. Von Wald was with a Call for Help for a long time. Yep. Moved on Unscrewed, but we brought her back just for the telethon. She's line it's producing. I love Leo. Normally, Dan Mitchell will do doing it, or, or George Crow. Where's Dan right now? I don't know. In the he, he didn't show up? He's in the fishbowl? Can we go to the fishbowl? Come on. Oh, we got a long walk left. Now, uh, follow me. Come on, Brad. Brad's doing a great job here. I, can I get in the fishbowl that way? Or should I go? I, yeah, how much, how much rope do I have? Let's try it here. Am I at the end of my tether? Dan Mitchell, who is, uh, of course, day by day, the line producer of Call for Help. Happy holidays. Had a new baby? I did. How's the baby? Good. Four months old. Had first Christmas. Is, was it great? It was good. Oh, yeah. that's neat. Well, congratulations. Thank yeah. you for being here. Yeah, no problem. Couldn't do the show Thanks without you. It. This is the web team. They're working very hard right now because everything I say is transcribed by this team of 24 people who are typing furiously. Let's see what we can go on over here. And, uh, and of course, starting over here with Nicole Guilfoyle. It's great to have you, Nicole. Craig, of course, you see. I don't know you, but I'm very pleased Leslie, to meet you. Nice to meet Hi, you. Leslie. <laughs> Tom Merritt. Copy editor. Copy editor. Yeah. Oh, you're the one who fixes my, my yes. periods and commas. Nice, Thank yeah. you very much. Tom Merritt, who is now, of course, a big shot. He's moved he up. To. Used to be the web producer for the screensavers. Yeah, yeah. 
your blue cards now. <laughs> He's executive producer of the whole website. Nicole Carrico, who used to be with us, we miss you, but it's nice of you to come in here on your day off to join us. And, and who are you, sir? Liam, I work for Fresh Gear. Hi, Liam. So we brought in staff from all over the place, so that's great. Well, there you have it. I mean, there's a lot more people in master control in the tape room, and, and, and really a lot more people operating. Let's say hi to Brad, though. That's Brad. We didn't get a shot of him. There you go. Now we're saying hi to Brad. <laughs> he, he, this is his first day. Yes. What a way to start. All right, I'm going to go out here. You pretty much got the tour behind the scenes. You've seen almost everybody, but wait a minute. Whoa. Look who's here. Jessica Corbin. Hi. So great to see you. I just flew in. I know. You just got in. It's so nice. Yeah. Thank you for coming. You yeah. can go home. You don't have to stay here. Oh, no, not a problem. I'm visiting Kitty Cat, and I All hear everybody's right. going for drinks after. So why oh, not? Well, yeah, she came just in time for the party. <laughs> hey, we are really glad that everybody here is here because we have the best staff in the world. The best part of this job is the, isn't it? the people we work with. It's a great team. I just love them all. It's so a great team. happy holidays <laughs> to all of you. Now you've met them. Remember, when you watch Call for Help, there's just a bunch of people, not only the people we just met, but a bunch of people upstairs, too, who make it happen. And you, Leo. Oh, Leo me? Laporte. Well, I'm here anyway. So we'll take a break. We'll come back with more right after this. The Call for help -a continues. Stay here. You know, you could order a scratching post. Have it here tomorrow. Mr. Schnookums really likes you. Mr. Schnookums got some sharp claws. <laughs> How can a butterfly help you? Find out at msn.com. After finishing his worldwide rounds, Santa's getting some well-deserved R&R. &R. <laughs> He's not thinking about the stuff he forgot. But Radio Shack is. We've got the things you need to make the stuff Santa brought work including accessories for PlayStation, Nintendo, and Xbox, so you can enjoy the rest of the holidays. He sure is. Radio Shack, you've got questions, we've got answers. My name is Jim Lucier. I'm assigned to the 10th Special Forces Group at Fort Carson, Colorado. In my job, you have to be prepared for anything, so I train for everything. Every day is a little different. You push your limits far enough, you find out you don't have any. Japan and Hoffman by the US Army. And there's one more thing that the Army trained me to do. The doctor will see you now. Get more of Jim's story only at GoArmy.com. London, Brazil, Tokyo. You're a hard man to keep up with. How can the butterfly help you? Find out at MSN.com. We were over our heads in credit card debt and looking for a way out. A number of companies said they would help us, but they were only interested in charging huge upfront fees and putting us further into debt. Credit Guard of America was different. Credit Guard of America won't put you further into debt. As a nonprofit service, we've helped thousands of people for over 11 years. We work with you and your creditors to reduce your monthly payments so you can get on with life. Credit Guard of America cut my monthly payments in half. They cut my interest rate from an average of 23% to 8%. Some even went to zero. I'll be out of debt in four years instead of 20. Credit Guard of America saved me over $13,000 in interest fees alone. Call now to reduce your monthly payments. Cut the interest rates on your credit cards by up to half and get your unsecured debt paid off years earlier. Don't you owe it to yourself to work with a real nonprofit service? Call now to find out how to receive a free credit report. Certified counselors are standing by. Call 800-213-4632. Can I get some music, please? Haven't seen Unscrewed lately? Take a look at what you're missing. I'm like a Greek god in Adonis. Do you think the aliens from outer space wear a lot of doodads on their hats? No. This is awkward. Unscrewed. Weeknights at 11.30, 10.30 Central. Only on Tech TV. You know, inevitably, when you do something like that, you're going to miss a few people. So we miss Josh Viega. Viegas, who is in our... In, what were you doing, Josh? He's normally a cameraman. He was having a little sushi. Yeah, <laughs> Blowfish came and hooked it up. Yeah, good, some good sushi hookup, thanks to Blowfish and Text mm. America. And, of course, Rayvon. We didn't get to the sound room. Rayvon, we love you, Rayvon. Rayvon. Yeah, Rayvon. A fabulous sound guy. And a lot of times when you hear those wacky sound effects, it's Rayvon just... Getting Affirmative. His, getting his rave on. <laughs> and, uh, and there's another room down the hall where they make sure that I'm not too orange, and that's the shading room. And if I don't say hi to them, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna turn a weird color. So Jim Smith and Bill Cohen, you see what I mean? <laughs> Jim Smith and Bill Cohen. Uh, Bill is often our floor director and does camera out here. And Jim Smith has saved me more times than I can remember with food, love, and affection. So uh, the, a couple more people, and of course, Master Control. There's a ton of people up there. It's just there's too many to mention, but you get the idea. This show looks like it's just a few of us, and there's really behind the cameras, there's a bunch of people mocking us. Let's get a call on now, Cat Schwartz. Who do we have here? Uh, it's Sean from Princeton, New mm. Jersey. Press mm. the button, Jess. There's a button right under there. Press right there. Yeah. Oh, underneath the table. Ching. I like being on 42 because you know that's the answer to the question of life, the universe, and everything. Oh, thanks. 42. Hey, Shaw. Is it Shaw? How are you? Welcome to the show. Great. What can I do for you? Um, I was uh, wondering if there was any way to uh, fix a picture taken with a digital camera that came out blurry. Ah, here's the man himself. It's Alex, good. I was here. I was Alex just Lindsay just, just happened to be standing here. We're actually going to try to get a bunch of Photoshop questions for him. Excellent. So the camera jiggled or moved, Shaw? What happened? It was out of yeah. focus? I, I was uh, taking pictures of um, my daughter at Rockefeller Center last oh. weekend, and she was skating. So. Oh. And you want that picture so badly, don't you? Yes. Once in a lifetime. What can he do? Well, the question is, is how blurry is it? So let me let me pop up a photo here. Is this your daughter? This is my daughter. Okay. She's so not that blurry. I was taking a picture of my daughter as well. No, no, she's not that blurry. If, and I don't know if we're gonna we're gonna get. Okay. So yeah, it. now, is it more blurry than this? Just a little bit. So okay, she, she was like whizzing see, now, by on her skates, it, right? Because if, if you're something in this in this range, what you can do is take use what's called the unsharp mask, which I talked about in an earlier show. Something you might want to apply to almost any photo. Yeah, unsharp often. mask is. I generally turn my sharpening off of my, uh, and I'm in the wrong wrong layer. I tend to turn my um, sharpening off on my camera, so everything turns out a little blurry. And you let the and Photoshop then, do it because it is a better job. Yeah, and so what I'll do is I'll go in here and I'll um, you know start playing with you know these settings, and that's way too much. But you can start to see how um, that crisps it up, but then it's also pixelating. It'll it a start bit. bringing some of the grain out, so you have yeah. to kind of go back and forth. But right. you, but you can make it look. You can see how it's it's if I turn it on and off, better. Yeah. it starts to sharpen up. Right. Now the problem is, is if it's something closer to this is what I'm guessing uh, when you when you said what you had there because he was because she was whizzing. Yeah, it's there something you go. closer to this. That's right? like yeah. almost that's out of focus, really. Right. Yeah, that was a little. Just it's about like this. Yeah. A little yeah. little closer. And, and there's really not. I, I mean, I'd love to have a great tip for you, but the, the, we get a lot. I get a lot of uh, photos like this. It just can't be saved. And and there's nothing. There's not a lot to do because there's just no information there to to get. Right. You know, if, there's a lot of times when when there's not enough color information, or there's not a, there's uh, you, know, you don't have enough color, or it's a it's um, a little too cropped one way or the other. But when it's when it do, when it's actually moving or it's out of focus, a lot of times more if it's more than just a little bit, it's going to be really hard to recover that. I wish I had a better answer. Of course, Shaw. One thing. I mean. I don't think necessarily uh, something like that is bad. If she's blurry because she was going by, that kind of communicates speed. It's, there's some right. great classic photos where you see that kind of blur, right. and, it, and it's part of the photo. So, and, and a little later, I'll talk a little bit about how to avoid having that happen at all. Ah, so uh, that would be you know, good. We're gonna talk about when we talk about. So, digital unfortunately, no help, Shaw. But uh, I, I'm sorry, but I'm glad you called. And happy holidays to you. We appreciate it. Happy New Year too. Let's get another call. I want to go to 44. Okay. What? What's going on? You have no idea. Is it silly over there? <laughs> yes. Is is uh, is uh, Jesse tickling you? What's no, going on? Her phone just rang, but we're talking about. Oh. Oh, I can't tell you. On the phone, it's Thomas yeah. from Twin Mountain, New Hampshire. See, we're working okay. real hard here, Alex, 44. and they're talking about something else. Hey, Thomas, how you doing? Good yourself. Well, very well. In fact, you know, only an hour and a half left, and I feel like uh, I feel like a million bucks. I could go for another. I'll get my Let's second win. All night. Should we do it all night? Yeah. What What can we do for you, Thomas? Yes. Well, I received a DVD ROM drive for Christmas, and um, I wanted to know if there is a real good DVD application for it, just for like playing general anything. So you can see your movies. Yeah. Now, did you? Now, didn't it come with a movie player? Um, I came with Power DVD, but I'm not really a big fan of that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Power DVD often comes with drives. Uh, the one I'm going to recommend, if I can get my computer, we got Alex's computer on there, but if I can get my PC back, the one I'm going to recommend uh, that is a great alternative to Power DVD, in fact, Robert Heron in our labs turned me on to this because he said he liked it better than Power DVD. It comes from NVIDIA, and it's called NDVD, NVDVD. Uh, and it's and ever since uh, uh, Robert told me about it, I've started to use it for playback of DVD, and I love it. What don't you like about Power DVD? That's kind of what everybody's using. Well, it's mostly the uh, interface and stuff right. like that. And for some weird reason, it wasn't working with my speakers. 
Ah, that's not good. Well, here's what I'd recommend. It's not free. It's forty dollars, but you can download a free trial, and you can see if you like it better than Power DVD. Uh, really, Power DVD is kind of what everybody uses, but uh, I think this is a really great alternative. And by the way, you don't have to have an NVIDIA video card to use this. It works with any video card. Okay. So uh, I guess that would be my, my, my recommendation is try this one out and see if you like it better. All right. Thank you. Hey, thank you for the call, Thomas. Yep. Coming up next, Alex Lindsay's laptop is working, as you can see, so we're going to do some tips. Now, we're going to do tips on how to get better pictures to begin with. Exactly. Avoid Just, the blur. Yeah, exactly. All right. When we come back, the call for Helpathon continues in hour number 11. This, this Helpathon goes to... Team ball, Gary. What are you doing? Trying to go baseline if you let me. His D's been pretty tough today. You're right. Get back on the court, glove. <laughs> if NBA Shootout 2004, you're in control. Sports ready for everyone. Now, there's an easy, affordable way to add satellite radio to your home or office computer. Introducing PCR, XM Satellite Radio for your PC. Digital sound delivered direct to you via satellite. No downloads, no streaming audio, no internet connection. Just 100 channels of music, news, sports, talk, and more for less than $10 a month. XM's PC radio connects to your computer's USB port, so installation is easy. Just run the software, connect the antenna and PCR receiver, and activate your XM service. PCR makes it simple to browse all 100 XM channels or to sort them by artist, song title, or genre. You can find and save your favorite songs and artists, and PCR will alert you when they're playing on another channel. So act now to get XM PCR at a special low price. $49.99, a limited time offer. To order yours or for more information, visit XMPCR.com. Beyond AM, Beyond FM, XM Satellite Radio. Didn't exactly get what you wanted this year? Get into Gateway for store-wide savings on PCs, TVs, cameras, and more. Savings up to $500 on our hottest products, including our multimedia PCs featuring Intel Pentium 4 processors. Save $400 on the perfect complement to your PC, America's best-selling plasma. It's under $2,500 after purchase of wall mount and mail-in rebates. Hurry in for up to $500 in savings store-wide. Get the box from Gateway. Renegades. I'm just going to have to do whatever I want to do. Rebels. Yay! And pop icons. <laughs> Misfits. It doesn't matter. You're a nerd in life and you'll be a nerd always. And millionaires. It's a good way to explore the nature of truth. Forget the pocket protector. I want to make toys for myself. Meet the nerds of the 21st century. Nerd Nation, a new series coming in January to Tech TV. Welcome back to Call for Help, the Helpathon, hour number 11. This Helpathon goes to 11. That's, that's one more. Why thing. don't you go to 10? Because well, 11's one better. <laughs> Actually, we're going to go to 12. We're going to go all the way. We got a camera in the sound booth, so let's say hi to Rayvon, our sound man. There he is. <laughs> Having a little nice. sushi, What's right? <laughs> How are you doing? Sushi Ray, is, Ray is another proud papa of, mean, a, of a baby, what? beautiful hi, baby. baby. And he does a great job. I'll tell you, that's got to be one of the Thank hardest you. jobs. <laughs> a man can eat and slide. One of the hardest what jobs. What a bunch of mush. Because there's a lot of different mics going on, a lot of different inputs. It's hectic as hell in there. You hear the director, you hear all sorts of voices. I'm always amazed by the sound guys. Another group I want to really thank, because they've been here the whole time. They're working harder than I am for the last 11 hours, and they're going to go all 12, is our chat room moderators. And you know who you are, gang. We thank you so much, Faye and uh, Deb and Ed and Grady and Todd and Dan and Kurt and uh, Tom and Casey and Cody. We thank you so much. We couldn't do it without you. The chat room has been full, booked full for the entire Helpathon, which means they're working double time. That's a tough job. A few more people to thank, by the way. All right, now Alex Lindsay is here. Now we're going to talk about getting the picture right the first time so you don't have to mess with the picture in Photoshop. That'll save me a lot of 
you know, <laughs> a <laughs> lot of questions. Yeah. So let's talk about your tips for shooting high quality images from the start. Okay. So the first thing mm -hmm. uh, that uh, um, that I want to talk about is is resolution. So yeah, because every camera you can shoot qua high quality, low quality, super high quality, TIFF, RAW. Right. What do you choose? Uh, generally, as much as you can get away with. <laughs> so, okay. As so, big a file size as you can tolerate. Yeah, and, and, and the bottom line is is that um, at least the minimum that you should ever shoot is uh, the highest JPEG quality okay. possible. So in my camera, that's super high quality, SHQ. Right. And it's only compressing the JPEG two to one, so it's not so bad. Right. All right. And, and, the, and the thing is is that what, what will kill you, and this is, it's, it's, I've, I've had this happen, is that you'll, you'll be uh, shooting, you'll get this classic photo, and you right. shot it at 640 by 480, uh, you know, and you'll be able to print it this big you can for the rest of your life. Forever. So it's, it's worth it. And the thing is is that the, the 256 megs, a 256 meg compact flash mm -hmm. or, or smart media is only like 60 bucks or 70 bucks now. Of course, if you're shooting TIFF or RAW, that's only 12 or 13 <laughs> inches. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and now, now, RAW is actually a little smaller than TIFF. Oh, is it? It's, yeah, because it's, it's actually, the, uh, for most cameras, it's the, it's the kind of the native format. Don't do anything. Right, and yeah. it, just, it just throws it down there. TIFF is actually, it has to kind of recode it. So and would you so recommend shooting RAW in most it, cases? It, when I'm shooting something that I think that I'm going to want to keep for a right. long time, I'll shoot in RAW. If you're doing portraiture um, where speed isn't an issue, because that's one yeah. problem. These big file sizes take longer to save, so you right. may not get as many images. And it also it. depends on what camera you have. You right. know, the, the new one, the only one that's really, uh, like if you get like the Rebel, the new Canon Rebel, the which US is Rebel, yeah. the one I'm looking $900, at. $900. Great it's SLR. really, really inexpensive yeah. compared to what they used to be. And right. it'll shoot, it'll fire as fast as you can Pull the trigger, I love that. you know, and it'll shoot raw at that speed. And really? So, yeah, and so you'll be able to. Um, That's you know, a pull lot that. to recommend it. That's really great. It's it's a it's a it's a really great little camera. Okay. So anyway, so that but, shoot at the highest quality you can tolerate. At, at, at least a JPEG. If you're shooting right. a lot of images, you know, I'll keep it mine at like the, the finest JPEG, and right. that's usually good enough for the okay. average photos. All right. All right. So that's the uh, image uh, type to choose. Right. Let's talk about uh, whether to use a flash and, and ASA settings, which right. I think a lot of people forget that you could change the uh, ISO, or you used to call it ASA, now it's the ISO settings on right. the camera. What is that? Well, the, the first thing is, is that generally you don't want to use a flash Ever. <laughs> I think the flash washes it out. Yeah. It's too bright. It looks terrible. The problem is most of my images are indoors and there's just not right. enough light. What do I do? Well, here's, the, here's what happens. You hear you can see this. This, this is what a flash will do. And that's because the, the camera, mm. the flash is right up against, right next to the camera. Now, yep. when a professional photographer does it, he's shooting. Bounce it. He's bouncing it and yeah. so on and so forth. But when it comes straight in, it, may, it just doesn't, you know. It flattens everything. Yeah, yeah. It's terrible. So, yeah. Now, if you look at. That's not even as bad as some of mine. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, that's not bad. Yeah. And now here's a, here's a shot. Um, and, uh, Beautiful shot, actually. And, and I love thing, that. And the thing is, is that what you'll notice is it feels really natural. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at it, and you don't, and, and you get this kind of candid photojournalist, yep. you know, kind of look. And that really, um, you, you can't get that without uh, with a flash, because everyone knows you're shooting for one. Right. right here, I have the I have this little 4500 that That's you can twist. Picture. Yeah. And no one even notices that I'm shooting. Now the lighting's so, not perfect, but that doesn't matter because you got the shot. You got you know? the, you know, because what you're really looking for are the people. You know, right. you've got this great expression and, right. and so on and so forth. Now, so. how did you get that shot? Because it's dark. I could tell you're in a dark room. What I did is I set my camera. I set the ISO setting to 800. So you, you, you the film sensitivity, or in this case, the it's like the a CCD simulated film. sensitivity is highest possible. Right. Now, what that's going to mean is you'll notice that it's a little grainier. Yeah. It's so contrasty. You're yeah. going to get you're going to get more grain out of it, yeah. but you're going to it's not going to be as smooth an image. So Right. You want to shoot it at the lowest ASA you can get, so you don't get too much grain. But it'll allow you to shoot. This is an in, this is ten o'clock at night. Right. You know. And obviously these people aren't moving too much because if they were, you might not. Because the shutter speed, what you're going to want one thirtieth at this point? Or? Yeah, this is about one thirtieth, yeah. and, and I'll show some. I'll show some well, stuff. Motion about or speed even in hand motion could really ruin this picture. You got to hold your hand very steady. You, yeah, and and you're um, you're going to want to you want to set your elbows down, or yeah. you want to sit it beside you know sit it against your body. Those are the kind of things you. Have what to be I do in a situation like this, and I try not to shoot with flash because it looks so bad. Right. I just shoot a lot of shots. Yeah. Because, you know, mo some of them are going to be ruined by mm -hmm. movement on the subjects or by your own And that's movement. the best thing about digital is that you shoot just, as many you know, as you can. shoot 100 photos Costs where you would have shot, shot 10. All right, white balancing. Now, we've talked about this before. Tell me what white balancing well, is. Well, what happens is, is that the, the, um, a camera will, will automatically try to guess, is it outdoor, is yeah. it fluorescent, so is it So outdoors is a little yellower, indoors is right. a little bluer. 
right. on the and, color spectrum. And, and what it'll do is it'll start to um, it'll start to guess what those what those uh, colors are. Is that reverse? It's is actually it blue reversed. It's blue outside and, and it's yellow, and yellow inside. Incandescent yellow. Me, and I'll show you. Here, here's fluorescence a, green. <laughs> like here's one. Now this one is. Um, I showed this a second ago. It's a little green. Um, yeah, a little green, a little ye very yellow. Very now yellow, yeah. I changed the setting about a minute later. And here's the photo. Oh, look at that. So, by color. changing the white balance, you went from green and all to a much I more natural color. From automatic to incandescent. So, I told it this is a light bulb. Now, shouldn't it do that automatically? It'll do the best it can, but what it's doing is it's looking at the, the, the color space it's of guessing. the. It's just guessing. And so, you can. You can uh, you can set it to one of those settings. Yeah. If you notice that all the outdoor photos are looking really blue, right. it's probably not jumping to outdoor. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can take a piece of white paper and actually you can, do a white balance. And you can hold it and make sure to fill the whole screen. Right. You know, with with white on your right. camera, and then and then you can usually manually set the the white balance and say this is what white should look like. It'll adjust for the other colors, and that's in the really spectrum. useful when you have both lights indoor and light coming in from the outdoor, and it's not one or the other. We don't have time for uh, talking about these other points. I hope we can get okay. them uh, at a later date or put them on the website. But they're, they're on the web. That's so right. Talk about shutter speed and aperture and whether to shoot shutter aperture or manual and exactly. and, and also talk about metadata in the picture yep. all of that on the website techtv.com slash call for help uh, on the message boards they want to know where's Alex's book do you have a book I have a CD coming in January we're gonna get so you to write a book we're gonna <laughs> you I, write I don't like reading that's my problem I know. so I so I have a I have a Writing CD with so videos hard. and tutorials and all kind right. of stuff and uh, there'll be eight of them coming out next year and so the, the first one comes out in January and we basically have written a book with your appearances every Wednesday on call <laughs> yes, for help and we've got all of those on the website and you, mm -hmm. if you go through those that's probably book a book amount of a data almost yeah. yeah well we'll be back with more Alex Lindsay in this show and of course every Wednesday on Call for Help. Make sure you tune in. If you're not just seeing the show for the first time, and I know many of you are, make sure you tune in 3 p.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday, for the hour-long edition of Call for Help. Up next, time to give away some stuff. It's the Wired World Challenge. I want to play with somebody, and we will do so when the Helpathon continues right after this. Steve, really boosting our e-business numbers with Dell. PowerEdge servers, Intel Xeon processors. Right, right. It's an SAP Oracle 9 Iraq database solution. Yep. Porting order resolution from Unix to Linux. TCO is down, ROI is up. Ensuring near-term liquidity and profitable share gain. Great. Give your enterprise applications the flexibility of Dell Business Solutions. Call or go online today. This is a place you don't want to be. Not if your plaque or stains in your teeth and deep between. Because here you'll meet the new Sonicare Elite by Philips. With patented Sonic technology, its bristle tips move three times faster than all other leading power toothbrushes for a cleaning experience unlike any other. Like that, only smaller. Sonicare Elite reaches deep between teeth and below the gum line. It reduces coffee, tea, and tobacco stains and reverses gingivitis. More dental professionals use the Sonicare brand themselves than any other power toothbrush for deep cleaning that goes beyond mere brushing. For whiter teeth and healthier gums in 28 days, guaranteed. Ask your dental professional about the new Sonicare Elite or visit us at sonicare.com. Stop brushing. Start Sonicare. I got 
<laughs> hey, you guys, welcome back. It's now time for the Wired World Challenge. For that, we have a caller on the line. Leo, tell us who our contestant Leo. is. <laughs> um, on the line, you look it's nervous. Jeffrey from Canoli, California. Okay, <laughs> Jeffrey. Hello. How you doing, Jeffrey? He's wearing a pillowcase. I'm doing great, thanks. Good. Welcome to the show. Are you ready? Yes, I am, and Are, it's Pinole. Canole. He knows. He's just being ridiculous. <laughs> All right, before we get started, let me tell you and the folks at home how the game works. In Jessica's hand, she's holding four questions from four different categories. You'll pick a category, and I'll ask, and she'll ask you a tech-related trivia question. You have 15 seconds to come up with your answer, and here's the best part. If you answer correctly, you get a shot at our big, huge prize board. There's great prizes. Does that sound good? It sounds great. All right. <laughs> okay, so here are today's categories. We've got technology innovators, size matters, inventors, and sci-fi book titles. What's it going to be? Oh, let's try, let's try inventors. Okay, right. inventors. What founding father invented bifocal lenses? Benjamin Franklin. All right. Oh, winner, winner, winner. Chicken dinner. That means that you got it right and you got a chance at our gigantic yes. prize board. Which number would you like to choose? Oh gosh, I haven't been keeping track of too many, but I'm going to try 10. Number 10? What's behind number 10? 12 month membership! Hey, great! Woo! Woo! Yeah, I love Congratulations! <laughs> Does that make your day? Thank you so much. Yes, I'm sure it does make your day. Don, I, don't want, I don't want anyone to forget that the Wired World Challenge happens every day here on Call for Help. So head over to our website and sign up, and you just might be tomorrow's contestant. Have time every day. Leo. <laughs> Leo, come what? on, Leo. Now oh. serving number 44. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, what? <laughs> Where? What? Oh, hi. Hey. Up next, we want your questions, and we don't care where we get them from. Cat's going to scour the inbox. <laughs> Not the letter box, the inbox and the message boards when call for help and the help of time continue. Stay here. <laughs> What's crucial to me? What's crucial to me? Making the most of my time. Speed. Getting more and paying less. Doing things the right way. What's crucial to me? Staying on top of everything. Making my computer last another year. Doing seven things at once. That's why I made sure I have enough memory. And now my computer can keep up with me. So that you can focus on what's important to you, Crucial makes it easy to select, purchase, and install memory upgrades. Memory, it's crucial. After finishing his worldwide rounds, Santa's getting some well-deserved R&R. Yeah. <laughs> He's not thinking about the stuff he forgot. But Radio Shack is. We've got the things you need to make the stuff Santa brought work. Including accessories for PlayStation, Nintendo, and Xbox, so you can enjoy the rest of the holidays. He sure is. Radio Shack. You've got questions. We've got answers. Didn't exactly get what you wanted this year? Get into Gateway for storewide savings on PCs, TVs, cameras, and more. Savings up to $500 on our hottest products, including our multimedia PCs featuring Intel Pentium 4 processors. Save $400 on the perfect complement to your PC, America's best-selling plasma. It's under $2,500 after purchase of wall mount and mail-in rebates. Hurry in for up to $500 in savings storewide. Get the box from Gateway. There are two kinds of people with hair loss. Those that keep asking, why me? And those that do something about it. I got the permanent solution from the guys who were as determined as I was. You too should make the call. I'm a member of the 72 Dolphins, so I'm not used to losing anything. When I noticed that I was losing my hair, at first I danced around the issue, then I decided to tackle it permanently. These guys are serious about restoring your hair. Look at me. One call, medical hair restoration. Wanting hair on your head isn't being vain, it's only being human. MHR understands this. Not only do they have more doctors who are board certified, but most of them have had the procedure themselves. These guys get it. Make the call. Get your free information package and start regrowing your own hair permanently. Plus, call now and get $300 worth of additional grafts. One call. 1-800-670-7961. That's 1-800-670-7961.
Welcome back to the call for Helpathon, almost to the last hour. I can't believe it, Kat. I'm starting to go a little crazy here. I feel better than I did in hour number one. Really? I'm not a morning person. No. And then we started the show at 8 a.m., uh -huh. which is not, I'm, you know, I'm not, it's not my good time for me. <laughs> it's not my good time for <laughs> not me. Not my good time. <laughs> this is my good time. Okay. Let's get some quick uh, questions and answers in okay, here. Okay, let's some email? hit that button. This person here wants to know, I keep getting runtime errors. What is a runtime error? Well, runtime error means that you're using a program that was written in Visual Basic. Visual Basic has a... Uh, a, a runtime interpreter that is uh, running the program. Okay. It, it basically is a crash. It's no okay. different than a crash. A runtime error means the program had a flaw and it's failed. Uh, and there's really not much you could do about it. You got to just go back to the programmer or the vendor and say, hey, it's broken. Fix okay. it. Cool. This person here, Scott, he says, he has digital cable, VCR, DVD player, and speaker <laughs> equipment. He wants to know, can he plug everything into one TV? Uh, yeah, sure. The best okay. way to do it, of course, is use a receiver. Go into the receiver that has video out and let the receiver kind of collate it. You saw that big receiver that Jim Johnson right. or John Johnson had with a lot of inputs. That's the idea is the receiver becomes kind of the center of your home theater. And then it will feed the TV with a single video and you switch around through it on the receiver. I think that's a better way to go. Many TVs have lots of inputs, but nothing like a receiver. Just get a good universal Get a good video remote. receiver. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, I've got this, uh, I got a new Sony multi-format DVD burner and it comes good. with a 40-pin IDE cable. Yeah. My motherboard has a 34-pin. No, it doesn't. He said it, my motherboard has 34-pin cables. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's not IDE. Okay. Make sure you're plugging it into the IDE. There's only one kind of IDE. They're all 40-pin. 34, that's probably is floppy cable. I don't know what the heck that is. <laughs> There's no 34-pin IDE. What is that? Anything else? Come on, come on, come okay, on. Okay, Hustle. okay. We only got two in more Photoshop, minutes here. What's come the on. slice tool? Huh? What is the slice tool in Photoshop? Well, the slice tool is, is designed for, for web design. Very often, if you have a large graphic on a web page, you don't want to have the whole graphic load because it really slows the web page down. So the slice tool will divide an image up into slices, individual images that can be loaded one after the other. It helps the load speed somewhat. I don't really like using slice. I think you should probably use a smaller image or, or some other way around it rather than using slice but that's what the slice tool is for thank you leo peter wants to know i want to upgrade my so. computer processor to a pentium mm -hmm. a processor to a pentium to a higher one he wants yeah. a higher pentium a higher, what does he need to do well you got to check and see if the motherboard will support it every motherboard that's designed for pentiums will support a range of pentiums okay but may not support all the different pentiums that are out there so what you should do is check the motherboard's manual or the manufacturer see what range of processors you may also want to check and see if there's a bios update sometimes if you update the bios mm -hmm. you'll download some software run a program that'll flash a new bios onto the chip on the motherboard that often will uh, increase the capability and allow you to run faster chips than it was originally designed for. But you can only do what the motherboard lets you do. Now, you can always get a new motherboard. They're not that expensive, $100, $150. So if you want to get a faster chip, it may be a wise, prudent to upgrade the motherboard too. Okay, Steve is a high school student and he wants to know which PDA you would recommend for him. He doesn't have too much money, but he loves gadgets. Oh, that's interesting. Well, if I like Palm personally, and I think the Palm is a little bit more economical. If you can afford the Zyre, which is $299, I love the Zyre 71. If you can't, then get the lower, I think it's M105, which is a black and white Palm, uh -huh. and that's only about $100. That's a great choice. Palm is a really good choice. Pocket PC is going to run you more. There aren't, you know, the Dell Axum is the cheapest pocket PC. I think that's also $299. All That's right. 50. Can you believe it? One last comment from Daniel. He said, Happy Holidays to everyone at Tech TV. You, you guys are doing an excellent job during the Call for Help-a-thon. Thank you, Daniel. Well. That's great. We're all glad you're here. I don't know how many of you have watched all 11 hours. If you have, pat yourself on the back, because Hour 12 of the Call for help a is coming up as we continue. Stay right here. Don't leave now. It's not my hair. <laughs> It is my hair. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I did a little early, did I? Papa, 
do ba do do do. Welcome back to the Call for Helpathon. Paul Block's crazy idea to break me down. And has he succeeded? No, I'm going all the way, kids. 12 hours of non-stop help. We started at 11 a.m. We are now going in the 10 p.m. hour. Can you believe it? And I think we're still going strong. Everybody feel good? You ready for the next hour? Yeah! <laughs> Anybody there? Woo! Yeah. All right. We've got 50 calls, Kat, so far. Yes, we do. And I'd like to get to 60 in this hour at least. We, we have... said 60 at the beginning. Right. I think we can do 60, don't you? Okay, you better start talking fast, Leo. All right. Well, coming up in this yeah. hour, the notorious ROG is going to take an Xbox and put it online, right. setting up Xbox Live. Yeah. Everybody that got an Xbox, I'm sure, is waiting to. What game are you playing now, game. Roger? You and Kevin, what are you doing? NBA, was it Street? Street? Oh, NBA that's a great Street. game. Great. You, it's too bad you can't hear the sound. Best soundtrack in the world. It, 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 I love it. It lets me do what I normally physically can't do in the real world. <laughs> that's the whole point of video games, isn't it? Look at this. I love this game. Henry and I play this all the time. He's good at it, too. So we're going to make your, your Xbox go online about, with Xbox Live. We'll show you. It's very easy to do. And, of course, uh, Kat's here. Jessica Corbin is also here. Uh, it can't. Jessica, you came oh, back from L.A. just a little while ago. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, yeah. I, the, I just flew in from Orange County. Gosh, traveling right now is a nightmare. It's the worst time, isn't oh, it? Oh, code wherever we yeah. are at Orange, Orange is just making everything kind Orange. Of are we at a code Orange? It's cool in here. Yeah. I didn't even We're know code that. Orange. Don't you listen to NPR? No, no. Um, I'm still you've trying been to. here I'm in just, the bomb shelter. I'm still trying to learn how to pronounce <laughs> bovine spongiform encephalopathy. Oh, don't worry about that, right. Leo. So let's take a caller because we're not going to get to 60 if we don't take some calls here. All right, let's do it on the phone. It's Mark from Grass Valley, California. He's number 51. Hey, Mark. How you doing? Pretty good. How are you? I'm great. Welcome to the last hour of the Helpathon. Man, I'm so glad I got on. Oh, I am too. <laughs> I am too. What can we do for you? Well, um, I'm going to Pasadena for the Tournament of Roses, the Rose, Rose Bowl. Parade, yes! Go Blue! Oh, um, yeah! And uh, I'm taking my laptop with me, my iBook. I, great. Uh, I actually share it with my family, but anyway, um, <laughs> we have an airport them. installed, and I'm wondering how I can uh, extend the range on it, because I'd like to be able to update my blog and update the uh, Tech TV Resource Network. Oh, you run TRN? I, I, I don't run TTVRN, um, but I am a, one of the writers for it. That's awesome, Mark. TTVRN.com. That's a great site. We really appreciate it. It's a great site for anybody who watches Tech TV, but even just by itself, it's a great site. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, you guys do a good job. So now, where is your base station? How far away from the, uh, the, the Rose Bowl is it? Well, I don't really know. <laughs> We're just going to travel down there, and I'm going to try oh, and Oh, I get it. You're hoping to pick up somebody's Wi-Fi signal. Yes, I am. I see. Maybe a rogue stray Wi-Fi. Yeah, that you but, can piggyback you know, on. I'm going to try and go legal with uh, T-Mobile if I can. Okay. You know, you really kind of stuck with the iBook because the card is internal. There's no external place you can plug in a, a, a little uh, pigtail to put an external antenna. And that would yeah. be about the only way I could think of to increase the uh, r range of it, you know, is with an external antenna. Uh -huh. That card's inside the iBook and there's no external port. Yeah. Uh, the main thing is, uh, you know, uh, turn off, if you're using OS X Panther, yep. turn off interference robustness. What okay. does that do? You know, I don't know, but it sure doesn't help. <laughs> it's designed for a situation where you're, you're not getting a great signal, but it will cut down, uh, in a normal situation, I think it will cut down your receptivity. Really? It makes you more selective. So, you know, I wouldn't run with that on. If you're having trouble, then maybe turn that on for a limited period of time. But turn that off. That's about the only thing I can recommend. Make sure you have the latest firmware. Uh, okay. Go on, you know, I'm sure you run software update. Yeah, uh, they, well, it's kind of hard with dial-up, but... <laughs> do run it before you go, because Apple does periodically update its Wi-Fi cards. It's what they call their airport cards. And very often, at least in my experience, at least a few times in the past, that's improved the range oh. of, of the Wi-Fi. Yeah, they figured out somehow to make it better in software, which is remarkable. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, uh, unless you're, uh, you know, you have an iBook, so you don't even have a PC card slot. Nope. So you can't use a third-party Wi-Fi card even. You're just kind of stuck with what I have you another got. quick question. Sure, Mark. What do you recommend for um, blog updating software? Uh, on the Mac, I swear by Kung Log. Who's, who, who runs your blog? Um, what software? Uh, I, I, I run it by myself. But. And what software do you use? Uh, Movable type, of course. Oh, yeah. Kung Log is wonderful. I tested that out, and I love it, but I was just wondering if there's one that you love. I use it all the time. In fact, I have the... Um, 
the uh, the the logo on my site to to to, to plug plug it. Now I'm trying to remember the uh, URL, and of course it's not kunglog.com. It's written by a, a guy who uh, uh, Adrian Teisling, something like that, who lives in Japan, and it is uh. a wonderful piece of software. I, I wish there were something as good. That's a kung-fu.tv. I yeah, wish there were. I wish there was something on it for PC that was just like it, because there's no other thing for extended entries and stuff. Yeah, huh? the next best thing on the PC is Blogger, B-O-L-O-G-G-A-R, uh -huh. uh, and that's a pretty good piece of software. Software. Uh, I highly recommend. I've had trouble getting it to work with TypePad lately, but in the past I've used it. It's very much like Kung Log, so I'd recommend that. All right. And it's ttvrn.com, right? Uh huh. And my blog is djzooky.com. D oh, you're DJ Zooky? Yes, I'm the Leo Billboard. Oh, I know who you are, yeah, DJ Zooky. I've been to this video a couple times. <laughs> is that how you pronounce that, by the way, DJ Zooky? DJ Zooky, yes. Okay, that's how I pronounce it. It's anyway. like Bookie with a Z. <laughs> hey, have a great time. Are you uh, are you uh, in a band or are you with a team or how are you going down there? I'm just, uh, um, we're season ticket holders because we used to live in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And That's the, great. Uh, so um, we're big fans of uh, Michigan football. So when you say go blue. We get an opportunity to see them on the West Coast. All right. Well, go blue, too. I say the same thing. Thanks, Leo. Take care, Mark. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So what's more fun, my friends? What's more fun than playing with your Xbox? Don't answer that question. <laughs> playing with your Xbox online. What were you thinking? Coming up next, Roger's going to run through the process of setting up Xbox Live. If you've ever thought about doing it, stay tuned. That and a lot more as the call for help a help help a fun continues in its last hour. Alright, I gotta unplug off. No me digas que cuando le cuando le Take your best shot. The E715 with self portrait. One of the newest internet ready camera phones from Samsung. Hey, Billy wants to check out bikinis online. What? The Bikini Islands, history class. Oh, sure. Hey, Billy, it's cool! How can the butterfly help you? Find out at msn.com. After finishing his worldwide rounds, Santa's getting some well-deserved R&R. <laughs> He's not thinking about the stuff he forgot. But Radio Shack is. We've got the things you need to make the stuff Santa brought work including accessories for PlayStation, Nintendo, and Xbox, so you can enjoy the rest of the holidays. He sure is. Radio Shack, you've got questions, we've got answers. Didn't exactly get what you wanted this year? Get into Gateway for store-wide savings on PCs, TVs, cameras, and more. Savings up to $500 on our hottest products, including our multimedia PCs featuring Intel Pentium 4 processors. Save $400 on the perfect complement to your PC, America's best-selling plasma. It's under $2,500 after purchase of wall mount and mail-in rebates. Hurry in for up to $500 in savings store-wide. Get the box from Gateway. some music please haven't seen unscrewed lately take a look at what you're missing i'm like a greek god and adonis you got to turn off the stove billy quit coughing billy do you think the aliens from outer space wear a lot of doodads on their hands no. besides dressing up as a blue buddy do you have any skill this is awkward unscrewed weeknights at 11 30 10 30 central only on tech tv You're playing, you're playing, you're a player, that's why you're playing. 
<laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about Xbox Live. It's Microsoft's latest weapon in the video game console wars. PlayStation 2 went online with their network adapter. Microsoft had to follow, so they've uh, they've got a product called Xbox Live. I've seen it in the stores. You just buy a DVD, yeah. right? I think it's the other way around. What's that? With the uh, Xbox. PlayStation 2 came after Xbox. Yes. With the, oh, I with thought PlayStation 2. Who was that? Wait a minute. Come back here. Oh, uh, we've got an infestation. <laughs> <laughs> is he just gone crazy, or is it? What was that? I know, what were we going after? <laughs> okay. I see dead people. No, there was a head there. Am I right? No. no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> ah, ha, okay. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, Xbox. X, Xbox. Xbox. Am I scaring you? There is a head. What? Never mind. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, I'm fine. You gotta cut back on the uh, caffeine. Yeah, yeah, I was those espresso beans. How many of these did you eat? Like ten. Yeah. There's a head. See, I'm allergic any. to there caffeine. There really was. So I swear I to God, I wouldn't make that. All right, you guys. So you buy this thing. You buy this thing, and it comes uh, with with the disc, and also comes with a little headset as well. You get these two okay. items, and then essentially what happens is you stick this in. The first time you have a, a brand new Xbox, you've never had uh, Xbox Live on. Inst install it, and what happens is on the dashboard or the kind of GUI oh, it adds, interface it adds an item. Adds Xbox Live. Well, that's cool. It's pretty simple. So basically, it's, you're just installing some software. Xbox some has software, a hard drive. And as long as you have a network connection, actually, the most complicated thing is how you get your network connection into your Xbox Live. How do you do that? To, you well, there's an there's a Ethernet in the there's back. There's an of Ethernet it. connector, and you can either do it two ways. You can have it directly connected from your DSL or cable modem, mm -hmm. or you can have it connected through a router and right. then have it uh, serviced straight to your Xbox. And I It'll actually, do DHCP from the router? Yes, it will. And actually, I tell people that that's probably a better way, especially if you're sharing your right. network with a PCM Mac or And, the, and the router won't block the uh, gaming? It's not going to make a problem? Uh, no, it's actually, I've never had any problems with okay. it. Okay. Now, if I have a static IP address, is there a way to enter that into the Xbox Live? Yes, line? and it says as soon as you you enter that, that in, you go through the entire setup. And we're oh, there you it. go. We're now you have to have an account with Microsoft, and the, uh, do you pay yes. a monthly fee? You or? pay. You pay. Uh, you do pay a monthly fee. Well, uh, first of all, by buying the disc, you've paid you, for your you first pay year, for right? You the first thing, and I'm okay. going to show this. You actually get a serial number like you do okay. with Microsoft software. Don't show our serial number. It's okay. It's a beta version. <laughs> all right. How much? Uh, hey, how much does it cost? It's uh. What, is it fifty-nine bucks, something like that? Something like I, you know. I've actually never had to pay for it. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Show well, actually, I, I Kevin used, and I can't do it. I, no, we can't do this. You know why we can't do it? We've got hacked Xboxes. Well, what you're, happens you're with a hacked Xbox? That, We're not supposed it's to say that, It's okay to have oh, a hacked okay. Xbox. I myself don't have a hacked Xbox, so I can't, really can't say Because that. ours is hacked, what happens? Xbox Live? Well, if we turn ours on and attempt to get on the Xbox Live, they will detect that we have a mod chip, or that you have a mod chip installed. <laughs> I, of course, would not have anything like this. <laughs> and uh, once they do that, they, they register the credit card and the MAC address. They ban your credit card, so you can Ooh. never use your credit card with Xbox Ouch. Live. And they also ban your box, so you can never use uh, Xbox Live. A little word of warning. Wow. Yes. So you can't even use your credit card with any other... Let's do it. Um, Let's get online. I so want to play some Xbox Live. So essentially what happens is you keep going, and it's going to walk you through. It's going to ask you for your billing region, ask you... Uh, What's most, that noise? Oh, do you hear a noise? That might be... Oh, you know what? It might be the... Uh, I'm getting a little buzz here. Yeah. Uh, is that... You yeah, hearing that on the air, or is it just... All right. It, it, Essentially, what you do is you go through, and then you're going to actually go in, and this is most important, a gamer tag. A gamer tag is very important because it's the uni unique That's your ID. handle. That's your handle entire, across the entire Xbox servers. Okay. So whatever uh, game you play, it has to be unique because you're literally playing with millions and millions of other people across the planet. Somebody probably already has a notorious ROG, but I, I would try to use that. <laughs> uh, you know, I tried all, all my favorite ones. They always have your name, right? Roger Chang's long ago gone. No, I can never get Leo Laporte on anything. So, so once you have it running, let's switch it over to the one that's... What, is that noise uh, audible on the air, or is it just... In, I in have our... no idea, right, because I just said... Don't worry it. about it. Oh, there I'm we sorry. go. There we go. Counter Strike. Now this is a. How many Xbox Live games are there? I know Halo is Live enabled. Counter Strike. There's almost all the new games that are coming out have some sort of Xbox. Crimson Live Skies does. I Crimson can't wait Skies. to play that online. And you know, it's it's one thing to be able to play with someone next to you. It's another thing entirely to play someone across the planet. With some snotty kid who spends and his it, entire life playing. And it's kind of weird because wipe you off like a grease spot <laughs> on the what face you, of the what earth. What you do is you essentially just start it up. Anything that uh, you, we should know about this that uh, they, they might not be uh, intuitive um, or obvious? You know, obvious? They, they, they do kind of tell you to mind your manners and stuff, but certain no. certain uh, areas that you do go into, well, actually, you know, you'll have people who either have a mature mentality or some would say immature there, mentality. There's a lot of kids on this, right? Right. Yes. yes. And it's still fun because you talk trash, you shoot somebody, you can, can laugh oh, at you know them, what? you can it's mock them. Working. Are you a little confused there? You know what? It broke off. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have a wire problem here. I apologize. They're shooting you, right? <laughs> Roger, hurry up! Hurry up! 
I, uh, right. Once you start, and then you go to the Xbox, Xbox Live within Live. the component within the game. That'll show up on the and menu. You, should, of the you game. have your account. This is X Place, so okay. it's, it used to be X Place. So uh, if I remember their passcode correctly, yes. What was their passcode? Uh, we can't tell you. <laughs> no, up, up, down, left, right. <laughs> it's essentially some combination of, of the buttons or the, or the uh, triggers or whatever. So once you play on Xbox, you can do a quick match, and it's going to search for your sessions. This is kind of cool. This is where the unique ID comes in. You can actually have people exclusively join on your team kind of where you can pick your friends okay because of your id or you can have cool. you know essentially everyone else the so. game does not have an opening for you it's uh, like it knew you it's like it knew you were coming which is which is great because you know as we all know things never work when they're supposed to so that can happen it, the servers could actually be full you know, as they actually, are apparently it's the first time i've ever seen every game i've ever played would usually have uh, a, a, a server for listing, and you essentially choose the game. And if you decide to host or start a game, you can actually choose. Oh, you can host. You can. Well, you wouldn't host uh, readily on your Xbox, but you would host set up on, a, on, on, on the PC? Xbox. 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 Xbox Live <laughs> server. How many hours have you been on the air? Oxbox. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah. uh, uh, what did you ask me? George. George wanted to know something. Yes. Did, can you do this only on broadband, or can you use a dial-up modem? Can, you know, X, Xbox DSL modem, cable modem only. You gotta no have dial. broadband. Okay. You gotta have broadband, and that's just because the way, the experience they want to give the player, yeah. they cannot. They feel they cannot do over a dial. PlayStation Two also require broadband. Or? Uh, they, they, have, they have they have both, and the they way the, the way Sony does is they leave it up to the the publisher to set up the server. Yeah, Microsoft said, has a central server yeah, for all and games. You know, some people kind of complain that well, you know, Xbox has a control, but you know what, Xbox or Xbox Microsoft controls everything across the board, right. which means you know while you might lose. Something you actually gain a lot gain in quality. support, yeah. quality, yeah. and uh, service. Although this is, do you not proving. see the cheating, the kind of cheating you see on online PC games? Is it is it a little bit more regulated than that? It's respect? it's a little more regulated. You don't yeah. have the hacks because right. you unless you're they you're, control it. They and it's hard it. to hack a console. And game. you know what? It's it's actually kind of cool because you get real life uh, speech through here, so you can actually yell and scream at other people. It's good. I, I, I'm telling you, it's great. <laughs> One thing you got to mention though is that Electronic Arts stance on this. Have you read about that? No. They're not doing any Xbox Live games because they. Want Want to control the server, right? Yeah. So EA, any of those Madden games, none of the that sports loves, games, only well, on the PlayStation. Which is, they'll which, give in which eventually. Is lucky, oh. Which is lucky. They're going to cost them. That's going to cost them money. Yeah, I love Crimson Skies. That's going to be fun. All right. Well, that's a good reason to take my mod chip out. Not a good enough reason. You buy another one, only two hundred bucks. <laughs> I get another Xbox. If you want to know more about anything we cover today, as always, website has it. TechTV.com. Slash call for help. You think my shirt matches that ugly pattern behind me? Coming up next. We're going to head back to the phones, take more live calls for help. We're only at 51. We've got 40 minutes. Can we get to 60? The suspense is killing me. Oh, I should have hosted the match. The home stretch is coming up fast. Stay tuned as the call for helpathon marches on like the Batan Death March. Hey, this is great, man. Four years ago, we needed a web hosting company we could count on. Today our online business is a big success, and we're still with the same company, Rackspace Managed Hosting. Rackspace hosts our website on dedicated servers in their data center. They manage our firewalls, load balancers, bandwidth, everything. Their service goes way beyond co-location. Outsourcing to Rackspace was one of our best decisions ever. We rely on what they call fanatical support. We get our own support team 24 hours a day. They're experts at managing our complex website, and when we call them, we never get stuck in voicemail. We get through like that. It really is fanatical support. I tell my friends, if your website is essential to your success, then let Rackspace manage it for you. Fanatical support? Maybe that's why Rackspace is the fastest growing managed hosting company in the world. See for yourself. Call 888-480-7767 or go to Rackspace.com. Didn't exactly get what you wanted this year? Get into Gateway for storewide savings on PCs, TVs, cameras, and more. Savings up to $500 on our hottest products, including our multimedia PCs featuring Intel Pentium 4 processors. Save $400 on the perfect complement to your PC, America's best-selling plasma. It's under $2,500 after purchase of wall mount and mail-in rebates. Hurry in for up to $500 in savings storewide. Get the box from Gateway. needed them. 
They answered the call. Call of Duty. Rated T for Team. Leport's 2004 Technology Almanac is back. It's a one-of-a-kind resource for every day of the year with advice, tips, and secrets about today's most popular technology topic. It's everything you love about the screensavers. Networking, MP3 players, we've got it all. His last two books were bestsellers, and this one is sure to follow. And don't miss all the other great books from Tech TV, including Security Alert, Sell It on eBay, and Windows XP for home use. Leo Laporte's 2004 Technology Almanac. Get it at a Barnes & Noble near you or online at barnesandnoble.com. There it is, the uh, Call for Help website. Of course, if you, you see Roger's segment on Xbox Live, it's already up there. Anything you see on the show, anytime, is always on our website. And of course, always available through the show notes link. Not only the show notes for all 12 hours of today's Helpathon, but previous shows. Look, those are all 1226. Look at that. I guess we've got so many show notes from just this show. But you can also go back in time by clicking more show notes. And as, as with all of our back in time features, go all the way back to March 2003. It's all there online. TechTV.com slash call for help. I don't know. What are you doing? What are you guys doing over there? You we're taking pictures of yourself? We're blogging. Oh, that's so cute. We're oh, blogging. Whoops. Yeah, there's little women, right? It's Meg and... We just uh, look like that. I like that. Yes, it's so cute. What can we do here? I think maybe take another call. What okay, do you say? Okay, we're right. going to take another call. Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and hit the button. Hit the, the button. On it, on the Hope button. it's the right here. button. From Burlington, Wisconsin. <laughs> it's taking three people hey, to push a button. <laughs> hey, Peter, welcome to the show. Yeah. Hi, Leo. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you doing? Not nice too bad. Isn't that, a, isn't that a great tableau? It's like the uh, three graces there. We've got Kat and Sarah and Jessica. And they're uh, they so beautiful. Keep them and get rid of you. Uh, oh. Yeah. I know what you mean. Whoa. I know what you mean. Why don't you guys just take the question? Okay. What's the question? <laughs> no, I'll help you, no. Peter. I'll All right. Help you. Oh, Leo, I got, I got an 80, 80 gig hard drive. And okay. Format it and repartition it. Yeah, all right. Good. Uh, because it's just getting full of garbage. For organization, yeah, organizational. Uh, and make it more defined. Yeah. Uh, now, do you want to start with a fresh hard drive, or do you want to preserve the data on the hard drive? I'm going to back everything up and start fresh. Okay. Well, then you don't need any special program. You could just use the uh, partitioner built into. Are you using Windows XP? Yes. All right, Windows XP. When you install Windows XP at the very beginning, it says, do you want to install it on this drive? And you have the opportunity at that point to just say yes, or delete the existing partitions and repartition the thing. So unless you want to spend some money, that's probably what I would do. If you were using an older version of Windows, you'd have to use the, the ancient DOS program, FDisk. Same thing. It has some limitations. It's not as complete as a commercial program like uh, uh, Par Partition Magic, which we recommend all the time. But uh, XP's is all right, and that's probably the best way to do it. Can uh, I go back and maybe format a section of that hard drive then? Well, here's, uh, well no. Now, by the way, if you're doing that with XP, it's, just, it's what we call destructive partitioning. It's going to delete everything. Right. So do back up. Now, if you want, and that's why I asked you at the beginning, do you want to save the data? If you want to save the data, then you're going to have to go out and buy a program like my favorite program we recommend it all the time, Partition Magic from PowerQuest. It's about $80. Um, and it may not be worth it for just this one time, Peter. But uh, f I buy it now. I use it all the time. And the reason is I'm often repartitioning and reorg. Oh, Symantec acquired them. That's right. So go to Symantec.com instead. Uh, I'm often reorganizing my drives, and I don't want to. I don't want to save the data. I want to save the data. I want to erase the drive, and this will do a non-destructive partition. That is, divide the hard drive into smaller drives without losing any data. The price so has gone what down. That's I want to do, so I can and format a certain part of the hard drive ah. every now and then. Yeah. Well, then, if you're going to do that again, which I do, then this is probably the way to do it. Partition magic. It's a great right. little program, but 70 bucks. It's a little cheaper than I said, but 70 bucks. Yeah, you can try it, but I don't think the trial version allows you to actually write the partition changes. It only, it only lets you try it out and see what it would look like, but it doesn't actually make the modifications. Okay. All right? I think your show's great. I've been watching it for about three years. Keep up the good work. Bless you, Peter. Thank you very much. We right. really appreciate it. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy 2004. Yep. Kat, can we get another call in here? Yes, we can. Why don't you girls hit the button again? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sarah, you this time. I'll hit it. Oh, okay. dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> hit it, baby. No, Pushing your buttons. <laughs> hey, Chris. <laughs> Chris, Chris. Chris from Lima, Ohio. Button right. Chris, are you there? The hottest yeah, button are. to button. Hey, Chris. Welcome to the show. What can I do for you? Thank you. Hey, I have a question. Uh, most DVD players uh, play the VCD, SBC, right. uh, CD format. Right. Um, anything out there that you've ever seen that I can put in a home entertainment center, um, short of, you know, I've seen like the where you can mod um, 
PS2 stations and things like that are actually right. building a standalone PC. Any, right. Anything that I can put out there in the home, home entertainment center to play Divix? Oh, you want to play Divix? Yes, sir. Divix is the uh, is the is the kind of uh, for originally it was a reverse engineered version of Microsoft's MPEG-4. Now they've kind of gone off on their own. It was kind of originally kind of a uh, pirate codec, but now it's kind of pretty standard, uh, and it's used for compressing a lot of video. It does a very good job, but as you point out, most standalone DVD players cannot play discs that have DivX data on them. Ke Kevin came running over here. Yes. Is there a way? Is there now? He's looking. Remember for a standalone DVD. Oh my Bam, goodness! Bam! They just right came out with page. it. Yes, it's awesome. I actually, I'm a, a friend of. Uh, I, I've been in contact with one of the co-founders of DivX, and he was he was trying to show me this player. And they're also coming out with a network version that hooks up via Ethernet. Oh, wouldn't that be great? And then you can also play them over the network. So then you could have it on your computer's hard drive and play it back on the big screen yes. TV. This is Kiss. Now we we haven't tried this. No, we haven't tried. We're this. not we're not saying this is the greatest thing in the world. We're just saying here. Here it is, is a DVD player that will not only play, as you mentioned, uh, Peter or Chris, the uh, SVCD and VCD, but also play, look at this, Og Vorbis. Uh -huh. That's an unusual format for music. Uh, MP3s, of course, and DivX. Plays all the versions of the DivX 2, 3, 4, and 5. And like I said, the next generation of this will have a network jack in the back where you'll be able to stream it from your PC and also play the, the CDs as well, the, the burnables. Now, i got to point out, Chris, that $299.99 is not cheap. In fact, you can get a DVD player now for 50 bucks or even less. So you're paying for that DivX capability. If it's that important to you, though, there's the solution. Okay, I'm assuming also that the Ethernet will also uh, support codec upgrades. Ah, uh, that's a good question. That's now, a good question. There's not a hard drive in here, so it'd probably have to. I don't think there's a hard drive in here, so it probably have to be a firmware upgrade. That that's may a, or may not be easy to do. Uh, and when you're buying something like this, you're buying the first version of anything. There's mm -hmm. always issues. In fact, we already know one, which is that soon they're going to come out with a better one. <laughs> so yeah. you might not want to buy this one right away. Uh, interesting, though. That's that's amazing. They already came out with this. For more information, Chris, go to divx.com. That's the Divx site, and there it is, the Kiss DP500. I don't personally. I don't care that much about playing DivX back. I don't. I don't think I'd spend that much money. It depends on when you're getting, where you're getting your files from, yeah, and who's where you're getting you know, your files from that. is the issue. I know what you're talking That's about. That's right. Jack Valenti's on line two for you, Mr. Uh, Kevin Rose. The clock's ticking. Only about a half hour left. It is ticking. Yeah. Or is that just me? No. Oh, I can see it. All right. In the uh, call for helpathon for 2003, more calls on the home stretch still ahead. <laughs> Will we make it? Stay tuned and find out. After finishing his worldwide rounds, Santa's getting some well-deserved R&R. He's not thinking about the stuff he forgot. But Radio Shack is. We've got the things you need to make the stuff Santa brought work. Including accessories for PlayStation, Nintendo, and Xbox, so you can enjoy the rest of the holidays. He sure is. Radio Shack. You've got questions, we've got answers. This is a place you don't want to be. Not if you're plaque or stains in your teeth and deep between. Because here you'll meet the new Sonic Air Elite by Philips. With patented Sonic technology, its bristle tips move three times faster than all other leading power toothbrushes for a cleaning experience unlike any other. Like that, only smaller. Sonic Air Elite reaches deep between teeth and below the gum line. It reduces coffee, tea, and tobacco stains and reverses gingivitis. More dental professionals use the Sonic Air brand themselves than any other power toothbrush for deep cleaning that goes beyond mere brushing. For whiter teeth and healthier gums in 28 days, guaranteed. Ask your dental professional about the new Sonic Air Elite or visit us at sonicare.com. Stop brushing. Start Sonic Air. I can't believe I owe this much money. How did it get this bad? Two jobs, and I'm only paying the minimum? I'm just not getting ahead. Now I'm even scared to answer the phone in our own home. Disconnect notice? Could things get any worse? Where's the light at the end of my tunnel? Community Credit Counseling Corporation understands and 
we can help you solve your problems. One simple phone call to us can help take the creditors off your back and let you begin the rest of your life. We're an accredited nonprofit agency. We'll help reduce your repayment time by up to 75% and lower those high interest rates to as little as 0%. Finally, I'm on the road to reestablishing my credit and my life. Whether you owe thousands or hundreds of thousands in credit card debt, call the toll-free number on your screen for more information. Call now. Get your life back. Can I get some music, please? Haven't seen Unscrewed lately? Take a look at what you're missing. I'm like a Greek god in Adonis. Do you think the aliens from outer space wear a lot of doodads on their hats? No. This is awkward. Unscrewed. Weeknights at 11.30, 10.30 Central. Only on Tech TV. We're in the last half hour of a 12-hour television program. You know, I don't think I can make it. Oh, come on. I'm going to stop. I'm sorry. I have to, I have to stop right now. If All I, right. We'll take I over just the can't. I just can't continue unless, I don't know, maybe somebody could come in here and give me some inspiration. Somebody who knows what it's like to be on the last okay, few... Is here. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Otto Bolden, our Olympian. A man with a Red Bull, Otto. Great to see you. Great now, to be how's here. the uh, a quest for uh, quest for gold in 2004 going? Are quest you... for gold is well on its way. Yes, I am well well in the training. All right, and I'm uh, getting good? ready, getting ready for Athens 2004. Man. That's exciting. Yeah, Otto, as as you probably know, is a sprinter and a very very good sprinter. Now you don't you you don't race for the U.S. of A. However, <gasps> no, no. Who do no. you who do you run for? Trinidad and Tobago. That's great. A little small Caribbean country. Now you grew where up I was here born. in the States, but you were born in Trinidad and right. Tobago. Right. Yeah. And, you know, whereas the U.S. is going to have like, you know, 80 medals in the next right. Olympic Games, right. Trinidad will probably have as many as I get. So That's what I like to hear. <laughs> that's, that's great. Well, I can't imagine anybody better to help me get through this last half hour. But I, Otto has been on the show before because I know you watch the show, but Otto, honestly, and as much as, you know, Red Bull is, is a great company. You wouldn't drink this for training, would you? Probably not the greatest thing in the world to drink as a <laughs> as a professional athlete, but you know, for you for, know, for a schlub like me, for somebody, you know, for it's somebody trying to get through, you know, the last this many hours on television, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Otto, it's, absolutely. I just I, now wait a minute. Let me show you your website because you do a great job on the website, and, and you've done it all by yourself, which is kind of neat. Good to always put the it, website. Say, give me the URL. Ottobolden.com. A T T O B O. A T O. A T O. B O L D O N. B O L D O N. I'm sorry, I gave you an extra T, dot com. And this is a great place to uh, follow Otto, but also to be part of the Otto Bolden community because you've got, oh my goodness. Hey. Hello, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, my goodness. We've had changes at autobolden.com. <clears throat> More than meets the eye, indeed. Uh, I think I think you've made three women very, very happy. You know, last time, last time you were on, Michaela said, who is, who is that? Beautiful man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do you know this young lady? Or? She's actually a model from Trinidad. That's great. Um, this is She Caribbean, which is a relatively new that's magazine great. that's love out of the Caribbean. So I, um, wow. I'm on the cover this month. That's Available great. at all WH Smiths and at newsstands near you. That's awesome. And a lovely, a great website. You do a great job with Thanks it. Thanks you very much. All right, Otto. Let's see if we can get, we got, I don't know, we got to get six calls in 30 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to need some help with, uh, with Otto kind of, kind of boosting uh, me along. Let's see what we can do. Cat, we're, we're Sarah. Watching, we're watching his uh, Adidas commercial right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a good commercial, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a good one. Dun, we're, we're dun, it out. Dun, on the phone is Darren from Everett, Washington, dun, number 55. Hi, Leo. Hey, Darren, how are you? Doing great, Leo. It's great to see you. Welcome to the show. Hang in there. You're on the oh, home stretch. Hey, I feel great. You know, I'm, I'm, and I'm absolutely serious. I feel better now than I did at the beginning of the show. I could go for another few hours. Well, I just had to take a Thanks nap at 3 o'clock, so uh, <laughs> I'll hang in there, too. <laughs> what can I do for you today, Darren? Well, for Christmas, my wife and I got the exact same cell phone you demoed earlier with uh, Han Choi. That oh, that Sony Ericsson 616. Yes. Isn't that a great cell phone? I love it. What do you use for a cell phone, Otto? What, what kind do you have? T-Mobile Pocket PC. Oh, you do? You have one of the smartphones? Yes. Oh, interesting. Yes. All right. Well, the, the 616 is a very nice, but it's, very, it's a small little phone, unlike uh, Otto's and mine. You, but, you know, you, 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 you're a big guy. You, you can have a small phone. Yeah, I, I already lost it in my jacket pocket. <laughs> no, it's, it's tiny. Well, how can I help you with your new phone? Well, it has Bluetooth, and yeah. we got it for the uh, headset. Yes. And uh, now that I have Bluetooth, I went out and bought a dongle, hooked it to my laptop, 
<laughs> and now they have on my laptop. What kind of capabilities can I expect? You've bought a dongle. What kind of laptop do you have, Mac or Windows? Uh, it's a Windows Dell. Okay. Uh, you can do a lot of things with these phones. I mean, they're really great. The Bluetooth, it merely means that you can connect to the PC without wires, okay? So the initial usefulness of it is to sync up your phone book and your, you know, all the data into there. Uh, you can also transfer files back and forth, which is kind of handy, especially if you want a custom backdrop, things like that, or maybe custom ringtones. The next step is to use this to control the PC. Now on the Mac, there's software that allows you to use this to control PowerPoint or keynote presentations, to turn up and down iTunes and, and, and pause iTunes, all sorts of things like that. In order to make that work on the Mac, I know you have to run some special software both on the phone and on the Mac. Uh, I'm not sure with Windows if you can do that. Now, Kevin Rose, don't you, didn't you have one of these phones? Oh, poor Kevin, he's taking a nap. Did I wake you up? <laughs> I'm awake. I'm you awake. had one of these. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> do, do you use the Bluetooth on, on, uh, on uh, Windows at all? Uh, no, I use it on the Mac, actually. Yeah, it works so great on the Mac. Yeah, it does. I, I, I'll be honest with you, Darren, I don't have an answer for you off the top of my head unless somebody else here does. Dan, maybe. Dan might. Have you used yours? Uh, you, now, you have the Nokia 60, uh, 3650, right? Yeah, the same one as you do. Yeah. Uh, have you used the Bluetooth with your Windows PC? No, no, only, no. For, the, only for my Mac. <laughs> <laughs> A friend of mine tried to get me to hook this phone up yeah, on Windows. Yeah, what do you think? And I couldn't get it to work. All right. So, Darren, it doesn't sound encouraging. Yeah. Okay. At the very least, I know you can run the software that comes with it and, and communicate with it. But doing more, it's great on the laptop to be able to control it with the cell phone. But the, I don't, I'm sure that's possible on the PC, but we just don't, uh, don't know how. Okay? Okay. Uh, Leo? Yes, Darren. Uh, your youngest fan uh, wants to say hi to you. I'd love to talk to him. Okay. Hang on. What's, what's his or her name? Austin. Austin. Hi, Leo. Hi, Austin. <laughs> Did you have a Merry Christmas, Austin? Yes. Well, what did Santa bring you? Anything good? Yes. What? A hover disc. A hover disc. Ooh, those I'd like cool. one of those. That sounds pretty cool. You're going to wear a helmet when you when you use that, right? It's it's not. You don't use a helmet. It's a hover disc. Yeah. It's a big, it's a big, it's a play little frisbee, oh. and it's really big, and then you have I love that. You can, like yeah. throw it, and it does some different really cool tricks. It's so cool. My son and I have one of those. I love them. But I wear a helmet because you don't, you know, it, when you get hit with a... Austin, Austin, have you been watching all 12 hours? Yeah. He just took a nap. All right. Thank you, Darren. Okay, thanks a lot. It's great to talk to you. And Austin, too. How old is Austin? Austin is six. Oh, that's great. Well, I really appreciate you putting him on. He sounds like a great kid. Thanks and it's fun to play with those hover discs. My son and I do that. Take care. Bye, Darren. We're running out of time. You think we can make it? What do you do when you're at the end? Now, you're a sprinter, so you're not like, you know, not 25.8 miles. What you're, you're doing today is the opposite of what I do. Yeah. This is a marathon. This is a marathon. You do the short run. I do run. The, the, the sprint. The but you still, you know, the last few, do you, is there a kick in a sprint or is it all kick? No. Um, if, if, you see, uh, if you see a sprint race and yeah. you see somebody like pulling away, surge ahead. Yeah. it's actually because they're decelerating less. Oh, interesting. It's like we're both on the freeway and we're both doing Got 60 it. and then I hit the brake. Right, because you, you know? can't quite keep up. Exactly, yeah, that's exactly. Great. So, yeah, what you're doing here is the opposite of what I do. <laughs> now he tells me. Otto, it's so great to see you. I thank you Merry for coming Christmas by. Too. Merry Christmas. I hope you have the happiest of holidays. We will be following your progress to Athens. You are, we're, you're now part of the, to the team, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And we're going we're gonna to watch you, and I can't wait till you come back wearing three or four gold medals on your chest, all right? Hopefully I'll be Thanks, back. Thanks, Otto. It's great to see you. Thank Let's you. take another call. Uh, when we finish, call for helps. 12-hour marathon, 20 minutes to go right after this. Stay here. Enzo Ferrari can do together. It's good to see drivers from three time zones in your rear view mirror together. It's good to show the streets of Florence where true art is together. Project Gotham Racing 2, rated E for everyone. It's good to play together. This is Dave. Dave. Bob Haybeck. Hi, Bob. Dave. Without the guiding hand of our big iron, you're a ship without a sail. Well, not really. We just put in a Linux cluster of Dell servers with Intel Xeon processors. Oh. Well, 
That's one way to go. It's highly scalable, flexible, available. Listen, Dave. Let's do lunch. I'll get back to you. Get more out of your data center with Dell Business Solutions. Call or go online today. They're everywhere. Beautiful widescreen, high-definition televisions struck down in the prime of their careers by an utter lack of HD programming. This holiday season, help us put millions of HD TVs back to work. Now you can subscribe to Voom. 39 channels of high-definition programming, 21 channels you can't see anywhere else, plus premium and local channels in standard and high-definition. Just the thing to keep those HD TVs pretty busy. And if you call 1-866-838-VOOM today, all the monthly programming Voom has to offer is free through February. 39 HD channels and more, all free if you order right now. So call 1-866-838-VOOM today and give the gift of Voom. Fire up somebody's HD TV with 39 HD channels. Because an HD TV without Voom is just a TV. Can I get some music, please? Haven't seen Unscrewed lately? Take a look at what you're missing. I'm like a Greek god in Adonis. You gotta turn off the stove, Billy. Quit coughing, Billy. Do you think the aliens from outer space wear a lot of doodads on their hands? No. Besides dressing up as a blue bunny, do you have any skill? This is awkward. Unscrewed. Weeknights at 11.30, 10.30 Central. Only on Tech TV. Little uh, costume change, what do you think of that one? How do you like that, huh? I think that's perfect for the last 20 minutes. This'll get me going. This'll fire, this'll fire him up, won't it? Let's take another call. Cat, who's on the line? Oh, it's Jerry from Melbourne, Florida. <laughs> nice shirt. Is, is Sarah drunk? Are you, are you okay? You're looking a little... Uh... I swear it's water. <laughs> hey, Jerry, how you doing? Hey, just fine, Leo. Welcome to the show. Hey, I got one thing before I ask my question. Yeah. I've been with you since the very beginning this morning, and I love the first shirt you wore. That was the best. That was the best out of all the yeah. shirts. And I'm trying to remember what the first shirt was. What, what did it look like? I can't remember. I don't know. It's been so, it's so been long like ago. It's been like 12 <laughs> shirts ago. All right. Well, thank you. You know, we had, these are fun. These are the ones, of course, I used to wear on the screensavers. We retired them, but I brought them out of retirement. They're in, they're in the Smithsonian, but I was able to get, I was able to get them out of the Smithsonian, and, uh, and uh, now we're going to wear them, and then we'll send them back to the museum. So uh, what can I do for you, Jerry? Okay, I use uh, Flybot Search and Destroy. Yes. And uh, I'm getting over 50 entries for back web light. And, yeah. uh, and my search, but they're all registry entries. Yep. And I'm just wondering if it's safe to delete those. Probably is. If the software's gone, problem with deleting a registry entry, if the software's still there, you might have some unpredictable results. So, now, let me just mention quickly, this is uh, the program we recommend for getting rid of spyware. It's uh, available right. at safer-networking.org. Yeah, Great program, free. Uh, although I encourage you to support uh, Patrick with a, with a little contribution because he's done a great job. Oh, yeah. Now, the program you have on your system, BackWeb, you have an HP computer? Who, right, what yes. You do? Well, it's a, it's a compact. Compact, it's a, okay. Uh, both compact and HP put this software on there. BackWeb's not a, really a spyware program, in my opinion. What it's done, used for is uh, for them to push you updates to the system. Uh, so it sits there and it runs in the background and periodically uh, a compact can update your uh, operating system. It's kind of like Windows Update, but it's compact specific. So even though Spybot called it spyware, I don't think it is really. However, I don't blame you for wanting to get rid of it. You have deleted, I take it, all the program files? Oh. No, I haven't. You haven't? I, I, so you want to know if it's okay to be listed as, as registry entry? I got you it. Know, I was afraid to go ahead. And you want it. to know if it's okay to push that button on Spybot that says get rid of it? Yeah, right, I would yeah. leave it. I would leave it because Compaq uses it for tech support and to update uh, the system. And I think you probably should just leave it on there. Okay. That'd be my advice to you. All right. I appreciate it. Harmless to get rid of it unless there's a key security update that Compaq wants you to have, and now you don't have the software that'll download it. So I'd leave it. Let's take another call. We're up to 57 now. Who do we have? Finally, we have a woman. It's Shannon from Billings, Montana. Hit I have, the button, ladies. I have all the women I want right it's there with Kat, Sarah, and Jessica. Oh, Sorry, Shannon. Hey, Shannon. Hey, Shannon. Thanks for Yay! Yeah. Little estrogen on the channel. What can we do for you, Shannon? I never really, I never expected to have a sex change operation. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm sorry, girls. Oh, Shan's, all <laughs> Shan's all boy. I didn't know. <laughs> all boy. I'm sure a fine man, too. Honest mistake. Hey, Shannon, what can I do for you? Well, uh, when I installed a second hard drive, yeah. I was looking through the, the whole system, mm -hmm. and I realized there's a local disk G that I have no idea Ooh. what it was. Yeah. And it's a partition on the C drive. Mm -hmm. It's a whole 39 megabytes. Yeah. You either have a compact or an HP computer, I'm guessing. No, I have a Dell. A Dell. Dell, I think, might also do it now. These companies put a hidden partition on your system where information about the system is stored. And uh, you delete it at your peril. Ooh. So I just leave it. I would call Dell Tech Support and say, this G drive, is this yours? Um, I'm trying to remember if Dell does that. Compaq was notorious for doing it. And they use it for a number of things. For instance, when you do a system restore, uh, it'll check that partition for information. Sometimes it uses it to verify that it is, in fact, a legitimate copy of the, you know, the operating system, things like that. I'd be a little nervous, a, li a little hesitant to delete that. You haven't modified the partitions. No one you know has modified the partitions since you bought the computer? No. Yeah, that's almost undoubtedly what that is. And you've got to be careful about deleting those things. Cause okay, can I uh, hide it or something? It just bothers me. You could hide it. In fact, usually they do hide it. So if you, you have something like uh, Partition Magic, you could click on the partition and say hide. Do you have Partition Magic? No. No. How did you see it? You just went to the uh, disk uh, manager and the uh, well, console? You know what happened was I installed uh, Norton Systemworks. No, oh, and Systemworks told you. Yeah. Yeah. So now you see it ever since then? Yeah. <laughs> But you didn't see it before? I don't, I don't recall seeing it before. How no. interesting. Well, I don't think SystemWorks is going to change your partitioning. I do believe that it's... Now, it may be that when you did a, a disk check, SystemWorks said to you, oh, I, by the way, your partition table is a little screwed up. You mind if I fix it? You ever see that? Yeah, I come to think of it, I think I did see it. Yeah, well, that's probably what it, was, that's what it was doing. It was saying, gee, this partition shouldn't be hidden. It should be visible. Well, if you, I don't want it there. I don't want it there. Uh, it, the, you could go out and get Park, PowerQuest Partition Magic and hide that partition, but I wouldn't spend 70 bucks just to hide a partition. No. Um, you probably could remove it, but I've but I, I got to warn you, there's some risk. I would call Dell before you did it. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, I think they use that for, you know, for proprietary reasons. Huh. Hmm. Very interesting. Most people don't know it's there. Yeah. You were never supposed to see it. <laughs> and there, Symantec comes along, Mr. Norton, and fixes it. Uh, uh, it thank you, wrong. thank you. Yeah, I, I'll tell you what, if the message boards, uh, if you have any suggestion, uh, the message boards are a great source uh, for information there. Uh, if you know what he's talking about, maybe you have a Dell, maybe you've solved this in the past, you've hidden it away again without having to buy a $70 program, techtv.com slash call for help. Go to the message boards and tell us. All right, coming up next, we have one more chance to give you a nice prize with the Wired World Challenge, and we've got to get two more callers on the air to get to the magic number 60 before this help a thought is all done for the year. Stay right here. Go. Two, three, four. <laughs> oh, no. You're going to want that cowbell. <laughs> three. It doesn't work for me. How about Cassandra? Yeah, that's yeah. pretty. I wonder what that means. Yeah, that's a uh, Greek for prophet of doom. Okay. How can the butterfly help you? Find out at msn.com. Don't me Take your best shot. The E715 with self-portrait. One of the newest internet-ready camera phones from Samsung. My name's David Abreu. As a firefighter, I'm able to give something back to the city every single day. But these streets aren't the only ones that need protecting. That's why when I'm not wearing this uniform, I'm a soldier in the U.S. Army Reserve. Find out how David protects his city and his country as a civil affairs specialist in the U.S. Army Reserve. Only at GoArmy.com.
Now, there's an easy, affordable way to add satellite radio to your home or office computer. Introducing PCR, XM Satellite Radio for your PC. Digital sound delivered direct to you via satellite. No downloads, no streaming audio, no internet connection. Just 100 channels of music, news, sports, talk, and more for less than $10 a month. XM's PC radio connects to your computer's USB port, so installation is easy. Just run the software, connect the antenna and PCR receiver, and activate your XM service. PCR makes it simple to browse all 100 XM channels or to sort them by artist, song title, or genre. You can find and save your favorite songs and artists, and PCR will alert you when they're playing on another channel. So act now to get XM PCR at a special low price. $49.99, a limited time offer. To order yours or for more information, visit XMPCR.com. Beyond AM, Beyond FM, XM Satellite Radio. Contestant is <laughs> on the line is Jim from Sacramento, California. All right, Jim, welcome to the show. I don't have the card. All right, let me tell you, Jim, and the folks at home, before we get started, how this whole game works. Uh, Sarah has in her hand four categories with four questions. You'll get to pick a category and then she'll ask you a tech-related trivia question. You have 15 seconds to come up with your answer and here's the best part. If you answer the correct the question correctly, you get a shot at the big prize board. Yeah. We've got great prizes. Sounds good? Sounds great. All right. Okay, here are today's categories. Technology innovators, size matters, sci-fi odyssey, and sci-fi book titles. What's it going to be? Sci-fi book titles. Sci-fi oh, book titles. Jesse, wants to read the question? Oh, this is a good one. Okay. <laughs> what sci-fi film starring Harrison Ford was based on the book Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Oh, God. Come on, <laughs> sci-fi. Come on. Oh, um, Blade Runner. Yeah! You got it right. That means you get a chance at a gigantic prize board. Which number do you want to choose? I live in a house ruled by women, and my daughter says I should pick her age. Let's do number seven. Oh, lucky number, number seven. seven. Good one. Did we pick that already? Uh, oh my God. You get a bunch of discs. <laughs> I think that's the imitation media pack. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Imation. 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 I'm Imation. I'm Imation. I take pictures of Ivana all the time, so that'll work great. Thank you very much. I just want to remind everyone the Wired World Challenge is happening every day at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So head over to our website to sign up, and you just might be tomorrow's contestant. <laughs> Leo. An imitation media pack. What a you know, great prize. We're That's trying. Right. It might be imitation. You guys keep it up. You're making me look good. Believe it or not, <laughs> folks, we're almost there. Not much time left in this second annual call for help with thought in the grand finale after the break. Stay right here. Yay! Yay! After finishing his worldwide rounds, Santa's getting some well-deserved R&R. <laughs> He's not thinking about the stuff he forgot. But Radio Shack is. We've got the things you need to make the stuff Santa brought work. Including accessories for PlayStation, Nintendo, and Xbox, so you can enjoy the rest of the holidays. He sure is. Radio Shack. You've got questions. We've got answers. Didn't exactly get what you wanted this year? Get into Gateway for storewide savings on PCs, TVs, cameras, and more. Savings up to $500 on our hottest products, including our multimedia PCs featuring Intel Pentium 4 processors. Save $400 on the perfect complement to your PC, America's best-selling plasma. It's under $2,500 after purchase of wall mount and mail-in rebates. Hurry in for up to $500 in savings storewide. Get the box from Gateway. This is Tech Live. Are you ready? Take a ride. 
See how it's done. Don't know what to buy? We do. It's hot topics, movie magic, cool science, and tech gadgets. Get it? It's one cool ride. Tech Live. It's all you need. Weeknights at 8, 7 central, only on Tech TV. of a child's voice is a beautiful sound. Unfortunately, 27,000 children died yesterday because no one was listening. But you're listening now. Make one phone call and make a difference in one child's life. It'll cost you 80 cents a day. To us, that's a small amount. To them, it's amazing grace. The elves are back! Ah! Pringle, Pringle, show us what you got. And you can bowl them right down Santa Claus Lane. It's Super Elf Bowling. Download the game now and go for the perfect score. Super Elf Bowling. It's all new and available only at TechTV.com and InStorm.com. <laughs> hey, that's the old music. Who snuck that in there? Welcome back to Call for Help. The help a is almost done. I can't believe we've done 12 hours, but you know we only have 58 on the now serving board. Kat, can okay. we get a couple of questions in here We're real quickly? We're going to do a little bit of a lightning round. Girls, right. get ready to hit the Leo, button. Leo, your head is very big. It's a large head, isn't it? <laughs> All right, it's are gigantic. You ready? <laughs> Leo, yes. Yes. ready? Yeah. How do I get online? I just got a computer and it didn't come with... I, how do I get on the internet? Well, you know, I'm, it must have come with because even at Windows and Macintosh both come with kind of built-in online services. You should check, you know, your uh, your menu you and see the if there's an online service in there. Apple offers Earthlink. Uh, you can get on AOL and a variety of other services through Windows. But frankly, I, you know, if you're brand new to it, I think AOL is a good choice. It's kind of training wheels for getting online. It makes it a lot easier. It is a little pricey. You might want to take a look if you're a little more experienced at something like Earthlink, which is a nationwide provider that I think does a very good job, and it's a little bit less expensive. Okay. Um, is it okay, do you think, to buy a used PC from someone online, like eBay? I don't recommend it. Now, the, the good news is new PCs are really, really cheap. Generally, with a new, an old PC, it, you uh -huh. know, you're buying old technology. They're not worth very much money. So unless you really know what the actual value of a computer is, I don't recommend buying a, a used PC. Okay. How can I make a screensaver out of my own personal photos? The, that's very easy to do. Now, unfortunately, uh, unless uh, Windows has added Apple, Macintosh is, uh, sorry, Microsoft has added that. I don't believe they have. Maybe if you get the Plus Pack, you can do it. There are many shareware programs that allow you to create your own slideshow. But, you know, this is one thing that Windows always ought to have had and, and, and just never did, which is right. a screensaver with a slideshow. I have, to, I have to check. Keep asking another question. Let me see okay, if I can uh, how find how can I access a web page offline? Do I have to go online every time I want to access oh, look the same page? Uh, unless this is something we added later, my picture's slideshow will allow you to uh, do a slideshow. Is that XP you're running This here? is an XP. Now, I, you know, the problem with this uh, system is I don't know how much we've modified it, but I think that does come with XP. My picture slideshow. You can pick any, any folder. All right, I'm sorry. The question was how again... How can I access a web page offline? Is it The easiest possible? way to do it is to use Internet Explorer's offline browsing tool. When you bookmark something, it gives you the opportunity to make it online by uh -huh. checking this box right here. You can customize it saying how far do you want to go? Do you want to go many pages deep? And probably shouldn't pick too many of these. It can get awfully big. Okay. That means clicking the links. Do you want to do it manually or on a schedule? You can have it do it automatically every uh, every day at 7.58 p.m., for instance. Interesting. Click Next, and you're done, and you'll actually be able to download that site and view it even when you're not online. What does MP3 stand for? <laughs> MPEG layer, MPEG th one layer three. It's the audio layer of the MPEG <laughs> file format. 63 questions. 63. Thank you all. Woo! All of our great guests. Thank you, our great staff. We couldn't do Call for Help every single day of the week without you. Join us Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. right here on Tech TV. And of course, next week we're going to take a little time off, but we're going to repeat hours from this marathon. And I hope you'll be watching, and I'll see you right back here next year. Have a great
great one. Remember, if you've got a problem with your personal computer, don't whine, don't moan, don't yell. Just call for help. See you later. It has to end here. Hey, good job, good time. Dan, way to go. Thanks for joining us. Good night, everybody. Tonight on X-Play, we bring you the best of 2003, honoring such games as 